I awakened the SSS level dark supernatural power, but was expelled by the five deans of the super god academy at the same time. Even my only sister cried and advised me to give up practicing, just because the power of the dark supernatural ability is too strong. Once backfired, it will completely demonize, and the five major academies do not have dark department courses at all. From both a safety and a developmental perspective, they will not place a time bomb in the academy. With that, I just sneered. There is no need to stay here. There is a place to stay. As long as the awakening of abilities, you can receive tasks from the guild, and then you can earn money to treat my sister Xiaoya. At this time, I had just walked down from the awakening platform, and everywhere I passed was negative comments, fear, ridicule, and inevitable hostility, but there was a chubby boy full of admiration. Senior Leanly, from now on, you are my idol. Can you sign for me first? I'm afraid I won't have a chance in the future. The people around were all stunned, accusing the chubby boy of not being able to distinguish between good and bad. How dare you recognize the idol of the dark system? The chubby boy completely disregarded the evaluations of the people around him, still looking forward to me signing for him. I laughed, not mocking, but genuinely happy, took the carbon pen from the chubby boy's hand, and signed leanly on his t-shirt. Then I asked him, what's your name? My name is Mahami. Okay, I recognize you as a friend. Come to me if you have any difficulties in the future. Hearing the word friend, Mahongi was overjoyed. Lin Ge, if you have any difficulties, you must tell me. I, Mahongi, have no other skills, just a lot of money, because my dad's name is Ma Gang. Oh my god. When I heard Ma Gang, I was shocked, and everyone around me was shocked too. Isn't Ma Gang the president of the Titan Guild? I heard that he is also a top tier super level powerhouse, although not comparable to the deans of the academy. His strength is enough to rank in the top 100 in the world of abilities. No wonder this chubby boy is so fearless and carefree. Well, I wish you a smooth awakening this time. I have something to do, so I'll go back first. Soon I returned home, and Xiaoya, who was reading in a wheelchair, looked at me puzzled. Brother, why are you back so early? I carefully closed the door, couldn't hide my smile, and came to Xiaoya. Xiaoya, brother has awakened his abilities. Xiaoya, who was drinking water suddenly choked. Really? Brother. Seeing Xiaoya like this, I was more determined to earn money quickly to cure Xiaoya's illness. Xiaoya took the water glass, calmed down, smiled. Brother, you have finally realized your dream. What ability did you awaken? Dark system. But it doesn't matter. As long as you can awaken abilities, any attribute is fine for me. Hearing that it was the dark system, Xiaoya was a little worried. Brother, I heard that the dark system is the easiest attribute to become demonic. Why don't you give up entering the world of abilities? My illness is not a problem. Look, my complexion has improved a lot. Xiao Ya, don't worry. I'm fine. Knock, knock, knock. Just then, the old door was knocked. I curiously walked to the door, turned the doorknob, and saw a middle-aged man with black glasses and a relatively kind face standing outside the door. Seeing someone opening the door, the visitor politely asked, Is Lin Li, a student of Tsinghua University, here? I am. What's the matter with me? Lin, hello, I am Qian Liwa, an admissions teacher at Huali College, and this is Zhang Xiao, a student at Huali College. My gaze passed Qian Liwa and looked towards the back, and sure enough, there was a young man, but this young man looked a bit tough, looking at people with disdain. Out of courtesy, I reached out and shook hands with Qian Liwa. Lin, I came here for one thing, your SSS level dark talent has caught the eye of our dean, who has specially invited you to join our magnificent academy. Consider the treatment and resources. It's not a problem. Hearing the invitation from the Magnificent Academy, to be honest, I was tempted. Magnificent ranks fourth among the six super god academies, with Dean Huang Fei Hong, a super level six fine powerhouse who is the only dean not present today. It is said that this person has a high level of style and rarely attends public events, but the treatment within the academy is very good. Just the annual student funding alone amounts to millions of blue coins. What are you hesitating for? You, a dark talent, no matter how strong, do you know how much risk our academy will take by accepting you? Don't be ungrateful. Hearing this, I just sneered. Is that so? And what talent do you have? One plays the good cop, the other plays the bad cop. Aren't you just trying to trick yourself into joining the Magnificent Academy? Even if you join the Magnificent Academy, what can you learn? The Magnificent Academy has no dark courses or dark cultivation methods. If it weren't for you hesitating about the treatment offered by the Magnificent Academy, the two of you would have been kicked out long ago. At this moment, Zhang Xiao looked smug. My talent is an S-level fire element, an elemental attribute that you envy. After hearing this, I couldn't help but laugh. 
You, a trashy S-level talent, dare to stand in front of me and bark like a dog. Who gave you the courage? Is your dad Ma Gang? Hearing Ma Gang, Xian Lihua, Zhang Xiao was first stunned. What does this have to do with Ma Gang? Then Zhang Xiao reacted. You, a bottom-tier dark talent, dare to curse at me? I disdainfully greeted him. It's true that any idiot can awaken abilities, and even rotten fish and shrimp can stand outside someone's door and bark. Zhang Xiao was thoroughly provoked, and flames began to gather in his hands, as if he would launch an attack in the next moment. Zhang Xiao, don't go too far, quickly put away your abilities. Xian Lihua saw the situation and scolded sharply. If Zhang Xiao were to injure me, how would he explain to Wang Feihun when he goes back? He is a legendary talent with an SSS level talent. Strictly speaking, the cultivation value of the dark element is higher than that of all other elemental systems. It's just that the power of the dark element is too pure and easy to absorb. So there are often situations of challenging opponents of higher levels. However, this kind of challenge requires absorbing dark energy that exceeds one's own limits, which is easily counteracted by the power and ultimately leads to demonization. Which is why the supernatural world is so resistant to dark elements. Lin Li, Zhang Xiao has a bad temper. You don't need to argue with him, but what he said is not wrong. Your dark element talent does require our academy to take on great risks. The other five academies are unwilling to take you in. Only our director Huang has a compassionate heart, so please consider it seriously. Teacher Qian, I understand your intentions. I cannot bear the burden of this great tree of the Huali Academy, to avoid future gossip. Speaking of which, you deliberately glanced at Zhang Xiao. You don't know what's good for you. What is the identity of our director Huang? He can personally invite you. It's the blessing you've accumulated over several lifetimes. And you dare to refuse? I won't teach you a lesson today. Zhang Xiao really intends to take action this time. The fire energy of the flame element gathers madly. Two fist-sized fireballs appear in front of him. Xian Lihua quietly takes two steps back upon seeing this, apparently not wanting to intervene further. Seeing that the other party was really going to make a move, I closed the door directly, took two big steps forward. I didn't want the other party to destroy my home, and Xiaoya was still inside. How could I fight the other party? Just awakened my abilities, don't even know how to use them. And the other party is a beginner level 4 ability master. Won't I be killed? Lin Li, I'll give you one last chance. Kneel down and apologize. Accept Director Huang's invitation obediently. Otherwise I will let you experience the pain of burning flames. You trash dare to make me bow my head. Show me what you've got. Although I said this calmly on the surface, I was actually very anxious inside. Then go to hell. Flame impact, only to see a fist-sized fireball coming straight towards my face. Seeing this, I cursed in my heart. This guy was deliberately greeting himself in the face, obviously jealous of his own looks. I dodged to the side directly, barely avoiding the fireball, but there were still large burnt marks on my sleeves and corners. Just as the fireball grazed by, I truly felt the scorching heat when it touched my skin. If it burned on my face, it would be ruined for sure. Damn it, I won't let you get away with it today. Consider yourself lucky for not getting beaten up. Then I sensed the energy inside me, trying to establish some kind of connection with the dark energy inside me. Unexpectedly it succeeded effortlessly. The black energy enveloped around my forearm. Seeing me using dark energy, the two people on the opposite side both showed a hint of surprise in their eyes. This also made Qian Lihua determined. Today, no matter what, she must bring you back to the glamorous academy, even if she has to tie you up. Now it's my turn. Dark impact. After speaking, the dark energy moved with my mind, imitating Zhang Xiao who gathered flame impact in front of him. Even the size was the same. Zhang Xiao widened his eyes when he saw this, unable to believe it at all. Why was the energy intensity comparable to his own? Could it be true that the dark energy rumored to be able to challenge beyond levels? How could it even imitate my flame impact? Zhang Xiao felt very aggrieved and angry, once again exerting all his strength to gather a fireball. This time, the fireball was a circle larger than before, and it was obvious that Zhang Xiao had stayed his hand last time. Otherwise, Lin Li had no chance to dodge it. But this time, Lin Li showed amazing strength and staying his hand would only make himself suffer. Both of them released their skills at the same time, and the black energy ball collided with the fireball, creating a strong wind that blew the clothes of the three of them to bulge. Zhang Xiao was very confident about this strike. After all, he was three levels higher than the other party, plus it was a full strength strike. He didn't believe that the other party would be able to take it. As expected, the power of the dark energy ball was inferior to that of the fireball, and it was constantly being worn down and cut down and in just 3 to 4 seconds, it was reduced to one third of its original size. Zhang Xiao, watch out. Just when Zhang Xiao was complacent, the black energy ball suddenly swelled, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
at one point surpassing the fireball before gradually engulfing it. This, how is this possible? I told you not to listen properly in class. The darkness element is able to devour other elements. What? Zhang Zhao's jaw was about to drop in shock. What kind of fucked up setting was this? The more you fight, the stronger the darkness element becomes? Then what the hell is the point of playing? Rumble. Just when Zhang Xiao was distracted, the fireball was completely devoured and the darkness impact directly blasted onto his chest. Then, Zhang Xiao had a wave of 360 degree high altitude free rotation landing movement. He fell into a dog's poop. AI. Qian Lihua said that he deserved it. Letting you not listen properly in class and not understanding this basic common sense. But anyone who had listened to the lesson knew what to do. Either avoid it in advance or strengthen the strength of the skill so that his attack exceeded the opponent's devouring limit. This is good. Lose face and lose a lot of money. Cough cough cough. Zhang Xiao forced his body to get up with great difficulty. And just as he was about to open his mouth to speak, a fiery pain came from his chest, causing him to cough uncontrollably. Yo, you can't do this anymore? Wasn't he quite able to breathe just now? For the enemy, Lin Li wouldn't be merciful. It wasn't enough to finish off the other party, and it wasn't a deep grudge, but it was still fine to have a good time. Cough. Lin Li, don't get complacent too early. Cough cough. You still have a sister right? Zhang Xiao raised his head, his sinister gaze cast into the wooden house, his threatening intent unmistakable. Lin Li slowly put away his smile, a strong killing intent surged to his heart and the dark elements in his body couldn't stop surging outwards. Zhang Xiao, you're looking for death. These few words were nearly squeezed out from between Lin Li's teeth. He withdrew the naive thought he had just had, and he could never be merciful to his enemies. Lin Li stretched out a palm, and dark energy gathered crazily in the center of his palm, as if it was that black flame, burning. Xiaoya is Lin Li's scales, but also Lin Li's closest relative. Never allow anyone to hit her idea. Anyone who touches her will die. Student Lin. Calm down. Zhang Xiao has already been injured by you. Is it possible that you still want to take his life? Xian Lihua on the side finally couldn't stand any longer and pushed up his eyeglass frames, taking two steps out to block in front of Zhang Xiao. Ha! Lin Li laughed coldly. He had long since seen that these two were goods all the way. What? Can't beat one then two? Student Lin. I apologize to you on behalf of Zhang Xiao. His behavior just now was indeed excessive. And you've already taught him a lesson. So let's put an end to this matter. Let's just continue discussing the matters of Hua Li Academy. Yes, Jian Liwa and Zhang Xiao were stunned, not expecting Lin Li to agree so readily. Ha ha. Then, student Lin, let's leave Zhang Xiao's life here, and I'll go back to Hua Li with you. Xian Liwa's expression was stagnant, completely not expecting Lin Li to be so vindictive. As for Zhang Xiao behind him, he completely exploded, roaring towards Lin Li. Lin Li, what kind of a thing are you? Are you worthy of taking my life? You wait for me. I'll let your whole family die. Putting down his harsh words, Zhang Xiao turned around and ran. Run? Can you run? Lin Li threw out the dark flame in his hand and chased straight after Zhang Xiao. Boom! Just when Lin Li's attack was about to catch up with Zhang Xiao, Xian Li was struck. A wind blade was flung out quite casually, cancelling out the dark flame. How could Lin Li give in? His palms once again gathered energy and attacked towards Zhang Xiao's escape route one after another. Boom! 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 The dark flames flung out were dispersed by Qian Liwa one by one, and the aura of a middle-ranked third-grade alien exploded, knocking Lin Li back several steps. Damn it! After Lin Li stabilized his stance, he then looked towards the distance. Where else was Zhang Zhao's figure at this moment? Student Lin, as long as you join us at Huali, Dean Huan will step in to ensure the safety of your family. As for Zhang Xiao, his life will need to be taken by you personally in the future. The strength Qian Li Hua displayed was completely beyond Lin Li's ability to cope with. And looking at the other party's posture, he would never stop until he took himself away today. Lin Li was not willing. Lin Li is not willing to be threatened like this. And from now on, he will live a parasitic life. The most important thing is the safety of Xiaoya and his aunt. He said that Huang Fei baking can guarantee the safety of his family can be guaranteed? In case that bastard Zhang Xiao makes some small moves behind the scene, what should we do? Auntie and Xiaoya were ordinary people. How could they cope with a psychic? Brother Lai, Brother Lai, I've awakened my S-ranked Thunder System elemental ability. Brother Lai, just as Lin Li hesitated, and Qian Li Hua was ready to take himself away with violence, a familiar and slightly joyful voice came from not far away. The two of them looked sideways, and it was that little fatty Mahoney, with excitement and thrill on his face, frantically waving at Lin Li. And behind him, there were also two black-clothed bodyguards, and it didn't take any guessing to know that they must be the guards his old man had sent him. TSK TSK. Having a bullish dad is good. Lin Li was a bit envious of this little fatty, 
born both at the pinnacle and awakened with an S-rank talent. No worries in this life ah, brother lie, I've awakened the S-rank thunder system ability. I, half of the words, Mahongi suddenly realized that the two people in front of him are pugilistic elemental psychic ability. This battle is clearly to fight ah, brother Lee, who is this spectacled dog ah, middle order third level psychic ability, so shamelessly bully you? Linley couldn't hold back and let out a pft of joy. He thought to himself that this little fatty is really a man of nature. He curses when he's upset and doesn't ask who the other party is? Ma gang yo ex, little fatty, is this how your family taught you? You're so filthy and uneducated. No wonder Qian Lihua reacted this way. The first time the two of them met, they were scolded by the other party without any explanation. Who can be comfortable? How dare you accuse my young master? You don't know who you are. Do you know who my young master is? The two bodyguards directly stepped forward, bursting out their supernatural abilities to confront Qian Lihua. The latter was a bit confused. What was the origin of this little fatty in front of him? Two intermediate rank four experts as bodyguards. It was too extravagant, right? Hong Yi, congratulations, you've awakened your S-class psychic ability. One day you'll definitely become an expert like your father. Lin Li patted Ma Hong Yi's shoulder and exclaimed from the bottom of his heart. Aya, brother Li you joke. Become my father's expert is not easy. Titan Guild and the S-class talent ability experts are not a few. On the contrary, brother Li, by virtue of your SSS class legendary attributes, will one day become the first person in the divine continent. Mahani was like Lin Li's little fanboy at the moment, frantically patting his ass. Titan Guild? Your chairman Ma's son? Rumor had it that the Titan Guild's president, Ma Gang, had a big, white, fat son who acted without fear. And what he was talking about should be Mahongi. Precisely young master, what can I teach you? Qian Lihua took a deep breath, forcibly suppressing his anger, putting away his psychic abilities and said to Mahongi, Junior Master Ma, I'm the enrollment teacher of Huali Academy. My name is Qian Lihua. This time I'm here to invite Lin Li to join Huali Academy. Please don't meddle in this matter. Our Dean Huang has a good relationship with President Ma. If we hurt the peace because of this matter, it wouldn't be too good for all of us. Qian Lihua was clear in his heart. With his own strength it was impossible to fight against two intermediate level 4 powerhouses. So he simply moved the backstage out. And the other party should also give some face and reason. Huali, so what? Ma Hongi was quite disdainful. Pointing at Qian Li was nose and disliking him back. Do you think that your Dean Huan would break with our Titan Guild for an insignificant little person like you? Are you worthy of that? Qian Li Hua was dumbfounded by the words. Today, even if Qian Li Hua died here, it was impossible for Huang Fei Baking to turn against the Titan Guild. At most, he would just ask for a statement. Because people like Qian Li Hua's strength level, Hua Li Academy is full of people. Even higher than his talent level is also many people. How could Huang Fei Baking care? In that case, Student Lin Li, I hope you'll give some thought to Huali Academy's invitation. Lest there are some people that will do things that make everyone unwilling to see. After saying that, Chen Li Hua turned around and left the alley straight away. Lin Li's mood was very complicated at the moment. Chen Li Hua's intentions were already very clear. If he didn't join Huali as soon as possible, then Xiaoya and his aunt's safety would face a great threat. Since this is the case, Brother Lai, you don't have to be afraid. There's little brother here. Saying that, Mahani took out his cell phone, letting Lin Li write down the phone number. If this guy dares to come looking for you again, call me directly. If I, Ma Hongi, don't call someone to beat up and waste him, I'm sorry that my father's name is Ma Gang. Ah, uh, okay, Hongi, come in and have a seat. This little fatty's enthusiasm was really too much for Lin Li to pick up, so he could only change the subject and invite Hongi into his home. That, I'm sorry brother Lai, some other time, I haven't told my father about my awakening of my psychic ability. I have to go back to the Titan Guild now. Lin Li straight away called out good guy. He was actually in front of his human father. Just how much did this little fatty worship himself? Good. Then we'll see you another day. With that, Mahongi left with two bodyguards. Lin Li looked around to make sure there was no one else. And then returned to the house as well. As soon as he entered, Xiaoya couldn't wait to ask. Brother, how are you doing? Are you hurt? Of course I'm not. Your brother I'm exceptionally gifted. Not just anyone can bully me. He he, that's good. Was that fat student just now a friend of brothers? Linley thought for a moment, then nodded. Yes, a friend with a very good relationship. Xiao Ya. Linley walked in front of Xiao Ya, slowly squatted down and helped cover the blanket on her body. Tonight, let's move out as a family. When Xiao Ya heard this, she didn't show a puzzled look, but smiled and nodded. It's because of those bad guys just now, right? Yes, I'm afraid that they will come to the door again and be unfavorable to Xiao Ya and Auntie. Brother has also saved a lot of money over the years, 
Enough for us to change to a new house and a new environment. As for Xiaoya's treatment costs, brother will also put together the money as soon as possible. It won't be long until Xiaoya can return to a normal person's life. Xiaoya reached out her hand and helped Lin Li smooth her hair and said, Good. Xiaoya listens to her brother. At more than six in the afternoon, Wang Lining returned home. He saw that at this time, Lin Li had already organized all of his things and put them into his duffel bag. Wang Lining was puzzled. How to move for no reason at all. Immediately, Lin Li explained to him. When Wang Lining heard that Lin Li had awakened his supernormal abilities, he was very happy and relieved that his nephew had finally realized his dream. Little Li, then where are we moving to? Tianwu City. I've already found a good house. The train is at 9 o'clock in the evening. We'll leave after dinner. Tianwu City? Wang Lining was a little surprised and a little anxious. That place was a well-known second-tier city in the Divine Continent. The prices of goods and house prices were ridiculously expensive. And it was not at all something that a family like theirs could afford. Little Li, where did you get so much money that you went to Tianwu City to find a house? Lin Li's footsteps slightly stalled, then spread his face and laughed. It's a friend who has a very good relationship who lent it to me. Aunt, you don't have to worry about the money. I now have psychic abilities. It won't be long before I can earn a lot of blue coins. Ow, oh, is that so? Wang Lining was skeptical. For such a long time, she had never heard of Lin Li having any friends, let alone such a rich one. Xiao Li, and still want to instruct you two sentences. Do people should learn to be down to earth, not clean money we cannot want, borrow money from others, also have to pay it back as soon as possible. Don't worry auntie, I understand. Knock knock knock. The knock on the door sounded again, and Lin Li was creeped out. It couldn't be that Zhang Xiao that bastard had come to retaliate so quickly? Auntie, Xiao Ya, you guys go inside first, I'll deal with it. Lin Li walked to the door, transferring his body's supernatural energy, ready to meet the battle. Xiao Li, you must be careful, if you can't, just fulfill their demands. Alright mom, let's quickly go inside. Don't give brother Lin Li any trouble. It was still Xiao Ya who knew better, tugging Wang Lining and returning inside the room. Knock knock knock. There was another knock on the door. Lin Li cleared his throat and asked, Who are you looking for? Is there something wrong? Student Lin Li, we're not Huali's people. There's no need to be so nervous. Not people from Huali? How did someone who wasn't Huali know that they were afraid of Huali's people? That's not right. If they were really Huali's people, how could they knock on the door so politely? It was estimated that a whole bunch of people would have already rushed into the house, brutally beat up Lin Li, and then forcibly taken him away. Ka Zi, as the door to the room was gently pushed open. Lin Li saw clearly the people outside the house, there were a total of four of them, all clad in black robes and wearing masks, it was like cosplay, but not to mention, it was really a bit of a Diablo flavor, who are you guys, we're from the Dark Kingdom, Lin Li's heart thumped, not realizing that he would be targeted by the Dark Kingdom, but come to think of it, the Dark Kingdom paid the most attention to darkness talents, not to mention that Lin Li was the unparalleled SSS ranked darkness legend first, but how come the other two aren't moving? Isn't the evil spirit sanctuary and the demonized legion also darkness oriented? You guys, are also here to draw me in? The four black robed men nodded their heads in unison, and the black robed man in the lead issued a formal invitation to Lin Li with great respect and politeness. Student Lin Li, your darkness talent is the first in history that has never been seen before, and all of the senior officers of our dark kingdom, as well as Lord Chief, are especially looking forward to your joining us, and the conditions, the treatments you can mention as you please. And we in the Dark Kingdom can pour out all of the resources we have to cultivate you to become the the first person in the world of supernatural powers. Look, look, this is the right way to invite someone. How sincere, how courteous, and how dignified. Those two idiots from Hawali Academy were simply an insult to the word legend. Ah, uh, this, I, Limley was tempted to agree, but right now the problem of moving hadn't been solved yet, and if he joined the Dark Kingdom, wouldn't that mean that he'd completely become a villainous character? Student Linley. I know what you're worried about, and to show our sincerity, we in the Dark Kingdom have prepared a special gift for you, I believe that when you see it, you'll be quite satisfied, oops, look at that, look at that, the gift was all ready, making Lin Li a little embarrassed, Aya, uh, this, you guys are too polite, come just come, prepare what gift ah, uh, hey, where, Lin Li couldn't wait to look around to a few people, here, the four people backed up a few steps in unison, making way for an open space, Immediately afterward, the black clothed man in the lead stretched out his palm, and a familiar attribute aura came out. So it turned out that these few people were also all darkness system powerhouses. Under Lin Li's curious gaze, the black clothed man's hand converged a black energy ball, accompanied by a few streams of light across, 
The ground suddenly more than a few figures, and these figures are also all dead people? Linley was so scared that he took a step back, but when he saw the faces of the dead bodies clearly, his fear instantly dissipated. Did you guys kill them? The man in black nodded his head, as if killing these few people was something insignificant to them. Which few people were killed? Of course it was Zhang Xiao, Qian Lihua and the others. There were also three unfamiliar faces, but without having to say it Linley could guess that they must be the helpers that Zhang Xiao had found. He hadn't expected to be taken out in one fell swoop by a few people from the Dark Kingdom. Good, since the Dark Kingdom is so sincere, there's no reason for me, Linley, to refuse anymore. Allow me to make a call and settle my family. No problem. With that, Linley returned to the house and pulled out his cell phone to make a call to Mahoney. Brother Lai, are those guys coming for trouble again? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Just connected. Didn't wait for Lin Li to open his mouth. Mahongi was on fire and ready to rush here. Hongi you wait. I haven't said what's going on yet. Oh, then brother Li you say. What is it? It's like this. I want to ask you for a favor. Lin Li will be moving things as well as their own preparations to leave the matter informed Mahongi. Mahongi did not say anything. Directly agreed. And promised to will be Xiaoya. And safely sent to Tianwu City. Arranged properly. Lin Li is more and more like this little fatty. Enough righteousness, enough understanding, good, then this matter will please you, in the future there is what needs to place despite the opening, between brothers need not be polite, ha ha, brother Lee, having you say this is enough, everything has me, don't worry about it, after hanging up the phone, Linley called his aunt and Xiaoya out and explained to them as well that he was leaving, brother, then when can you go home, don't worry Xiaoya, as soon as brother is free, he'll go to Tianwu City to see you guys, Xiao Li, Auntie is very happy that you're able to embark on a new path. Cheer up. This family will keep a place that belongs to you at all times. Lin Li's eyes were a little moist. And he hugged his aunt. Xiao Ya. Auntie. Xiao Ya. Then I'm leaving. Hong Yi. He'll be here soon. He'll make all the arrangements. Don't worry go. Brother. I'll be waiting for you to come back. With that. Lin Li bid farewell to his family. Walking out of the room. He reluctantly looked back. I don't know when I'll see you again once I'm gone and joining the Dark Kingdom also meant officially stepping into the alien energy realm. The alien energy world is not a place for children to play house, especially in a region like the Dark Kingdom, where there is constant strife and war. Just by practicing, practicing, taking exams, and carrying out missions, there would be countless alien energy users who would fall every year, especially for a newcomer like Linley. There are too many trials and tribulations to go through. Take the current top alterans. Which one didn't climb out of a mountain of alien beasts and corpses? Which of them hadn't circled back and forth on the brink of death? If one wanted to achieve certain accomplishments, one had to put in ten times, a hundred times the effort. Student Linley, are you ready? Ready. Then we're off. Two men in black walked up, one grabbing one of Linley's arms as if they were escorting a prisoner, causing Linley to be confused. This is, ah ah ah, slow down, slow down, did not wait for Linley to ask, the line of sight suddenly became blurred, and then looked back and found that he was already above the clouds. Linley was not afraid of anything else, but was afraid of heights. Born with a fear of heights, it scared Linley to death. These four goods didn't say they were going to fly back ah? Uh? Student Linley, if you're scared, just close your eyes, or hold on for a while and get used to it. Flying is something you'll have to experience sooner or later, especially if you're in the darkness department. After intermediate level 6, you'll be able to rely on your own powerful dark energy to maintain low altitude flight. Goddamn low altitude? It's called low altitude even when it's above the clouds? Unfortunately, Linley couldn't say anything right now. As long as he opened his mouth, strong air currents would pour into his mouth. And then it'll be, ah, 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 Student Lin, you'd better stop talking. You'll get a stomachache if you keep going like this. I, ah, 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 already, ah, 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 ah. I have a stomachache. Hey, several people around side in unison and had no choice but to lower their altitude and slow down their flight speed. Otherwise, if this continued, by the time they reached the Dark Kingdom, it would be almost as bad if Linley didn't lose half his life. Asshole, let go of that child. The four black clothed men carrying Linley had just stabilized their form when a roar came from the position directly below, immediately followed by a powerful elemental supernatural aura. The four black clothed men's faces changed drastically. Of course, Linley could not see their faces. By feel, your excellency has misunderstood. We, misunderstanding my ass, you dark kingdom act more and more arrogant. Broad daylight, clear sky, how dare you captive innocent teenagers. A few people confused looked up at the sky. Where the hell is the broad daylight? You have nothing to say, right? 
At this time, Linley also saw the figure that is flying to their own, a green military coat, unkempt air middle-aged man, the hare, said inside built a bird's nest Linley believe, but this is such an inconspicuous second uncle grandpa, the strength is quite horrible, the main thing is that Linley cannot perceive the other side of the realm, which means that people are at least high level alien power, the most powerful of his side is only the ninth level of the middle order, relatively speaking, this second uncle grandpa of course, strong strength, vice president Luo, please step aside, we are not holding anyone captive, this is our dark kingdom's own matter, I hope that the sacred royal academy will not interfere, you also don't want our chief Yi to make a personal visit, do you, these four people worked so well together, taking a stand, explaining, declaring power, and threatening, all in one go, without any unnecessary nonsense, alas, vice president Luo, Luo Hongtian of the sacred royal academy, Humph, don't threaten me with Yi Chang, it's not like we haven't fought before. I've long wanted to wipe the slate clean. Yoo hoo. There's still this revelation? Luo Hongtian was beaten up by Yi Chang? That. Vice President Luo. I. Don't be afraid kid. Knowing that you're innocent. I'm coming to save you. Crap. What the hell makes me innocent? What's wrong with this old man? Thunder Dragon. Luo Hongtian surrounded his body with purple currents. And his palms came out in unison. A thunder dragon that was more than 10 meters long roared in from the convergence of thunder and lightning. This momentum really gave Linley a fright. Worthy of being a super ranked powerhouse, the skills he released were damn handsome. Seeing this, the two black clothed men on the left and right directly threw Linley towards Luo Hontian. I am I Chao, why are you throwing me? Linley was so scared that he closed his eyes tightly and shouted randomly under his breath. These four men in black were just too much of a dog, and after throwing Linley out, they directly scattered and ran away without hesitation. Didn't you say how important I am? How come you just left yourself behind at the critical moment like you're throwing away trash? Seeing Lin Li flying towards him, Luo Hongtian hurriedly retrieved the thunder dragon and carried Lin Li by the neck collar with one big hand. What a bunch of black-hearted guys, treating innocent people like this. That. Master Luo. Can we go down first? It's very hard for me to carry me like this. At this moment, Lin Li was just like that chicken, being held by the neck of destiny. Luo Hongtian nodded then dropped his height and landed back on the ground. I I dropped my own mother Lu, tossed me to death. Those few scum, even so treat me. Lin Li, who had recontacted the ground, leaned against the wall and complained in a very unhappy manner. Only what he complained about was somewhat different from what Luo Hongtian understood. There's not a single good thing about the people of the Dark Kingdom. Child, it's lucky you met me. Otherwise you would have been taken by them to the Dark Kingdom and transformed into a dark dead man. The corners of Lin Li's mouth twitched. What the hell fortunate to have met you. Meeting you is my greatest misfortune. Now it's good. The Dark Kingdom can't go. And I become a feral child again. He he. Vice President Luo. I thank you. Hey. No need to be polite. My generation of people. The road to see a roar. The time to take action on the action. Oh. No wonder you're crazy to break into the nine states. Ha. Huh? Right. Luo Hongtian suddenly thought of something and looked at Lin Li with great interest. People who can be targeted by the Dark Kingdom. Their talent level will not be lower than S rank. Is your kid's talent also higher than S rank? Yeah, it's because I'm gifted that they picked me. Good. Luo Hongtian suddenly bellowed, giving Lin Li a jolt of fear. It just so happens that I don't have much to gain from this trip. Aren't you just delivering it to my door? Ha, huh? kid, come back to the Sacred Royal Academy with me. A talent of your grade of talent. It's too bad that there's no academy to house it. It's a waste. Come back with me and I'll make sure that you have a bright future ahead of you. Linley smothered his head and thought about it. It seemed like this situation could only be like this right now. Anyway, the Dark Kingdom couldn't go anymore. And the Sacred Royal Academy was pretty good. The big deal was that he would seek his own cultivation methods in the future. Alright, I'll go back with you. P.S. Here the protagonist didn't join the Dark Kingdom. I believe many people will feel upset. But this is all for the sake of padding. The protagonist can't be blackened for no reason. The decent experience is inevitable. Families who don't want to see this paragraph can skip to chapter 53. The protagonist is officially blackened and joins the Dark Kingdom. Ha ha. That's right. Welcome to the Sacred Royal Academy family. Linley scratched his head, oddly embarrassed. Oh right. What's your name? My name is Linley. Linley? Seems like I've heard of it somewhere. I guess there are students with the same name. It doesn't matter. Let's go back to the Academy. This place is still a distance away from Shangjing. Wait. Vice President Luo. Ha, huh, what's wrong? Luo Hongtian thought that Lin Li was backing out, and hurriedly asked, You're backing out? No, can we discuss this? Take the car back. Don't worry, I'll pay for the traveling expenses. 
and I'll serve you with a small barbecue. Flying is too much torture for me. I'll practice more in the future. Luo Hongtian froze, then laughed freely. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, I'll listen to you. However, barbecue alone won't do. I still need beer. Got it. Arrange. The city where the two landed is called Liha County. Due to the color of the sky is late, Lin Li temporarily found a hotel, and Luo Hongtian stayed for the night. The next morning, the two boarded the train. The trip was nine hours long. Lin Li kept his promise and ordered a bunch of barbecue beer. The two just sat in the private room for a while sweeping. Don't look at Lin Li physique can't. Only more than 110 pounds. But from a young age in the northeast that Gata grew up. On the drinking has not served anyone. A thousand cups. Ten thousand cups not drunk. If you don't leave. I'll live and die with you. But Lin Li today is considered to have met a rival. Luo Hong Tian Hola drunkard. Or in the northeast that Gata called the wine Mengzi. Too damn able to drink. That small beer bottle after bottle of blowing. Lin Li with quite a lot of effort. The good thing is that Luo Hong Tian love bragging B. As long as Lin Li slightly guides some, that the other side of the mouth cannot stop. Hiccup. Lin kid. I tell you. Not I blow. 20 years ago. I Luo Hong Tian that is also a school grass level characters. Girlfriend this kind of thing. I change a day. A year does not bring the same. Just because I am handsome. My talent cow be ah. SS grade thunder system elemental ability. How? Is not special NB? I tell you. Luckily, it was a top class private room with soundproofing online. Otherwise Lin Li hate to drill the bottom of the table. In front of the scruffy old man is too able to force chatter. That deeds, hate to blow out the last life. The two drank for six hours. Luo Hong Tian blew for six hours. Finally, the two were drunk. Lying on the bed hooting and hollering. Do not even know when to get to Shanghai Kyoto. It's a good thing that the stewardess lady reminded her. Otherwise Lin Li wouldn't have had to suffer a wave of flight pain. Burp. Luo Hong Tian hit a dinosaur hiccup. Patted Lin Li's shoulder said, Lin kid. Since I saw you the first time since I know. Our masters certainly get along. Usually in the college. Basically no one drink over me. This is good. Have you joined the college? I will not be lonely. He he. I've had a lot of fun drinking with Vice President Luo. In the future. It's better to say less words against your heart. Hey. Don't call Vice Dean Luo Vice Dean Luo. It sounds really awkward. As if I can't be the dean. Blow up again. In the future, call me Master Luo. And if you meet any trouble inside the academy, just come and find me. Heck, I'd like to see which brat doesn't have the eyes to mess with the people I'm covering. Lin Li regretted. Luo Hong Tian didn't give him the feeling of a drunken monk, but a rogue. The sacred royal academy wouldn't be a gathering place for rogues, would it? DD, Vice Dean Luo, over here. The two of them had just left the station when they saw a young, Spirited young man greet Luo Hongtian towards him, and beside him, there was a luxurious reception sedan parked. Let's go. Little Lu from the academy has come to pick us up. Lin Li's level of regret more or less eased. So it seemed that Luo Hongtian still had a bit of prestige and status within the academy. When Lin Li and Luo Hongtian got into the car, Xiao Lu greeted them warmly. You're the genius that Vice Dean Luo saved from the Dark Kingdom, right? How are you? My name is Lu Yi, Vice President of the Junior Student Council. Hello Senior Lu. Vice Dean Luo, it's been a tiring journey. Let me send you back to your residence to rest. Luo Hongtian waved his hand and said, What tiring? It's comfortable. Go straight back to the academy. I'm going to help Lin Kid with the admission procedures. Okay. Lui started the sedan and drove out very smoothly. Lin Li Ku and his heart keeps spitting. The surname Luo can still labor? It's close to finding two beautiful women to serve on. All the way without words. Lin Li leaned against the window and looked at the towering luxury building. What an atmosphere. What luxury. What extravagance. Shangjing was worthy of being the number one metropolis in Shenzhou. The center of convergence of the six major colleges. It was far from being comparable to Park City. Tianwu City. At this moment, Lin Li silently made up his mind that when he was developed, successful, and had strength and status, he would bring Xiaoya and his aunt over to live with him. Let them enjoy a rich life as well. Vice President Luo. Student Lin. We're here. Lin Li who had almost fallen asleep, perked up and looked out the window. Good lord, it's so damn grand. Which is this college? This is clearly a palace. Lin Li didn't care about the sleeping Luo Hongtian beside him, and got out of the car on his own. The first thing that caught my eye was the gate. Instead of the courtyard gate, it should be called the dragon gate, because nearly 30 meters high fan-shaped door, engraved with two huge dragons, standing opposite each other. In the middle is a dragon pearl, shining, as if real. A plaque was erected on the side of the dragon gate. The four big characters on it were like dragons flying and phoenixes dancing. At first glance, it was a superior work. 
Sacred Royal Academy. Linley turned his head sideways and looked towards the courtyard, a glorious building with a modern style, an ancient style, and a European style that had already faded away. All in all it was very handsome, very grand just the same. Ha! Luo Hongxia got out of the car, looking like he hadn't woken up, stretching and yawning. When he saw Linley looking at the east full of excitement, he couldn't help but laugh. How's it? Sacred Royal Academy is grand enough, isn't it? This is just where to wear. There are many more grandiose places inside. Go, I'll take you in for a spin. Linley nodded frantically. This place can be really eye-catching. Must turn around and get a long insight. Hey, open the door. Luo Hongtian arrived in front of the dragon gate and directly shouted. Linley thought to himself that this dragon gate didn't even have a face recognition system? What a drop in price. Boom. Creak. The thick dragon gate slowly opened, and Luo Hongtian walked in with large strides. Student Lin. Sacred Royal Academy welcomes you. Louis parked his car and came to Lin Li's side and smiled. Thank you Senior Lu. Go inside. This will be your home from now on. My home? Lin Li's heart was slightly touched. If all the teachers and students inside could treat people like Louis, Luo Hong Tian, then this place would simply be heaven. Just, this paradise can really tolerate their own darkness? The next two hours, Louis drove the school reception observation car, carrying Luo Hong Tian and Lin Li, turned a small half of the campus. That's right. It's only a small half piece. There is still a large part not involved. Just because Luo Hongtian turned hungry, yelling to eat barbecue, and then drink around with Lin Li. Lin Li didn't even care because his attention was currently focused on the scenery of the school. Sacred Royal Academy was worthy of being one of the top forces in the divine state. Not to mention how big the territory was. Just the green vegetation along the roadside was far superior to the major scenic areas. The air in this place was simply too fresh. And every time he breathed in, the fragrance of the flower stamens would permeate his nostrils, thus making him feel soothed. In addition, Linley also discovered that since entering the Holy Imperial College, the dark energy in his body was increasing by a small margin. A very, very small margin, but Linley could just feel it, which meant that there was an elemental gain spell formation present in this place. This kind of thing like a spell formation could only be touched by at least a high-level alien, and a large-scale gain formation like the current one could never be made without a super-ranked or higher powerhouse in attendance. Moreover, it would require a constant supply of resources, and if converted into blue coins, it would be at least several billion per year. It was probably because the other Sacred Royal Academy was so rich and powerful that this amount of money was not even a fart to them. Vice Dean Luo. We're here. Good. Lin Kid. Come with me. Lin Li came back to his senses and looked around curiously, asking, Hmm, didn't we say we were going for a drink? Is this the place? Ha ha, there's no rush to drink. Let's talk about it later. Let's do the admission procedures for you first, so that we can assign you a place to live. Oh, so that's how it was. I didn't expect Luo Hong Tian, this old guy, to be quite attached to Lin Li. Thus, Lin Li followed Luo Hong Tian into a luxurious office building. The three rode the elevator to the sixth floor of a large office door. Luo Hong Tian even knocked on the door without meaning to. Clank a foot will kick it open. The action is so smooth and flowing. It seems to be a recidivist. This sudden change to the office is working in the office of several school leaders startled. After seeing the visitor is Luo Hong Tian, helplessly bowed their heads to do what they should do. Lin Li thought, I was wrong. This old thing is still a hooligan. Wherever the same. Xiao Zhang Ah. Give this child enrollment procedures. 10 minutes. Don't delay me drinking. Luo Hong Tian snapped his nostrils and gave the holy decree. The school leader surnamed Zhan was a bald head, around 30 years old, laughed awkwardly, then beckoned to Lin Li. Lin Li came to the desk, and the bald leader kindly asked him to sit down. Simply asked a few questions. What's the young man's name? Lin Li. How old? Just turned 18. Where does your family live? How many people? Park City. Three people. Aunt. Me. Cousin. The bald leader raised his eyes and looked with a somewhat sympathetic expression. Then sighed, thinking that it was another bitter child. Bang! The bald leader directly stamped on the document in his hand. Then said, All right, your exclusive room is building 076, 303, and there are a few spaces. Just fill it in yourself. Lindley took the form and said a word of thanks for the hard work. Picking up the black pen on the table, he filled in the remaining few spaces. Elemental attribute, darkness system. Elemental talent level, SSS level. Current strength level, beginner level 1. Done. Linley nodded in satisfaction and handed back the document in his hand. All right, Vice Dean Luo. You guys can, can, can. Crap. Luo Hongtian was flickered by this sudden crouch, and several school leaders around him also cast puzzled gazes one after another. This kid is jerking off? 
The bald man's eyes stared round, looked at Luo Hong Tian, and then looked at Lin Li. Then he thought of something and quickly pulled open the drawer and took out a document. Once the two documents were compared, the bald man was completely baffled. Sitting on his butt, his eyes were filled with disbelief, confusion, fear and despair. Zhang Lei, what's wrong with you? Seeing that the situation was not right, several school leaders hurriedly got up and came over. Luo, Luo, Vice Dean Luo, when have I offended you? You, why did you harm me? Zhang Lei's tears were on the verge of coming down, and Luo Hongtian finally realized that the situation was not right, and took two steps forward to remove the documents on the desktop. Name, Lin Li. Talent level, SSS class legendary talent. Elemental attribute, darkness system. Luo Hongtian was also confused and slapped his head. Only then did he recall why the name Lin Li was so familiar. Old Sun 2 mentioned it ah, Park City's Lin Li. Awaken SSS grade darkness elemental ability. The five major academy deans gathered. But all because of the concern of the instability and destructiveness of the darkness system. So they did not dare to easily accept this unprecedented talent. I, I, crap. Luo Hongtian also didn't hold back his foul mouth. It's over. It's over. The seal has been stamped. Which means that Lin Li has officially joined our sacred royal academy. We took matters into our own hands and admitted a SSS ranked darkness system psychic. Will Dean Sun skin us? It would be great if he really skinned us. I guess he would air dry a few of us and make us into bacon. Vice Principal Luo, you victimized us. Several school leaders complained. Luo Hongtian listened to two sentences of violent temper came up. All TM give me shut up. A big thing. Gabbing annoying or not? It's not just that you've collected a darkness department genius? I do things alone. What can he do about old son too? Moreover, there are not more than 10 legendary geniuses in the entire divine continent. By accepting Lin Li, we'll have two legendary geniuses in sacred royal academy in the future. So which power can compare to us? Lin Li silently gave a thumbs up. Luo Hong Tian is really a man. If I were a woman I would definitely marry you. Vice Dean Luo, what you said makes sense. But the darkness department can get out of control if we're not careful. How long has that incident with the god lord guild been over? Besides, that Li Yu is only an S rank talent. This Lin Li is SSS rank. How fast the growth rate will be. All of us here know that in our hearts. Yes, you see that Lu Qing Yan, and Lin Li is the same SSS level alien, which only joined the holy royal less than two years, is about to break through to the middle order of the third level of alien. A few of us think that the talent is not bad. But from the beginning of the order to the middle order at least to say that 4 or 5 years is not, the darkness department is going to grow faster than all the other departments. It is estimated that in less than a few years it will surpass us here. Even if it is the Sun Dean, that catching up is also sooner or later. But this, but this once stormed. We, Zhang Lei already didn't dare to continue to say down, because the consequences of that are really unimaginable. Vice Dean Luo, leaders, I, Lin Li, voluntarily withdrew from school and won't cause you any more trouble. Lin Li, who had remained silent all this time, finally spoke up. In fact, he had long predicted this situation before him, he just didn't expect the situation to be so intense. Since this was the case, it would be better to be sensible and leave as soon as possible to save trouble for others. People were looking at themselves in a bad light, and they were also weirdly twisted, so why not go to the Dark Kingdom and try again? Maybe they would still want them? Enough! Luo Hongtian calmed down and stopped everyone with a stern voice. Lin Kid. I, Luo Hongtian, a spit and a nail. Since I said I would take you, no matter what alien attribute you are, what talent level you are, what kind of demon or devil you are, I will take you. Isn't it just the instability of the darkness system? I will find a way to solve it for you. Saying this, Luo Hongtian pointed to a few school leaders and said in an imposing manner, a few of you less behind the back chewing the tongue. From now on, I personally guarantee for Lin Li, all the impacts he caused, all the risks are assumed by me. The old son head there I myself will go to explain. Lin Li's things how to continue to arrange how to arrange. Who dares to give me small shoes? I do not break his chrysanthemums. Even his but iron. Several school leaders were bluffed by Luo Hongtian's overbearing strength. Shutting up in unison. Not daring to make any further comments. Lin Kid. Let's go. Hey. Lin Li followed Luo Hongtian out of the office door. Lu Yi who stood at the doorway and heard the whole thing out. At this moment, his eyes changed as he looked at Lin Li. Not hostile, but, curious, as if there were some words held in his heart, urgently wanting to ask, but seeing Luo Hongtian's imposing appearance, he didn't dare to open his mouth. Out of the office building, a few people returned to the observation car. Luo Hongtian's expression instantly collapsed. Sorrow, really sorrowful. Lin Kid ah Lin Kid, 
I Luo Hongtian is considered to have planted in your hands. Why didn't you say you were Lin Li when we met? I'm not sure if I'm a good person, but I'm not a good person. Lin Li looked at Luo Hongtian with a confused face. This old man's mouth, right? Luo Hongtian reacted, rationalized his thoughts and said, I mean, why didn't you tell me that you are the one who awakened the SSS rank darkness talent of Lin Li? You didn't ask either? You didn't ask me about the attributes, the supernatural abilities on this journey either. So I didn't have the heart to mention it. Luo Hongtian kind of figured out. Together those four guys from the Dark Kingdom didn't lie in the beginning. Lin Li really wasn't captured by them. It was completely because they saw Lin Li's SSSS rank darkness talent and invited him to join the Dark Kingdom. Focusing on cultivation. As a result, he owed it to himself to cut people off. And in the end, he somehow managed to take a big black pot. This is to find who to say reason to go? That. Vice President Luo. Where are we going next? Where else? To discuss with old son too. Poor old me. I still have to be scolded. Luo Hongtian leaned back in his seat with a sad face. His eyes were empty and he didn't know what he was thinking. Master Luo. In fact, you don't need to be so difficult. The Holy Royal Academy is not the only choice for me. The Dark Kingdom side. What words? What kind of words are you saying? Luo Hongtian directly sat up, blowing his beard and eyes and rebuking. Are you saying that our sacred imperial is inferior to the Dark Kingdom? Or do you think that our sacred royalty can't teach anything? The treatment given isn't good enough? No. 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 Master Luo I didn't mean that. Alright. I still say that. A spit is a nail. Since you kid has joined the sacred imperial. From now on, you are a person of the sacred imperial. And old son too can't change this fact. Seeing Luo Hongtian in this state. Lin Li couldn't say anything more. Lest he cause the other party to misunderstand again. But then again, right now, this situation is the most sensible decision to join the Dark Kingdom. You say you can't teach me anything, but also cause yourself to stink. Is it worth it? You have to fight for it, don't you? Ten minutes later, inside the opulent palace type building, Lin Li and Louis stood outside the door of the principal's office, quietly listening to Luo Hongtian being reprimanded. Have you got shit in your fucking head? Dare to bring anyone into the academy? SSSS class darkness system powers. Do you know how much risk this will bring to the academy? And how many mouths in the outside world will make use of it? You're fucking dumb. Speak up. The dean of the sacred royal academy was named Sun Wukong. The same little old man who had previously held a holy light system ability and helped dispel the darkness shroud in the city of Park City. Lindley remembered that this little old man looked quite kind. How come he was so grumpy? Even more so than Luo Hongtian. That. Brother Kong Ah. Calm down. Don't come this way. This is a college. Not a drinking game. Call me Dean Sun. Hey hey hey. Dean Sun. I think this may not be all bad. There are benefits ah. Chow. Can TM have what benefit? Look. The reason why our academy is ranked third is not because our academy only has one SSS ranked psychic genius. And of course. There's still your SSS ranked holy light department genius sitting in the middle. Luo Hongtian didn't forget to pat a wave of Sun Wukong's ass. Not to mention. It was more or less effective. And now the situation is different. With the addition of this little guy Lin Li. Our academy holds two SSS ranked legendary talents. Isn't the top ranked holy radiance only two? Besides, what does the darkness department mean? You and I both know it in our hearts. What does it mean? It means disaster. It means destruction. It means it could explode anytime. Anywhere. Aya Aya. Kong. Sun Dean you calm down. Let's discuss it seriously. The darkness department and the holy light department is theoretically the existence of the same level. If not the elemental supernormal ability is too unstable. Say it's beyond the holy light department is not too much. These words were undeniable by Sun Wukong. The darkness department was recognized as the most powerful genera in the world. And just based on the item of overlevel challenges, it was beyond the reach of other genera. If we cultivate Lin Li into a talented person, the holy order alien realm will never be a problem. And even the legendary god king realm will likely be touched. At that time, it will be the heyday of our divine state human race. And disposing of those mongrels out there won't be a piece of cake? Sun Wukong pondered slightly for a while, his brows slightly stretched. What you said is quite like that. This is a great principle that everyone understands. But how do you guarantee that he will not go on a crooked path? Well, even if he doesn't go on a crooked path, what do you take to teach him? Darkness system supernatural ability. Is it you have contacted or I have contacted? This. Luo Hongtian scratched his head. A flash of light back. We will not. Does not mean that Lin Li unearth not. The simplest way. With the battle to improve themselves, we just do some basic guidance on the side. To ensure that it will not be corrupted by the dark origin of the power is not into it? Just you have a lot of fucking ideas. After cursing for half a day, 
Sun Wukong couldn't curse anymore, and it was useless to get angry at the current situation. Lin Li had already joined the Holy Imperial, so he had to find a way to solve the hidden dangers buried in the darkness department. As for outside comments, love what you want. Holy Royal Academy is at least the third largest academy in Divine State. When was it ever afraid of public opinion? That. Lin Li, come in for a moment. Lin Li, who was standing at the doorway, heard Sun Wukong call out to him and hurriedly pushed open the door and respectfully came to the desk, standing side by side with Luo Hong Tian. The matter has come to this. I have nothing more to say. Since you have joined the sacred royalty, you are a member of the sacred royalty. I will not dismiss you, nor will I make things difficult for you. Just as Vice President Luo said, you control your own heart, and we few old guys will also pay attention to the development of your heart from time to time, and we will help you correct it once there is a mistake. But, to put it bluntly, cultivation can only rely on yourself. It's useless for us to help you if you don't get ahead on your own. So, from now on, it will be Vice Dean Luo who will guide you, and also be considered as your responsible person. Supervisor, if you have any problems, the first thing I will do is to find him in trouble. Luo Hong Tian shrugged helplessly. It didn't matter. As long as Lin Li was able to stay, he would be amazed. Dean Sun, please rest assured. Since I, Lin Li, have joined the Sacred Imperial, I will follow the rules of the Sacred Imperial. My own heart I will guard myself. I will not submit to any power, much less to darkness. Lin Li's words came from the bottom of his heart, and that resolute look would not be faked. Hey, Sun Wukong sighed and muttered. It's a good boy ah. It's a pity to have awakened the darkness system. I believe in you. Go back and rest. Thank you, Dean Sun. Lin Li bowed 90 degrees and then walked out of the room. Student Lin. Congratulations. You finally achieved Dean Sun's approval. He he he. I didn't expect Dean Sun to accept me either. So I'll ask Senior Lu to teach me more in the future. You're welcome. That. I have a few questions I want to ask you. I don't know. Senior Lu. Feel free to ask. Know it all. Good. Let's go out and talk. Hong Tian, when Lin Li grows up, let him meet with Lu Qingyan. It's best to spar again. I want to see just how terrifying the darkness talent is. This, Kong brother ah, Lu Qingyan are middle rank 3. This kid basically has not practiced. Then when will he have to grow up to be able to cross swords? You dilettante. Is the darkness department's level crossing challenge something to talk about? Saying that, Sun Wukong turned the computer screen in front of him towards Luo Hong Tian and what was projected on it was exactly what happened when Lin Li fought Zhang Xiao. Luo Hongtian watched it with unblinking eyes, and then laughed freely. Ha ha ha. It's really worthy of being the person I have my eye on. At the first level of the primary rank, he can look beyond the fourth level of the primary rank. Although this kid across the street is stupid, but his strength won't be faked. Interesting, interesting ah. Uh. Humph. If it wasn't for this kid's amazing talent, how would I have agreed to take him in? HM, in that case, that fellow Huang Fei Baking also has his eyes on Lin Li? That old thing doesn't care if it's a darkness department. Are there fewer darkness departments hidden in Huali Academy? What's the difference between his behavior and the Dark Kingdom? The Evil Spirit Temple? Sun Wukong waved his hand, signaling for the topic to end. It's good to know some things clearly in your own heart. The minds of decent people may not always be good. Student Lin, how powerful is the darkness department? This, Lin Li thought about it, and could only explain it like this. I also just awakened not long ago. It's not very easy to explain. Let's put it this way. Two days ago I fought with a beginner level 4 Inferno System Exalt. How long did you last? Upon hearing that Lin Li had the experience of having fought over a level, Lu Yi immediately became interested. I won, and I wanted to ride on my victory. But I was stopped by a middle-ranked third-level aberrationist. Lu Yi's mouth unconsciously opened with an unbelievable face. He had heard of the Darkness Department's overstep challenge and more or less believed in it. But to challenge beyond the third level and still win? This was a bit unrealistic, right? Student Lin, bragging isn't a good behavior. I know that you're gifted and are a legend, but to fight a level 1 against a level 4 when you've never practiced before, you're more or less being a bit unrealistic. What's unrealistic about it? Just because you guys haven't seen it doesn't mean it's not there. Luo Hongtian's voice came from the distance. He had seen Lin Li's fighting process with his own eyes, and that was just the way it was. Vice President Luo. You mean that Lin Li can really fight beyond the third level? That's right. Although the other party doesn't have a high IQ, their strength doesn't lie. If it wasn't for someone interfering, Lin Boy, you would have killed the other party, right? When these words came out, the entire room fell silent. Lu Yi couldn't help but gulp. Lin Li wanted to kill someone? That's right. Crap, and admitted it? Luo Hongtian's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked at Lin Li with a scrutinizing gaze. 
Why do you want to kill him? Because he touched my bottom line and wanted to touch my family. So he must die. Lin Li's gaze was very cold. His tone was subdued and particularly imposing. Now Lu Yi understands Lin Li's murderous mind. If he were himself, he would also finish off the other party. Ha 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 ha. Good good good. Luo Hongtian sat back in the car and patted Lin Li's shoulder very happily. Manly man. Heart to be ruthless. Forced to be hard. For the enemy must not have half a mercy. In my place. I even Huali that glasses boy together to kill. Huali? Luo Hongtian realizes that he has spoken baldly and hurriedly glares at Louis. You kid didn't hear anything. I didn't say anything. Okay? Louis how refined ah. Know that he heard the words should not hear. Head nodded like an engine. Aha aha aha. Drop. Fingerprint verification successful. Welcome home. Linley drunkenly pushed open the door to his apartment room. Haphazardly felt around on the wall at the entrance. And found the switch. With a pop. The lights came on. Linley also did not have the mood to watch the configuration of the luxury apartment. After closing the door. Straight to the bed. Haphazardly took off his shoes. Shirt. Pants. And then fell down head first. Luo Hongtian you old bastard. Too able to drink you. That's right. Linley precisely with Luo Hongtian big battle before returning to the apartment. Today's portion of Luo Hongtian extraordinarily combative. Maybe really psychological pressure needs to be discharged. Beer. White. Red mixed. Linley first defeat. Defeated in a mess. All the cafeterias in the Holy Royal Academy were free. Of course, you could choose not to be free and hire a famous chef to do it. That old thing Luo Hongtian chose that way. And ended up making Linley pay in the end. 99,000 blue coins ah. Lin Li's heart really hurt. Originally, he had saved more than a million blue coins. Half a million bought a house. 600,000 left Xiaoya and Ant Life. There is less than 300,000 evening. According to the current rate of expenses, 300,000 cannot last a few days. Dit Dong, detected that the owner has a state of alcoholism. The air conditioning temperature has been adjusted to 26 degrees. Sobering tea is being prepared. What the hell? Who's talking? Lin Li sat up in a daze and looked around not realizing anything unusual. Dit Dong, hello master, I'm your intelligent butler little cancer. Just order me if you need anything. Only then did Lin Li notice that there was an intelligent voice speaker in the corner, and there was a kawaii maid sister waving at him on the screen. He he he. Lin Li giggled and raised his hand to shake it as well. Hello, little cancer. Hello master. Hiccup. Lin Li hiccuped, feeling his head getting heavier and heavier, clang and planted back, just as he closed his eyes and prepared to snore. His cell phone rang around his ears. Love you walk alone in the dark alley. Love the way you don't kneel. Hello? Which one? Brother Linley. It's Xiao Ya. Xiao Ya? Linley's brain couldn't keep up with his ears, and he slowed down for a moment before recovering. Xiao Ya, how are you and your aunt doing? Have you arrived in Tianwu City yet? Aha, uh -huh. Auntie and I. And Brother Hongi just arrived. Brother Linley, this house you bought is just too big. It's great. And Brother Hongi, arranged so many many living things for us, and installed so many smart homes that I haven't seen before. Smart homes? Linley glanced at the small cancer in the corner, then said with satisfaction, it's good that you guys are living comfortably. Thank Hani for brother. Don't worry brother. Oh right. How is it going there? I, everything went well. Arrived at the destination. I will take care of myself, but it's you. Xiao Ya, you must take care of yourself and listen to your aunt. Don't worry brother. When have I not been good? Linley smiled favorably. Immediately, he chatted with Wang Lanying for a few more minutes. This aunt of his was always thinking of him wherever he went, and gave him a lot of instructions. Finally, seeing that it was getting late, he hung up the phone. Linley half drunk and half awake staring at the ceiling. The mood is very complicated. Too many twists and turns. Around and around and finally settled here. But what could this place teach him? I'm going to my first basic course tomorrow, so I hope everything goes well and I can be of some use to myself. The next morning at 7 o'clock sharp, Little Cancer woke Linley up right on time. The beautiful and melodious song woke Linley up from his sleep, and all of today's copies of the course had been sent to his cell phone. I have to say that having an intelligent housekeeper is really great. After waking up Linley comfortably took a bath and simply organized her appearance. Finally changed into the college uniform prepared in advance in the closet, carrying a small bag and went out. Early morning sunshine is very warm. In the early fall, the leaves are slightly yellow. Birds surrounded the forest. Flowers and grasses danced with the wind. Fresh and refreshing air makes Linley very intoxicated. On the asphalt road, people come and go. Handsome men and women of all colors were dressed in academy uniforms, rushing to the teaching location. Wow. Oops. As he walked, Linley heard a sound of something falling apart. Looking backward, 
It was a pile of papers in the arms of a female student scattered on the ground. At the moment, she was crouching on the ground, picking it up in a panic. Linley in the spirit of picking up girls. Oh no. It was the principle of warm-hearted friendship, helping that girl pick up most of the documents. This student, thank you so much. Seeing that someone was helping her, the girl was politely grateful. With that, the two of them got up at the same time, their gazes intertwining. Linley thought to himself, so beautiful. And in that girl's eyes, a trace of astonishment and envy crossed, obviously touched by Linley's handsome face. Hello classmate, my name is Lu Qingyue. Thanks for your help this time, Lu Qingyue. Linley always felt that this name was somewhat familiar. Come to think of it, there was a schoolmate named Lu Qingyen, that legendary talent with SSS rank Ice Elemental Powers, also known as the Sacred Imperial Academy's treasure of the town. Oh, hello, my name is Linley. Linley, you're Linley? Lu Qingyin was creeped out when she heard Linley's name, and then her shock turned into curiosity, and curiosity turned into excitement. You, are you the Linley who awakened SSS ranked darkness system powers and joined our sacred royal academy yesterday? Crap, when did dude become so famous? He only joined sacred imperial yesterday, and today he's making himself known to everyone? Uh, I am, how did you know? My sister told me, she is particularly interested in you, all day long clamoring to find an opportunity to compete with you. But don't worry, my sister will not bully the small with the big, really if it's a competition, but also will suppress their own strength to the same level as your realm. Your sister is Lu Qingyan. Sister Lu? Yes, still really two sisters. Then please tell senior sister Lu for me. I'm also looking forward to sparring with him. No problem. By the way student Lin, which class are you assigned to now? Lin Li froze, he didn't know himself. Then he pulled out his cell phone and looked at the course schedule sent by Little Cancer. Basic course area. First year class, building 001, 001, wow, you're actually in the same class as me? Ha, huh, really? Linley thought to himself could there be such a coincidence? Of course, I'm also in the first year class, only my ranking is a bit behind. Ranking? What ranking? Linley knew less than 1% of Sacred Royal Academy, so 80% of what Lu Qingyue said, he didn't even know. Student Lin, let's talk while we walk, in order to thank you for your help. I'll tell you about the institutional system regarding Sacred Imperial College. Good. Then I'll trouble classmate Lightning. Just like that, the two of them walked side by side, laughing and being very cordial. After Lu Ching Yue's narration, the institutional system of Sacred Imperial Academy was also quite simple. There were a total of five grades. One, two, three, four, and five. Currently, Lin Li was in the first grade, just like Lu Ching Yin, like Lu Yi and Lu Ching Yin. They were in the third year. Each grade has 100 classes, 30 people per class. The higher the class ranking, the higher the talent level of the students within the class. For example, in the first year class, there are 8 SS ranked elemental adepts and 21 S ranked elemental adepts. And these 21 S ranked elemental adepts either had special elemental attributes or performed exceptionally well amongst their peers, or else they wouldn't have entered the Sacred Imperial's strongest talent class. Lu Qingyue's talent level was currently ranked 10th in the class with an S-rank Holy Light System Elemental Ability, which had an extremely high cultivation value. Looking at the entire Divine Continent, it was a Phoenix-like existence, because the SSS level Holy Light System has never appeared before. There has only been one SSS level Holy Light System genius, and that is the current president of the Holy Royal Academy, Sun Wukong. Then again, that would be an SS-grade Holy Light System adept like Lu Qingyue. It could be seen how rare this genus system was. Hey, with you joining us, Mr. Lin, I'm going to be ranked lower again. Lin Li scratched his head awkwardly. This was also unintentional. Seeing Lin Li in this state, Lu Qingyue smiled and said, I uh, I'm just kidding. The ranking isn't that important to me. It's you who will most likely be able to snatch the title of Sacred Imperial No. One with my sister. Sacred Imperial No. One, I'm not interested. This was the truth. As the saying goes, a big tree attracts the wind. Originally Linley's SSSS ranked darkness system supernatural ability was enough to attract bees and butterflies, and then fill in the title of Saint Imperial No. 1. That would probably attract how much trouble? Out of a hundred people, 99 of them were concerned about the existence of the darkness department. If this allowed Linley to ascend to the top, would that group of people not topple the sacred imperial? You're not interested, but my sister is. Rumor has it that the darkness department is the most powerful and rare elemental ability of all the genera even rarer than the Holy Light Department, and there are also people who have said that the Darkness Department is able to do cross-level challenges. It's because the Darkness Department's energies are too pure and huge. 
That's why it's so easy to go off the deep end and lose your mind. Lin Li was silent at the side. The rumors that Lu Qingyuan knew about that were all true. Crossing levels to challenge needless to say, the energy is pure and powerful needless to say. It's this going off the deep end. It was probably because Lin Li's realm was too low, so he hadn't been exposed to it for a while. Student Lin, we're here. It was only after this reminder from Lu Qingyue that Lin Li slowed down and looked ahead. This, is a classroom? This was clearly a gladiatorial arena, right? It's not a European-style gladiatorial arena, but a modern style. Large-scale martial arts rehearsal ground. Rows of towering buildings surrounded a platform nearly the size of three soccer fields. On top of that platform, there are many sports equipment and teaching tools. The style of the painting was particularly strange and bizarre. Student Lin, this field is where we do our practical training. It's usually touched on during physical training classes or skill development classes, and there's a physical fitness class this afternoon. It's very fun yo. Lu Qingyue looked at Lin Li in a very mysterious way, making the latter feel uncomfortable. He always felt that the words very fun had a very special meaning. Really, that's something to look forward to. Let's go. That building is the classroom of our first class. A whole building is oh. The two of them ascended the high platform and walked towards the golden building located in the very center. Whispering, who is this kid? Lin Li secretly said that it wasn't good. A dog blood plot was about to unfold. Was this the sadness of being the protagonist? Wu Hua, am I that familiar with you? Please call me Willow Whispering. Thank you for your cooperation. Lu Qingyue's footsteps did not stop, still walking parallel to Lin Li towards the classroom. Whispering, light speech, a taller, upright boy appeared in Lin Li's field of vision. Wu Xiu jogged to the front of the two of them, first glancing at Lin Li, then he made a vigorous spread it at Lu Qingyue. Light language, why are you always avoiding me? Is it because of this kid? Did you make a new boyfriend? Wu Hua, what do you mean new boyfriend? Have I ever had a boyfriend before? Please don't flatter yourself, okay? You really admit that this kid is your boyfriend. Me? When did I admit it? This is the new student in our class. I happened to meet him on the road. So I brought him here. The more Lu Qingyue said, the more wrong she felt. What the hell did she explain to him? What do I have to explain to you? What's the relationship between the two of us to do with you? Trouble please disappear in front of my eyes. Otherwise I will not be polite. The more Lu Qingyue said, the more angry she became. Directly stretching out her palm, a ball of golden light converged. Her strength of the sixth level of the primary stage was visible. Light language. Don't get excited. I, I just care about you. Since it's a new classmate, then I also have the responsibility to care about it isn't it? Seeing that Lu Qingyue was going to play for real, Wu Xiu hurriedly came over to Lin Li's side and made him a shield. New classmate. How do you call me? Just now I was too impulsive. Do you mind if I borrow your flesh for a while? Borrow my flesh for a while? Why does that sound so awkward? Uh, no. Don't mind. My name is Lin Li. You. Crap. What's your name? Wu Xiu was directly startled and hurriedly took two steps back, keeping a certain distance from Lin Li. Che, just like you still worthy of pestering me? Hearing Lin's name scares you to such a state. You really disgrace our class. Lu Qingyue took advantage of the situation and ruthlessly mocked Wu Xiu. No. Whisper listen to me. This kid is a legendary talent of the darkness department. How dangerous is he you know? How can you stay with this kind of person? Lin Li's face instantly fell. What do you mean this kind of person? What's wrong with people like me? Did you eat your family's rice or drink your family's water? Wu Xiu, keep your mouth shut. What's wrong with the darkness department? You're not worthy to be compared to the darkness department? Your talent is nothing in the eyes of Lin. You still have the nerve to mock her? Lin Li silently nodded for Lu Qingyue. This chick said it beautifully. I, anyway, this kid is still dangerous. What if he's plotting against you? Lin Li raised both eyes. This hat was not something he would wear himself. Even if he had this thought, he couldn't admit it. Wu Xiu, how many years can you be sentenced for planting evidence? Ha, Wu Hua coldly laughed, although there is still some scorn in his gaze, but the goddess presence momentum must be taken up. What, said to your heart? Don't think you can seduce my goddess just because you're a little bit pretty. So what if you're in the darkness department? Just because you're a darkness, you don't deserve to seduce goddess Willow. She's a pure holy light. What the hell? I'm a bit of a ladies man and I'm seducing people? That's a bit of an insult. What man could stand that? What about you? What kind of pathetic genus are you? Humph. That's definitely not as good as you. Demon King Lin Li. I'm just a poor SS ranked wood system. Put. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue were quite taciturn and laughed out at the same time. I thought you were being modest. So you really are trash. Ha ha ha. Wu Xiu. I'm so happy that you finally recognized your position of strength. Ha ha. The two people's behavior successfully attracted the attention of the surrounding crowd. 
A lot of people who are not afraid of the big things have followed the music. Don't know what in the music. Anyway, follow the music can watch a good show. Wu Xiu is now unable to cry in anger. To move a stone to stone their own feet is also a kind of skill. Originally wanted to satirize a wave of Linley, did not expect to be the other side took it, and incidentally also gave himself two slaps. That was called aloud. Linley, I'm going to fight you one on one. Do you dare accept my challenge? Lu Qingyue frowned and put away her smile, realizing that things were a bit bad. This Wu Xiu was the same as herself as a primary level 6 exalt, and regardless of what elemental genus he was, it wasn't something that Lin Li could handle. Wu Xiu, do you still want some face? Lin Li has just awakened in less than two days. While well, you've been awakened for half a year and have been practicing for such a long time, how did you manage to have the cheek to challenge student Lin? This time, the surrounding melon-eating crowd sort of understood. So it was Lin Li, who possessed SSS rank darkness elemental ability, who was up against Wu Xiu, who possessed SSS rank with elemental ability. The crowd suddenly reacted, brushing their eyes in unison. The crowd suddenly reacted and took two large steps back in unison. Some were even so frightened that they directly broke away from the crowd and went to class. This person is the legendary talent of the SSS rank darkness department? How did he appear in our academy? I also just heard about it. It seems like Vice Dean Luo brought him back. And Dean's son agreed. No one knows exactly what's going on. Geez, by bringing the darkness department to the academy, doesn't our safety matter? In case Linley becomes demonized, then we'll be in trouble? No. We can't let Lin Li fight. I've heard that the darkness department was demonized in battle. Damn it. Wu Xiu. Want to get us killed? Wu Xiu. Lin Li. Asterisk carrot carrot asterisk. Well said. Lu Qingyue. Now I don't have to worry. As expected. The eyes of the crowd were sharp. And the guilt was instantly covered on Wu Xiu. A group of people split their heads and blamed him well. They also didn't say that it was because they were afraid of Lin Li's demonization. They just said that Wu Xiu was shameless. A level 6 old man beating up a level 1 newcomer. That face skin was simply thicker than a city wall. Stop. Halt. Stop. Wu Xiu couldn't take it anymore and directly shouted for the people around him to stop. I won't fight. Okay? I'm wrong. Okay? Where are you guys like this? He's the one who's dark. Not to mention robbing my goddess. He also taunted me. And the most annoying thing is that you guys are still criticizing me. I'm not playing anymore. 2TM bullying. At the end of his words, Wu Xiu sniffled and cried as he directly fled the teaching area. Before leaving, he didn't forget to leave Lin Li a look. Lin Li thought to himself, get, pulled another hate. Being a protagonist is tiring. Alright student Lin, it's getting late. We should go to class. Lin Li nodded his head and followed Lu Qingyue inside the golden building. Today is a great honor. We've welcomed a new student. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Lin Li, come introduce yourself to everyone. The beautiful teacher on the stage was named Shui Yayun around 30 years old, a strong intermediate rank 9, and the homeroom teacher of the first year class of the Sacred Royal Academy. Her ability was nothing to write home about. Her body was nothing to write home about. And importantly, her ability to control the scene was even more nothing to write home about. Just like Lin Li this kind of SSS level darkness system alien. Change other teachers early hemp claws. Welcome? Welcome ah. Purely to their own class placed a time bomb. No. Should be a nuclear bomb. If anything happens to this, the first one to fall is himself. But if the academy's top management can't solve the problem, what can he, a teacher, do to solve it? Take one step at a time. If something goes wrong, it's also his own bad luck. Moreover, there is Luo Hongtian as a guarantor. There should not be too big a problem. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. Hello everyone. My name is Lin Li. I'm 18 years old exactly. A native of Park City. My special ability is the SSSS rank darkness system. I know that everyone is very resistant to this genus, but to me, any genus has his value of existence. I, Lin Li, can assure you all here that as long as you don't mess with me, I won't mess with or threaten you. I'll take care of the negative effects of the darkness lineage myself, and the demonization thing will never happen to me. So, clear everyone to trust me, and I'm eager to coexist peacefully with my classmates, progressing together and contributing to the divine continent together. Slap. A not too loud applause came. And the person leading the charge was definitely Lu Qingyue, followed by the class teacher, Chui Yao Yun. This speech of Lin Li's penetrated her heart. She also understands that Lin Li is a good boy. Awakening the darkness faculty is not something he would like to do. One-sided resistance, ostracism, will only make him sink into the mud, thus generating resentment, easier to demonize. It would be better to touch him with warmth and care for him. Perhaps, Lin Li's heart would improve as a result? Student Lin's speech was very good. My point is the same. 
The darkness department doesn't mean that it will be 100% demonized. There are plenty of people who are demonized by other genera. We shouldn't look at student Linley with a different eye. Since he was able to join the sacred royalty it means that the dean trusts him, and the school leaders trust him, so we should trust him as well. Teacher Chui is right. From now on, Linley is my good friend. Whoever gets on his bad side is getting on my bad side, and whoever gets on my bad side. Saying this, Lu Qingyue looked around at all the students present, especially the group of people who were ranked at the back of the rankings and whose strength and status were inferior to Lu Qingyue's. They had a jolt of excitement. To have a problem with her? To mess with her would be to mess with Lu Qingyuan. Just kidding. Looking at the entire Sacred Royal Academy, who dares to mess with Lu Qingyuan? Ah, uh, Mr. Lin Li, go find a seat. Chui Yayun didn't know what to say. Since Lu Qingyuan had stepped in, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Okay teacher. Lin Li walked down from that ridiculously large podium, and it just so happened that the seat beside Lu Qingyue was empty, so he simply sat there. Lin Li swore that this so-called first grade classroom was definitely the most luxurious and outrageous classroom he had ever seen in his life. This entire building was 30 floors high, and the first floor was where their basic curriculum was taught. Well, hallowed education. The one meter high podium covers an area of more than 100 square feet. There were a total of 30 luxurious leather reclining chairs underneath, the level of which was slightly lower than the podium, but it was just right. Next to each reclining chair stood an attendant. Yes an attendant dedicated to serving the students, but not every classroom, not every student, had a valet. It was limited to the first three classes of each grade, and when it came to the fourth and fifth grades, there was no need for a valet. This was because the fourth and fifth year students wouldn't be studying within the academy at all, but instead, they had traveled to the border regions of the divine state, participating in practical teaching. Although it was dangerous and would face vicious alien beasts, it was something that every alien had to go through. As the saying goes, how can one see the rainbow without experiencing the storm? Without experiencing the trials of life and death, how could one ascend to the position of the strong? Lin, Senior Lin, may I ask what you would like to drink? The male attendant standing beside Lin Li appeared particularly nervous, as he himself was an exalt, and even though he was only a level B talent, he knew very well in his heart what the darkness department meant. Lin Li shook his head, signaling that he wasn't drinking anything. All right. Then we'll start today's basic cultivation class next. Last time we talked about the power of the elemental origin. Let's review it in this lesson. And by the way, bring in the new students. As we all know, the 10 major elements are holy light, darkness, ice, inflammation, thunder, wind, gold, earth, wood, and superpower. And the cultivation level division of all the elements is the same, which are beginner, intermediate, higher, super, holy and the legendary god king realm. Currently, no one in the elemental world has yet to come into contact with the Holy Order and Divine King Realms, and President Wang of the Holy Radiance Academy is currently at the 10th level of the Super Order, and is only one step away from the Holy Order, but this step is far from being as simple as we think it is, and as long as President Wang is able to take the lead in stepping out of this step, the elemental world will usher in a new era of change. So, let's talk about the cultivation methods of elemental abilities, the first and most direct method, battle. Combat can stimulate the potential power of the alien, strengthen and break through the limits of their own tolerance, thus achieving the effect of promotion. The second is to obtain the specified elemental psychic ability by absorbing elemental crystals or exotic beast crystals, thus achieving the effect of promotion. But this cultivation method is not recommended by the teacher for you to use, at least not before the middle stage. First of all, whether it's elemental crystals or exotic beast crystals, they are extremely rare and precious. Not only does it require the consumption of a lot of financial resources, but it also faces a huge risk. The matter of grabbing the crystals happens almost every day, because this kind of thing is simply the supreme treasure for the less gifted exotics, and with the help of the crystals, they will save a lot of cultivation time, thus achieving the purpose of rapid promotion, thus achieving the purpose of rapid promotion. But this kind of promotion is far less solid than relying on one's own cultivation. External forces are after all external forces. You need a certain amount of time to integrate and refine. During this period, if you are not careful, you will be backfired by the external forces, thus harming yourself. So the teacher advocates for you to rely on the third method of cultivation. The third method is also the most common and solid cultivation method. Gathering energy. By absorbing and gathering the natural elemental energies in heaven and earth, you can strengthen your own elemental supernormal abilities and break through the shackles of each realm. Everyone here, none of you are geniuses among geniuses. This cultivation method is very simple for you, and the speed of cultivation will be 10 times faster. 
a hundred times faster than lower ranked gifted psychics, the higher the talent, the faster the speed of cultivation. Saying this, Chuiya Yun unconsciously shifted her gaze to Linli, and the few students around her also shifted their gaze to Linli. Linli spat madly in his heart. What are you guys looking at? Ahem. Linli students should not have come into contact with these three cultivation methods. The teacher really does not know much about the darkness department. This third cultivation method is not suitable for the darkness department teacher cannot guarantee. Not like Linli students to test some? It's just as well to let the other students see the special features of a SSS ranked gifted alien. Chuiya Yun's move instantly aroused the interest of all the students present. They were also eager to see what was so special about the energy held by a legendary level darkness department. Linli always felt something awkward. Was this cultivation method really applicable to him? Where did the darkness element come from in the middle of the day? However, since the other teacher had said so, he couldn't refuse. What if it worked? So, Linli got up and went to the center of the podium. Chui Yun instructed Linli on the side, finding a soft cushion to lay on the ground and sitting cross-legged. Adjust the rhythm of your breathing. Stabilize your mind. Establish a connection with the foreign energy in your body. And try to perceive the dark elements in the heavens and earth from the inside out. Then converge, attract, and infuse them into your body. At this moment, Chuiya Yun was more or less nervous, while the 20 or so students under the stage were even more nervous. Don't make any mistakes, the darkness department storming was notoriously terrifying, and everyone here was very life thirsty. Time passed by, and drops of sweat gradually seeped out from Lin Li's forehead. He followed Chuiya Yun's method and used the darkness element in his body to sense the surrounding darkness element, but after half a day of sensing, there was nothing. Not a single trace of the darkness system could be sensed. Instead, it was the other genus elements that were all over the place. Everywhere. Lin Li was puzzled. Shouldn't the darkness element be like other elements? Filling up the sky and earth? Night? Day didn't affect the elemental changes. Because there were shadowy places during the day. And there were also places of light in the night. But the outrageous thing was, despite how Lin Li guided and sensed, there was just no darkness element between heaven and earth. How can this still be played? Linli suddenly remembered something. The last time he fought with Zhang Xiao, his own dark energy was able to devour his inflammatory energy, and the dark impact after devouring it was even more powerful. Did that mean that he could utilize the dark energy in his body to absorb all the genus energy in this world? How would I know if I didn't try? This time, Linli no longer picked and chose, deliberately looking for darkness elements, but rather came to the rescue, frantically absorbing elemental energies within a hundred meter radius. Chui Yun obviously sensed that the surrounding elemental supernormal energies were surging wildly, and the target points were all Lin Li. Lin, what is Lin Li doing? Absorbing elemental alien energy of all attributes? My god, is he crazy? Absorbing elemental psychic energy that doesn't belong to him will cause energy backlash. Why do I feel like the alien energy Lin Li is radiating is getting stronger and stronger? The students under the stage were talking a lot, and Lu Qingyue couldn't have been more excited to see this scene. Lin Li's performance was truly extraordinary, far beyond the range of common knowledge. On the other hand, Chui Yayun on the stage had the opposite attitude to Lu Qingyue. Even though he hadn't come into contact with the darkness department, he was extremely worried when he saw Lin Li in this state. The darkness department was capable of devouring enemy skills in battle, but could it also do so in cultivation? That was still the case. Lin Li's absorption speed grew faster and faster, and the elements of heaven and earth within a hundred meter radius were ransacked. Linli concentrated the mixed elements he had absorbed together and sank down to the Dantian location. It was rapidly absorbed by the origin darkness force, and Linli himself clearly sensed that the energy in his body was growing rapidly, about to break through to a bottleneck, and that bottleneck didn't need to be guessed. It was the bottleneck of the second level of the primary stage. Ka 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 ka. As a cracking sound came from Linli's consciousness, finally, the aura of the second level of the primary rank came out through his body, stunning all the old iron present. Oh no, it was the teachers and students. Phew, after the breakthrough, Linley felt his entire body filled with power and exhaled a deep breath of turbid air. Thank you, Mr. Shui, for pointing out that although the cultivation process has changed slightly, this method is quite applicable to me. A slight change? Shui Yun held a bunch of words in her stomach, but in the end, nothing came out. The darkness department was able to absorb the powers of all the genera, transforming them into its own. And the most incredible thing was that there were no side effects at all. So it was easy to break through? How many days has Linli been awakened? Less than three days? And he's already at the second level? Linli, you really are gifted. Now my sister has a challenging opponent. Hiss. Lu Qingyin's words were another major blowout. Lu Qingyin had her sights set on Linli? That's right. The two were both SSS ranked. Who would serve whom? 
and by the looks of it, the cultivation speed that Linli had shown was quite a bit faster than Lu Qingyan. The other party had awakened his powers for almost a year and a half, and was currently a middle-ranked third-level powerhouse. Lu Qingyan, who had awakened ten days later than him, was only at the sixth level of the preliminary order. This gap, it was clear at a glance. Ha, Mr. Lin, you really gave me a big surprise. Congratulations on your breakthrough. Return to your seat first. Chui Yun didn't know whether to be happy or sad. The unknowns brought by the darkness system were too high, and this was still the third, the most common and slowest baseline cultivation method. So if the second one was also useful, my goodness, Chui Yun marveled to herself. If Linli wouldn't lose his mind to the darkness in the future, then within 15 years at most, or even less, he would surely surpass the 16s and ascend to the top of the divine state. Linli's first lesson of the school year ended like this. The second half of the class Chui Yayun spoke about basic knowledge, and Linli listened quite attentively, because he realized that a lot of the knowledge could be instilled and used in the darkness department. But of course there were also a lot of undesirable things. The specifics would require Linli to practice and discover on his own. After class, Lu Qingyin took the initiative to invite Linli to lunch, mainly because there was someone who wanted to meet him. Who else could there be? Lu Qingyin. But before the two of them could walk out of the classroom, three figures stopped in front of Linli. Wu Hua, you're not finished, are you? Lu Qingyin's face gradually turned cold. Wu Xiu's deadpan face really touched her bottom line. Goddess Lu, don't misunderstand. We are interested in student Linli, not you. A boy with blue hair and a delicate face spoke up. Interested in me? What? Do you guys want to challenge me? In terms of face value and aura, Linli hadn't convinced anyone. I just like dealing with smart people. Let me introduce myself. My name is Si Yufeng. SS level gold elemental ability. Currently ranked 4th in the class. Influenced by you. Temporarily 5th. My name is Yao Tong. Currently ranked 6th. SS level wind elemental psychic ability. Linli looked towards Yao Tong beside Si Yufeng. This guy's face value isn't bad. He's still tall. And has one third of Lin Li's aura. Lin Li, to be fair, I'll give you a month's time. We've all seen your cultivation speed. In a month, it's possible for you to reach the fourth or even the fifth level of the beginner's order. While I, see you phone, am currently at the eighth level of the beginner's order. He, Yao Tong, is at the seventh level of the beginner's order, and Wu Hui is at the sixth level of the beginner's order. If you can defeat all of us, from now on, the first year class, you call the shots and we will also escort you. The darkness department is dangerous in the eyes of other students, but for us, it's a chance to chase after the strongest. You, if you lose, stay away from my goddess. If we lose, I, I'll let you get closer to my goddess. Wu Xiao, if you fart again, I'll tear your mouth apart. Lin Li, Wu Xiao, Si Yu Feng, Yao Tong were all startled by Lu Qingyue's action. Is this still that goddess Lu? Immediately, Lu Qingyue also realized that she was out of character and huffed and puffed as she walked out of the classroom. I accept your challenge. One month later, see you there. After saying that, Lin Li also followed him out. Ah, uh, classmate Lu, calm down. I'll treat you to this meal at noon today. Seeing Lu Qingyue's bulging appearance, Lin Li really had no choice. Coax it. The relationship is not in place. Coaxing is strange and embarrassing. But coax it. He was at least a boy. And it always felt awkward not to make a move. No need. Mr. Lin. I asked you out this time, so next time you can treat me. Ask me out? Linley didn't hear anything else. His attention was focused on these two words. Is it possible that Lu Qingyue really has a crush on her? He he he. My charm that has nowhere to go. Lu Qingyue also seeks to taste. Small face a red explanation. You do not misunderstand. I mean, we are also considered friends. The future is not a very normal thing to treat dinner well. There are to and fro. Is the way to get along between friends. That's right. That's it. Lu Qingyue felt that her explanation was quite perfect, but Lin Li didn't think so. Ordinary friends don't eat every day. As the saying goes, once you're born, twice you're acquainted, three times you're on the bed and turning over. TSK. Women nah, the mouth is not the heart. The two of them traveled at a fast pace, and in a short while they arrived at the college dining hall, Lu Qingyue is definitely a rich woman. Without saying anything, directly booked the largest, best private room, invited a top water cream chef. The, the appearance price was 39. 9W. Linley could not wait to buckle the pot on the chef's head. Eat your ancestor's gold body? 399. 000. Don't want a billion. Naiha Lu Qingyin is willing to act as that big injustice seed. People didn't care about it. It's not good for them to blindly get involved. Linley, you took the challenge from Si Yu Feng and the others? 
Uh, I did. You're confident? See Yu Fang is a beginner level 8 alien. Even though you have a month's time, you can. Down the line Lu Qingyue didn't have the heart to say anything. He had seen Lin Li's amazing cultivation speed. But in a month's time, it would only be level 4 or 5 at the end of the day. And level 6 at the top of the day. Could this beat an 8th level alien? Don't worry. I'm confident. Legendary level darkness. With those few heads of rotten garlic. How could they be a match for student Lin Li? A beautifully composed voice came from outside the room, and Lin Li and Lu Qingyue rose at the same time, the former out of respect for the strong, the latter out of respect for his sister. Sister, you're here. Sister Lu, nice to meet you. A figure that was even more perfect and refreshing than Lu Qingyue appeared in the private room. The two weren't too far apart in terms of facial features, both being one of the top big beauties. However, Lin Li could feel a sense of maturity, confidence, and a sense of verve that looked down on all beings from Lu Qingyan. Worthy of being a legendary ice talent. Student Lin. Nice to meet you. Lu Qingyan extended her hand and politely shook Lin Li's. On the side. Lu Qingyan was as if she had seen a ghost. Pointing at the two of them. Unable to hold back a word for half a day. Light language student. What are you? Don't mind this girl. Please sit down. Lin Li obediently sat down. While Lu Qingyue also finally held back a sentence. Sister. Aren't you a clean freak for boys? When have you touched a boy in all these years? Lin Li thought to himself. Crap, this woman has ringworm? Ha, huh? no, this situation is more like a lesbian. Lin Li looked at Lu Qingyin, then at Lu Qingyan. Ha, huh? dog blood plot, I like it. Light language, isn't your allowance too abundant these days? Do you want me to talk to my family to help lighten your load a bit? Lu Qingyan picked up the teacup, gently sipped and said nonchalantly, Don't don't, I shut up not good. Lu Qingyin sat down in resignation, dryly looking at the two exchanging words. Lin student. Your talent interests me. Since the reboot of the era until now, eight SSS class legendary talents have appeared in the ten major elements. Counting you. It's nine. The darkness department and the holy light department are known as the strongest genera. But I don't think so because I fought with people from the darkness department. Linley, woman, you've successfully caught my attention. Sister, how come I didn't even know that? Lu Qingyue didn't hold back and interjected. More than a month ago, on that trip back to the clan, I met the people from the demonized legion, and then, then, I fought with them, the other party's middle ranked second grade strength, I am also middle ranked second grade, in the end, I lost, what, Lu Qingyin was so scared that she hurriedly got up and came to Lu Qingyin's side, flipping this and that, don't flip it, I'm not hurt, then how did you say you lost, because the other party ran away, ran away, you mean you feel defeated because you didn't catch your opponent, Willow Senpai? No, Lu Qingyan put down the teacup in her hand and paused, because he didn't want to kill me. Hiss, the two of them sucked in a breath of cold air. The other party didn't want to kill her? In other words, the other party can kill her? After that battle, I have a new view of the darkness department. Challenging across levels, it really can be done. Lin Li nodded, this was something she knew best. He was able to defeat the fourth rank when he was at the first rank, so now that he was at the second rank, he didn't dare to say that he could beat the sixth rank. But fighting against the fifth rank shouldn't be much of a problem, right? After all, the higher the rank, the higher the purity of the elemental powers held. After leveling up, the strength is not a 1 plus 1 effect, but an N asterisk N effect. That's why such things as overlevel challenges had to be determined on a case by case basis. So, school sister Ryu noticed me? That's right. I wanna wait until you've grown for a while after that, and compete with the darkness department openly and honestly. It's also a way for me to recognize the gap between the elements and the elements. Lindley was silent for a while, and then thought of something and laughed. Senior sister Lou really took great pains. In order to help me grow, she sent someone to challenge me. Whom? Lu Qingyue had just stuffed a shrimp into her mouth when she heard this inexplicable sentence from Lindley. What sent someone? Sent who? Not only is student Lin's talent strong, his logical thinking ability is also marvelous. Lu Qingyan peeled a shrimp and sent it to Lu Qingyin's plate and continued. It can't be said to be sent. It's just a bit of pushing behind the scenes. You wouldn't care anyway, wouldn't you? Lin Li smiled. He really didn't care. Not only that, it was quite good to have someone challenge oneself. Even if it was just an occasional test of strength standards, it was good to recognize one's own strength positioning. The next few people spoke much less, as Lin Li's attention was focused on the food. More than $300,000 of food. It hurt not to eat it, and it was really quite delicious. The chef was cooking while the three of them ate. Halfway through the meal, Lu Qingyan said she had something to do, so she left first, wishing Lin Li a victory in a month's time. Then there were two eaters left. 
Linley always adhered to the CD-ROM action, and when the chef didn't stop, he didn't stop. Then the chef was confused. A meal has been cooking for more than three hours, and Linley is still eating. His job is to make sure that the guests don't get enough to eat, and he definitely doesn't stop. Lu Qingyin has long been defeated, eaten full, but Linley refused to give in, and the water cream chef, more than 50 empty plates stacked on top of each other, looking dumbfounded Lu Qingyin, he thought to himself that this person hadn't eaten in hundreds of years, good thing there are classes in the afternoon, there is not enough time for Linley to bar down, near the edge of throwing up, the two left the academy cafeteria and rushed back to the teaching area, I'm glad that a new student has come today, I'm too lazy to talk about superfluous nonsense, the old rules, warm-up exercise, 500 push-ups for one person, what the hell, Linley's entire body was numb, 500 push-ups, and a fucking warm-up, is this practicing your body or your life, move, move it up, 500 push-ups for the boys, 500 sit-ups for the girls, Li Fei Yu a, the 1 meter 9 tall, burly, round-faced, inch-haired physical fitness teacher, shouted at the crowd, all of the students, except for Lin Li and Lu Qingyue, had already begun to move, the attendants had wiped down the exercise equipment beforehand, holding clean towels in their left hands and high-quality mineral water in their right, always ready to serve, student Lin, student Lu, why aren't you two moving, Li Fei Yue saw these two people not moving at all, curiously walked up, when he saw Lin Li's stomach that was like an October pregnancy were shocked, classmate Lin, how many months are you, Lin Li scratched her head in embarrassment, forcibly resisting the urge to vomit, she said back, I'm sorry Mr. Li, I just got pregnant today, Li Fei Yue's head was filled with black lines, he looked at Lu Qing Yue again, and didn't have the heart to say anything when the words came out of his mouth, you two ah, knowing that there is a physical fitness class in the afternoon still eat like this, especially you Lin, don't hold it in, grab it and go vomit, seeing Lin Li's face that was almost suffocating purple, Li Fei Yue really couldn't look at it anymore, if he held it in any longer, he would suffocate, as soon as Lin Li heard that he could throw up, he scurried towards the toilet, the attendant responsible for taking care of Lin Li hurriedly followed, 10 minutes later, Lin Li walked back to the training ground in relief, he felt much better after throwing up, but it was a pity that those precious ingredients, he had thrown up, and more than a hundred thousand dollars had gone down the drain, is it better now? Lin Li nodded his head and shook it again, if he was better he would have to do 500 push-ups, the heavens are above, he Lin Li at most 200, 500 is also too outrageous, then he looked at the other students, basically they had already finished their warm-up exercises and were being waited on by the attendants, Humph, less pretending at me, I can tell at a glance if there's anything wrong with your body, 800 push-ups, get ready, 800, how come it's gone up again, Lin Li cried his heart out, are you a pussy, grind it out, hurry up and do it, dawdle for another thousand, Li Fei Yue was worthy of being a physical fitness teacher, his temper was explosive enough, Lin Li gritted his teeth, since he couldn't mix it up then let's do it, as long as it's not exhausting, it's exhausting to death, senior Lin, the equipment has been wiped clean, good, 800 is 800, prepare the ambulance, Lin Li directly plopped down on the mat, arms pushed upwards, toes on the ground, back 360 degrees flush, the standard push-ups began, 1, 2, 3, 100, 101, 102, 200, 201, 202, 300, 301, 302, ha, huh? how come he wasn't tired after 300, Lin Li was surprised to find that he could still do it, although his limbs were a bit sore and swollen, this merely represented the start of the movement, and according to this momentum, five or six hundred shouldn't be much of a problem, the valet very thoughtfully wiped Lin Li's sweat, and cheered and encouraged him, five hundred, five hundred and one, five hundred and two, six hundred, six hundred and one, six hundred and two, finally, Lin Li couldn't support himself any longer, it seemed that the enhanced physique from breaking through to the second level of the primary stage could only be maintained to this limit, further on, every time he got up was torture, what, can't do it anymore, it's only over 600, are you even worse than a girl, Li Fei Yue's voice sounded from the back, so it turned out that this guy had been paying attention to his movements, but if you can't do it, you can't do it, and taunting motivation doesn't help, right, Lin Li, if you give up now, what should you do in the future, the darkness system ability is already spurned by the world, the road ahead will definitely be full of thorns, if your heart is not stable and your perseverance is uncertain, what can you take to go on? Are you so willing to be despised by others and be coldly looked at? Li Fei Yue's words caused Lin Li's movements to stall. Yes, if you can't even overcome this difficulty, 
if you can't even break through this limit, then what else could one do in the future? Even though Linley's initial goal was to make money to cure his sister's illness, but when he truly possessed a legendary level talent ability, all of that would change. What's wrong with darkness? Does the dark department deserve to be despised and spurned? The Buddha fights for the incense. People fight for the breath. If even their own cannot grasp the dignity, why let others leave you dignity? 651. 652. Linley clenched his teeth, doing it downward by sheer force of will. What Linley didn't notice was that behind him, Li Feiyue had long since revealed a look of satisfaction. A SSS class legendary talent. His potential is truly extraordinary. If you do other people, the first day of physical fitness class, 300, 400 push-ups on the ground. Don't tell me how sports students are. Where are so many sports students? Since the restart of the new era, human beings rely more and more on science and technology and supernatural powers. For the enhancement of physical fitness, ordinary colleges and universities have long been abandoned. Moreover, these days, the food conditions are good. Nutrition to keep up. Physical fitness cannot keep up. So just to the college of the new. How can do down 500 push-ups? Just now Li Feiyue reported 800. Pressure did not intend to let Lin Li do down. But when he saw Lin Li do up to 3 or 400 without gasping for breath, he knew that this kid wasn't simple. Instead of letting him stop, it was better to try and see where Lin Li's limits were. This was also considered a way to hone his heart. 701. 702. A fiery pain came from Lin Li's limbs, a sign of overload. Many students had already gathered around. Even Yao Tong, who was his opponent, and Si Feng Yu had some admiration in their eyes. Lin Li, go for it, there are less than 80 left. Lu Qingyue was the first to speak, followed by the other students. This spirit had indeed infected them, but there were still quite a few others, who chose to look on with cold eyes, because in their hearts, the darkness department was still a sinful existence. Time passed minute by minute, and the numbers kept growing in the monitor. Finally, 800 push-ups were completed. Lin Li couldn't hold on and plopped down on the ground. It was so weak that it couldn't be done. Li Feiyue led the applause and heartily exclaimed, Student Lin Li, congratulations on completing 800 push-ups. I take back what I just said. You, very manly. He he he. Thanks for the compliment. All right, everyone except student Lin Li. Start the 30-kilometer long-distance running training. Ah, a sound of lamentation came from them. Clearly this 30-kilometer long run was strenuous for them. You, Send student Lin Li to the recovery room and come back an hour later to continue the class. Yes, teacher Li. The attendant agreed respectfully, then picked up Lin Li and walked towards the recovery room. Senior Lin. Actually, you can complete your physical training with the help of an alien ability. With the help of alien energy? How do I make use of it? For example, the push-ups you just did. Attaching your body's dark supernatural energy to your muscles. When you exercise, it will drastically reduce the consumption of physical energy. This point, all students know this. All know? Then you're damn well just telling me now? Lying in the recovery instrument Linley full of black lines. Early to say. Early to say still to lie in this ghost place? By the way, recognize half a day still do not know your name? My name is Gong Guang. Lin Senior call me Xiao Guan will be good. Obviously you're also an exalted. Why did you come to Sacred Imperial as a squire? Wouldn't joining another guild be a better choice? Gong Guang's complexion was slightly gloomy. And he smiled bitterly as he returned because Sacred Royal gives higher conditions, and as a squire in Sacred Royal Academy, we will obtain a large amount of considerable income every year, and in addition, our families will also be sheltered by the Academy, and our safety can be guaranteed, so it turns out, if what Linley had awakened was also a sub-B grade gifted ability, perhaps, the fate would have been comparable to Gong Wang's, alright senior Lin, one hour is up, we should go back, Linley moved his body, his limbs not so stiff, it would be good to try the method described by Gong Guang for the next 30 kilometer run. Once Lin Li returned to the training ground, Li Feiyue had him return to the long distance running team. In fact, there was no need to run in circles on the field. After all, this kind of exercise equipment like a treadmill wasn't worth a few dollars. Li Feiyue thought that treadmill exercise had no soul. Too mechanical, rigid, simply cannot mobilize the enthusiasm of the students. Goddamn motivation. Running in the sun is motivation? The afternoon sun was extraordinarily hot, and many students' foreheads were already covered with sweat drops. This was the time to compare the superiority of elemental abilities. Several students with ice-based elemental abilities directly attached a thin film of ice to the surface of their bodies, and no matter what, they couldn't feel the heat. Lin Li was so envious. Half a day passed in a flash. The hellish physical training also finally ended. Lin Li dragged his tired body back inside the apartment and comfortably took a bath. 
Li Fei Yuai was really too perverted. After 30 kilometers of long distance running, there were 300 frog jumps, 300 pull ups, 300. Don't say it. Saying too much is tears. It's a good thing that there is only one physical fitness class a week. Otherwise, Linley would have wanted to die. Little cancer. What's in tomorrow's class? Drip dong. There's no relevant course information for tomorrow. No classes? How can that be? Linley picked up her cell phone and flipped through it. There were really no classes. Not only tomorrow. There were no classes for the next three days. Then Linley figured out that the next three days were exclusive elemental department courses. And of the six academies, which academy had a darkness department course? Little cancer. Is there a place within the academy that is exclusively for students to gather energy? Dri Dong. Of course there is. There are practice rooms within the academy that are exclusively for students. The higher the talent level, the better the treatment of the practice room environment. Wow. Worthy of being the third largest super god academy in divine state. Well thought out enough. After taking a bath Linley looked at the time. It was only 7 o'clock. Although he was a little tired. It wasn't time to go to bed. As the saying goes. An inch of time is an ounce of gold. One must intensify their cultivation. See Feng Yu is an early stage 8th level powerhouse. And will probably be even further ahead in a month's time. If he doesn't try hard. What if he loses? At least it was a legendary talent. Losing to a SS ranked gold system. That would be too much of a fall. Little cancer. Turn off all the lights. I'm going to cultivate. Okay. The lights have been turned off. HM. Didn't the lights turn off? How come it's still so bright? Linley looked around. The thick curtains had clearly blocked all the moonlight, and there was no longer any light in the room, but his own vision was still bright. There was basically no effect whatsoever. He he he. So the darkness department has this benefit? Linley gave a nod to his elemental genus, then sat down on the ground and earnestly cultivated. With the guidance of the darkness department, the elemental energy within a radius of 200 meters continuously surged into Linley's body. The entire process was, converge, absorb, grow, purify. Converge, absorb, grow. Linley enjoyed the feeling of cultivation so much that he lost the concept of time. By the time he opened his eyes again, it was already 9 o'clock in the morning of the next day. After a whole night of cultivation, Linley clearly felt that he wasn't far from the third level of the primary order. In two days at most, he would be able to break through. Aya, uh, how cozy. Linley got up and moved his body, feeling very free. Although he hadn't slept all night, his spirit was unusually high. Chui Yayun had taught in class that it was easier to replenish one's spiritual energy with deep energy gathering cultivation than with sleep. However, before arriving at the sixth level of the middle rank, it was best not to cultivate every day and sleep every now and then. Otherwise, the body would develop abnormalities and the biological clock would be completely messed up. Love the way you walk down dark alleys alone. Love the way you don't kneel. The cell phone rang, an unfamiliar number. After answering it, a familiar voice came out. Lin Boy, is there no class? Master Luo? Yeah, there's no class. I was planning to go to the training room to practice. You found a suitable cultivation method for yourself? That's great. Saves me a lot of trouble. Isn't this thanks to your blessing? Grand Master Luo. He he he. Buy me a drink twice more and you'll have all the blessings. Kid, I'll be waiting for you in building 002's training room. Breaking through to the second level of the primary rank, it's time to develop your own skill moves. Linley's face was delighted. Luo Hong Tian was going to personally instruct himself? Count on this old thing to be a bit responsible. Alright Master Luo, I'll go over there. Wait, carry a few pieces of beer on the way here. What kind of crap drinks are put in the practice room? Old drunkard. After hanging up the phone, Lin Li changed into casual clothes and hurried out. On the way, at Luo Hong Tian's request, beer and liquor and peanuts. Fully prepared. Riding an electric bike zip 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 to the north of the college. Rode for more than 40 minutes. Crossing half of the college before arriving at the practice room. Since it was class time, there were fewer students on the road, and not many students in the study room. Linley easily found building 002, the study room, but before he could get close, an icy voice drank him down. Stop. Linley's head was full of question marks. Which talent was ungrateful and rushing to find trouble again? Unbridled. Do you know who I am? Daring to pick on me? Linley slapped up his face and disliked him loudly without even turning his head back. The boy behind him obviously didn't expect Linley to react like this, and was disliked. As the saying goes, walk the enemy's path, let the enemy have no way out. Little guy, you are still far from being better than Hao Hung. Linley directly pushed open the door of building 002's training room, and just as he stepped out with his left foot, his figure lurched. Then he quickly sidestepped, and a purple current brushed his shoulders. Linley even felt a burst of tingling. 
The other party had actually made a move. I don't care who you are. This is my practice room. Three seconds. Disappear from my sight. This time Linley saw who the other party was. It was. Unrecognizable. Looking like a flower boy. His whole body was wrapped in purple currants. His strength at the tenth level of the beginner's order seemed to be vaguely showing signs of a breakthrough at the first level of the intermediate order. Which one are you again? This training room engraved your name? You don't even recognize me. And you dare to invade the practice room at will? Beginner level 2 strength. Being able to dodge my strike is indeed pretty good. But unfortunately it's not nearly enough. Saying that, Flower Beauty Man struck again. A small arm thick electric current shot out from his palm. And seeing that there was no way to avoid it, Lindley simply lay back, dodging the attack before rolling back a few times to completely enter the cultivation room. This place was big, and it wouldn't be tied up when moving. You seek death. Flower Beauty Man saw Lindley break in and became even more enraged, directly chasing after him with two more currents. Lindley reversed his powers and unleashed a darkness shock. This time, the power of the dark impact was obviously much stronger than last time. But after touching a current, it disappeared with a poof. It didn't even have a chance to devour the other party's energy, and was directly dispersed. Lindley was shocked at the situation. He still overestimated himself. The difference between the two sides was eight levels, completely different from a grade of alien energy. Boom. Unsurprisingly, Lindley was hit. A current could barely cross from the waist, and a current directly hit the chest position. Lindley instantly came with an aged disco. The tingling sensation hit his entire body, and his hands and feet couldn't stop trembling. If you don't say that the lightning system's supernatural ability comes with penetration, you still have to improvise a dance. That's enough blue tsu. I'm the one who told this kid to come to building 002 to practice, seeing that the beautiful man was going to continue to make a move. Luo Hontian finally couldn't sit still and hurriedly showed up to stop it. Vice Dean Luo, why did you give my cultivation room to him? I'm not convinced. Lantua twisted his head around and asked with great displeasure. What are you displeased with? Cultivation rooms have always been allocated according to talent level. Lu Qingyan occupies 001. Then this kid is qualified to occupy 002. Qualified? He's Lin Li? Lan Tua finally searched for a flavor. Who else could be alongside Lu Qingyan? Other than Lin Li's SSSS ranked darkness department? Vice Dean Luo. I don't understand why the darkness department should be allowed to join the sacred imperial. They're not worthy at all. At this time, Lin Li also slowed down and disliked Lan Su's words. Ha, if the darkness department isn't even worthy, you trash are even more unworthy. What did you say? Lan Tua was the number one ranked existence in the second year. When had he ever been scolded like this? That's enough you too. What are you arguing about? Lan Tua, if you're not convinced, challenge Lin Li in two months. If he loses, he'll prove that the darkness department is garbage and give up building 002 for a practice room. If you lose, you'll prove that the thunder department. Lei, the more Luo Hongtian searched the more wrong he was, he was also in the thunder department. He couldn't bury himself too. If you lose, you'll prove that you yourself didn't learn the art well and apologize to Lin Kid. Okay, it's a deal. Lin Li thought to himself that this Luo Hong Tian had something wrong with him. Si Feng Yu, Yao Tong, and Wu Xiu were still waiting in line, and inexplicably there was another one, or the first person in the second grade. Look at this situation two months later will certainly be advanced to middle order alien. He was under a lot of pressure. Okay? Lin Li, two months later. I won't see you again. Lan Tua flicked his sleeves and left the 002 building's training room. Master Luo, you're really helpful. An 8 level difference. Are you kidding? Lin Kid, you're that unsure of yourself? Luo Hongtian casually picked up a bottle of beer from the floor, unscrewed it and took a big gulp. Of course I have confidence in myself. If you give me half a year's time, Lu Qingyan I don't even put in my eyes. But two months. Let me collapse almost a big order to fight. You can really look down on me ah. Linley rolled his eyes. Confidence and arrogance were two completely different things. Besides, he himself, the protagonist, didn't even squeak. What are you? A bystander. Coaxing about? Chow. Lin Kid. I, Luo Hong Tian, have been able to firmly establish myself in the sacred royalty for so many years. What do you think you're relying on? Luo Hong Tian blew off the rest of his half can of beer. His bravado coming back. Linley was too embarrassed to say anything. But in his heart, he muttered, What else can I rely on? Rely on your Luo Hongtian's mouth. You can drink and blow. A hundred cows are not enough for you to blow. Relying on your vice president Luo's one step at a time. Frankness and amazing talent. That's right, but not all. Damn. Stomping on your nose. Complimenting you twice is still too low a threshold. There's also me, Luo Hongtian, who brags about bull. Clap clap clap. Linley couldn't help but clap. 
thinking that this old thing was still a bit self-aware. Clap what clap? I finished, you clap. Relying on my Luo Hantian blowing out the bulby, able to realize. This point Lin Li did not expect. After all, contact Luo Hantian not long. Who knows how his ability? Lin Kid. One month later, it's your battle to come out. Two months later, it's your battle to become famous. And three months later, it's your battle to the top. Ah, uh, I understand the first two. Who will I fight after three months? Who else? Lu Qingyan. I've arranged it all for you. And she's agreed to do it. What the hell? Lin Li didn't hold back and cursed. You old calf. Sending people to spy on me? What words? What are you talking about? When did I send someone to spy on you? It was clearly that girl Lu Qingyan who told me herself. Hiss. Infernal path ah. How is this one ring after another? First it was Wu Xiao. Then Si Feng Yu. Yao Tong. Then Lan Tua. And the final boss was Lu Qingyan. But didn't they have a good talk yesterday? They said that they would wait for themselves to grow up and fight fair and square. How is it still? The more Lin Li thought about it, the more wrong it was. The mastermind behind all this couldn't be Luo Hongtian, right? Wrong. The mastermind behind all of this isn't me. It's Dean's son. Crap, speaking on his own? This old calf can read minds? I can't read minds, but I can read your eyes. Lin Li was a bit tired. This chatting makes you guys play. Little brother is willing to bow down. Dean's son has great foresight. Dean's son has great tactics. I'm convinced. Can we start practicing now? Ha ha. Kid, I know you're not happy in your heart but this is all for your own good. Don't worry. In three months' time, I'm certain that I can cultivate you to the ninth level of the primary stage, or even higher. The specifics are up to you. Lindley waved his hand, not wanting to say anything else. Three months, still guaranteed to be at the ninth level of the primary order. If you can't go up to the middle rank, it's impossible to be Lu Qingyan's opponent. Minimum middle rank level one. Otherwise all talk is for nothing. Kid, let me see your cultivation method first. Linley sat down on his knees after hearing this and began to absorb the elemental essence of heaven and earth. Luo Hongtian didn't yell blindly this time, picking up a can of beer and circling around Linley. Every time he took a sip, his expression became grave, until five hours later. Linley's stomach grumbled incessantly, obviously to the mealtime. Master Luo, see the way? TSK, see is to see out. Dark system elemental ability cultivation method is indeed different. People are absorbing specific elements. You are good. Within 200 meters, elemental essence absorption that is called a clean. Replenishment speed cannot catch up with the speed of your absorption. I've said a lot of nonsense. Can you give me some constructive advice? Master Luo, can you offer some constructive advice? Such as where I need to improve? Seeing Lin Li's speechless expression, Luo Hongtian was also in trouble for a moment. Where to improve the darkness department? This too had to take time to figure out ah. Luo Hongtian threw peanuts into his mouth while continuing to circle around Lin Li. The sight of Lin Li was so distracting. Just as he was about to complain a couple times, Luo Hongtian's footsteps suddenly stopped. The place of improvement wasn't thought of, but I thought of a method for rapid advancement. What method? Luo Hongtian didn't squeak, but walked towards the depths of the training room. Two minutes later, the wine bottle in his hand was replaced with a small piece of transparent crystal. This is, elemental crystals? The corners of Lin Li's mouth twitched slightly. This thing could indeed be used for rapid promotion. But Chui Yayun had said that it wasn't easy to absorb, and an overdose would be met with a backlash. This is an elemental crystal of the worst quality. Your darkness absorption effect is extremely strong, and you're able to devour elemental powers of all attributes. So, this crystal shouldn't be a problem either. Give it a try. It's just a small piece anyway. It won't absorb too much. Words to the wise. Linley took that small piece of elemental crystal and placed it in his palm, trying to absorb its internal energy. The moment the dark energy came into contact with the elemental crystals, Lin Li directly hit a jolt. This gave Luo Hong Tian, who was by the side, a big jump of fright and hurriedly asked where he was uncomfortable. No, no discomfort. On the contrary, it's especially comfortable. This crystal contains a very thick elemental essence. I can feel that the energy in my body is growing rapidly. It seems, it's like I'm about to break through. Luo Hong Tian hurriedly moved his sight to the elemental crystals. This look doesn't matter. Directly shocked Luo Hantian held a large piece of grass. The palm-sized elemental crystal was fading away at a speed visible to the naked eye. And in five seconds time, a corner was missing. This absorption speed. It's incredible. Luo Hantian scratched that already disheveled hair. At this rate, at most ten minutes, this elemental crystal would have disappeared into thin air. If it were anyone else, or even himself, it would take at least three or four hours. And for those with lower talent, it would take a whole day. 
Right now this kid annihilated it in less than 10 minutes? Master Luo, I'm going to break through. Lin Li's fists clenched, dark energy unconsciously overflowing out, spreading all over his body. Lin kid, don't worry about breaking through. I'm here. Luo Hongtian waved his hand, and a purple lightning barrier with a diameter of more than 30 meters wrapped Lin Li within. One was to prevent the outside world from disturbing it, and the other was to prevent Lin Li's breakthrough from moving too loudly and destroying the cultivation room. Ha! Along with Lin Li's loud shout, the energy in his body exploded, shaking the lightning barrier violently. Ka 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 ka. Boom! There was that familiar shattering sound again, and the third level of the primary stage was successfully broken through. This scene, watching Luo Hongtian secretly smacked his lips, such a small piece of crystal of the worst quality could make Lin Li break through. So if he got a piece of top quality crystal, wouldn't Lin Li soar? Lin kid, how does it feel? Luo Hongtian saw that Lin Li had succeeded in his breakthrough, so he withdrew the barrier. It's not bad, the power is much greater again. And most importantly, I developed a new stance. New stance? Aren't you making a breakthrough? How come you still have the energy to research moves? I have to thank Lantua for that. He was the one who gave me the inspiration. Just like my dark impact, which was developed by imitating Zhang Xiao. Interesting. Come and try. Luo Hongtian hooked his hand at Linli. That look, don't mention how confident he was. However, it was also true that he was a super ranked powerhouse. How could he possibly hurt him with just this skill of his own? Look, good you Lu. Linli's palms covered with black energy. Aimed at Luo Hongtian is a hair, darkness shockwave. Don't get me wrong. This is not dark impact, but dark shockwave. The extra word was also different. Before it was a ball. Now it's a wave. A continuous shockwave. Of course. This move required a large amount of alien energy, and with Linley's current reserves of alien energy, it would last for a maximum of 5 seconds. Sloppy, it's a new move. Luo Hongtian still waved lightly. Purple lightning was thrown out, easily breaking Linley's strike. Alright, today's practice ends here. I still have some things to do. Toss yourself. Luo Hongtian left the place with a complicated expression. Linley was the only one left in the large cultivation room. Looking at the time, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Today's portion of effort has reached the standard. First go dry rice. As the saying goes, man is iron and rice is steel. One meal not eaten makes one hungry. Half an hour later, inside the college cafeteria, Linley carrying the rice tray leisurely, find the position just ready to sit down. If nothing else, it was time for an accident. Linley, I'm going to challenge you. Another violent person. Linley put down his rice tray, picked up a chicken leg and gnawed on it twice first. Really no eyes. Meal time. Can you stop for a while? There's something to say after dinner. Really? Tossing and turning all day long to eat a meal doesn't even stop. Okay, then we'll compete for dinner first. Whoever finishes eating first will be counted as the winner. Put. Linley didn't hold back. A mouthful of rice sprayed out. Coincidentally, that figure happened to sit opposite Linley. This mouthful of fragrant rice, all let him absorb. Linley. The boy sitting across from Linley was directly enraged, slapping the table. Oh no. It was slapping the table. The commotion attracted the attention of many students in the neighborhood. All of them cast their eyes as if they were watching a show. Ahem. This student. I'm sorry. I didn't hold it in. Who let you be so strange? Competing with people over food. Are you the reincarnation of the second elder brother? The boy wiped the rice grains on his face carelessly and gritted his teeth. Linley. Not only are you a representative of the sin of the darkness department. You're also a representative of the low quality dirt bags. Didn't your family ever teach you to be a human being? Boom. Linley slapped his palm on the desktop, making an even bigger commotion than before. What kind of a thing are you? How dare you accuse my family? My elemental psychic ability is a power that trash like you can't experience from afar. Linley's interest in eating was considered completely gone. Since the other party didn't have eyes, it would be good to educate them on behalf of their parents. You, the boy on the opposite side was dumbfounded by his dislike, and lost a huge chunk of Linley's aura. First year class 3, S rank earth elemental ability. Zhao Zhengde please teach me. Seeing this, the surrounding people pulled away. This sentence would only be said when both sides were at war. Was this Zhao Zhengde crazy? Daring to cause trouble in the academy cafeteria? Ha! <laughs> With this virtue of yours, you still deserve to accuse others? A public place, deliberately causing trouble. Not caring in the slightest about other students' dining feelings. Is this how your family taught you? Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It was a miracle that this kind of idiot could survive in the world. Brainless, tactless, heartless. It was also crazy as hell. Wasn't this a typical villainous cannon fodder? Zhao Zhengde was furious and red in the face. Thinking about it was indeed the truth. 
If he caused trouble in a public place like the academy cafeteria, the school leaders wouldn't peel off a layer of his skin? All right, Linley, tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, Xuanwo Gladiator Arena. Accept my challenge if you're a man. If not, you can't even be considered a man. And you deserve to issue a challenge? Beginner level 4 strength. Who gave you the courage? Is your father's name Zhao Gang? You, how do you know my father's name? He he, this world is too ridiculous. Like father, like son ah. All right, there's no time to talk nonsense with you. So I, Lin Li, will be kind and teach you how to behave. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 002 practice room. I'll educate you for Zhao Gang. After saying that, Lin Li got up and left the restaurant. The surrounding melon eaters recorded the footage of Lin Li's date with Zhao Junda and sent it to the academy platform. In just one afternoon's time, the number of hits had broken 10,000, and tomorrow's education conference was sure to be very lively. Drip Dong, your classmate Lu Qingyue sent you a video invitation. Do you accept it? Lin Li, who had just come out of the shower, heard a beep from Little Cancer. Video invitation? This smart home is really smart. Connecting. Wait. 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 Linley regretted just as soon as he agreed to connect, he was still topless. Unfortunately, it was already too late. Little Cancer connected the video call the first time she received the command. Lu Qingyue's face appeared in the TV screen. Linley panicked and searched for his shirt, but the more nervous he was, the more clothes he couldn't find. The other end of the video Lu Qingyin see Linley bare upper body cannot help but stare. Heart, this body, dream love man ah. Then reacted, small face rub a red. Hurriedly turned his head to stifle laughter. Damn, where did my clothes go? Linley had completely forgotten that her clothes had been washed and were currently enjoying the sunshine. Having no choice, Linley could only end up wrapping the quilt around his body, covering that perfect line. Ah, uh, that, classmate Lu. I'm sorry, it's my mishandling. Seeing Linley in this state, Lu Qingyue finally didn't hold back her laughter. It caused Linley's embarrassment cancer to break out. After laughing for a while, Lu Qingyue eased up quite a bit. Only her face was still slightly scarlet. Lin student, I'm really sorry. I couldn't hold back. It's okay, boys. It's not a disadvantage. Indeed this is the case ah. Uh, what is there to be afraid of for a boy himself? As long as he is not embarrassed, it is others who are embarrassed. Lin student, I meant to ask you if tomorrow's duel is real? Lin Li nodded and said, It's true. Tomorrow at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Building 002. The study room. Then you must be careful. Lu Qingyue reminded very solemnly, don't worry Lu, the other party is just a beginner level 4 goods, if I can't educate him, I don't have to mix in the academy anymore, no, I don't mean that, Lu Qingyue shook her head and explained, Zhao Zhengda this person's strength is not good, so I'm not worried about you losing, what I'm worried about is that this person is small minded and acts in a very high profile manner due to having a third year brother with good strength, if you need it, I can ask my sister to give him a mention, third year brother, how is his strength? Intermediate level 1, SS level wind elemental ability. Linley frowned slightly, this was indeed a trouble. But as a manly man, letting a beautiful woman help him, how disgraceful would that be? The rumors would still think that I, Linley, was eating soft food? What, I've eaten before? Now I have hard teeth. I'm not good at this anymore. Mr. Lu, I appreciate your kindness. It's only the middle stage. I'll be careful. No problem. Seeing this confident expression on Linley's face, Lu Qingyue stopped continuing this topic. Well then, you must be more careful. I'll be there to cheer you on tomorrow afternoon. Saying that, Lu Qingyue made a cheering gesture. And Lin Li also stretched out his arm and made the same gesture. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. After hanging up the phone, Lin Li wasn't going to sleep. Cultivation was the most important thing right now. And if he educated Zhao Zhengda tomorrow, according to Lu Qingyue, that senior brother of his would most likely stand up for him. If it's a gentleman, it's okay, you can delay for a while and wait for your strength to grow before competing. If it was a villain, or a hypocrite then it wouldn't be fun. So it was important to raise his strength as much as possible, to prevent problems before they occurred. Thus, Linley once again sat down and adjusted to a comfortable angle. Starting tonight's cultivation time, by the time he opened his eyes again, it was already 8 o'clock in the morning of the next day. Love you alone in a dark alley. Just as soon as he opened his eyes, the phone rang. After answering it, Luo Hongtian's grumpy voice came from the other end. Kid, what's wrong with you? Not training anymore? Aren't you afraid that Zhao Zhenda's brother will retaliate against you? Grandmaster Luo, are you just idling around all day and netting on me for fun? Or is Zhao Zhengda also a sandbag you arranged for me? Bastard, I'm in charge of everything all day long. 
How can I have the time to pay attention to you? Go on the college platform and take a look yourself. With over 20, 000 hits, you've become a college internet celebrity. College internet celebrity? Lindley hurriedly instructed Little Cancer to open the Academy's communication platform. And sure enough, the headline was, Half-Breed Great Demon King Lindley launched a challenge to Zhao Jingde in public, with an unusually brutal attitude. The second article, SSS Class Darkness Lindley and Zhao Jingde had a heated conflict in the Academy cafeteria, and both sides had an appointment to fight in Building 002's training room. Article 3, Lindley, a freshman in the first year class, was so rampant that he openly challenged Zhao Jingde, what will be the outcome? Please enjoy looking forward to it. Article 4, First Year Class Lindley is suspected to be the illegitimate son of Vice Dean Luo, acting more and more wildly and without any inhibitions. Good lord. The gossip headlines about Lindley are all over the place. All sorts of things. The further it goes, the more outrageous it gets. What with Lindley being an undercover agent of the Demon Ice Legion, Lindley having lost his humanity, and Lindley being reckless and disrupting public order. Master Luo. Shouldn't you take care of the Sacred Royal Academy cybersecurity problem? If it continues like this, I'll be the world's number one villain in time. I don't give a damn. Your darkness department was already unpopular. And now that people have caught on to it, who are you going to spray if not you? Even if I manage it and seal their mouths, can I still curb their inner thoughts? Linley thought about it. Indeed this is the reasoning. So he simply said back, forget it, just spray it. Black powder is also powder. Just take this opportunity to make my Lin Li's name out. I'll take this dark villain's name. Since things had developed to this point, going with the flow was the wisest choice. The keyboard warrior type of people. The more you resist the more they get up in arms. It would be better to prove yourself with practical actions, causing those unrealistic rumors to go away. After all, only the strong could dominate the absolute power of speech. It's great that you can have this realization. Grab over here and cultivate. I've specially prepared two gifts for you today. Gifts? When Linley heard this, he immediately came into the spirit. Luo Hong Tian, this old man who had whored himself out for so long, finally had a clear conscience and decided to make up for something? After hanging up the phone, Linley hurriedly packed up and rushed to the practice room without even bothering to eat breakfast. Where? I'm not sure what I'm talking about. But I'm not sure what I'm talking about. He said. The first thing Linley did when he arrived at the training room was to look for the gift. What if it was a high-grade elemental crystal or some exotic treasure? Charge him three or four levels in one go, and let the outside world see how NB the darkness department endorsed by me. Lin Li, is, Chow, where's the beer, where's the peanut rice, you're just being shy and asking me for a gift without bringing anything? When Luo Hongtian saw that Lin Li came empty-handed, he was instantly displeased, blowing his beard and criticizing, get get get, I'll buy it for you right now. Focusing on the gift, he forgot to prepare the beer and liquor and peanuts. Wait, before Lin Li could make a move. Luo Hongtian took two steps forward and stopped him. This card is for you. There's two million or so inside. It's a subsidy issued to you by the Academy. Subsidy? Lin Li asked uncertainly. Shouldn't Academy subsidies be handed out at the end of the year? It's only September. Where's all this nonsense? What's the money you have on hand enough for? Buy me two more drinks and you won't even be able to afford a meal. Right? Luo Hongtian directly stuffed the card into Lin Li's pocket and impatiently waved his hand, signaling that he could go buy wine. Linley smiled and touched his pocket, not knowing what to say. Forget it, it's all in the wine. And so, 20 minutes later, inside the practice room, the two of them sat on their knees and raised the bottle of wine for a good blow. The fine six-grain liquor was poured into the glass, and the aroma was overflowing. Handfuls of peanut rice were sent to their mouths, and Luo Hongtian's NB blew louder and louder. Lin Kid, the first gift has been given to you. This is the second. Luo Hongtian handed the wooden box behind him to Linley and said mysteriously, this thing is something I've spent a lot of effort to get, open it, Linley haphazardly wiped the residue at the corner of his mouth with his hand, couldn't wait to receive the wooden box and open the lid, then he was confused, Master Luo, is this your kidney stone, put your mother's fart, that's a darkness type fey crystallization, Luo Hongtian swung a wine bottle at Linley, who hurriedly got up to avoid it, what's your hurry, Master Luo, I'm just kidding, is this thing really a fey crystallization, Linley carefully picked up the small black stone, left to see, right to see, always cannot see what doorway, don't look down on this small piece of fey beast crystallization, this is something that I desperately took off of a high rank 7 fey beast 15 years ago, high rank 7, this gave Linley a fright, the value of a high ranked fey beast crystal was at least 10 million blue coins or more, not to mention the rarest darkness type fey beasts, master Luo, why would you be willing to give me such a precious thing, Luo Hongtian gave a disdainful snort, 
What is precious? Selling it for more money is considered precious? To me, using it where it should be used the most. That's what's called precious. Lindley didn't say anything, sitting back down with a solemn expression. There's less than five hours left before the Zhao Jinda kid hits the door. Try absorbing it and see if there are any side effects. Linley nodded his head and then entered the cultivation state. More than three hours later, Linley slowly opened his eyes, looking at the Fei crystals in his hands. His expression was unnatural. How's it going? Seeing Linley wake up, Luo Hongtian asked curiously, TSK, not too much to say. This crystal is indeed very suitable for me. The dark essence contained in it is very pure and powerful. I can feel it. The dark energy in my body is metamorphosing, becoming purer and more stable. Isn't this quite good? Linley shook his head and continued. Good, but not good either. The first is that the speed of absorption is too slow. It's not even as fast as basic cultivation. The second is that my level of absorption is too saturated. If I absorb any more, I might lose control. Only then did Luo Hongtian realize the gravity of the matter. It turned out that there was a conflict that existed between the darkness system and the darkness system. Once absorbed in excess, or forcefully absorbed it would cause an energy backlash. In other words it would be taken over by the will remaining in the fey crystals that would take over the body, thus doing things that one didn't want to do. Lin Kid, you, before Luo Hongtian could finish speaking, the door to the training room was rudely pushed open. Lin Li, get your ass out here and duel. Zhao Zhengda, you're really an uneducated thing ah, uh, won't you knock before entering? Could it be that your old mom and dad are doing exercises in the house in the middle of the night and you rush in like this? As soon as these words left his mouth, Zhao Zhengda and the crowd behind him were all stunned. These words were too unpleasant, right? Zhao Zhengda was the first to react, a fire growing in his heart. Pointing at Linli, he couldn't utter a single word. And at this time, Linli also suddenly realized that his mood swings were a bit too big. In that instant just now, it seemed like he had thoughts of killing someone. Lin boy, control your emotions, you're already starting to be affected. Linli's abnormality Luo Hongtian certainly saw it in his eyes. This fake crystallization didn't seem to have been given at the right time. Who? Linley hurriedly took a deep breath, suppressing the frenzied emotions within. It was too dangerous. This darkness type fey beast crystal was just too dangerous. Linley, I'm going to get rid of you. This scourge, for the sacred imperial academy. Zhao Jingda really couldn't shiver any longer. Since he couldn't curse, he would fight. The surface of his fist was covered with a layer of yellowish earth type supernatural energy, and he rushed towards Linley's location. The many melon eaters standing at the entrance hurriedly pulled out their cell phones, wanting to record the images of the two battling each other. Hoomph. Then let me, the scourge, finish off this trash of yours. Dark impact. Close combat was something Linley had never attempted before. So to be on the safe side, it was better to start with a long-range battle of attrition. A ball of dark energy the size of a watermelon quickly converged and slammed against the incoming Zhao Jingda. The latter didn't dodge, but was confident that he would be able to receive the strike. He swung out a fist and collided with the dark energy ball. Boom! As an explosive sound came, Zhao Jingda's figure quickly retreated. It wasn't that he was retreating on his own, but that he was forced back. The dark impact pushed Zhao Jingda to move backward, growing more and more powerful. Damn it! So the rumor that the darkness department was capable of devouring supernormal abilities was true. Zhao Jingda clenched his teeth and used his entire body to confront the black energy ball. After holding out like this for more than 10 seconds, the dark energy ball exploded. Zhao Zhengda was caught off guard by the blast and fell to the ground. My goodness. So the claim that the darkness department is capable of devouring exotic energy in battle is true. In that case, the rumor of the darkness department fighting at a higher level is also true? The facts are all in front of us, don't you think? It looks like Zhao Zhengda is going to be unlucky. Shut up all of you. What's all the noise about? I haven't lost yet. Zhao Zhengda reared up and shouted angrily at the eaters outside the door. If you don't say that public opinion hurts the most, you can't get it wrong and have your fighting mind affected. Linley, just now was just my tentative strike. Next I'm going to get real. Linley rolled his eyes. If you haven't fought, you haven't fought. What's the excuse? Don't you understand that villains die by talking too much? I'll give you a chance. Just let your horse come. Good. Mountain shaking fist. Another melee attack. Only Zhao Zhengda's deterrent power of this strike was much greater than before. It was as if it was really like he said. That strike just now was just testing. Dark shockwave. Since the other party had come for Rial, he himself couldn't be careless. A persistent shockwave of dark energy shot out, and the air around him rippled a little. Drink! Zhao Zhengda really lived up to the fact that his father was Zhao Gang. His personality was just rigid. The so-called mountain shaking fist and the darkness shockwave collided together, and two fan-shaped energy barriers appeared as if they were movie scenes. 
A strong wind swept through the entire training room, and the people standing outside the door all took a step back. It could be seen how much power was generated by the collision between these two people. Lin Li go for it, let him see the strength of our first year class. Lu Qing Yue's familiar voice came from outside the door, and the surrounding wifing crowd was puzzled. Why was Lu Qing Yue so biased in favor of Lin Li? These two people couldn't be having some secret adulterous relationship, right? Don't worry, I've just been playing with this punk for a while, and now I'm tired of playing. It's time to end this fight. Just as Lin Li pushed forward with both palms, the yellow barrier in front of Zhao Jingda couldn't support it anymore and shattered. Immediately afterward, it was Zhao Jinda's figure that flew out backwards and smashed down hard on the ground. Cough cough cough. Lin Li had used 80% of his strength for this strike, and Zhao Jinda was directly hit and spat out blood, his body suffering a considerable amount of trauma. He tried to get up several times, but the severe pain coming from his chest, abdomen, and neck really made him unable to exert himself. Zhao Zhengda, are you convinced? Cough. Zhao Zhengda's face turned red and he couldn't stop coughing, but even so, he still refused to give in and stubbornly shook his head. He he, not convinced, then I'll beat you until you submit. Saying that, Lin Li aimed two kicks at Zhao Zhengda's bare face. The melon eaters outside the door who watched were so exhilarated. Convinced or not? Not convinced. Clang, 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 clang. Clang, clang two more kicks. Convinced? No. Clang, 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 clang four feet directly. At this moment, Zhao Zhengda collapsed to the ground, his face colored by the nosebleed that gushed out in a blur. One last time. Serve or not? Lin Li's hands directly converged on the foreign energy. As long as he Zhao Zhengda dares to say one more word of no. Then, forget it, what else can you do if you don't count? Kill him? Not to mention, even if you kill him, you can't do it in this place. Otherwise, how can I still hang around in Sacred Royal? Though the supernatural world is not subject to regular FL restrictions, the six academies and 24 guilds have jointly issued a decree on supernatural powers. The specifics weren't too far off from FL. Anyway, you couldn't kill at will, or else the major deans and presidents have the right to send someone to execute you. I, I. Lin Li, don't bully me too much. Zhao Zhengda was just about to give in when a strong voice came from the crowd outside the door. As usual, there was no need to guess. It must be that brother of Zhao Zhengda's. Hey, truly worthy of being brothers. One is more horizontal than the other. What's wrong with me bullying people? I'll beat him up if he doesn't mess with me first. Besides, we all saw it. A fair and just duel. He lost, so he has to admit it. What? Now it's your turn to be the one to stand out. You asshole brother? Brother. Brother, avenge me brother. Once Zhao Zhengda, who had been beaten into a pig's head, heard that it was his brother who had come, tears fell down his face. Choking back tears, he begged his brother to avenge him. Shut up, you punk, you can't even beat a beginner level 3 cargo. What face do you have to ask me to avenge you? Zhao Zhengda's brother's name was Zhao Zhengli, and he was taller and stronger than the former, with a face that wasn't too far off from his face value. Instead, it was the powerful aura of a middle rank alien that was quite bluffing. Lin Li, right? Okay, you've done a good job. Today, we've made a deal. So be careful in the future. Zhao Jingli's IQ was higher than his brother's. If he challenged Lin Li on this kind of occasion, not to mention whether or not the other party would refuse, just based on the fact that the third year was bullying the first year, it would be a big deal. In the end it would only smear himself. I'll give this sentence to you as well. Tell your unlucky brother to come and mess with me less. Otherwise next time, you won't even have a chance to save him. Zhao Jingli's gaze was grim as he took two steps forward and dragged Zhao Jingda up from the ground, glaring fiercely at Lin Li and then leaving the training room. This duel came to an end. Many of the melon eaters present had posted the images of Lin Li fighting Zhao Jingda online, the third level of the beginner's class crushing the fourth level of the beginner's class. Once the headlines came out, it once again triggered a massive sensation. This battle proved that many of the darkness department's rumors were true. For example, over level challenges, invincibility at the same rank, absorbing the other party's supernormal abilities during the battle, etc. Even the academy's top management began to study the special features of the darkness department. As the saying goes, there are pros and cons. This time Linley's battle redeemed a large part of his image. At least it wasn't as fragile and incompetent as the keyboard warrior said. But this also meant that there would be more people on campus staring at Linley especially those genius students who were very confident in their own strength and were unhappy with Lin Li doing things in such a high-profile manner, and would surely challenge him at the right time. 
Lin Li's days would not be too peaceful in the future. Master Luo, why don't? You might as well take this fey crystal back, I'm afraid I. Lin Li was afraid that he couldn't control it, in case he absorbed too much one day, causing his mind to be affected and his demeanor to be overly aggressive then it would be too dangerous. Luo Hongtian frowned and thought about it, but finally shook his head and refused. What's given away is like water that's thrown out. This fey crystal will be yours from now on. If you can't even control him, what else can you talk about cultivating? What can you talk about getting stronger? Lin Li was able to understand the meaning of what Luo Hongtian was saying. If he couldn't even control the scale of absorption, it was only a matter of time before he went off the deep end. Kid, your own path can only be walked by yourself. I can't help you too much, nor will I get involved in you too much. Be careful in the days to come. Don't try to be too strong. Don't worry Master Luo. I will grasp the balance. Lin Li assured very seriously. Wait, why did Luo Hongtian's paragraph sound so strange? Grand Master Luo, why do I feel like you're leaving me? Ha ha. Luo Hongtian laughed bashfully twice, then nodded his head and said, I am indeed going to leave for a while, as little as a year, as much as. I'm not sure. Not sure? Where are you planning to go? The southernmost tip of the divine continent. Luo City. Linley's heart tightened. It wasn't a place to live. It was a frontier battlefield where alien armies were stationed to resist the invasion of alien beasts. You mean. That's right. The alien beasts in the southern beast domain have recently appeared in a large-scale disturbance. In just three days, they had attacked Luocheng four times. After the six colleges, the 24 guilds negotiated and decided that each college, the guilds to send out three representatives of their strengths to go to Luocheng to rescue them. So, you are one of them? Luo Hongtian took a rare solemn turn, patted Lin Li's shoulder and said, After I'm gone, no one will be able to cover you, so be careful with everything. There are so many pairs of eyes staring at you within the academy. Master Luo, don't worry about going. There will be a day when I, Lin Li, will also head to the borderlands and fight side by side with you to wipe out these beasts. Luo Hongtian's expression stagnated, obviously not expecting Lin Li to have such thoughts. Ha 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 ha. Good, good, good. Luo Hongtian said good three times in a row, showing how touched he was in his heart. Just based on your words, the two of us will not get drunk tonight. Good. Let's say it's the wine I've prepared for you to celebrate your journey. Pushing the cups and exchanging the glasses, the wine passed three rounds. Lin Li and Luo Hantian talked freely for nearly ten hours, with bottles of wine all over the floor. The two of them drank themselves into a stupor. Lin Li only remembered that he was finally sent back to his apartment by the restaurant's waitstaff, and then lay on his bed unconscious. It wasn't until midday the next day that, the sunlight stabbed Lin Li to wake up leisurely, and only then did the blurred memory slowly come flooding back. Looking at the time, 12 noon, Luo Hongtian had already departed, a minimum of one year, or even three years, five years, ten years, it was possible that the two would not see each other, in other words, the next road could only be walked down by Lin Li himself, ding dong, your homeroom teacher Chui Yayun has initiated a video invitation, do you accept, Chui Yayun, what was she looking for herself for, Lin Li hurriedly looked at his cell phone schedule, it was indeed empty, right? and then looked at the clothes on her body. It was still healthy. She wouldn't be naked. Connect. With that, Chui Yeyun's figure appeared on the large monitor. Student Lin, how have you been these past few days? Ah, uh, pretty good. Been practicing in the training room, and I've made a lot of progress. Chui Yeyun nodded stoically and continued. That's good. This time I'm contacting you mainly for two things. The first one is about this matter of you challenging student Zhao yesterday and winning. Saying this, Chui Yun paused as if she was hesitating about something. Lin Li wasn't stupid. It must have been Zhao's two brothers behind it. Otherwise how could Chui Yayun find herself? Teacher Chui, there's no harm in saying what you have to say. I've already expected that after this battle, it will bring a lot of trouble. Indeed. Just now Mr. Zhao's homeroom teacher, Mr. Xing, came to me and claimed that the injuries that Zhao Zhenda received this time are quite serious, and that he will be delayed for at least two weeks of classes. So he asked me to come and remind you not to go overboard with things in the future. Go too far? Linley laughed coldly. This so-called Mr. Xing doesn't look like he's a good person either. Ha! Huh? He has to meddle in matters between students too. What? Zhao Zhengda is his dog's son? Teacher Chui. It's not too much if I can keep him alive. It seems like it's pretty rare for students to get hurt in a duel. Right? I remember there were quite a few rumors about students dying during duels. I don't see anyone saying they went too far. Of course. Chui Yun also understood this reasoning, but that Zhao's two brothers were not good people, plus Lin Li's dark influence, the other party slightly exerted their tactics, Lin Li became the party that had no reason, hey, Lin student, it's true that you can't be blamed for this matter, 
so I don't intend to criticize you, just be cautious in the future. Let's talk about the second matter. This matter is very important to you. Sacred Royal Academy's first, second, and third years will have a trial test every three months, and the content of the trial is very simple. It's to destroy foreign beasts, capture points, and obtain rewards. And there are still three days until the next trial quiz for our first year. As an interloper, you have the power to choose to forego this trial and wait until three months later to participate, considering the lower level of your alien ability. Of course, you can also choose to participate in this trial. The benefits gained will be very great. If you can achieve certain results in this trial, you will not only be rewarded by the academy, but will also be appreciated by your teachers and classmates, which is very favorable to your current image. Chui Ye Yun explained very carefully. Lin Li who was listening was so energized. Trial quizzes, getting rewards, winning appreciation. This kind of opportunity could be rare, and Lin Li didn't want to miss out on it. Teacher Chui, I'll be on time for this trial quiz. Sparring and fighting with alien beasts could be far more enjoyable than fighting with the students. Only by involving the threat of death could one better stimulate one's potential. With this fervor, this exhilaration, Lin Li had no reason not to go. Good job student Lin Li. I knew you wouldn't back down. The exact time, the location I will send you through little cancer. There are still three days left. Prepare yourself, and further your own strength as much as possible. Okay Mr. Shui. As soon as the call ended, a beep came from little cancer. Drip Dong. You have an arrangement for the trial in three days. Please check. Lin Li hurriedly picked up his phone and checked it. Trial time, September 14th. That is, three days from now at 9 a.m. sharp. Trial location, the teleportation plaza in the eastern part of the academy. Coordinates sunset forest. Trial period, 7 days. Trial content, hunting and killing foreign beasts. Obtaining foreign beast crystals, the higher the quality can be exchanged for more points. For example, the first 3 levels of foreign beast crystals can be exchanged for 5 points. For levels of exchange for 10 points. 5 levels of exchange for 15 points. And so on. Trial rules, 3000 trialists randomly transported to the sunset forest locations. 7 days, can be hunted through the beast, access to the beast crystals in exchange for points, the higher the points the more generous rewards. During the period, the trialists can plunder each other crystals, do not have to worry about the problem of overweight, the college will give each person equipped with a life bracelet, once a fatal attack will be triggered to resist, triggering the life bracelet, the trialists will be eliminated, teleported back to the internal college. At the end of the final trial, the Academy would select the top 10 places based on the points ranking and distribute the mysterious grand prize. TSK, don't have to worry about striking out too hard. Then this trial will be much more interesting. Linley walked over to the window and gazed into the distance. The risks of this trial could not be small. And if one wanted to achieve a certain level of success one would have to use some means. After all, there were a lot of people in the same grade who didn't see eye to eye with him. Especially the group of people in the same class as himself, who were the strongest and most arrogant. It was feared that they would not be the first to approach Linley and eliminate him. The situation was just like this. And Linley hadn't come up with any good solutions even after pondering for half a day. He simply washed up and headed to the training room to practice. If he could advance his realm even further within three days, then the risk would be much lower with it. At least no one other than the top few in the same class could threaten Linley. Time passed in an instant. In the blink of an eye, Linley made a breakthrough. The time of the breakthrough was the early morning of the third day and there were only less than three hours left before the trial began. During these three days, Linley had been practicing all the time. He skipped sleeping time and didn't waste any time eating, in order to break through as soon as possible. Every day, he appropriately absorbed a portion of the essence of foreign beasts, and then threw the low-rank elemental crystals equipped in the training room. Linley finally got what he wanted, breaking through the bottleneck of the third level of the beginner's class and successfully arriving at the fourth level of the beginner's class. This also meant that Linley had officially stepped into the ranks of the beginner middle stage alien. Don't underestimate this promotion. As the saying goes, one rank is stronger than another. Linley clearly perceived that the dark elemental storage value in his body had increased exponentially. Physical quality is even more obvious changes. The specific strength of how to grow, but also rely on the actual battle to test some. Love you walk alone in a dark alley. Love your unghostly appearance. A familiar ringtone rang out. It was Lu Qingyue calling. M.S. Lu, what's the matter? Lin Li, I heard from Mr. Shui that you also participated in this trial. Is that true? Lin Li always felt that the other end of the phone was tinged with a bit of excitement. It's true. I've been preparing for the trial these past few days. That's great Lin Li. Let's work together. Hunt the foreign beasts together. Snatch the crystals. And then we'll achieve the rankings together and get the rewards. 
cooperate? Right. How could Linley have forgotten about this? The rules didn't say that trialists couldn't team up and cooperate with each other, either. Ah, uh, student Lu, my realm of strength is lower. If you choose to cooperate with me, will. Oops, you're a SSSS ranked darkness. Through the last time you fought with Zhao Zhengda, I realized that your darkness over level challenge is really remarkable. With your current strength of primary rank 3, fighting against primary rank 6, that is, my level of exalted should not even be a problem. Lin Li's cheeks were slightly flushed. Being praised by a girl was quite embarrassing. Good. Since student Lu trusts me so much, then we'll work hard together in the Sunset Forest trial. It just so happens that I've just broken through to the fourth level, so I can help you to share some of the pressure. Great Lin Li. Then we'll. Let's. Wait. What did you just say? You broke through again? Lu Qingyue hadn't reacted at first, snapping her ears and asking in an almost incredulous tone. In that battle three days ago, Lin Li was still at the third level of the beginner's stage. And at that time, Lu Qingyue had already begun to envy Lin Li's talent. After all, it had taken a whole month for himself to break through to the third level of the beginner's rank at first, but now that Lin Li said that he had broken through again, it was simply a big departure. Lin Li, just according to your cultivation improvement speed, catching up with my sister will take at most a year. Oh no, half a year. I don't know how to describe you anymore. Genius, demon, or a genius among legends? Maybe it's because I've seen so little. All in all, Congratulations, the stronger you are, the higher the probability of us achieving success in this trial. He he he, ms, whisper is too kind, the trial will start in less than 3 hours. I'll go back to wash up and change my clothes first, then we'll rendezvous at the teleportation plaza. Okay, see you in a bit. The trial test that comes once every 3 months is a very important self-testing opportunity for the students of Saint Imperial. First of all, if you can achieve a certain ranking, you can become famous throughout the campus and gain the respect and attention of many students. And secondly, you can also obtain high-quality rewards awarded by the academy, such as elemental crystals, refining materials, money currency, and so on. Rumor has it that among the rewards for the top three, there are also elemental magic weapons. Of course, this was only a rumor, and the rewards for the top three were always given out in secret. Secondly, it was that participating in the trials would allow you to accumulate experience in battling against foreign beasts and not have to worry about your life being threatened. Because it's not just Saint Royal Academy, including the other five academies. When you reach fourth year, you will be led by a designated teacher to the major borderlands to participate in resistance and crusade against foreign beasts. This was both practicing learning and fulfilling an obligation. Resisting the invasion of alien beasts and maintaining the safety and security of the people of the divine continent is the significance of the existence of the exalted including the demonized legion, the evil spirit sanctuary, and the dark kingdom, there was no escaping this responsibility. Therefore, during their school years, the students would treasure the opportunity to fight against the alien beasts, so that they could be well prepared, and on the day they set foot on the battlefield, they could utilize their accumulated experience to fight against the more ferocious and bloodthirsty alien beasts. There was less than half an hour before the trial began. At this moment, the teleportation plaza had long been a sea of people bustling with activity. Lin Li could easily see Lu Qingyue's figure in the crowd, but before he could find his way over, the familiar three little ones stopped in front of him. Lin Li, thinking about it, your strength is quite passable, so join our team. Wu Xiao didn't want a billion to come forward, issuing an invitation in a very arrogant manner. Lin Li, your darkness department is very annoying, joining us is the best choice for you, otherwise when you enter the sunset forest, it will lead to many unnecessary troubles. Yao Tong's analyzing ability was very good, and he made Lin Li's situation at the moment crystal clear. To be honest, if Lin Li hadn't reached a consensus with Lu Qingyue, he might have even agreed. Unfortunately, ah, the power of a beautiful woman was far from being comparable to these three losers. I'm sorry, I already have an organization. Besides, you all know that my darkness is prone to attracting trouble. So why invite me? Because your value is greater than the trouble you can attract. See Feng Yu's words were quite interesting and deep. It couldn't help but make Linley give him a high look. Light language, light whisper, I'm here light speech. Just at this moment, Wu Xiao also discovered Lu Qingyue's figure. That arm swinging, almost catching up with the propeller. Give him two large onions on top of his head, can be lifted into the air in place. Once Lu Qingyue heard that it was Wu Xiao, her face instantly collapsed. If she hadn't realized that Linley was at the side, she would have definitely twisted her head and left. What do you guys want? Pry someone from me? Lu Qingyue came straight to Lin Li's side and asked the few hostages in a bad tone. Light language. How can you work with this kid behind my back? I'm the one you should consider the most. 
Am I not your heart's desire anymore? Wu Hua could be described as having advanced stages of cheap cancer, and the few people around him were disgusted by what they heard. Quite a big man to add a billion in public pampering? Lu Qingyue is also a ruthless person. Without saying anything go up as a foot. This foot seems to be ordinary, but when contacted Wu Hua body, directly exudes a golden light. Good guy. Even the holy light system supernatural ability are used. Then Wu Xiao had a tragedy, and directly covered his stomach and flew out backwards. I told you to be cheap, the next time I kick you, it won't be your stomach, not the stomach? Following Lu Qing Yue's gaze, the few people present unconsciously clenched their crotches. This woman can't be messed with ah. What about you too? Is there anything else? Lu Qing Yue clapped her hands and skimmed her gaze towards Yao Tong. See Feng Yu and the two of them again. No. Nothing. The duo's heads shook like rattlesnakes. They didn't want to follow in Wu Xiu's footsteps. Lin Li, let's go wait over there. It's clean over there. Lu Qingyue tugged on Lin Li's sleeve and headed towards the other end of the square. At this moment, Wu Xiu, who had fallen to the ground and was rolling back and forth, saw this scene and his heart was about to break. In his mouth, he kept chanting, Light language, light language, my goddess, don't leave me behind. See Feng Yu two people extremely tacit understanding flash away. Too cheap, with him as really can not afford to lose that person. Lin Li, although our team is just the two of us, but I have confidence in you, in myself, the last trial because of a small accident, so did not achieve the top 10 results, this time I must snow a previous shame, otherwise it will be sorry for my goddess Lu's name. On the bench, Lu Qingyue spoke in that exhilarating manner, it was as if she was encouraging herself, but also as if she was also encouraging Lin Li. A little accident happened? What accident? Lu Qingyue scratched her head in embarrassment and said, last time, the team I led accidentally intruded into the territory of a middle-ranked third-grade alien beast, and as a result, the whole army was wiped out. No wonder Lu Qingyue only invited Lin Li this time. Was she afraid that the tragedy would happen again? Aya, uh, I said it was a small accident. The Sunset Forest is so big, and there are only 10 middle-ranked beasts in it, but as a result, I bumped into them, so who am I going to talk to about this? Lin Li helplessly shrugged his shoulders. It was indeed unlucky enough. However, this Sunset Forest actually had 10 middle-ranked alien beasts within it. This point Lin Li hadn't thought of. First-year students, simply impossible to have the existence of middle-order strength of the alien, which is completely who meets who unlucky well. Unless it's a group of first-year students fighting against a middle-ranked alien beast, then there's barely a chance of victory. Right Lin Li, I have always had a question I want to ask you, is afraid you mind? Lu Qingyue didn't know what came to her mind, and opened her mouth hesitantly. Have any questions just ask? I won't mind, I just want to ask you, there are so many classmates in the academy who are saying bad things about you behind your back and making rumors about you, do you really not care at all, if it were me, I probably wouldn't have been able to take it anymore, Lindley's eyes also flashed with a hint of helplessness when he heard this question, there's a saying that goes like this, words spoken by a person are like a knife blade, if they're used incorrectly, they'll turn into tricky murderous weapons that will pierce deeply into a person's heart, if I say I don't care, perhaps even I won't believe myself, but what can I do if I don't care? The human heart is like this. There is no pure good, nor pure evil. It's like light and darkness, polar opposites, yet interdependent. I will turn the blades that others thrust at me into my own, and attach them to my body. And one day, I will become invulnerable to swords and spears, and invulnerable to fire and water. Lu Qingyue was touched by Lin Li's words, her small eyes blinking and blinking, as if some strange emotion had begun to sprout. Ding dong. A mechanical bell rang throughout the entire square. Everyone quieted down and silently gazed at the center position of the square. Sunset Forest Trial Detection. Now officially begins. Please have all students wear the life bracelet that belongs to them. If any are lost, the qualification for the trial will be immediately cancelled. Linley looked around. Where is it? Where is the bracelet? Lu Qingying gently touched Linley, signaling him to stay calm. At the same time, a strong elemental fluctuation quickly spread out. Linley closed his eyes and perceived it. It was the wood elemental energy. And this energy was exceptionally powerful. It had already covered the entire square. If it was done by human power, then this person must be a super ranked powerhouse. Linley, reach out. Lu Qingyue once again whispered a reminder. And only then did Linley slow down. Right at this moment, everyone in the square stretched out a hand as if they were waiting for something to descend. Seeing this, Linley also stretched out his hand. And then a magical scene happened. Dark green elemental energy quickly condensed at the wrist, and when the light gradually dispersed, a delicate jasper bracelet wrapped around it, luscious and textured, especially nice to look at. Please enter the teleportation spell formation for all students. After three minutes, 
Teleportation will begin. All the students began to head towards the central area of the square, with Lin Li and Lu Qingyue following closely behind. Upon arriving at the central area, everyone consciously stood within an oval-shaped floor tile in a neat, instrumental position. Lin Li looked around and nodded in satisfaction. This is what it looks like. As the top alien energy academy in divine state, it should have this kind of vigorous appearance. Look at that physical fitness class training ground. God damn thing. Please get ready. In 10 seconds, the teleportation will begin. At this moment, everyone closed their eyes, including Lu Qingyue. Only Lin Li himself was left staring with a big eyeball, dripping and looking around. In his heart, he was wondering why they were all closing their eyes. Is something horrible about to happen? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, boom. Lin Li was confused. Everyone present was confused. What the hell? What blew up? Suddenly, Lin Li seemed to sense something and jerked his head up to look upwards. He saw a black figure rush through the air. The darkness alien energy wrapped around it terrifying. Crap, big brother. This person's strength was definitely above the super rank. Otherwise he wouldn't be followed by so many academy powerhouses. Yi Chang, how dare you? Sun Wukong's angry shout scared everyone present. Yi Chang? Wasn't that the leader of the Dark Kingdom? How did this big brother come to the sacred royalty? Lin Li was just thinking like this when he was suddenly wrapped in a wave of darkness, and immediately afterward, the ground began to shake violently, and the mechanical light beeping tone came out once again. 3, 2, 1, begin teleportation. It was at this close call that Lu Qingying directly rushed to Lin Li's side and grabbed his arm in a death grip. And then, and then it was gone. A blinding, eye-catching white light covered everything, and all the students all disappeared at this moment. Lin Li felt a blur in front of his eyes, followed by the sky spinning and a serious loss of strength. It was a good thing that he hadn't eaten breakfast, otherwise he would have been forced to vomit. But even so, the warmth and softness on his arms still persisted. Lin Li couldn't care less and directly pulled Lu Qingyue into his arms. Going with the flow. Yi Chang, what exactly do you want? At this moment, the Sacred Royal Academy was in complete chaos. Thousands of figures stood above the void, tightly surrounding a black figure in the center. And in the position directly below, there were several thousand more teachers and students, standing in strict wait. Sun Wukong pointed his finger at Yi Chang and angrily questioned, Dean Sun, don't be so angry. I'm just here to pick up the people that should belong to me. The person that belonged to him? Sun Wukong and the many school leaders present thought of one person in unison. Lin Li, Yi Chang, since Lin Li has joined our Sacred Imperial Academy, he is a part of our Sacred Imperial Academy. And for you to act like this is simply too much of a disregard for my Sacred Imperial. A part of the Sacred Imperial? Ha ha. Yi Chang laughed out loud with seeming mockery. What piercing words ah. When have you guys ever accepted the darkness department from the bottom of your hearts? If it wasn't for Lin Li's SSS rank talent, would you guys care to look at him more than once? Even so, I haven't seen Lin Li have a good time. Accusations, ridicule, abuse, slander, insults, provocations, rumors. I, the Dark Kingdom, consider my actions to be shady. But what about you? A bunch of hypocrites. If it wasn't for Luo Hongtian's haphazard meddling the other day, Lin Li would have long been my Dark Kingdom's man. All of the leading teachers except for Sun Wukong revealed a look of astonishment after hearing this. It was Luo Hongtian who snatched Lin Li from the Dark Kingdom? Why? Yi Chang, don't talk nonsense and demagoguery anywhere, breaking into my sacred royalty and harming my students. You have to pay back this debt. Sun Wukong obviously didn't want Yi Chang to continue, rushing to change the topic and preparing to make a move. Humph. I don't have time to play with you guys. If you don't go and fix the teleportation spell formation, those three, 000 students won't be able to come back. As soon as the words fell, a black mist suddenly appeared behind Yi Chang, gradually enveloping his entire body. In the blink of an eye, it disappeared. Dean, I'll send someone to chase after him. Zhang Lei volunteered and prepared to go after Yi Chang. All right, there's no time to care about him right now. The teleportation spell formation is destroyed. It must be repaired as soon as possible, or else the three, 000 students will be in danger. Sun Wukong's fixation wasn't that bad. He knew exactly what was the most important thing at the moment. All high-ranked Xenos, follow me to repair the spell formation and receive the students back. Boom. Ah, it's too high. Who the hell is so unethical to put the teleportation location in the sky? Lin Li didn't know what was going on, but after exiting the teleportation space he came back to being high above the sky. That feeling, don't mention how exciting it was. The last time he flew, there were people from the Dark Kingdom carrying him, so he didn't kill anyone. What do we have this time? There was a big beautiful woman in his arms. 
but neither of them knew how to fly? Could this be the so-called death by peony? Is this the world somehow cleverly adding a pair of bitter lovebirds? Lindley, there seems to be a mud puddle down there. What? What did you say? I can't hear you. Strong air currents surrounded his ears, but Linley couldn't hear anything. Exasperated, Lu Qingyue grabbed Linley's ear and yelled, There's a mud puddle down there, we're not going to die from the fall. Only then did Linley hear clearly, the two fell right below a piece of mud pool, if you fall in is certainly not fall dead. The problem was that Linley didn't want to fall in. In all honesty, he loves to be clean. As long as he returns to the apartment, the first thing he does is to take a shower and wash his clothes. If he fell into the mud puddle, and then rolled a few times, and sipped a couple of sips of, simply do not dare to imagine. But now this situation does not fall in will certainly be dropped into the mud. What to do? There is. Linley thought of a way and decided to try. If it failed, the two would still fall into the mud. But it was better than falling to their deaths. Light speech, hold on to me. Lu Qingyue was unsure, but there was no time to think. Her hands and feet wrapped tightly around Linley's waist, making it look like a wombat, along with the duo's descending speed getting faster and faster and faster. Finally, at a height of less than 20 meters from the surface of the mud pool, Linley struck. Dark shockwave. A massive amount of supernatural energy gushed out, descending from the sky like a pillar of dark light, charging straight into the mud pool. The originally calm, Filthy muddy water was blasted out six or seven meters high, scattering all around, although the two of them were stained with some, but the good thing is that the rate of descent was hardened down. At the same time, Linley stretched out his other hand, aimed directly in front of another dark shockwave. A front, a moment, the two were so hard to recoil to the ground, and finally Linley is really physically exhausted, from the position of more than two meters high fell down. Since Lu Qingyue was snuggled in Linley's arms, she did not suffer any substantial injuries. What was tragic was Linley. His body's supernatural energy was exhausted, resulting in a decrease in his resistance to blows. This fall almost didn't even out his brain. Linley, Linley, how are you Linley? Linley you wake up ah. Lu Qingyin climbed up from Linley's arms, seeing that the back of Linley's head was covered in blood. She was so scared that she was at a loss for words, and she kept shaking her body in an attempt to wake the other party up. Linley, wake up, don't you scare me. Lu Qingyue's tears were spinning in her eyes in a hurry and she haphazardly used her supernatural energy to instill it into Lin Li's body. Don't say, this move of urgency really did have an effect. The residual darkness system foreign energy in Lin Li's body crazily absorbed the holy light system foreign energy that Lu Qingyue had poured into his body. And after his physical energy was replenished, Lin Li leisurely woke up from his coma. Light language, what are you crying about? Am I hiccuping? Lin Li subconsciously reached out his hand to wipe the tears from the corner of Lu Qingyue's eyes, and then both of them froze. When Lu Qingyue reacted, she didn't get angry at Lin Li's actions, but instead laughed happily. You're scaring me to death. What kind of bullshit method is this? Almost lost my little life. Cough cough. Lin Li was just about to get up when there was a dullness in his chest position and he couldn't stop coughing. Seeing this, Lu Qingyue rushed forward to assist, and only after the two of them got up did Lin Li snappishly return. It's because I overestimated myself, releasing two skills at the same time. The body's heterogeneous energy simply couldn't support the depletion. I really don't want you to fall into the quagmire and get stained by this dirty sludge. Lu Qingyue's small face flushed red after hearing this, and her heartbeat speed up a lot. So it turned out that Linley was doing this all for her. Could he be liking himself? And would he like him himself? Oops. Really annoying. Just that sentence could be expressing his feelings to himself? Then should I accept it? In fact, the answer to this was revealed as early as the moment when Lu Qingyue rushed towards Linley without a care in the world. The problem was that Lin Li didn't know, right? The words he said just now were entirely to cover up the fact that he didn't want to fall into the mire. Hell, this girl was making up her own random brain. Hiss. Lin Li suddenly felt a sharp pain coming from the back of his head. He touched it with his hand, and it hurt so much that he sucked in a breath of cool air. He was really hurt ah. Stabbing. Lin Li you don't move first. I'll help you simply bandage it. Lu Qingyin did not hesitate to pull down his skirt. Personally bandaged the wound for Lin Li. This action can give Lin Li touched bad. Lu Qingyue is definitely the girl who treats herself the best besides her aunt and little sister. Lin Li, where are we? It's dark and gloomy. There won't be ghosts, right? Lu Qingyue bandaged Lin Li's wound and looked around at her surroundings, discovering that this place was surprisingly eerie. Needless to say, the mere fact that it could have mud puddles present proved that this place was wasteland and very heavy with moisture. But at this moment, Lin Li's attention wasn't on the surroundings. Instead, it was on Lu Qingyue's legs. White, thin, long, and tender. Blah blah blah. Thinking the wrong way. 
What Lin Li was focusing on was Lu Qingyue's broken skirt. It was already a short skirt, and with such a tug, her legs were nearly half exposed. This place is wet and cold. It's not good to let a girl get cold. Immediately, Lin Li took off his jacket and slowly stepped forward. Just walked to the back of Lu Qingyue's head, both sides less than 10 centimeters. The former suddenly turned back. The two of them just looked at each other dumbfounded. Their breathing sound getting thicker and thicker. You, what are you doing? Lu Qingyue's cheeks were like that of a ripe apple, growing redder and redder. Lin Li didn't speak, but instead stretched out his hands and wrapped them around the other party's waist. Lu Qingyue was inwardly surprised and delighted. Was this going to be a wave of wild spring? So nervous. So, so looking forward to. Lu Qingyue even closed her eyes in preparation for the arrival of spring. 5 seconds. 10 seconds. 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Ha, huh, why didn't Lin Li move? Lu Qingyue quietly opened her eyes and realized that Lin Li was looking at herself with a blank expression. That expression seemed to be asking, Girl, are you alright? Lu Qingyue was even more bewildered, looking at Lin Li, looking around, and looking at her lower body. Only then did she realize that Lin Li was covering herself from the cold. This was great, and Lu Qingyue's face turned even redder, so red that it was about to drip blood. Seeing this, Lin Li was very worried and asked, Light language, what happened to your face? It's not poisoned. Is it? Damn it. I knew this shitty place wasn't right. Lu Qingyue saw Lin Li's appearance and the more she thought about it. Stinking straight man, serves you right for being single for the rest of your life. You fool, I'm not poisoned. I, I'm hot. After saying this, he hurriedly turned his head away. This was great. The eerie atmosphere around them all but dissolved the awkwardness of the duo. Lin Li was still confused and scratched his head, coincidentally touching the wound. This gave him pain. Whispering. Isn't this place the sunset forest? Lin Li grimaced as he observed his surroundings and asked in confusion. No, this isn't the sunset forest. It seems to be the dark forest. Dark forest? Why does it sound a bit familiar to me? Roar. Well, come to think of it, the extreme northern border of the divine continent, the border between Sang City and the northern beast domain, or the buffer zone. Crap, how did it get here? Whispering. Run. Lin Li didn't do the slightest bit of hesitation grabbing Lu Qingyue's small hand and rushing towards the woods ahead. Why did he rush? Because there was a foreign beast. That roar just now was clearly a beast that had detected the breath of the two of them and was rapidly approaching. Both of them clearly perceived that this beast was at the ninth level of the primary stage. Just as soon as it debuted, it came with a big load. Should it be so exciting? Lin Li's current state is very poor. The body's foreign energy basically did not recover much, and Lu Qingyue is still only a junior level 6. What can the two of them take against the foreign beast? Giving people food? Damn it! How did the promised trial become a desperate escape? Lin Li rushed while observing the surrounding situation, fearing that another fey beast would pop up. Lin Li, our bracelets are still there. We should be able to teleport back. It's, Lu Qingyue reminded very unconfidently, flinging the jasper bracelet at her wrist, as if it didn't have much sensing power. Light language. If this bracelet is still useful, long ago when I was injured, I teleported back. The more Lin Li thought about it, the more angry he became. What exactly did this Yi Chen want? Even though the Dark Kingdom was stationed in the northern part of Divine State, what the hell are you doing teleporting me to the Dark Forest, hundred kilometers apart, and walk over there hard? Roar! With the roar getting closer and closer, Lin Li knew that he couldn't hide. How could two legs outrun four? Whispering, I need you to fight for me for three minutes. After three minutes I'll have the certainty that I'll be able to take care of this beast. Lu Qingyue agreed without even thinking. Although there was a difference of three levels, stalling it for a short while shouldn't be a problem. With that, the two of them stopped and turned back in unison. Just in time, they saw the foreign beast that was chasing after them. And at this moment, it was lowering its speed with a low roar and slowly approaching. This is the, a two-headed wolf? As the name suggests, it was a wolf with two heads, except that it was not a small size, less than two meters three or four. That big toe cap was so long that cutting it off would probably be able to make a pot of stew. Light speech. Be sure to be careful of this wolf's claws. Lu Qingyue nodded solemnly, and her hands began to converge on her holy light system supernatural energy. As for Lin Li, he pulled out the darkness system Fei crystallization. At this juncture, it was better to have a damaged mind than to lose one's life. Casually find a tree to sit on his knees. Crazy absorption of elemental essence. I do not know whether it is because Lin Li breakthrough relationship or the body of the excessive consumption of foreign energy. This time the speed of absorption is particularly fast. At the same time, Lu Qingyue's side also started to fight. The two-headed wolf's attribute system was the wind system, so its movement speed was particularly fast. 
and every time it swung its two large front paws, it was able to throw out a wind blade. Lu Qingying gathered a holy light barrier in front of her body, dodging as much as she could, and carrying it down if she couldn't dodge it. The energy balls gathered in both hands were aimed at the head of the two-headed wolf, and both sides went back and forth like this for several rounds. Seemingly, they were evenly matched, but in fact, Lu Qingyuan knew it in her heart. In fact, Lu Qingyue's heart was very clear. This beast was testing himself. The power of the beast often did not lie in the supernatural ability, but in his close combat and physical defense. Holy light descent. Lu Qingyue found the right moment to unleash her skill. An arm-thick pillar of light pierced through the clouds and descended from the sky, realizing the danger. The two-headed wolf's figure quickly flashed, but the pillar of light in the sky was like it had been installed with navigation. No matter where it ran, the pillar of light followed it. Rumble. Finally, along with a loud bang came, the holy light descent hit the target precisely. However, Lu Qingying didn't have the slightest intention of relaxing. Instead, her eyes became even more grave. Huffing, huffing, huffing. When the smoke and dust dispersed, the figure of the two-headed wolf reappeared. Except for the slightly messy hair on its body, basically nothing happened. At this moment, it was staring dead on at Lu Qingyue, gasping for air under its breath, and its entire body erupted with palpitating elemental fluctuations. This fey beast was going to get real. In the next second, the two-headed wolf moved. With a bang, it rushed forward. The ground where it was originally located actually cracked a bit, and thick smoke scattered in all directions. Lu Qingying gathered all her powers in front of her body, trying to block the other party's impact. Unfortunately, the difference of three levels of strength was far from what it thought it would be. A large grayish claw slapped directly at the barrier. Ka, ka, click. Lu Qingyue's pupils shrunk. Her full strength defense was just slapped with a crack, and this crack was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It looked like it would not be able to support it. Lu Qingyue made an immediate decision and directly drew back. The large claw that lost its blocking power directly slapped on the ground, shaking the surrounding plants and trees violently. Looking at the place where the two-headed wolf's claw landed, the shallow crater with a diameter of about half a meter proved how terrifying the force of this strike was. Failing to hit, the two-headed wolf roared angrily and attacked again. Seeing that the situation is not good, Lu Qingyue directly wrapped her feet around the supernatural ability, whoosh 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 a few times, and then climbed a large tree. The two-headed wolf nonchalantly slapped a claw off the tree trunk. Lu Qingyue jumped to another tree. There is nothing else in this place, but there are plenty of trees. One person and one beast played a chase like this. You jump a tree. I slap a tree. You jump again. I slap. Again. After tossing back and forth for more than a minute, Lin Li finally finished recovering. Only this state is somewhat not normal. At this moment, Lin Li's eyes are red. A strong killing intent cannot stop surging outward. The original strength of a beginner level 4 now exuded an aura even more terrifying than that of a two-headed wolf. Roar! The two-headed wolf naturally noticed this change in Lin Li, glancing at Lu Qingyue on the tree. It had no time to care about her now. Lin Li, what's wrong with you? Lu Qingyue was puzzled to see Lin Li's body filled with a murderous aura. Wasn't it restoring her powers? How come it feels like it's going to be demonized? Don't worry, I'm fine. Lin Li's words were very cold and could not be heard with any emotion. In fact, this situation is only clear to Lin Li himself. Consciousness is no problem, is inexplicably want to kill people, or beast, nor manic, nor impulsive. It just wanted to kill. A gray-haired beast also dares to spread wildness in front of me? Lin Li's hands didn't move. His mouth moved, playing a wave of be first, pulling the atmosphere. The two-headed wolf seemed to have read Lin Li's disdainful look, and its eyes became sharper and sharper. Immediately afterward, the back foot stomped on the ground and directly rushed out, lifting its big claws and slapping towards Lin Li's head. Lin Li didn't know what to think, his arm covered with a layer of powerful darkness supernatural energy, actually attempting to carry this strike down. Boom! Then Lin Li was slapped away. Looking at Lu Qingyin, he was so angry. Lin Li, what's wrong with your brain? Lu Qingyue was so angry that she started to speak in her hometown. What's the difference in strength between the two sides? What time is it now and you're still pretending? Cough cough. Damn. This beast is quite strong. Lin Li stood up, holding his waist, and in his heart, he spat. Damn it. This is a big disgrace. Still thought that with his existing foreign energy he could carry off a blow from the other side. But as a result, nothing. It was annoying. However, this blow also counted as a slap that woke Lin Li up and the killing sensation he had just felt was instantly suppressed. Whispering, I'll be the main attacker. You assist. Can circle kick Y also single combat? Lin Li self-confessed to the current state can fight against the 8th level alien, but in front of this beast is the 9th level. 
pretending to be Abi struck by lightning. Good. Lu Qingyue didn't nag, and directly began to interfere remotely. Spells were thrown out one after another, and Lin Li also used Dark Shockwave. If they were losing in melee combat, then they would play remote consumption. The enhanced shockwave blasted at the two-headed wolf, causing the opponent to keep retreating. A spellball smashed into its back with precision and accuracy, causing the beast to suffer a lot of pain. Strong defense didn't mean it wouldn't get hurt. With two people clamping down on it, there would always be times when it couldn't take care of its defense. For example, like now, the two-headed wolf was so annoyed by Lu Qingyin's doggy behavior that both of its claws exerted force, and two extremely strong wind blades rushed towards Lin Li. Our Lin de protagonist is a thief. Put away the shockwave as two rounds of energy ball, never mind offset or not, directly dodged out of the range of the wind blade, and then continued to release the shockwave. The two-headed wolf was just about to shift its target, trying to knock down Lu Qingyue, when the familiar dark energy behind it came again. At the same time, Lu Qingyue also made a cruel decision and directly used her strongest skill, Holy Light Great Treasure Sword. Put, Lin Li was thunderstruck by the odd name and almost unloaded in his hands. However, it was also because Lin Li had gotten it wrong. This great treasure sword was not his great treasure sword. A big sword that was the same height as a person and glittered with golden light appeared in Lu Qingyue's hand, aimed at the target, and threw it out directly. The two-headed wolf was ready to dodge, but Lin Li couldn't give it this opportunity. His palms once again exerted force, and the shockwave deadened the other party's mobility. Rumble. There was another loud bang, and the great treasure sword plunged into the back of the two-headed wolf with unerring precision. It wasn't known whether it was supposed to explode, or whether it was because it had encountered darkness energy and created a conflict. But anyway, the impact from the explosion shook Lin Li and Lu Qingyue into a stagger. The duo sensed that the two-headed wolf's aura was gradually weakening, and only then did they breathe a sigh of relief. After the smoke cleared, Lin Li rushed forward with great excitement. What for? Ninth level Fei crystals. The market price is at least 90 W to start. Even if you don't sell it, it's good to keep it for yourself. Only to be Lin Li walked up to see the tragic situation of the two-headed wolf, and then some hesitation. No no no. Not sympathy. Not pity. Rather. Disgusting ah. Motherfucker. The whole back half of the body was blown to pieces. Blood and flesh scattered on the ground. Inside the white bones internal organs to see clearly. All this and the two-headed wolf is still not dead, but also soon, drooping head, out of breath more, inlet less, in a few minutes should be dead. Vomit. Lu Qingyue just got close to the place, and was made to retch by the strong visual impact. This was all normal. After all, both of them were still just budding newcomers, and before joining the sacred imperial, they hadn't even killed a single chicken, let alone such a large wolf that had been blown up into such a miserable state. Lin Li. Let's go. Too bloody. Too disgusting. Lin Li said in his heart, this isn't even your doing? You were ruthless when you fought, and now you're soft. Oh, women nah. You help me keep watch first. I, I'll take the crystals. Although Lin Li heart is very resistant, but after all is a man. This kind of thing he does not do who do. Even if he doesn't do it now, there will always be a time to do it in the future. Nah, this is for you. Lu Qingyue touched her boots, then took out a silver white dagger from it. This all gave Lin Li a confused look. Light speech. Why are you still carrying a dagger with you? I don't carry a dagger. So you're digging for crystals with your hands? It kinda made sense. It seemed that Lu Qingyue had also accumulated quite a bit of experience and knew how to prepare the dagger beforehand to make it easier to take the crystals from the body of the foreign beast. Lin Li took the dagger and walked around the two-headed wolf. Where should I start? The abdomen? Or the chest? Or the head? Or the most important part? Lin Li. Most of the crystals of the alien beasts are in the head, and there's a small portion that's kept in the abdomen. Seeing that Lin Li hadn't moved in half a day, Lu Qingyue spoke out to remind him. Head? Lin Li squatted next to the big furry head of the two-headed wolf, considering which one to start with. No matter, chop them one by one. Thus, Lin Li's hand rose up and took the lead in chopping off one of the other's heads. Now the two-headed wolf was completely out of breath, and the elemental fluctuations on its body had disappeared. Linley fiddled with the wolf's head from side to side, found the right position, and continued to slash. The next scene is too disgusting, so I won't describe it. Anyway, Linley didn't find anything, so he chopped off the other head as well. After rummaging around, he finally found it. A light blue beast crystal appeared in Linley's hand. The two searched for half a day before finding a small pool of water, rushed to wash away the blood mixture in their hands, otherwise it would be easy for other beasts to notice. Linley, what do we do next? This. Lin Li pondered for a moment and decided, head south, this place isn't too far from Tsong City, let's be careful, 
As long as we arrive in Shenzhou territory, we're considered safe. Saying that, Lin Li took out his cell phone. Although there was no signal in this place, the compass still worked. So, the two of them discerned the direction according to the compass, and carefully moved forward towards the south. Three hours later, whispering, our lunch is here. Lin Li, are you sure we want to eat it? Of course, aren't you hungry? Hungry yes, but, it's so cute. Lu Qingyue was very reluctant to look at the location in front of her, and she saw that at the foot of a big tree, there was a big fluffy white rabbit that was sleeping innocently, not the slightest bit aware of the impending danger. Lin Li was starving, he hadn't eaten any breakfast, and if he didn't fix his lunch, he wouldn't have the strength to walk the rest of the way. Besides, this big fat rabbit looks like it's very tasty. A beginner level 3 foreign beast, isn't it an easy thing to take it down? Light speech, cuteness can't be a meal. When we return to divine state, you can raise as many rabbits as you want. Comforting Lu Qingyue, Lin Li slowly approached with his dagger. The crystal clear harpies at the corners of his mouth were about to flow down. Little bunny good boy, split your legs, cut the arteries first, then put them on. Lin Li hummed a nursery rhyme while plucking the rabbit's fur. This big fat rabbit was just too big, at least 40 to 50 pounds. Utilizing the dagger in his hand, he sliced off both legs as well as the most plentiful parts of the meat, and skewered it with a tree branch. The fresh ingredients were prepared. Lu Qingying utilized her powers to gather light and heat to build a fire. The two of them roasted the wild game in this manner. High-end ingredients often only required simple cooking. There was no seasoning in this place, and there was no need for seasoning, because this rabbit was an exotic beast with elemental power in its body. The meat was extremely tender, and seasoning would in turn defeat the flavor. After roasting for half an hour, the, the aroma of the rabbit meat filled the air, and Lin Li handed a leg to Lu Qingyue. Lu Qingyue sniffed it, not to mention how much she enjoyed it. She directly buried her head in her hands. Seeing this girl eating so favorably, Lin Li couldn't help himself and reached out for the other leg. Excuse me, can I have a piece? No problem. This leg is for you. Thanks a lot. Three seconds later, Lin Li, Lu Qingyue, Yi Chang, asterisk carrot carrot asterisk. The three of them looked at me. I looked at you. Lin Li was confused. How did he give him the rabbit leg himself? Ha, huh? it seems like there's something weird about it. Crap. Lin Li was so scared that he hurriedly got up and aimed the rabbit meat in his hand at Yi Chang. Chief Yi, why don't you make a sound when you walk? Lu Qingyin, is this the time to ask this? Lin Li. Lu Qingyue shouted. The holy light supernatural energy in her hands quickly gathered. Ready to launch an attack at any time. Little girl. I'm just going to eat you to a piece of rabbit leg, not so much as to hit me with your hands, right? At this time, Yi Cheng had long taken off his mask and sat opposite the two of them, struggling to gnaw on the rabbit leg meat in his hands. Light language, be at ease. Lin Li grabbed Lu Qing Yue's small hand, signaling her to calm down. This person in front of him was a big brother, rumored to be in existence at the ninth level of the super rank. With Lin Li and Lu Qing Yue's little ability, they weren't even worthy of tickling others. Chief Yi, Nice to meet you. Lin Li sat back down and greeted with amusement. Ha ha, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yi Chang, from his appearance was only in his thirties, very handsome and mature. The most important point was that he had a solitary aura that was unrivaled and above all others. However, in Lin Li's case, it was much more restrained, and instead managed to give people a sense of affinity. Chief Yi, I'm rather curious, why did you teleport the two of us here? Lin Li was really too hungry and asked while eating. Hiccup. This question of yours is problematic in itself. First of all, I didn't want to bring this girl. It was she herself who had to grab hold of you and not let go. From the beginning to the end, my target was only you. Secondly, I didn't want to teleport you here. The original marking point was the Dark Kingdom, but I don't know what happened to the teleportation array. It teleported you two here, causing me to deduce half a day before I found you. Lu Qingyue's small face reddened again when she heard Yi Chang say this. She herself didn't know what she was thinking at that time. But she felt as if Lin Li was in danger. And then she rushed up without a second thought. And then Lin Li held it in his arms. Chief Yi, then you do this thing is also too sudden. I'm not even mentally prepared. Lin Li, the other day it was you who personally promised to enter our dark kingdom. And although there was an accident in the middle of the process, in the final analysis, you still have to join our dark kingdom. Otherwise, wouldn't that gift be in vain? Only then did Lin Li recall that those four goods from the dark kingdom had prepared a great gift for himself and he himself was so satisfied that he personally promised them that he would join the Dark Kingdom. But you can't blame yourself for all of this, right? Chief Yi, I, don't ye Chief Yi Chief, I got tired of hearing that a long time ago, call brother Chang. What? 
This guy is quite good at getting acquainted with himself. Uh, Brother Chang, you can't blame me for this. Who let those four guys leave me behind and run away at the critical moment? And that old bastard Luo Hongtian even mistook me for a captive genius and brought me back to the Sacred Royal Academy by force. Blah blah blah. Anyway, Luo Hongtian was not there. The pot was held on his head. What one said was what one said. Otherwise, one couldn't be truthful and tell Yi Chang that he was forced to choose Sacred Imperial. Right? You're right. So I don't blame you for this matter. Those four losers have all been disposed of by me. Ha! Huh? Yi Cheng's words could give Lin Li a shock. Disposed of? Just because you failed to bring Lin Li back. You lost your life? Brother Chang? This? You're also? Too? Lin Li couldn't take it anymore. Playing with blood without moving. When the Dark Kingdom does something, it has always only considered success or failure. Those four losers can't even do this little thing well. Why would I keep him? The last thing my Dark Kingdom lacks is Darkness System Adepts. Chow. This is also a goods who loves to blow and be. Then why are you still going to all this trouble to find me? That's because. Speaking here, Yi Cheng noticed something. It turned out to be Lu Qingyue who was eavesdropping with her full attention. Can't say it's eavesdropping either. Ears are long on people. You guys are happy to say who to rely on? Girl, you'd better sleep for a while. Then Lu Qingyue's eyelids drooped and she fell asleep. Yi Cheng didn't even move. Lin Li's eyes widened as he hurriedly checked. It was good that Lu Qingyue was really asleep. This big brother Ye's strength was also too terrifying. His words followed his words? Do you know what a SSS rank darkness talent means? Lin Li shook his head and nodded again. It means the rise of the dark forces? Or does it mean that a strong man will appear on the divine continent? Yes and no. Oh exempt. Still learning to play deep with himself. Small sample. Your appearance means the rise of the human race. Means the human race will prosper. It means that the darkness is the strongest. It means that the darkness dominates everything. It means disaster is coming. It means a great war is about to start. It means that the world will change. It means that everything will change because of you. This walla walla a whole lot. All to Lin Li heard silly. In a nutshell, he was very important. He was very important? But what the hell was that disaster? Great war? And change? Brother Chang, you're exaggerating. There are eight SSS ranked geniuses from other genera. And I don't see them being that important? It's true that they aren't very important. But they support the beliefs of the human race. And at the same time, they exist for you. For the future legendary talent of the Holy Light Department. For me? That was a bit of a touchy-feely statement. What did they do with themselves when they were born? It's not like he or she was involved in their process of that. Net nonsense. Alright, it's getting late. Come back to the Dark Kingdom with me. Yi Cheng threw away the roasted and battered branch, clapped his hands and got up. That. Brother Chang, can we discuss something? Lin Li didn't move, but looked at Lu Qingyue, and touched the piece of Fade Beast crystals from the outside of his pocket and asked hesitantly, what is it, about this girl? No, I want to discuss with you, is it possible to join both the Sacred Imperial and Dark Kingdom organizations at the same time, maintaining two identities? Yi Cheng's footsteps clearly stalled after hearing this, and his gaze gradually became complicated. You can't let go of sacred royalty, or are you unwilling to leave this girl? Neither. Lin Li shook his head as if he had made up his mind about something and got up to look at Yi Cheng back. Please give me three months to complete all the outstanding challenges and compete for the title of no. One in the sacred royalty. This is not only a request to myself, but also a promise to Luo Hongtian. I want to prove to everyone that the darkness department is the most powerful and deserving genus. Yi Cheng didn't say anything, but instead looked at Lin Li with that scrutinizing gaze, not knowing what he was pondering in his heart. After the two had been staring at each other dryly like this for three minutes, Yi Cheng spoke. I respect your decision. I'll give you three months. After three months, I'll personally go find you. Thank you brother Chang for understanding. This time it was Yi Chung who shook his head, and with the corner of his mouth still slightly curled up, he said as if he was looking forward to it, these three months will allow you to recognize some facts, examine your own heart well, and understand some unavoidable truths. Believe me, after three months, you will recognize the path that suits you, and you will also make the judgment that suits you. Yi Cheng's words were so cloudy that it made it seem like Lin Li understood and didn't understand. Maybe this is the bigram that belongs to a big brother. Wear this ring, and when you meet a trouble you can't solve, turn it. Yi Cheng threw a simple black ring to Lin Li, and then his entire body was wrapped in a black mist and disappeared in the same place. Lin Li caught the ring that flew to him, and after a couple of gestures, he realized that there was nothing special about it. Thank you, brother Chang. Out of politeness, there was still a need to thank him. As for whether or not he could hear, then Lin Li didn't care. After putting on the ring, Lin Li looked around and froze for a moment. He, gone? Crap, he's gone? 
Brother Chang, Brother Chang, don't go yet. Send us back first. Lin Li panicked. Damn ink half a day the most important thing has not been resolved. He ate a rabbit leg, gave himself a ring, and then talked about a bunch of things. This is patting his ass and leaving? Lin Li, what happened? At this time, Lu Qingyue also woke up from her sleep, stretched comfortably, and looked at Lin Li with a bewildered expression as she asked. One good news, one bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Um, bad news. The bad news is that we still have to walk back to the Divine Continent and return to the Sacred Royal Academy in Shangjing by ourselves. It's okay, after all. In the very beginning we walked all the way south with this idea in mind. So what about the good news? The good news is that I stayed. You stayed? You mean you're not going to the Dark Kingdom? Well, I don't have to go for a while. He he, I knew you couldn't let me go. Lu Qingyue got up and came to Lin Li's side smiling and flirting. Yeah, how could I not want to leave you Goddess Lu? Then, it's time for us to set off. Okay, all the way south. Let's go to Shangjing to get the western scriptures. Ha ha. After a brief rest, the duo once again traveled towards the south. This journey could truly be described as 991 difficulties. All sorts of ferocious beasts, dangerous poisonous insects as well as bloodthirsty. Berserk outlaws. This outlaw wasn't the outlaw who killed someone committed a crime, and then broke away from the social group. Rather, it is those who have long lost their minds, lost their sanity, demonized aliens. As the dark forest was a border zone, there were a few outlaws like this. After all, the divine continent couldn't tolerate them, and the fey world was still too dangerous, so they could only wander here to survive, barely surviving. Fortunately, Lin Li and Lu Qingyue hadn't clashed with this kind of person along the way, and every time they sensed the presence of the other party, they quickly withdrew and traveled around the road. The main reason was that the strength of this kind of person was too powerful. There were a lot of people in the middle rank and high rank. With the two's current strength, if they didn't run away, they would have to wait for death. After six hours of hard work, they finally obtained the western scripture. At this moment, in front of them is the legendary steel barrier. The divine continent spends a huge amount of resources, manpower, sleepless seven days and seven nights to rush out of the 100 meter steel city wall. This steel wall stretched for tens of thousands of miles, was a hundred meters high and five meters thick. Since the restart of the era until now, no foreign beasts had ever broken through this wall, and it could be considered the most sacred building in the divine continent. Clang! Anyone? Let us in. Will you? We're students of the Sacred Imperial Academy. Lindley walked up to the steel city gate and knocked with vigor. Who did you say you were? A voice came from a position above the city walls, and the duo's hearts were overjoyed. Finally, they were saved. We are students of the Holy Imperial Academy. Lin Li opened his voice and shouted. What? You're students of what? We're students of the Sacred Royal Academy. This time, Lin Li and Lu Qingyue both shouted in unison, their voices much louder than before. What? What fertility students are you? Sacred Royal Academy. What? What are you procreation students of? I'm fucking your father. What? Whose father are you? Fuck you M. Are you fucking deaf? Lin Li finally exploded. Shit which talent is up there? Just this hearing still dare to station at the border? It is estimated that when the beasts invade, he will still have to ask from above. What? What are you talking about? Lin Li, calm down. It's better to let me do it. You come? What can you do? Lu Qingyin smiled faintly, and in her hands, the holy light system's supernatural energy began to gush out. Holy light great treasure sword. A familiar golden great treasure sword was violently thrown into the air by Lu Qingyue, and Lin Li looked dumbfounded from the sidelines. So your so-called method is to release a skill bombardment? Boom. Just as he thought this, the great treasure sword exploded in the air above him, creating a loud sound. The holy light system's supernatural energy evaporated to several kilometers in a circle. Now everyone could understand that there was someone down there. Cackle. Pying. The thick city gates were slowly pushed open, and Lin Li gave a nod to Lu Qing Yue's cleverness. It seemed that many times, it was much less troublesome to use one's hands than one's mouth. Who are you people? Why have you appeared in the borderlands? A man wearing a black ancient robe and holding a silver gray longsword walked out from within the city gates. It couldn't help but remind Lin Li of the ancient great general Jan Wei. He had an outstanding demeanor and an imposing presence. When this great general saw Lin Li and the two of them, he was very careful and cautious. The longsword in his hand seemed to be ready to be sheathed at any moment. Hello big brother, we are both students of the Holy Royal Academy. My name is Lin Li. Her name is Lu Qingyue. Things are like this. Originally the two of us were going to participate in the academy's trial activities, through the teleportation array to the sunset forest, but as a result, due to the destruction of the school's teleportation array, the location of the teleportation was changed, 
and the two of us were forced to teleport to the interior of the dark forest. Lin Li, Lu Qingyue. Aha, you're Lin Li and Lu Qingyue? The great general's face was delighted, and he hurriedly took out his cell phone to compare it with the photo sent over by the academy. Sure enough, it was identical. Ha ha ha. Great. You two actually let me neat. Heaven's will has allowed me, Kong Zhang, to make this fortune. Make a fortune? Lin Li was instantly alert. It couldn't be someone paying money to try to buy his life, could it? But his own life isn't worth much, is it? Yes, you two don't know. The Sacred Royal Academy has put in a lot of blood to find you two. A billion blue coins for the bounty. My Kong Zhang's good days are coming soon. Ha ha ha. One billion? Lin Li's eyes almost didn't glaze over. Was Sacred Royal Academy crazy? Spending a billion dollars to reward himself and Lu Qingyue? What a fucking loser. There's a lot of money that they can share for them. What's the deal with giving it to an outsider? It seems like my sister is in a hurry. Lu Qingyin stroked her hair and said in a very bland manner. Lu Qingyin is in a hurry? Right. These two sisters were notoriously rich. And the Lu family behind them was a well-known corporate tycoon in the divine continent. Not to mention 10 billion. 10 billion people can easily take out their hands. So Lin Li is making a fool of himself. Thinking how important he is? Oh, then I go? Two, it's getting late. Just settle down for the night here in Sangcheng. And then tomorrow morning, I'll personally send you back. Personally? Aren't you General Jianwei? Why are you still AWOL? Ha, huh? when did he say he was General Jianwei? Cam, that's also a fortune hunter. A billion blue coins. Even though it's not out of his own pocket, it hurts to think about it. Then I'll trouble Mr. Kong. Lu Qingyue politely uttered a thank you then pulled Lin Li inside the city gates. Song City was known as the four guardian cities along with Luo City, Wu City, and Guan City. They were stationed in the north, south, west and east of the divine continent. It seems to symbolize the green dragon, white tiger, vermilion bird, and Xuan Wu. It also seems to have no relationship. In addition to the four major guardian cities, there are hundreds of small cities in the border area, which are connected to each other and complement each other's existence. If one side is in trouble, Eight sides will support it. The main battle force stationed in the four major cities were the adepts, followed by the armed forces, because in a real battle, armed artillery fire wouldn't cause too much damage to those alien beasts. Those below the middle rank were okay, but above the middle rank were of little use. The era of firearms has ended. The divine continent for this purpose specially developed a new type of laser weapons. Power absolutely no say. High grade beasts to come, but also just a gun thing. But the cost of this weapon is too expensive. The Divine Continent has been busy in recent years in the construction of defense and people's livelihood protection. The treasury of silver has long been not much, which needs time to ease, so the new weapons in a short period of time is not popularized down. It could only be carried by the alien energy community to protect the country's flag. Both of you, this is your room. Food and drink are all ready. If there is anything you want to do, just order the service staff downstairs. I still have some business, so I won't accompany you. Kong Zhang brought the two of them to a three-story building similar to a bed and breakfast, came to the second floor and opened a room, and also handed the key to Lin Li. Ah, uh, big brother Kong, why is there only one room? Lin Li looked at the key, looked at Lu Qingyue, and then looked at Kong Zhang, and asked in a somewhat confused manner, because there's only one room left. Anyway, you're a couple. Isn't it normal to stay in one room? Don't worry, I've asked people to make arrangements. All kinds of equipment. Everything. Just as a favor to repay you for making me rich. Kong Zhang's words became more and more tasteless the further he spoke. What equipment? What arrangement? Was Lin Li thinking crookedly or was he doing it crookedly? Brother Kong, you misunderstood. The two of us are not a couple. Just, pretty good friends. Living in one room is really inappropriate. Lin Li thought he was not a gentleman, but he was not a villain either. How can you casually take advantage of other girls? What if they didn't agree? Kong Zhang obviously didn't anticipate that he had misjudged. But he clearly saw these two holding hands ah, pretty good friends? Can heterosexual friends just hold hands? Are young people so open-minded nowadays? That. I don't have any room. After all, this place rarely has guests. I couldn't prepare in advance. You guys can just make do. My. I still have some things to do. You guys have a good rest. I'll come back to pick you up in the morning. After saying that, also did not wait for Lin Li Duo to agree or not. Kong Zhang just patted his butt and directly left. That. Why don't I sleep on the sofa downstairs? I think it's quite nice there too. No need. Just stay for one night. I'm not that delicate. Although Lu Qingyin's little face was red, she took the key in Lin Li's hand and opened the door to her room. The two of them walked in with shy faces one after the other. The room was very large, very spacious, not too far from the usual hotel configuration. 
In addition, it was also equipped with an open-air viewing platform. Looking down from above, the scenery was very pleasant. Only when the duo looked clearly at the items placed on the bed they were not calm. White, black, exposed, not exposed, all kinds of strange items. It caused Lin Li and Lu Qingyue to be so embarrassed. It turns out that Kong Zhang so called well equipped is this ah, what a fucking, dog, that, I'll clean it up. Lin Li volunteered to clean up all the dirty stuff. Really, do we look that much like an old sex maniac? After dinner, after dinner, Lin Li sat on the observation deck and watched the scenery. Lu Qingyue was leaning on the side of the bed, her eyes lowered, not knowing what to think about. The night was already deep, and the evening breeze of early fall was slightly cooler. The cicadas still resounded. The willow branches and leaves danced with the wind, emitting a rustling sound. Looking up, a bright moon hung above the clouds, surrounded by stars to decorate this pleasant picture. Lin Li is a little sleepy. After all, after a day of tossing and turning, how could it not be tired? But there is only one bed in the room. Ladies first. The first thing you need to do is to make do with the bed. I don't know how long it took. Lin Li's double eyelids began to fight, muddled and almost about to fall asleep. When? Lu Qingyue's voice suddenly rang out from behind her, just the right amount of softness, the understanding concern, let this evening breeze, become no longer miserable cold, Lin Li, go to bed and rest, we have to continue our journey tomorrow, this girl also didn't know when she walked up to the observation deck, there was absolutely no sound of footsteps, Lin Li instantly sobered up, and thought a little about it, and, it could only be this way, okay, the bed is yours, and the floor is mine, after saying that, he didn't care how the other party reacted, walked straight into the room and, spare blankets and quilts in the cabinet, neatly spread on the ground, with that bed, but also some distance, Lu Qingyue originally intended to say, actually, you can squeeze in, but when she saw Lin Li's serious attitude, she stopped saying anything more, since he cared, he should also keep some distance, and so it was, Lin Li comfortably lay down on the floor bunk, and Lu Qingyue also lay on the bed, with their backs facing each other. Both could hear each other's breathing. It was strange. Just now on the observation deck Lin Li was obviously very sleepy. But after entering this room, she wasn't sleepy anymore. And where did this inexplicable tension come from? Lin Li, are you, are you asleep? Lu Qingyue asked quietly in a very, very low voice. It felt as if she was asking herself. No, what's wrong? Lin Li turned around and happened to meet the other person turning around as well. One on the bed. One under the bed. The two just stared dryly at each other for a few seconds. So awkward oh, that, I want to ask you a question. Then just ask. Look at the other person's state. Her little face is flushed. The environment is already weird enough. If the other party says something more weird, he'll make it difficult for himself next while. Damn it, don't be abrupt. I want to ask you. Wait, you let me slow down first. Linley suddenly interrupted the other party's rhythm, causing Lu Qingyue to become very upset. Slow down what? Nothing. I, I just had a bit of a bloated stomach, so go on, wow, Lu Qingyi nodded her head in disbelief, she was just about to continue speaking down, as a result, God's rescue plan was put into action, rumble, 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 a sudden, loud boom caused the entire building to tremble, and the, uh, Linley's duo instantly came to their senses, immediately afterward, a piercing alarm sounded outside, alarm, alarm, there's a large-scale alien beast invasion. There is a large-scale alien beast invasion. Please prepare all personnel for battle. Please prepare all personnel for battle. This sudden turn of events left the two at a loss for words. How could there be an alien beast invasion at such a good time? And TM had to pick this time to invade. It really was. It's too beautiful. Knock knock knock. At precisely this moment, a sharp knock sounded outside the door. Linley hurriedly got up and opened the door to his room. Just outside the door stood a service staff member who was currently reporting to Linley in a panic. Sir, there's a large-scale invasion of alien beasts, and Frontier has already started combat operations, so please evacuate Sung City quickly. Has the battle already begun? Linley glanced back at Lu Qingyue. The latter nodded fearlessly, her attitude very obvious. Thanks for your kindness, we are also exalts, and with the invasion of exotic beasts, we also have the responsibility to guard the safety of this place. With that, the two of them put on their clothes and descended the stairs and, rushed towards the location where the steel barrier was located. What about students? Students were also a part of the divine continent, not to mention students of the alien energy realm, and the meaning of their existence was to defend the country, resist the alien beasts, and assist the frontline generals in their battles. Soon, the duo arrived in front of the city gates. Stop, there's a battle going on ahead. Unrelated people please leave quickly. 
a middle rank 3 combatant spotted Linley and the duo and hurriedly spoke out to stop them. Big brother, we're students of the Sacred Royal Academy. We're all Xenos, and we have a responsibility to guard our homeland in the face of a great enemy. That's right, please let us mount the city wall and defend the enemy together. The combatant was torn for a split second, then nodded and said, Good, you are all brave children. Follow me. The two quickly followed along the steps. The two of them climbed the hundred meter high city wall for more than ten minutes. This was already considered fast, if it wasn't for the supernormal ability to enhance the physique. Who could climb so high in one breath? There wasn't even an elevator. Pulling crotch, the moment the two of them ascended the city wall, the image of the overwhelming battle came into their eyes. It was too spectacular. On top of the city wall, tens of thousands of aberrants released a wide variety of elemental aberrations and bombarded the bottom of the city wall violently. Most of the realms of this group of aberrants were below the ninth level of the middle rank. As for those above the ninth level of the middle rank, they were all fighting in the sky. With the exception of the darkness department, all the genus department's aberrants could achieve flight after reaching the ninth level of the middle order, while the darkness department only needed the sixth level of the middle order. It was probably the difference between the purity and strength of the alien energy. Roar. Ferocious roars resounded throughout the entire sky. All sorts of alien beasts with the ability to fly frantically attacked the steel barrier, and the crowd of strong humanoids stepped in to intercept them. For a time, majestic elements swept through the sky, and the night was colored in today. Linley and Lu Qingyue arrived at the edge of the city wall and looked down. A tingle ran through their scalps. Too outrageous, densely packed and dark. Initial estimation, at least 100, 000 or more. This was nothing, because Linley had found quite a few beasts in the army of beasts that were up to a few dozen meters tall, and whose realms could not be perceived at all. The ground would tremble with nearly every step taken by such fey beasts. The skill blasts that fell from the sky on them were like scratching an itch. Useless as shit. Linley, can we really repel this group of fey beasts? Lu Qingyue was a girl after all. When had she ever seen such a scene? Not to mention her. Linley's heart was a bit terrified at the moment. Hundreds of thousands of alien beasts. And there were only 30 to 50,000 people on the human side. Even with the iron barrier in town. It's still unknown whether or not they will be able to win. Believe in yourself. Believe in everyone. We will definitely achieve victory. Linley's mouth moved, and his hands followed suit. Dark supernatural energy gathered crazily, and three energy balls shot out sharply, directly blowing out the heads of three low-rank alien beasts. Seeing this, Lu Qingyin didn't make any pretense. Wherever there were more alien beasts, the great treasure sword was thrown there. After the surrounding aberrants sensed that Lu Qingyue's elemental attribute was the holy light system, they all revealed looks of envy and appreciation. With the strength of a beginner level 6, she was able to take out a beginner level 7 or even level 8 alien beast. It seemed like this girl had good talent. Dark Shockwave. Seeing that the effect of the darkness shock wasn't very great, Linley directly released two darkness sustained energy shockwaves with both palms. The people around him looked stunned. Isn't this kid a beginner level 4? How is this aura comparable to mine? Quickly look. That beginner level 8 alien beast down there was taken out by this kid. There are still so many low level beasts. My god. Is the darkness department this powerful? I'm the darkness department. Why didn't I know I could fight across four levels? The strength displayed by Linley was completely inconsistent with his own rank positioning. The darkness shockwave was like two death rays. Foreign beasts below the eighth level of the primary stage would be injured if they touched it, and they would die if they were hit. However, the level of consumption of this skill was too great, and Linley barely supported it for more than ten seconds before he was too weak. On the side of Lu Qingyue is also the same. Even threw out three big sword. Also do not know how many beasts killed. Anyway, the body of the foreign energy is not much left. The two looked at each other and both smiled embarrassedly. The first large-scale battle. Lack of experience. A few more contacts will be fine. Whispering. Go rest for a while to recover. I'm here. There's you? Lu Qingyue froze, always feeling that something was strange. What's the point of you being there? This level of battle not even a high-ranked alien deserves to say this kind of thing. And you're pretending to be this way as a little party girl at the fourth level of the beginner's class? Did you burn your brains out before you came? Linley, you'd better not try to be brave. Let's go recover together. Whispering, you don't have to worry about me. I'm exceptionally fast at recovering. I can do it while attacking. Linley didn't brag about this point. He had quite a few fake crystals saved up in his hand. Wouldn't it be fine to absorb and release them at the same time? Although this way was a great burden on the body, he couldn't care less at the moment. Once the fey beasts were allowed to attack in, it wasn't something that could be solved by casually dying a little bit. At that time, it was feared that the entire divine state would be in crisis, and three billion lives would be threatened. Alright, 
Then be careful. Seeing that Lin Li didn't look like he was bragging, Lu Qingying backed off a distance and pulled out a holy light system elemental crystal to start restoring her powers. When Lin Li saw the holy light elemental crystals, his eyes lit up. Medium grade holy light elemental crystals. The market price was more than $50 million. And there was no market for them. This girl is really rich. This kind of thing can get over. Roar. Watch out. Suddenly, a roar similar to that of a fierce tiger came from above. And the people around them hurriedly shouted a warning. Linley didn't care about much and directly rushed forward to pounce on Lu Qingyue. A black shadow directly grazed the city wall and flew past. If this was any lower, Linley felt like he could have touched it. Only after getting up did the two of them see what it was. It was indeed a tiger. But this tiger was black and had wings for large claws that were incredibly sharp and was currently fighting with a high-level aberration. It should be high rank. Anyway, Linley couldn't perceive the other party's realm. Is this a tiger splitting its legs? Or an eagle cheating on its wife? How was this thing born? Idiot, that's a black winged tiger. What? Pay two tiger? Black winged tiger. What pay two tiger? Are you stupid? Lu Qingyue gave Lin Li a big blank stare. How come his ears don't work well when it comes to critical moments? Roar. Another roar came out. The strong man fighting the black winged tiger was accidentally hit by one of its claws and fell straight into the ground. Lin Li didn't care about much. He directly rushed to the other end of the city wall and instinctively stretched out his hand. A cloud of black mist appeared out of thin air and wrapped around the falling strongman before yanking him over a little bit. Lu Qingyin was surprised, as he had never seen Lin Li use this move before. It looked quite powerful. Ahem. Thank you, young man. The high-ranked alien who had been dragged to the city wall covered his chest and coughed twice before turning his head to Lin Li and saying gratefully. In fact, Lin Li himself was quite confused. Saving him was a completely subconscious action, including the stance he used just now, which was also used inexplicably. As if it wasn't inexplicable, Lin Li suddenly recalled Yi Chang. Wasn't he wrapped in a black mist when he left? It seemed like he had subconsciously imitated Yi Chang's move. Crap. It turned out that he really was a one in a million martial arts practicing wizard. Once you learn it, you know it, but once you use it, it's useless. Blah blah blah. Once you use it, just, it's just awesome. This beast isn't simple. A high rank 5 darkness system. You all be careful. Saying that, the high rank alien stood up and rushed towards the black winged tiger once again. A darkness system beast? Crap. A high ranking 5th level exotic beast crystallization. Lin Li's harangue was about to come down. This was similar to the one Luo Hontian had sent himself. The market price started at $300 million. Whispering. Find a place to hide. I'm going to help this big brother finish off this beast. What? You're crazy right you? Lu Qingyue hurriedly tugged at Lin Li. Beginner level 4 versus high level 5. The mental hospital should really take him in. Don't worry. I'm just assisting from the side. Sharing some pressure for him. It'll be fine. Linley simply consoled him. Then pulled his legs out and ran. The battle between that man and beast in the sky was very intense. The elder brother on his side was an inferno system exalt. And a large fireball more than one person high was thrown at the black winged tiger. Creating a violent explosion. Rolling heat waves came. And many of the adepts on the city walls were affected. Big brother. I'll distract him. Linley's figure traveled above the city walls, and several balls of dark energy hit the black winged tiger impartially, feeling the same attributes as his own origin power. The black winged tiger's attention instantly shifted to Linley. The easiest way for a foreign beast to become stronger was to devour creatures with the same attribute, including humans. Good lad. Stall for 20 seconds. I'll finish him off with one blow. Didn't ask. Oh my god. After the black winged tiger set its sights on Linley, that big claw was swinging out a windbreaking sound. Seeing this, Lin Li directly jumped onto the edge of the wall and desperately ran without disturbing his comrades. Roar! Seeing Lin Li running around impatiently, the black winged tiger directly roared. Black energy ripples spreading out in a ring shape, aiming at the diagonal downward position and blasted over. Lin Li didn't even have time to react before he was enveloped by this dark ripple. For a moment, his headache was splitting, and his feet stumbled, almost not falling over. This was a hundred meter high city wall. It would be strange if he didn't fall out of his shit if he planted himself. Damn it. Black fog. Linley felt like his head was about to explode. And against all odds, he exploded all of his supernatural abilities. And at this critical moment his entire body was enveloped in a black mist. And immediately afterward, he disappeared in place. A second later, it appeared again five meters away directly in front of him. Life was saved. But Linley was also nearly deflated. Paralyzed on the ground huffing. Puffing breathing heavily. The black winged tiger was shocked that Linley was able to escape his own blow, but when it saw the other party's appearance of being dead or alive, it became excited again. 
This human in front of him was now the equivalent of a lamb to the slaughter. Defenseless. Although there were many Xenos beside him who noticed him and chose to step forward and try to stop the Blackwing Tiger in its tracks, but after all, it was a group of middle-ranked Xenos, how could they possibly stop the attack of a high-ranked Xeno beast? In just 10 seconds, they were all defeated. But this group of people stepping forward also bought enough time for Linley and the high-ranked alien. Bastard. Die. Explosive flame art. Dark red flames eroded the entire sky as a giant pillar of flame descended from the sky, instantly enveloping the black-winged tiger. A mournful scream echoed above the city walls. The smell of burning was everywhere. And in just a few moments, the black-winged tiger was burned to cinders and dissipated into flying ash between heaven and earth. Linley finally breathed a sigh of relief. And right at this moment, Lu Qingyue also rushed over. Lin Li, are you alright? Lu Qingyue came to Lin Li's side and asked with great concern. It's fine. I'm just a little dehydrated. Just take a few minutes and I'll be fine. Under Lu Qingyue's support, Lin Li sat against the wall, holding an alien beast crystal in his hand, rapidly recovering the foreign energy in his body. Young man, thanks to your help this time, this alien beast crystal belongs to you. In addition, I Li Xiu Ji owes you a favor. In the future, what needs? Although come to me. Li Xiaojie threw the crystals in his hand to Linli, then turned around and rushed towards the other battlefield. Yes, not a wasted toss. Almost lost his little life. But in exchange, he got a high level 5 darkness beast crystals. Although it wasn't quite worth it, it was fine as long as the result was good. Linli, you really are a fool to even give up your life for a fey beast crystal. Seeing this look on Linli's face, Lu Qingyue instantly understood everything. Puffing with anger, she gave Linli a punch. Aya. My little ancestor, is this how you treat sick people? Less pretending to be pitiful, just like you. Sooner or later you'll play yourself to death. Linley didn't dare to talk back. He smiled sarcastically and continued to recover his powers. The current battle situation had already entered a white-hot stage. Although the alien energy side had the advantage, it couldn't afford to keep releasing skills. The current attack frequency had gradually decreased. Looking at the alien beast army, it was still endless and inexhaustible. It was so black and pressurized that it was impossible to see the end of it. Currently, there were already many fey beasts that had attacked the foot. But fortunately, the steel barriers were hard enough, and no matter how much the group of fey beasts impacted them, they just didn't budge. However, this is also very likely because, all the super large alien beasts are held back by the strong people. Otherwise the dozens of meters high big guy full impact, who do not dare to guarantee that the steel barriers can hold on. AI, going on like this isn't a solution. If the support can't arrive as soon as possible, the inner borders of the divine continent will be in danger. Linley got up while recovering. The current situation was very unfavorable for his side. The northern border belonged to the main combat zone between the Dark Kingdom and the Evil Spirit Sanctuary. And in the past 50 years, no anomalies had ever occurred. How could something go wrong as soon as he arrived? It really is. Linley suddenly remembered something halfway through spitting and stretched out his right hand to look at it. Yi Cheng had said that when you meet trouble that can't be solved. Turn it. Wasn't it the trouble that couldn't be solved right now? Thinking of this, Linley hurriedly turned the ancient black ring. One turn. Two turns. Three turns. All right kid. Stop spinning. Wait a little longer. That guy hasn't come yet. Linley was so focused on turning the ring that he didn't realize that there was an extra figure beside him. That. Linley, you really don't need to turn it. The people who should be here are already here. Ha. Huh? Linley hurriedly turned his head to look. Good lord. Several thousand black-clothed men, neatly arranged on top of the city walls. When did they come Linley didn't even know. Is this ring really that in B? It shook in so many people at once. Brother Chang, you're finally here. Wait a little longer and these beasts will all attack. Hoomph. Attacking? With this number. It's not enough. Yi Chang pretended to be a good bee. Then waved his hand. All of the thousand men in black came out and flew directly into the sky to join the battle. Stay here honestly, and leave the next matter to me. Yi Cheng's gaze was a bit grim as he flew out just like the other men in black. Only, he didn't join the battlefield, but rushed towards the position directly behind the army of foreign beasts. The devil knew what he was doing. However, since Yi Cheng had come, there was no need for Lin Li to worry. With the strength of a super rank 9, if he couldn't solve things, what's the point of worrying about it? I love you walking alone in dark alleys. I love the way you don't look like a ghost. Lin Li was watching the show when his cell phone suddenly rang. When did it get a signal? After answering the call, a familiar voice came, Brother Lee, there's good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Good news? Bad news? Ma Hongi? Why did this kid think of calling himself? Ah, uh, good news. The good news is that I've joined Sacred Royal Academy. 
and I also know that you're in the first year class of Sacred Royal Academy, while I'm in the second year class of Sacred Royal Academy. Really? That's really great. Congratulations. That. What about the bad news? The bad news is, you're going to be expelled. What? I'm getting fired? Why? Linley was confused. How could he be expelled for no reason? Those bullshit school leaders said that you've defected to the Dark Kingdom, and that the reason for Chief Ye's attack on the teleportation plaza this time, which caused great losses for the institution, is because of you. Crap. This is even possible? This reason is really, not faulty at all. Indeed. Wasn't Yi Cheng's reason for breaking into the Sacred Imperial and destroying the teleportation spell formation all for Lin Li alone? Now that the school authorities were pursuing the responsibility, and Lin Li had disappeared and there was a great possibility that he had joined the Dark Kingdom, where else could this shitpot be snapped at if not on his own head? But don't worry brother Li, I've already asked my father to step in and negotiate with the Sacred Imperial School Authority, as long as they dare to expel you, then I won't be on it. Anyway, the Titan Guild side is also quite good. Little Fatty's words could be said to have deeply touched Linley. What does it mean to be a good brother? This is called a good brother. Sharing the same blessings, sharing the same hardships, having a father to use together, and having money to spend together. Hong Yi, listen to your brother. If they insist on firing me you don't intervene, and don't act out of anger. It's not worth it. I, Linley, made a wrong choice when I joined Sacred Imperial. I can't absolve myself of the blame for Chief Yi destroying the teleportation spell formation this time so I'll admit to any disciplinary action that the school authority takes against me. But brother Lai, I came to Sacred Imperial because of you. What's the point of me staying here when you're gone? Yesterday when I first joined the school, I scolded those bullshit school leaders, and there were a few ungrateful students who dared to badmouth you behind your back, so I had my bodyguards teach them a hard lesson. You scolded the school leaders on the first day of school, and beat up a classmate? The most unbelievable thing is that Sun Wukong allowed this little fatty to bring his bodyguards to school? Linley nodded in the air. This little fatty was too godly. This also proves that his dad Ma Kong is really in B. Spoiling his son to the heavens. Hey, Hong Yi, your heart brother received. This way, when brother goes back we will discuss this matter. Currently I'm in Song City. There is a large number of foreign beasts attacking. The war is urgent. I don't have time to chat anymore. Linley's words weren't a pretext, but it was really just like that. The number of foreign beasts was getting bigger and bigger. And just now the several thousand black-clothed people had joined the battlefield. Although they had played some role, they were completely consumed by the other side. Just how much time has passed since then? The beasts underneath the city have piled up like a small mountain. Linley had to step in. What, Brother Lee? You're resisting the invasion of foreign beasts at the northern border? Wait here. I'll ask my father to rush to support. Da 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 da. Hey, wait. Without waiting for Linley to finish, the other party hung up. Ma just came to provide support? Was this really good? Linley, the school is going to expel you? Lu Qingyin had been listening from the sidelines for half a day, and had been wanting to interject but couldn't find the opportunity. There's no time to discuss this now. The enemy is at hand. If we let this group of alien beasts break through the defense line, what academy or not? It's all for nothing. Linley tucked back his fey crystallization, and at this moment, his recovery was almost complete. He took two steps to the edge of the city wall and the dark energy in his hands converged, aiming at the battlefield below and frantically sweeping. Seeing this, Lu Qingyin stopped saying anything and rushed forward to throw up the great sword. Although the two people's continuous offense had achieved some success, it played a minimal role for the entire battlefield. The flying alien beasts in the sky were also increasing, and the alien side was clearly starting to fall into a disadvantage. Nearly every minute and every second, lives were being lost, and strong people were falling. This was the most cruel reality the most brutal battlefield. Life was worthless here, and the corpses of the alien beasts under the city walls had already piled up into mountains. All the troops within Song City had also been mobilized. Just like this, Lin Li and Lu Qingyue persisted in their fight for more than half an hour before another batch of support arrived at the battlefield. Seven kill formation. Rise. A voice that resounded through the sky came from the sky, and Lin Li only felt a blur before his eyes as colorful elemental energies frantically converged right above the battlefield. The standard circular spell formation pattern appeared in everyone's field of vision, followed by a round of carpet bombardment, lightning, wind blades, flames, ice, earthquakes, etc. Anyway, there were all sorts of different kinds of elemental attacks falling from the sky. The army of beasts originally piled up in front of the door was instantly blown apart, and within a two-kilometer radius, it was almost turned into a Jedi. As long as a beast set foot on it, it would surely die. Linley and the many warriors finally got a chance to catch their breath, and they all sat paralyzed on the ground, panting heavily. 
Big brother, who is the strong support? Linley asked to a large man at the fourth level of the middle rank beside him. This is the evil spirit holy temple's seven killing formation, a formation that needs to bring together nine, 999 strong people of middle rank or above and unite their efforts to launch it. Listening to the voice just now, the main formation person should be the evil spirit holy temple's vice temple master, Song Hong Yun. So it's someone from the evil spirit holy temple. This organization was something Linley had more or less heard of. Of the three major dark forces, the Dark Kingdom ranked first, the Evil Spirit Sanctuary ranked second, and the Demonized Legion ranked third. There was no need to talk about the rest of the smaller group organizations. The reason why the Dark Kingdom was ranked first was not only because of Yi Chang's Super Rank 9 Strength, which was second only to Sacred Radiance Academy's Dean Wine Gang, but also because of the seven Inquisitors and 24 Executives in its forces. It was rumored that the seven Inquisitors were all Super Ranked Powerhouses, while the 24 Executive Officers were all High Ranked Top Powerhouses. This force is a force to be reckoned with in the entire divine continent. Only the Dark Kingdom has always been unwilling to provoke disputes. Belonging to the kind of people do not offend me, I do not offend. Of course, the enrollment standard of the Dark Kingdom is also very strict. First of all, the talent must pass. And secondly, they need to pass the seven layers of tests set by the seven judges. Very few people passed anyway. Secondly, is the evil spirit sanctuary? The master of the temple why is still a mystery. But the evil spirit sanctuary acts in the most low-key way. The enrollment standard is not as high as the Dark Kingdom, but it is more special than the Dark Kingdom's requirements. What requirements? That is, those who enter the temple must be orphans, never have any attachments outside. Linley might be able to understand this. What's the saying? Leave everything behind to become a demon. Sacrifice everything to become a saint. Cut off everything to become an immortal. If you give away everything, you can become a Buddha. Perhaps what the evil spirit sanctuary wants to cultivate are those emotionless, temperature-less war machines. The last one was the demonized legion. Linley knew relatively little about this organization, but none of it was complimentary of them, because the demonized legion had no enrollment requirements. Everyone, as long as you dared to come, he dared to accept them, especially those who had been demonized, or were close to being demonized aliens. There is no way to know exactly what method is used, but people are able to control this group of people. Let them obediently for their own use. There are also those abnormal aliens who are not right in heart and are bloodthirsty and perverted. Most of them had killed people, committed crimes, and were wanted by the six major academies, the 24 major guilds, and even the alien power administration. That was why, the six academies would often send people to crusade against the demonized legion. Their behavior was simply too bottomless. Linley, which one is Linley? A voice as strong as a bell resounded through the sky and everyone's gazes looked towards the back. Linley's first reaction upon seeing the visitor was, what a resemblance. What a fucking resemblance. These two masters were definitely related. That body type, physical appearance, they were simply carved out of the same mold. Chairman Ma, I'm here. Linley hurriedly waved as another strong reinforcement arrived. This wave was stable. You're my son Linley? Linley was confused. Lu Qingyin was confused. And the people around him who knew Ma Gang were all confused. When did this fat fortune teller have an extra son? Ah, uh, I, I am. Linley admitted down in tears and laughter, because he understood why Ma Gang had asked that, when he had told Ma Hongi that the two of them would be brothers from now on. Then according to this little fatty's personality, he would definitely tell his father, and then Ma Gang would think that he had an additional godson. These two masters even had the same personality ah, uh, ha ha ha, Hongi's vision is really good, I thought you had joined the Dark Kingdom. I didn't realize that you were here to resist the invasion of foreign beasts and protect the safety of the people of the divine continent. Well done. He he he. Chairman Ma is too kind. This is all a coincidence. Hey, don't call President Ma. Call your godfather. Or dad is fine. Big son you don't worry. Have me in. Holy Imperial College can't open you. Heck. Old man's son haven't even sent word yet. That group of garbage school leaders are yakking. Just beat up that group of dogs. This is not. Heard that you have an accident here. I rushed to run over, beat up the school leaders of sacred royalty? Sun Wukong hasn't taken care of it yet? Isn't this Ma Kong just a super rank 1 strength? How come his style of doing things is even more NB than super rank 10 Wine Gang? Roar! Linley was deeply immersed in Ma Gang's mighty and domineering demeanor when a deafening beast roar came from extremely far away, and the entire beast tight army instantly boiled over upon hearing it. They rushed towards the city wall as if they didn't want to die. The power of the seven killing formation was still there. But the number of these beasts was just too much, so they couldn't even bombard them. Seeing this, Ma Gang put away his smile and looked towards the due north with a heavy heart. So there's a big guy around, a few of you, 
prepare to strike. As soon as the words fell, seven figures appeared out of thin air around Ma Gang. Linli didn't recognize these people, but he could feel the aura belonging to the powerful from these people. Ma Gang's feet exerted force and he took the lead in rushing towards the due north direction. The seven figures followed closely behind. Linli seemed to have realized something. Yi Chang had just rushed towards that place as well. It was likely that a big boss existed if it could make many super-ranked powerhouses pay so much attention to it. Whispering, let's work harder. Victory is just around the corner. Good. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue were the first to get up and attack the alien beasts that had once again gathered under the city walls. The people around them were infected. And at this moment, not caring about their tired bodies, they once again got up and fought hard to meet the battle. The roaring, hissing, and charging sounds mixed together and echoed throughout the entire battlefield. Blood dyed the earth red splattered all over the city walls, and even reflected the sky. Linley could no longer remember how many of his compatriots had sacrificed themselves. Hundreds, or thousands, or even tens of thousands. He only knew that he had to do his best to guard his home, his loved ones, and his future. Like him, all the warriors who resisted the invasion of the beasts are heroes. They deserve to be honored and remembered. At this moment, people's hearts have long been no longer concluded. What darkness department? This department that department? As long as the strength of the strong, kill the beasts more. That is the strongest genus. Linley was obviously an example. The darkness system strength of the first four levels, kill the beasts even more than the middle ranked warriors. Of course, this also had to be scored in terms of quality. Linley could only tackle foreign beasts below the eighth level of the primary order. The quantity was high, but the quality was low. People were aiming for the big monsters, belonging to the mid range game of combat. And like Yi Chang, Ma Gang and the others, they belonged to high-end game combat. Time passed by minute by minute. This war lasted from the darkness of the night to the rising of the dawn. The red sunrise symbolized the coming of hope. The clothes of the warriors were already drenched in sweat and blood. Finally, with a huge pillar of dark black energy falling from the sky, in the distance that people could not see, the earth cracked, the mountains and rivers were shattered, and a miserable howl penetrated into everyone's ears. At this moment, all the foreign beasts stopped. Linley was keenly aware that the eyes of this group of foreign beasts had changed from red to black. In other words, the beasts had come to their senses. They looked around the enclosure in panic, and when they saw the seven killing formation in the sky, which was still gathering energy, they pulled their legs out and ran. The word spread to ten, ten to a hundred, a hundred to a thousand, and a thousand to ten thousand. All the beasts began to run away, a large black mass, from where they came and back to where they went. Tens of thousands of warriors shouted in unison. We've won. Linley and Lu Qingyue were dislodged one after another. Their hearts invigorated. Their first time, and it had ended perfectly. Linley, you did very well. Not only are you a legend of the darkness department, but you are also a man of flesh and blood. Take these as a reward for you. Yi Cheng stretched out his hand. Dark black energy swept over a small half of the battlefield. Colorful crystals came flying in. At a preliminary estimate, how could there be thousands of them? Linley was flattered. Thousands of fey crystals. How much money would that be worth? But after the joy, is hesitation, entanglement, although he has contributed, but compared to those warriors, his own force is nothing at all. How many people have dedicated their lives to this battle? And how many people have spilled their blood for this battle? It would be too much to say for a small party of one's own to take away so much loot. Brother Chang, I only need five. Please distribute the rest to the warriors. They are the ones who deserve the reward the most. Well said. At this time, Ma Gang also walked over and complimented with a pleased expression. My son has said it well and done it well. Chief Yi, you'd better leave these fake crystals for your own men. My men, should be rewarded by me. Saying that, Ma Gang pulled out a piece of crimson crystal from his pants pocket. Once this crystal came out, the temperature of the surroundings instantly rose a lot. Yi Chun laughed lightly, worthy of being President Ma, a super grade 1 Fei crystals, said to give it away. After all was said and done, but the action on his hands couldn't stop. Yi Cheng stacked the absorbed Fei Beast Crystals to the side, followed by pulling out a Fei Beast Crystals from his arms as well. Good guy. The two of them were on a collision course. In comparison, Yi Cheng's crystal was superior, because that one was a Darkness Beast Crystal. Seeing Ma Gang's slightly shocked expression, it was probably also a super-ranked beast. In front of a small party of vegetables stood two big men, one holding a Super Order Level 1 Inferno Fei Beast Crystals, and one holding a super order level 2 darkness fey beast crystals, and then asked you to choose which one. Logically speaking, it must be to choose the superior one. The problem is, this is not a question of choice, but a question of death. Shit, which one to choose will offend someone, either a father or a brother. 
I'm afraid these two are not trying to play with themselves, right? Chief Yi, Chairman Ma, you two big names in the alien world, is it really good to make things so difficult for a junior? These words were like a piece of heavenly music, almost moving Lin Li to tears. Which big brother had saved the day so promptly? Yo, Vice Palace Master Tsung, why, you also want to come and intervene? Ma Gang only glanced slightly at the visitor. He didn't have a problem with people from the evil spirit holy temple. Lin Li curiously looked through the gap to the back, and saw that it was a middle-aged man with a head full of white hair, but not old. His body was evil and a bit odd, but his expression was easygoing, giving off a feeling of being impervious. Song Hong Yun, I advise you not to hit on this little guy's idea. He is not suitable for your evil spirit holy temple. If your hands reach too far, I don't mind some control. If not, Yi Chang had the highest level of pusillanimity, not even returning a single head. His words were full of threats. Ha ha, really, am I, the evil spirit holy temple, so bad in the eyes of you two? It's just, it's just, the mission has been completed. So toss yourselves. After saying these words, Sung Hong Yun left the steel barrier. Seeing this, Lin Li didn't nag, and directly took the two fey crystals from the two of them. That, multiple choice questions are too difficult. Application questions are most suitable for me. I'll take both of these fey beast crystals ha. Huh? Many thanks ma, godfather. Many thanks to brother Chang, ha ha ha, good boy, character like me, manly man, accepting everything as it is is the right decision. Lin Li, don't forget our agreement. Through the mask, Lin Li and Yi Chang exchanged a glance, what it meant was clear in each of their hearts, there were still three months to go, with that, Yi Chang disappeared into thin air, Ma Gang looked at the location where Yi Chang disappeared with a slightly deeper meaning, and then looked at Lin Li, without saying anything more, what happened next was simple. Sun City's warriors began to clear the battlefield. Countless fey crystals were piled up into small mountains, and Kong Zhang was responsible for tallying down the collected crystals before distributing them one by one. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue were both given 10 middle-ranked beast crystals because of their outstanding achievements in battle. Lu Qingyue didn't care, but Lin Li was overjoyed. To sell all of these crystals, Xiaogao's surgical expenses will be covered. After dealing with the affairs of the Tsanqing side is already 2 o'clock in the afternoon, there is Ma Gang in. Linli two people naturally do not need to take the car back to Shangjing. Just this flight pain, Linli still have to suffer a suffer. More than an hour later, Shangjing City, Sacred Royal Academy. Ma Gang put down the half-dead Linli in his hands, his eyes filled with guilt. This journey had been hard on Linli. As a super-ranked powerhouse, Ma Gang's flying speed was far from what normal people could experience. Let's put it this way, the airplane in front of him is a brother in a brother, a thousand miles away, more than an hour to arrive. Visible this speed soared to how fast, but even so, Lin Li never said a word on this journey. There was no two reasons, because just after taking off, Lin Li fainted. However, Ma Gang hadn't realized it yet, and after soaring hard for more than an hour, Lin Li would faint for a while and wake up for a while. By the time he reached the sky above sacred royalty, he almost didn't spit out his bitter bile. Ah, uh, Xiao Li Ah, why don't I just send you back to take a break? Old man's son sighed is not in a hurry. Ma just really a little worried. Not worried about how Linley body, but worried that he do not a moment into the dean's office to vomit people a table. Son old man temper can be explosive it. Really if this kind of thing happens, not to Linley chopped into meat only strange. Vomit. Cough. It's okay, I can hold up. Let's just go to. Vomit. Let's go to the dean's office first. Linley puked while waving her hand to show that she was fine. The corner of Ma Gang's mouth twitched. It's all like this and he's still fine? Linley, I'll accompany you. Lu Qingyue's voice came from above. She was brought back by a female powerhouse who seemed to be a senior cadre in the Titan Guild as well. It wasn't that Ma Gang didn't have that ability to bring the two alone, but it wasn't quite convenient. After all, she was a yellow-bloomed girl, and it was too unseemly to be carried by a greasy uncle. So, under the support of Lu Qingyue, a group of three people rushed to the dean's office. When the leaders saw Lin Li come back, their eyes obviously changed. It seemed like there was some concern and some disappointment. But when they saw Ma Gang, not to mention their eyes, they didn't even dare to move. This was called absolute suppression. Inside the dean's office, Lin Li sat on the sofa at Sun Wukong's request. He also thoughtfully asked someone to make a cup of tea. Mainly he was also afraid that Lin Li would throw up Ah, as soon as he saw that extremely pale face, as if he was going to die. Sun Wukong frowned. Lin Li Ah, I've figured out everything about you. Sun City's Kong Zhang just contacted me and said that you stood up for the Divine Continent fought against millions of foreign beasts, and also called in President Ma for support at a critical moment, so you deserve a lot of credit. 
in addition to the fact that you didn't defect to the Dark Kingdom as rumored, and that you also ensured the safety of student Lu, we at the Academy should reward you for that. Sun Wukong's words seemed to be serious, but they didn't feel serious at the same time. It was the kind of words that didn't come from the heart, the feeling of superficial artifice. Anyway, Lin Li listened uncomfortably, saying that he wanted a reward, and presumably couldn't come up with anything good. Ah, uh, let's put it this way, the Academy will give you a little bonus. In addition, we will personally step in to quell the impact you've caused, and will try to suppress the public opinion behavior of your classmates as much as possible, to ensure that it won't affect your daily cultivation life. In addition, in a few days, the first year will reorganize a Sunset Forest trial, and there will still be a place for you, but of course you can also choose to take a break and not participate. Linley nodded in agreement. Just pay the money. He didn't care about anything else, what public opinion or not. Since the day he, Linley, joined the sacred royalty, was there any less public opinion? Anyway, it was just three months. Just complete his mission and keep his agreement with Luo Hongtian. Then thank you Dean Sun. There's nothing else I'll be. First, boom. Brother Lai, brother Lai, did this old thing bully you? If he dares to say fire you, I'll fucking do him. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue stared blankly at Mahongi. This little fatty could be called a man of God. Sun Wukong's current expression is a big embarrassed word. Angry, Ma just present had to give people some face, but not angry. This heart of fire is rubbing up ah. Decades, he has been the dean for decades, and no one has ever dared to threaten him. This little fatso even said he wanted to do away with himself? What kind of style of doing things did the Titan Guild have in order to raise a person with such a temperament like Ma Hongi? Cough, Hong Yi, you must not be rude. Although Ma Kong favored his son, he had a clear understanding of current affairs. Sun Wukong was like this, if he let Ma Hong Yi continue, the other party would not explode? Hong Yi, you've misunderstood. Dean Sun didn't want to fire me. Lin Li slowed down and smiled, hurriedly getting up to round off the conversation. Great brotherly, then I can go to school with you and cultivate together in the future. The little fatty's face was so happy that his fat meat was fluttering around, and his eyes were almost squinting into slits. Seeing him like this, Lin Li's heart was not in a good mood. Two people since the realization to now only after 10 days, the other party can do so for their own. He Lin Li exactly how many years of blessings to meet such a brother. The little fat man's heart is very pure. The flow of that are true feelings, but he has not been taken seriously, until today to wake up. Shame. Shame ah. Hiroshi, will drink? Of course, beer white four and red, come what may, my father is not my opponent. The corner of Ma Gang's mouth on the side twitched, thinking that this little brat doesn't give himself any mercy at all. Good, that brother invited you to drink. Today we brothers too not drunk not return. Let's, not drunk and not return. Two brats, drinking are not greeted old man? Dad, the Titan Guild has so many things to do. You still have time to drink? Aren't you afraid that you'll go home to my mom? Damn. Ma Gang came to Ma Hongi's side with an instantaneous movement and covered this little fatty's mouth. What kind of thing dare to say outside? He is the president of the Titan Guild. If let the outside world know that he is afraid of his wife, then how to mix in the future? Ha ha. That, Hongi is right ha. Titan Guild still has a lot of things waiting for me to deal with. You two brothers drink by yourselves. That, Dean Sun ah. I'll take my leave first. We'll gather again another day ha ha. Sun Wukong nodded and didn't prepare to get up to give a farewell. Ma Kong dragged Ma Hongi and left the office. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue looked at each other and smiled. Also followed. Little brat. You're not too young. What things should be said what things should not be said a little bit. I also want face. Inside the corridor. Ma Gang nagged while walking. In addition. Those few bodyguards I have to take back. You are after all to school. Not to mix the triad. Listen to your brother lie during the school period. Less fucking trouble for me. Of course. If there are any ungrateful things. Take the initiative to find you two brothers trouble. Do not have to worry too much. To the father to the deadbeat. Out of the matter of the father to bear. Lin Li followed behind and listened with a boiling blood. This is the real father ah. Abetting his son to beat people to death. I can't find anyone else in the world. Father this has two cards. Take it as the living expenses of you two. Shao Li come. Take it. Ma Gang stopped and pulled out two cards from his pants pockets. One was handed to Ma Hani and one was handed to Lin Li. Ma. Godfather. I can't take this money. I, I, uh, brother Lee you just take it. My father is the least lacking his money. A few tens of millions of pocket money only. Sprinkle water law. Mahani directly grabbed the blue card in the hands of Ma Gang. All stuffed into Lin Lee's pocket. I have a lot of pocket money. My mom has prepared for me. These two cards you keep. Not a few money. Usually eat more delicious. Look at you thin. Little brat. 
Your mom has given you pocket money you did not say earlier? What? My mom gives me money and I still have to report to you? I. When the words came to his mouth, my gang seemed to have thought of something, and forcibly held back and said, Do not report back. Linley looked at the back of this pair of strange father and son, and touched his own pocket. His eyes are longing. The feeling of having a father is really good. Boom. The door to the restaurant's private room was kicked open. Linley and Mahongi were red-faced, their wine glasses raised in mid-air stalled. Puzzled, they looked toward the door. Linley, you beast still dares to come back? Abducting my goddess Lu for so long, have you already defiled her? Wu Xiu's face was red, his fists clenched, making cackling, cackling sounds, obviously angry to the extreme. Looking behind him again, six or seven figures stood outside the door, imposing, fearing that they were coming from a bad place. Wu Hua, you've had your brain filled with theses, haven't you? When did I abduct Lu Qingyue? When did I treat her? Again? Lin Li didn't have the heart to say it down, as if it was, a little bit worse, but how did I abduct Lu Qingyue myself? He he, Wu Xiu gasped and laughed, Greenwood's system supernatural energy converged in his palm and said, what, can't go on? The ugly things you did are known to the entire academy, betraying the holy royalty, defecting to the dark kingdom, and designing to abduct goddess Lu, although I don't know why Dean's son was able to let you come back, it doesn't matter anymore, you, Lin Li, must get out of the sacred imperial today, and pay for the crimes you've committed. The further Wu Xiu spoke, the more agitated he became, and the wooden thorns that converged in his palm were thrown directly at Lin Li. Boom! Seeing that the situation was not right, Lin Li directly overturned the table to fend off the wooden spikes. Since the other party had struck, there was no need for him to be polite. Three balls of dark energy quickly converged and shot rapidly before Wu Xiu could use his next move. Boom! 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 Accompanied by three muffled sounds, Lin Li's gaze was grave. There was a golden barrier in front of Wu Xiu that stopped the dark energy balls as much as it could. Obviously, it was the aberrant behind him who had made a move. Middle ranked level 1. Metallic ability. I Chao NM. Dare to take a shot at my brother Lai. Go to hell. Little fatty Mahoney utilized the strength of alcohol to activate his psychic ability, shooting out a ray of electricity from the position of his palm. It was stopped by the barrier with a pfft sound. Beginner level 2 strength. Isn't this a joke? Wu Hua, you damn less listen to others bullshit. Lu Qingyue was not abducted by me, and we didn't have anything happen. You wake up a little bit, fighting in public. Do you want to be expelled? Dismissed then dismissed. I'll say anything to get you killed today. Lin Li sort of understood. This kid was absolutely letting someone fool him. The other party had six or seven Xenos, and there was no shortage of middle-ranked experts among them, so he definitely couldn't beat them. Since this was the case, then the 36th plan was the best plan. Wu Xiu, you big SB, go back and think about it. Then go find Lu Qingyue and ask if I did something bad or not. After saying that, Lin Li directly rushed towards Ma Hongi, before the other party's new round of attacks arrived. A black mist was released to wrap the two of them up before they disappeared into thin air. That is, in an instant, the two appeared at the restaurant's entrance location. Lin Li tugged on Mahoney and ran. Explanation is certainly not clear. Look at the other side of this behavior. Do not let him stop to stop things cannot be resolved. The two of them quickly returned to the apartment, running along the way. Mahani's apartment room is directly across the street from Linley, presumably deliberately requested. After all, his father. After all, his father. Not right, is our father NB. There is nothing that cannot be done. The two first in their respective rooms to wash up a bit, sober up. Then Mahani came to Lin Li's room, said anything to call Ma Gang, sent people to die Wu Hua. Lin Li was sweating for this unlucky person. This Ma Kong might not have gone far yet. This will be the time to toss him back. Wu Xiu is afraid that he will not be beaten the shit out of him. Hong Yi, calm down. The cause of the matter does not lie in Wu Xiu, but in the person who compelled Wu Xiu and planted evidence to frame me. Even if I clean up this idiot Wu Xiu, it won't be long before the next idiot will still come to my door. Then, brother Lai what should we do? Drip Dong, your classmate Lu Qingyue has sent a video invitation. Do you accept? Quite a coincidence. Lin Li just wanted to give Lu Qingyue a call. Connecting. Lin Li, did Wu Xiu look for you just now? Not only did he look for me, he even sent someone to beat me up. This idiot, just now he came to me and asked a bunch of inexplicable questions. He also kept cursing you, and then he only calmed down after I told him what happened. So fast? It seems that after he left, this licking dog Wu Xiu went to find Lu Qingyue. Really drunk. How did this kind of licking dog survive until now? One has no strength. Two has no IQ, has no money Linley isn't sure, but certainly not as good looking as himself. Toad wants to eat swan meat, 
Lat color. Did he say who started the rumor? Who else? Zhao Zhengde and Zhao Zhengli. Lin Li took a deep breath. It was really these two pieces of trash. Lin Li, it's better for you not to go out of the apartment lately. Quite a few people have their eyes on you right now. The institution is currently helping you clear up the rumors, and I've asked my sister to step in. I believe that by the time the next trial opens up, the public opinion will have completely calmed down. Lin Li thought about it for a moment. It seemed like this was all that could be done at the moment. His own strength wasn't enough to fight against a middle-ranked alien, so he might as well take this opportunity to peacefully hide inside his apartment and cultivate. And as long as he ascended the power ladder of the 7th or 8th rank of the primary order. What Zhao Zhengde? Zhao Zhangli? They were all just dregs. Okay, I know lightning. After hanging up the video, Lin Li leaned back on the sofa and rationalized his thoughts. The situation at hand was terrible. Nearly most of the academy students thought that they had betrayed the sacred royalty and defected to the Dark Kingdom. Even though the so-called school authorities were explaining, could they really put their efforts into this? It was estimated that not only the students, but also quite a few school leaders and teachers were looking forward to leaving sacred royalty themselves, right? Linley really didn't want to stay in this shitty place for a second, or the dark kingdom to the pain. Three months, just three months, after completing all the challenges and raising his strength to the intermediate level, Linley would leave the holy royalty. It didn't matter if it was to go to the dark kingdom or the major guilds to pick up quests or if it was to go to the major beast domains to train and gather resources, it was all better than staying here. Brother Li, I'll accompany you to cultivate for the next period of time. When our strength rises, anyone who has offended us will be made to pay the most painful price. Lin Li was quite envious of Ma Hongyi's character. There was no need to think too much about doing things because there was someone behind the scenes. Those who messed with them would have to pay the price, and those who were on good terms with them would definitely be treated sincerely. Aha, someone is behind it? Linley's frowning brows suddenly loosened. Wasn't there a big brother behind his own back as well? Since he had already made preparations to evacuate the sacred Imperial Academy. What the hell was there to worry about? Anti-faction? What's wrong with being a villain? Living a smooth life was the king. Hiroshi, you should go to class when you should go to class. You don't need to accompany me to cultivate together. Sacred Imperial's lessons are far more important than you cultivating alone. Currently you're still in the adaptation stage. You need a teacher to guide you. You won't be able to learn anything practical when you're with me. In fact, there was another reason, which was that if Mahani were to cultivate with himself, then the heaven and earth elemental essences within this several hundred meters radius would not be supplied at all, including even Linley himself would be hard to supply, and would have to rely on absorbing fey crystals to make up for this little gap before he could do so. Mahani bit his fingernail cap and lay on the bed to think, then nodded. That's good. I'll listen to you brotherly, that way I can also help you bring meals and stuff. Yo, this little fatty was quite thoughtful. He himself had left the rice matter behind. Mahongi stayed in Lin Li's room until very late, and only went back later when he was really sleepy. Now Lin Li could cultivate openly. A super-ranked inflammatory alien beast crystal, three middle-ranked alien beast crystals, and more than ten beginner-ranked alien beast crystals were placed in front of Lin Li. That's right, these were the targets he needed to absorb this time. Lin Li had tested it, as long as it wasn't a darkness-type fey beast crystal. It wouldn't matter how many he absorbed, and the absorption speed was also much faster. Perhaps this was the reasoning behind the repulsion of the same sex and the attraction of the opposite sex. Turning off all the lights, Lindley sat cross-legged on the ground and slowly closed his eyes to begin his cultivation. Knock knock knock. Brother lie. Breakfast lie. Little Fatty's voice came from outside the door. Only then did Lindley open his eyes. Looking at the time, 7.30 in the morning. This cultivation time flew by too ridiculously. Eyes open and closed. A day passed howling. If you close your eyes or not, your whole life will pass. Linley first perceived the progress of the elevation of the foreign energy in his body, and found that it had reached the late stage of the fourth level of the primary stage. How did he perceive it? There was an inner vision world within the bodies of all Xenos. If one were to speak in immortal cultivation terms it would be the inner sea, or the sea of chi. Only in the case of psychic abilities, it became the elemental inner vision world. In the inner vision world, the psychic could see seven elemental stars, which could also be called the destiny stars. Every time an alien lights up an elemental star, the realm will increase by one point, until all seven stars are lit up, and the realm officially begins to break through. However, the seventh star is often the most difficult to light up, which not only requires the absorption of a large amount of elemental essence, but also requires the alien to manipulate the body's foreign energy. The elemental star will be purified, purified and then use it to impact the realm of the barrier that cannot be seen. The elemental inner vision world was discovered only after Linley arrived at the fourth level of the primary order. 
meaning that there was no elemental star before the fourth level of the primary order. According to Lu Qingyue's words, it meant that before the fourth rank belonged to the stage of alien ability awakening, the strength would not grow significantly, and most of the elemental essence absorbed would be used for the construction of the inner vision world. Only after arriving at the fourth level of the primary order and the official birth of the inner vision world, would the power of the psychic be significantly increased? Knock, 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 brother Lai. If you don't open the door I'm going to break in. I was so focused on chattering that I almost forgot about this little fatty. Linley hurriedly got up and came to the door, opening the apartment room door. After seeing the oversized plastic bag that Ma Hongi was carrying in his hands, Linley was a little puzzled. Hongi, are you bringing me three days worth of food? What three days? This is your breakfast. Linley stared wide-eyed at the bag full of food, then looked up at Ma Hongi's sincere expression. Bro, you're putting this aside to raise pigs? Linley received the bag for a moment and didn't know what to say. Dare you say that this big pocket of food is just breakfast for the little fatty? I didn't see him eat that much last night when he was drinking. However, if it wasn't for Wu Xiu interrupting the drinking game, Linley really wasn't sure to what extent Ma Hongi could drink. Right Hongi, this card please help me send someone to send it to my home, and tell my aunt that this money can help Xiaoya get cured, and three months later, I'll make a trip to Tianwu City to visit them. Ma Hongi received the familiar blue card and nodded. Don't worry brother Lai, I will definitely send someone to deliver the money and the message. It's getting late, I have to go to class. Good. Go now. Don't be late. Brother Lai, wait for me to come back at noon to help you bring food. Good. Hey, wait Hongi, stop bringing me so much food. Unfortunately, the latter half of the sentence the little fatty didn't hear, turning his eyes and already descending the stairs. Linley bitterly smiled and shook his head. This pig he was considered to be a certainty. After eating breakfast, Linley continued to cultivate. The elemental stars had currently lit up five of them, and if there were no surprises, he would definitely be able to break through today. Such a speed was incredible and unbelievable for others. But for Linley, it was still a bit short. Just now, Chui Yayun had sent a message. A new round of the Sunset Forest Trials would open in seven days. After the disappearance of Linley and Lu Qingyue last time, Sun Wukong had immediately ended the trial activities. It had taken two hours to repair the teleportation spell formation with the union of many powerful people. It was rumored that three students had failed to teleport back to the Sacred Royal Academy in time thus suffering serious injuries. The most serious one had an arm torn off by a foreign beast. If not, why would the school authorities be so angry? Would it be eager to shift the blame onto Linley? Humph. What a bunch of wolves in sheep's clothing with bad intentions nah. After sighing, Linley fought with the fake crystallites in front of him once again. Time was passing again, and the number of crystals was decreasing. In the course of the morning, the sixth elemental star was successfully lit, and it was down to the last one. Unfortunately, Little fatty Mahongi got out of class, and this time, what he brought was not a plastic bag, but a basin, a basin about the size of a wash basin. When he walked into Lin Li's room with two large pots of rice, Lin Li's entire body was numb. This is not to feed the pig, but to prepare to kill the pig ah. The pigs had to be propped up. When Mahongi saw Lin Li freeze and not move, he thought that the rice was not tasty, and just pulled out his cell phone and prepared to order some takeout before being stopped by Lin Li. That, Hongi ah, I don't eat much. Next time you don't need to prepare so much. I'm not hungry yet. I'll leave all these meals to you. Oh, okay then. Little fatty wiped the food residue from the corner of his mouth and continued to wind up. Linley sighed and once again returned to the ground, sitting cross-legged in meditation. As the elemental energy went deeper and deeper, without realizing it, Linley began to sprint for the seventh elemental star. At this time, little fatty Mahani also just happened to finish eating, seeing Linley's side of the elemental foreign energy surging. He curiously came forward to observe. However, Linley didn't know that at the moment, he was concentrating on the last barrier. As the rate of consumption of the fake crystals in front of him grew faster and faster, the entire room was enveloped in darkness-based elemental energy. Little Fatty was startled by this sudden turn of events, and was just about to move farther away when Linley moved. Not with his hands, but with his mouth. Drink! A furious shout resounded through the entire apartment building, and the dark energy in the room began to go berserk. The little fat man rushed to the door and twisted the door handle as hard as he could, but it was as if the door was welded shut, and he couldn't twist it in any way. In fact, it is because he forgot to pick the lock. People in panic, IQ will obviously drop a lot, especially after eating a full meal, simply no different from a fool. Mahongi saw that he could not get out of the apartment, directly jumped to the bed and wrapped himself with the quilt. That is, the legendary quilt technique, blocking all magic damage. Unfortunately, it was him who was too naive. 
Along with a cracking sound coming from Linley's mind, the aura of a primary level 5 exploded. The entire room was set off by a gust of wind and waves, which was actually elemental supernatural energy in a state of frenzy. It couldn't find a place to evaporate for a while, so it created an impact. Then little fatty was lifted out. Not only little fatty, almost all the furniture in the room suffered. Little cancer hid in the corner and shivered as if it would fall apart at any moment. What with the sofa, closet, coffee table, and beds, they were all displaced by this powerful impact. Fortunately, this situation didn't last too long, just 7 or 8 seconds. The corner of Linley's mouth rose slightly. This breakthrough had boosted a lot more of his alien energy reserves, and his physique had also been enhanced. When he slowly opened his eyes, he was dumbfounded. Was his room ransacked by robbers, or had there just been a big earthquake that he didn't feel? Agu, Brother Lee, you're too powerful. Mahani's wail came from the gap between the bed and the window. Linley hurriedly got up to look. He saw that the poor little fatty was viciously squeezed by the bed in front of the window and couldn't move a muscle. There was also a large red bag at that forehead, not to mention how festive it was. Linley stifled his laughter and moved the bed away. Little fatty stood up with an ouch. Ouch. Touched the big red packet on his forehead. And grimaced. Brother Lee, congratulations on breaking through to the fifth level of the primary stage. It looks like I need to step up my efforts as well. Hong Yi, I've decided. From now on, it's better to head to the revision room for my cultivation. Otherwise my apartment will be demolished sooner or later. But the cultivation room can't guarantee your safety ah. Uh, if people know that you are cultivating there, there will definitely be some ungrateful things that will go after you. Ma Hongi's words were right, but Lin Li couldn't do anything about it. The further back the breakthrough made the more noise. This time just messing up the room. Next time it might blow up the room. As the saying goes, the rich and powerful are in danger. If someone comes looking for trouble, then let him find it. At least in the current first year, Lin Li has no one to fear. If someone from the second or third grade came looking for trouble, then, sue the teacher, hashtag carrot, carrot hashtag. This is not to say that this method is frustrating, can solve the problem of the solution that is a good method. I don't care if the teachers are happy or not. Anyway, they reported it, bullying weak students in broad daylight. Linley does not believe that they can lose face in the Holy Royal. Linley informed Mahongi of his idea. The latter thought about it and felt that it made some sense. So he followed Linley and moved into building 002. The study room, although it was a practice room, it had all the furniture and equipment it needed to make it easier for students to prepare for breakthroughs. Only when the two had just moved into the practice room, the so-called trouble came to their door. Lin Li, you're finally willing to come out. Ha! Huh? The two brothers, Zhao Zhengda and Zhao Zhengli, arrived at the battlefield on time, and the first step before the battle, the mouth mode was on. You pest of the sacred royal academy, a tumor of the divine continent. How do you deserve to return to the Sacred Royal Academy to practice? I think he is just shameless, relying on the fact that he has someone behind him. He is dead set on refusing to leave it. These two hadn't seen each other for a few days, and their mouths had grown. But who is Lin Li, a pioneer in the world of mouths? How could he lose to these two goods? Ha! Huh? It's you two stink bugs who whimper and yell all day long and make rumors about me behind my back? Were your parents struck by lightning when they gave birth to you? How big a sin did they have to create and how big a responsibility did they have to take in order to let you two be born? It's really great that they were able to raise you two big idiots. It's like the Buddha is alive and well. Zhao Zhengda, your face skin has recovered very well. It seems to be a few points thicker than last time. Do you want me to help you repair it again? Hearing Lin Li's words, Zhao Zhengda subconsciously touched his face, then reacted with rage. Lin Li, don't think you're great just because you have a SSS rank talent. The darkness department will always be the representative of evil. You're a time bomb that must be defused. Zhang Da, where's all the nonsense? Do it. Zhao Zhengli was obviously a smart fool. Knowing that now was the best time to dispose of Lin Li. If he let his punk brother ink on, he was afraid that something would change. Slow down. Do you two idiots know who I am? Little fat Mahoney scurried forward in two steps to stop in the middle. His cell phone was held in his palm. Lin Li clearly saw that he had dialed Sun Wukong's number. Sun Wukong? He said to sue the teacher. How he went to sue the dean. I don't give a damn who you are. Little Fatso Salem get the hell out of my way or I'll even clean you up. Zhao Zhengda was worthy of being the representative of the brainless department. He was so arrogant and domineering without even figuring out the other party's identity. Your chairman Ma's son. Ma Hongi? Zhao Zhengli looked at the little fatty thoughtfully. This guy's reputation was not small. On the first day of school he cursed his teacher and beat up his classmates. His father was even more bullish beating up and cursing the leader. Is this a thorn he Zhao's two brothers can afford to stab? It's good to know. I'll give you three seconds to get out of this recess room. 
Otherwise I'll call someone to blow your dog's head off. The little fat man spoke with a lot of momentum awe, and really drank the opposite two people in. Zhao Zhenda looked at his brother and didn't he move. Then he rushed out. A mountain shaking fist swung at the little fatty's face. His brother Zhao Zhengli was stunned. Wanted to speak out to stop but it was too late. Lin Li's face sank, and the dark energy in his hand violently swung forward. Just heard bang a muffled sound. Zhao Zhengda was flicked out with an ouch. Looking at Mahongi's body, a dark black fan-shaped energy barrier had already converged in front of him. This was Lin Li's newly developed skill, inspired by other psychics. Although it was a means of defense, the effect was online. Lin Li called this move, a dark black barrier. This made Lin Li have four skills. Dark impact was now considered the most basic attack. Then there was dark shockwave, which was quite powerful, and was effective in both group battles and single battles. Next was dark mist a move that could be used to both bind opponents and teleport one's own people. Only the level of consumption of this skill was too great, and it could not be used continuously. Lastly, there was the dark barrier that had just been used, which had a great defense. How dare you hit me, you piece of trash? Little Fatty was also enraged by this from the other party and directly shouted into his cell phone. Old man's son, did you hear me? I'm getting beaten up. If you don't come over, I'm going to yell for my father. Linley in the side listening to that call a seepage. This is the kind of attitude you have when looking for someone to do something? Would that Sun Wukong be happy with that? Little fatty, is this the attitude you have when you ask for help? A familiar and old voice echoed within the training room, and immediately after, a golden light screen appeared in the center of the two groups of people, and Sun Wukong walked out of it with a helpless face. Lin Li could tell that he really didn't want to be involved in this matter, or rather, this little matter wasn't worthy of him. However, Due to Ma Kong's face and the close cooperation between the Sacred Imperial Academy and the Titan Guild, this matter had fallen on his head, and he still had to manage it. Zhao Zhengda, Zhao Zhengli, deliberately brawling, bullying lower classmates, and starting rumors behind the scenes to create massive public opinion. The impact is very bad. It is hereby decided that the two of you will be expelled and never be employed again. At these words, the entire room fell silent. Even Lin Li and Ma Hongi didn't expect this little old man to be so ruthless. Dismissed just like that? Zhao Zhengda and Zhao Zhengli kneel down with a plop. Plop. A handful of snot and tears of pleading. Dean, we are wrong. Please give us another chance. We do not dare again. Linley students, we're not human. We don't have eyes. I'm sorry. Please forgive us. Dean's son. The two of us brothers have gone through a lot of effort to enter the sacred royal. Please be lenient. Linley and Mahani looked on in relief. Let me forgive you? Oh, I'm not Buddha. I can't do the four great emptiness and I can't let go of the butcher's knife in my hand. Lin Li, what do you think? Sun Wukong threw the right to decide into Lin Li's hands, this bad guy he himself did not want to be. Me, I'll stand and watch. Just as you said, these two goods have caused a very bad impact on the courtyard, and now they're so rampant that they're bullying underclassmen and want to come and beat me up regardless of the occasion, so what else can I say? Expulsion, immediate expulsion. Little Fatty came with a wave of perfect buttressing. Sun Wukong nodded. This decision wasn't just made by Linley, it was also something he should have considered. It was impossible for such a pest Saint Imperial to stay, and just now questioning Linley was nothing more than just going through the motions. You two heard it too? One hour's time. Pack up and leave the academy. Sun Wukong's words were cold, but in the years of the two Zhao brothers, they were like a judgment from hell. Never in a million years did they expect that the ultimate victim would be themselves? Linley, you wait for me. I, unbridled. Sun Wukong let out a furious shout, and Zhao Zhengde was directly stunned. This was called actual stupidity, threatening someone else's academy students in front of someone else's dean. If this is allowed to be indulged, where does this old face of Sun Wukong go? Zhao Zhengli saw the situation. Words to the mouth also swallowed back. He could only leave Lin Li with an unwilling and indignant look before dragging Zhao Zhengde out of the study room. To be honest, this matter happened quite suddenly from beginning to end. It was completely outside of Lin Li's expectations. He didn't expect little fatty to call Sun Wukong, and he didn't expect old man's son to be so decisive, sentencing the two of them to death with a single sentence. The two of you will cause less trouble for me in the future, especially you, little fatso. Me, Mahongi pointed at himself in confusion, saying the opposite, right? It's you. Don't rely on the fact that I have a good relationship with your father, so you have to torment me every day. Sue the teacher. Sue the teacher. There are so many leaders and teachers in charge in the school. Do you have to call me? Don't you know I'm very busy? Then, then I'll tell my father that the Titan Guild's crystal input to the Holy Royal Academy will be raised by 5%. Deal. Ha, huh? Linley didn't even search for the flavor. What was this all about? What 5% increase? 
Old man Sun's face had changed too quickly. Lin Li, there's something I have to remind you. Although these two are the creators, they're not the most influential one. For the recent period of time you can just stay here and cultivate peacefully. I'll send someone to stop the trouble you can't solve for you outside of the cultivation room. Dean Sun, didn't you say that the university will step in to quell all the effects of public opinion for me? AI. Sun Wukong sighed, looking at Lin Li with a complicated gaze, the preconceptions in a person's mind are like a big mountain. No matter how hard you try, you'll never be able to move it. I can only do the surface work for you. The specific ways and means still need to be controlled by you personally. Old closed lamp. Do not want to work hard to say straight. What's the point of talking so much? Lin Li is also lazy to talk nonsense with him, pretending to nod. What to do what to do? The next week, Lin Li devoted himself to cultivation. This time, he consumed one super order, three middle order, and twelve beginner order fey crystals. The effect was remarkable. And on the seventh day, Lin Li made another breakthrough. With the strength of the sixth level of the beginner's order, Lin Li was confident that he could fight against all Xenos below the middle order. Of course, except for the darkness lineage with the same attribute. Only, with the growth of the realm, Lin Li also discovered a problem. That was that compared to the same attribute, although he absorbed elemental essences much faster, the amount he needed was also ridiculously large. Let's put it this way, if a superordered alien beast crystal was absorbed by an alien with the same attribute, it could break through from the first level to at least the sixth or even seventh level. But when it came to Linley, he could only break through a little more than one level. This level of consumption was getting higher and higher the further one progressed. Who knew how many exotics, or elemental crystals, would be needed when one progressed to the intermediate level? Money was really a good thing. Linley's secondary goal now was to try to make money and collect crystals. The main goal was of course to raise the realm of strength. It had been nearly 20 days since his awakening, and he had risen six levels in a row. If the outside world knew about this, would they not drop their jaws? Brotherly, I'm going to break through. Little Fatty's words dragged Linley's thoughts back to reality. This little fatty had nothing but classes and food all day long, and had very little time to cultivate. Seven days was not bad to break through to the third level of the beginner's stage. Don't worry about breaking through Hongi. There's brother here. Ma Hongi nodded, and purple currents began to converge around his body. Linley was surprised to find that there seemed to be something looming in the center of little fatty's eyebrows. Nay, the light was too dim, and little fatty's surroundings were still covered in supernatural energy, so he didn't get a good look at it himself. Knock knock knock. Who is it? Linley frowned as he came to the door, and his right hand's dark alien energy began to converge. At this moment, little fatty was at the critical moment of his breakthrough, and no one could disturb it. It's me, Linley, Lu Qingyue. Linley hurriedly put away his alien energy and opened the door to the training room. It really was Lu Qingyue, only there was. Also behind her, Wu Xiao, what's he here for, looking for a fight? Linley's gaze became wary, as long as the other party dared to make a small move he would be directly killed in seconds. That, Lin student, I know all about the dean's dismissal of the two Zhao brothers and his willingness to vouch for you as a witness. I, Wu Xiu was torn and looked at Lu Qingyue before he made up his mind, directly gave Lin Li a 90 degree bow and sincerely apologized. Lin student, I'm really sorry, I, Wu Hu, listened to the slanderous words of a villain and almost caused a big trouble in the restaurant last time. Today, I'm specially here to apologize to you. Yu Hu, this kid actually came to apologize? Linley retracted his wary gaze, and without guessing, he knew that it must have been Lu Qingyue doing the work behind the scenes. Otherwise, how could this super invincible big liquor bow down to himself? Linley, although Wu Xiu is very two-dimensional and acts without thinking, but after all, he was under someone's spell. I've already beaten him up, and in addition, there's still reparations to be made. Saying that, Lu Qingyue disliked Wu Xiu with her elbow. The latter immediately got up and pulled out a black card from his pocket, offering it forward with both hands. That, Lin student, this is my Wu family's special black card. All goods in the ordinary Wu clan's industry are free of charge. And the Wu clan's auction house is also entitled to a 20% discount as well as supreme treatment. In addition, if you need blue coins, you can also overdraw 200 million from it. Consider it my compensation. Once Lin Li heard that there was this benefit, he accepted the card without saying a word. After half a day, this guy is still a rich son of a rich family, so he's the titanium alloy of dog lickers, the bully of dogs ah, ahem, that, well said, all well said, we are all classmates, what's the matter is money, bah, that, what things can't be solved, Hiroshi is currently in the breakthrough stage, so I won't clear you two to come in, Hiroshi is about to make a breakthrough, that's good, our squad has grown another point, squad, what squad, 
Of course it's the trial squad. Tomorrow the trial in the Sunset Forest is about to open. You, me, Wu Xiao, plus Han Yi, the four of us will look out of the corner of our eyes together. Lin Li sensed something was wrong. When had Lu Qingyue been so kind to Wu Xiao, taking the initiative to bring him here to apologize to himself, and then inexplicably pulling him into the trial team without the slightest bit of consent? It seemed like Lu Qingyue wasn't this kind of character before, right? Could it be that she was moved by this titanium alloy licking dog? Wu Xiao, that, I'll reconsider the matter of the trial. You two team up and participate first. Lu Qingyue obviously didn't expect Lin Li to reject her and asked in confusion. Lin Li, aren't you ready to participate in the trial? Why are you still hesitating? Lin Li thought about it and casually found an excuse to cope with it. I've been in a breakthrough stage for the last few days, and the trial isn't too important. So I'll think about it again. Oh, well then, if you decide to participate in the trial, remember to let me know. Oh, I'll definitely keep your spot for you. Lin Li smiled and nodded his head. Only a trace of a strange emotion was mixed in his gaze. After the two of them left, Lin Li closed the door, his thoughts very indistinct. After not seeing him for just seven days, Lu Qingyue's attitude had changed a lot. Perhaps he was overthinking it, or perhaps he was right. Forget it, after all, both sides are just friends. Caring too much instead is not good for oneself. This kind of thing like a licking dog is for whoever you like. I, Lin Li, will only be the sea king. Boom. Inside the practice room, Ma Hongi finally made a breakthrough. The impact radiating from him was as if he was applauding Lin Li at just the right time. Hongi, congratulations. Lin Li came to Ma Hongi's side and patted his fleshy shoulder, happy for him from the bottom of his heart. He he he, compared to Brother Li it's still not even close. By the way Brother Li, I just seem to have heard Lu's voice, and at the same time there was another familiar voice. It's Wu Xiao, the one who shook people to block us at the restaurant last time. What, that guy still dares to come? I'll call old man's son right now. Wait wait wait. Lin Li hurriedly pressed Ma Hongi back. Why is this calling old man's son at the drop of a hat? You've got it wrong. That kid came to apologize, and in addition gave me a black card, saying something about Wu's auction house getting a 20% discount and enjoying supreme treatment. Wu's auction house? The little fatty's eyes lit up as if he knew about this auction house. What, Hong Yi you know this auction house? Brother Lai, more than knowing ah, this auction house is particularly famous. My father often take me to play. That place can be a lot of good things. What refining materials? Exotic beast crystals. Heavenly materials. Elemental skills. Controllable exotic beasts and so on. There are all kinds of good things. Wu Hua this kid could send himself such a big gift. It always felt like there was something fishy. It doesn't matter. It's an asshole to not take advantage of a bargain. Originally it was not a blood feud. Money in place. Anything is good. Asterisk carrot carrot asterisk. Brother Lai. Tomorrow is the Sunset Forest Trial. How have you decided? Do you want to participate? Ah, uh, Linley thought about it and eventually pushed the question back. So do you want to participate or not? Just now, Lu Qingyue came to me. She wants the two of us to join her team and bring Wu Xiu along with us. Why bring that guy? I want to participate. But I think the two of us on a team will be enough. Worthy of being good brothers. They thought of the same thing as Linley. The fewer people there were, the easier it was to move. Making a bunch of people in a crow's nest, as if they were afraid that others wouldn't notice them. Okay, listen to you. Tomorrow we'll both be a team and participate in the Sunset Forest trial. Good, we will definitely achieve the top three. Early the next morning, Linley and Mahani arrived at the teleportation square on time. Of course, they also ran into Lu Qingyue and the others. Little Fatty's attitude was exceptionally resolute. It was just Linley on a team with himself, and no one on the other side could do anything about it. Linley pretended to be very difficult. In fact, this is all rehearsed in advance, to avoid embarrassment. Sure enough, in the end, Lu Qingyue gave up, the character of the little fat man no one knows, in addition to Lin Li who he can listen to, solely turned back to find the Sifong Yu, Yao Tong two people, formed into a new team, to say that Lin Li heart a little lost without that is also false, after all, the two had sparks, the problem is, now is not to talk about love, the time of the will, furthermore, the other side is now so close to Wu Hu, their own big face to go up, think about it is disgusting, women, will only affect the speed of the master to draw the sword. Ding dong. Sunset forest trial detection. Now officially begins. A familiar mechanical beep came. And everyone went quiet. As usual. First put on the life bracelet. Then they began to walk towards the center position of the square. Lin Li and Mahongi stood together so that they wouldn't spread out when they teleported. Please get ready. In 10 seconds. The teleportation will begin. Thinking back to the last time he teleported. 
That feeling was so damn exciting. Let's hope no one will mess up the teleportation process this time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, begin teleportation. The entire teleportation square was enveloped by a strong light, and that familiar feeling came once again as Linley and Mahongi's eyes blurred. A sense of weightlessness assaulted their entire bodies. Fortunately, it didn't last long this time, and after a mere five or six seconds, they regained their vision. Sunset Forest, as the name suggests, was a place where the sun set every day. It wasn't that the sun didn't move anywhere, but that no matter where the sun was, the sky was a fiery red scenery. This natural phenomenon was very peculiar and no one had explained it so far. Brother Lai, this place is so beautiful. Little Fatty looked around. The scenery was all of a sudden pleasant. The autumn wind was soughing, and the leaves of the maple tree were yellowing. Combined with the sight of the setting sun, it was like a beautiful painting that made people relaxed and forgetful. As the saying goes, the sunrise of the morning, the dusk of the sunset, one is a beautiful beginning, the other is a poignant end. Ha, huh? how is it that the more you talk, the harder it gets? Linley's heart was inexplicably a bit clogged, and he hurriedly sobered up. Damn, what a strong illusion. This place could actually shake one's mind. Hong E, you, however, when he saw little fatty's still innocent expression, he was sure, it was his own overthinking. You who, you've come to the door so quickly? The corners of Linley's mouth suddenly rose as he sensed that a foreign beast was approaching nearby. Beginner level 7. The door is open. Little fatty Mahongi of course sensed it as well. His hands wrapped around thunder and lightning, always ready to launch an attack. Incoming. With a reminder from Linley, little fatty scurried straight into the woods. Hadugan. Boom. Oil guzzling root. Boom. Gagabrugan. Boom. Linley stood outside the woods and was dumbfounded. Where did he learn all these skill moves from? This little fatso wouldn't be magically impaired. Would he? Agu. Just as he thought this, the little fatty flew backwards out of the woods. Lin Li's quick eyes and hands, a cloud of black mist flung toward Mahoney, and wrapped around his waist. Ah uh, no, it was above his stomach and pulled him over. Brother Li, I can't beat that stinking monkey. Lin Li rolled his eyes. He's at the seventh level of the primordial stage. You're at the third level. What are you going to fight with? Take your oil-consuming route? You have to use your brain to fight. If you're reckless like this, it's good that they didn't kill you. Lin Li waved his hand signaling little fatty to honestly stay where he was. Afterwards, he walked into the depths of the woods. It was about six or seven meters away, when a oo monkey call came from above. Linley sidestepped and dodged the earth thorns that emerged from the ground. This stinking monkey is a bit interesting. White hair head, yellow hair body, body size than human even a few points stronger. The most special, is its pair of big dripping eyes, red light, like a lantern. This forest is already dark, cannot see the light all year round. At first glance this stinky monkey was quite scary. Earth system, right, knowing that you can't beat me, you fling your skills. Monkeys this kind of foreign beasts are really smart. Complimenting the other party, that monkey seemed to have heard and understood, and danced with excitement. The big red buttocks were exposed outwards, more obvious than those two lanterns. Linley let out a snort, and two energy balls were directly thrown out. The white-furred monkey realized the danger and leapt out, landing on another tree. Boom, boom. The two energy balls bombarded the tree trunk, and the entire tree trembled. Bastard. Running quite fast. Lindley continued to attack. The energy balls in his hands converged very quickly, almost throwing one out. The next one was ready. Then Lindley threw them out one by one. The trees were hit with a thumping sound. The white-haired monkey's movements were very sensitive, and although he couldn't use his hands to counterattack, Lindley couldn't hit the other party for a while. Grass. Have you heard the saying? All fear comes from a lack of firepower. I'll let you see what it means to be covered by firepower today. Linley directly raised his palms and aimed them at the white-haired monkey. Two dark shockwaves shot out directly. Wherever they passed was dusty. Branches and leaves fluttered about. Maple leaves fell from the trees as if they were raining, laying a thick layer on the ground. In this way, one person and one monkey circled around twice. Linley's left and right hands clamped down, directly knocking the white-haired monkey to the ground. Ron ah, aren't you quite capable of running? A bad smile appeared on Linley's face as he walked up to the injured white-haired monkey, his right hand forming a claw shape, encircling the dark supernatural energy, preparing to finish off the other party with a single strike. Oh you 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 speak human. Oh oh oh. Oh yeah, you can't speak human. What's pointing in that direction? Is there a treasure? The white-furred monkey nodded vigorously, and one furry monkey paw kept pointing deeper into the woods. Brother Lie, how's it going, brother Lie? Little Fatty's voice came from outside the woods. The sound of the fierce battle just now had worried him badly. 
It's all right Hong Yi, come in. Little Fatty ran into the woods upside down at the sound. When he saw the white furred monkey that had been injured by Linley, he excitedly wanted to go forward to make up for it. The latter was frightened and kept moving his body backwards, his already pale face turning pale. Wait Hong Yi, this monkey still has his uses. Linley stopped the little fatty, slowly stepped in front of the white furred monkey and said in a slightly threatening tone, It's also simple if you want to live. Take us to that place you're pointing to, and if what's there can satisfy me, I'll let you go. The white furred monkey nodded desperately after hearing this, then forcefully braced his body and walked towards the depths of the woods step by step. Hong Yi, follow behind me. Always pay attention to the movements nearby. Understood. Linley closely followed the white furred monkey. As long as it dared to play any small tricks, he himself would be able to finish it off in the first instance. Just like this, the two men and the monkey traveled forward for a full 20 minutes. I don't know whether it was because the forest was too dense, or because it was located in a remote area. The deeper they went, the darker the light became, until finally, it had already reached the point where they couldn't see their fingers. The little fat man was scared tightly tugged Linley corner. The vision of the alien is certainly stronger than ordinary people. The problem is that the little fat man's realm is too low. Night vision is just like that. Blurred peace. Linley, on the other hand, was not affected in the slightest. The special thing about the darkness system is this. The darker you are, the clearer I can see, and the more calm my heart is. Linley felt that even if a ghost suddenly appeared at this moment, he was not afraid. Pa, Hongi stop it. Linley's shoulder was suddenly slapped by someone, and Ma Hongi was right behind himself. Who else could it be but him? What are you saying? Brotherly? I'm scared. Slap. Another hit. And this time the force wasn't light. Linley puzzled looked back at Mahongi. This kid shivering, as if no other action ah? Snap. Who? Linley's sweaty hair stood up. Just now it was his right shoulder. But when he turned back, his left shoulder was slapped again. Mahongi had just been within his line of sight. Indeed there was no other movement ah? Who could it be? Suddenly, Linley jerked back to look directly ahead. Oh no. The white furred monkey was gone. Obviously, it had been following closely behind it just a moment ago, and its aura had been locked onto itself the entire time. How could it disappear in the blink of an eye? Ah, who? Who is it? Who shoot me? Little Fatty suddenly screamed a ghostly cry, frightening Lin Li with a jolt. Hong Yi, calm down. There's brother here. Seeing Ma Hong Yi's lips turn white with fear, Lin Li hurriedly spoke out to comfort him. This place isn't right. We've most likely fallen into the path of that white furred monkey. That. That. Then what should we do now? I. I can't see anything. Could the one that just tapped me be? Don't scare yourself. Believe in science. Phew. Linley had just finished saying this when a cloudy wind blew in her ears. So cool. So cool. Bold demon. Dare to scare your grandpa Linley? Dare to show yourself and come out to fight. Linley was also frightened enough. But with little fatty by his side, he had to be bold. Otherwise he would really fall for the other party's path. Thus, Linley mobilized his body's dark supernatural energy to surge outwards crazily, and the maple tree branches and leaves around him were rustled by this chi. It was even more TM bizarre. Brother Lai. I. 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 Mahani I half a day also did not eye out. Linley sensed that something was wrong, twisted his head to look. Good guy. This look does not matter. Almost will Linley's soul scared flying. A coolness from the soles of the feet straight to the brain door. Just see the shoulders of the little fat man. Harang drooped ahead. It was very old. Very ugly. Very frilly. This time, it was bearing a big yellow tooth. Smiling at Linley without making a sound. And at this moment, the little fatty was already stunned. He could clearly perceive that there was something pressing on his shoulders. But his body couldn't move no matter what. The original rosy little chubby face, at this moment, was ironclad. Linley took a deep breath and forced himself to calm down. Senior, let's talk about what's going on. Can you let my brother go? Senior, I can give you whatever you want. I know you're a human being, and a tall one at that. Elder, can we have a word? What do you want? Fuck you old thing. What the hell are you laughing at? I'm talking to you. Do you believe I'm going to blow your head off? Linley's patience was worn out. What was wrong with this ugly old monster? A pair of dead fish eyes staring at himself, unable to feel any emotion or temperature. It just smiled straight at itself. You. R. Dark. Dark. Department. An extremely hoarse and ear-piercing voice came out, and little fatty felt his crotch get a little wet. Linley also unconsciously gulped, straightened his waist and said boldly, That's right. I'm darkness department. What's the matter? Want to fight? LOL. 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 Diablo. The. Legend. Finally. Appeared. Linley's face sank. How did the other party see his legendary talent? Kid. 
You, what's your name? My name is Linley. Senior is? LOL, LOL, LOL. I'm your ancestor. As soon as the words fell, the ugly old man disappeared. Linley's mouth opened wide, his mind not turning a corner for a moment. What did that old thing say just now? My ancestor? Crap, UTM ugly old man. ITM your ancestor. Inexplicably cursed. What way is this old thing? Looking like a ghost? Brother lie. Little fatty realized that he could move his body. Then he paralyzed to the ground, panting heavily. Hongi, how are you doing? Are you uncomfortable anywhere? No, I'm just a bit weak. Void? Then I don't have kidney treasure either? The white-haired monkey's voice came from behind Linley, and the two of them looked back in unison. This monkey had actually come back? And look at that expression seems to be asking, you two get what low? The baby don't want it? Linley did not expect this white-haired monkey will come back. It's quite a promise to keep. The question is, what happened to that ugly old man just now? He came and went without a trace, just like a ghost. Hongi, hold on. This shitty place is too weird. We must leave as soon as possible. Linley helped the little fatty up, his eyes vigilantly looking around the surroundings. Only after seeing that there were no more abnormalities, did he continue to follow the white-haired monkey forward? The next road was much flatter. As the trees become more and more sparse, the flaming red daylight finally penetrated in. That ugly old man also never appeared again. The white-furred monkey brought Linley and the two of them to a large sky-high tree, pointing very humanely at the top of the tree before climbing up in three or two tries. Linley was quite puzzled. How could there be such a tall tongue tree in this maple forest? Which talent designed it? Placing Mahongi under the tree, Linley was ready to follow him up and take a look. Dark energy wrapped around his feet, and with a fierce sprint, Linley ascended the trunk of the tree. This large tree was at least 20 meters, and the higher up it climbed, the wider the view became. Not long after, the entire maple leaf forest was displayed in Linley's eyes. It's really not small. It's a big red. 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 The legendary sunset forest seemed to have three major areas. The first was this maple leaf forest. The second was called Falling Cloud Peak. And the third was called the Mountain Stone Land. These three areas were located in the three directions of the sunset forest. I remembered that Lu Qingyue had said that the foreign beasts in the mountain and stone ground were the most dense. And the maple leaf forest was more mysterious. And so many trialists went in and didn't come out until the end of the trial. Within a few minutes, Linley ascended to the top of the tree under the guidance of the white-furred monkey. The top of this tree looked like it had been constructed by someone or something. Such a large hole in the tree, and the surrounding branches and leaves were tightly covered, as if they had been deliberately hidden. The white-furred monkey looked at Linley, and was quite reluctant to give up, then slowly walked into the tree hole. Linley followed closely, and after entering the tree hole, he marveled at the white-furred monkey's craftsmanship. The construction is really good ah, angular, neat and tidy. There was even a simple table. This monkey was afraid that it hadn't become an elf. Right? Hmm, isn't a fey animal an animal that has become a spirit? Oh you 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 The white-haired monkey pointed to the small wooden pier in front of the table, supposedly wanting Linley to sit down and wait for a while. Then it walked towards the other end of the tree hole on its own, rummaging around in the east and searching in the west. In a short while, a broken wooden box was tipped out by it. With a clang, it landed on the tabletop, raising dust that choked Linley with a fit of coughing. The white-furred monkey drooped its face, touched the wooden box, and pushed it towards Linley with great reluctance. Linley curiously opened the lid of the wooden box, and then was shocked. OMG. Full of elemental crystals. Yes, it was elemental crystals, not fey crystals. Stretching his hand in, he scratched it out, and there were hundreds of them. How long did this monkey have to have saved up to be able to save up such a large amount of wealth out? Ah, uh, all of this is for me? Linley asked. Not quite sure. The white-haired monkey nodded very seriously, then walked over to the wooden bed and plopped down with a dark gaze. This is, heartbroken? Linley was suddenly a bit embarrassed. People were so honest with themselves, but they were thinking of scavenging away all their treasures. It seems a bit too much, right? Well, it was indeed very embarrassing. Linley rummaged through the wooden crate and picked out 20 elemental crystals of relatively good quality from it, then put them into his pocket. Little monkey, as for me, although I'm not a good person. I'm by no means a great trader. You know that you are good by nature. And taking the initiative to approach us is also due to your innate alertness as a fey beast. So I won't take away all of your treasures. And I'll leave the rest for you. The white-furred monkey seemed to have understood. And seemed to have not. Tilting ahead in confusion. It looked at Linley. 
Linley directly picked up the wooden box and shoved it into the white-haired monkey's arms. He also pointed to his bulging pockets and nodded kindly. This time the white-furred monkey understood, excitedly opened the wooden box and looked at it, seeing that there was still most of the elemental crystals inside, happily jumping up and down. Seeing the white-furred monkey in this state, Linley was also very happy. In fact, foreign beasts also have good and evil, good and bad. You know, before the reboot of the era, humans and animals got along very well. Ah. Uh, not including the animals they consumed. Since the reboot of the era, animals have been affected by elemental powers, and have begun to awaken and evolve, becoming more and more intelligent, greedy, and vicious. But when you think about it from another perspective, what's wrong with them? They are just trying to survive. If they didn't encroach on human territory, then humans would be the first to eliminate them. Why? Because humans don't allow superpowered creatures to exist. The existence of foreign beasts had already threatened the position of the human rulers, so the various overseas countries and regions before the new era were the first to provoke a war. The end result was obvious, and they all paid a terrible price for their irrational behavior. There was an indelible divide that existed between humans and foreign beasts. Therefore, during the past 50 years, the only remaining humans on the divine continent viewed the fey beasts as mortal enemies, and sooner or later, one day, humans would start an all-out war with the fey beasts. The final victor will completely dominate the blue star, becoming the only real power controller on the blue star. This time, the harvest was quite abundant, and Linley also kept his promise and released the white-furred monkey. Moreover, one person and one monkey seemed to have become friends. Before descending from the tree, the white-haired monkey handed over a small bag of fruit to Linley, which signaled friendliness and gratitude. During the seven days of the trial, it was indeed necessary for the trialists to solve the food problem on their own. It was only that most of the trialists chose to slaughter low-ranked alien beasts and then use them as ingredients. Very few of them went to pick fruits. These days they were all carnivores, including Linley, and eating a meal without meat was indeed very unpleasant. After getting down from the sycamore tree, little fatty had recovered more or less. Coupled with eating some fruit to replenish their strength, the two of them once again opened the hunting trip, wandering around for most of the day. Until the actual moment of sunset, the two of them were not able to bump into a few foreign beasts. It was probably because there really weren't many beasts in this maple forest, but it wasn't all for naught. Linley and his duo had met three small groups along the way. They were all in threes and twos, and their strength was worse than one another. In order to abide by the rules of the trial, Linley endured the pain of robbing these three squads. More than ten fey crystals were harvested. Rather, he didn't ruthlessly eliminate each other, in case he could still run into each other. Meeting each other was destiny. How much destiny should it be? Brother Lai. We've harvested a total of 17 fey crystals today. When converted into points it's, little fatty placed all the crystals on the ground and counted them one by one for half a day. 230. 230. That means 115 per person. Not too much, but not too little. I heard from whispering that in the last sunset trial, the person with the highest points was 1980. But of course, he relied on intercepting other teams to gain so many points. Then why don't we just wait until the 6th or 7th day of the trial before heading to the mountain and rocky land, and then we'll intercept everyone's fake crystals in one fell swoop. Linley laughed. This little fatty was too naive. The 6th day. The 7th day. Most of the teams that had reaped a good harvest had already gone into hiding. Who would wander around in a dangerous place like that? By that time, the mountain and stone land was a chaotic battlefield of looting, and those with slightly less strength wouldn't even go there. Instead, it was the maple leaf forest where most of the stoic trialists would hide. Hongi, if we want to achieve a ranking, the mountain and stone land we must go to as soon as possible, just to give those trialists a little bit of time. Sheep, we must always fatten them up before eating them. Linley handed a large piece of roasted snake meat in front of him to the little fatty. At this point in time, what did one care about the meat of any animal? Little fatty cared even less and took the meat and feasted on it. Hongi, someone is coming. Linley suddenly sensed that a large group of people were approaching nearby. As if their strength was not weak, little fatty hurriedly fluttered to his feet and hid within the bushes with Linley. You long, with just this group of us, can we really defeat that middle-ranked alien beast? What, do you have no confidence in yourself or in us? I, all right Zhao Fei Xiang, you long is a beginner level 9, plus our group of 13 people. Defeating a middle level 2 foreign beast is not a problem at all all right. The conversation was eventually interrupted by a familiar girl. Linley observed from the shadows and realized that most of this group of people were from the same class as himself, especially the three at the front. Zhang Yulong, ranked first in the first year class, should be second now, SS class superpower department, spatial ability, the degree of rarity was nothing to write home about, 
It seemed that within the entire divine continent, there were less than five that controlled spatial psychic abilities combined. Currently at the ninth level, rumor has it that he once used the special nature of his spatial ability to defeat a senior first level tenth level psychic. The girl on the left is named Mao Frost, currently ranked ninth, SS level wind system psychic ability. She has white skin and long legs, although slightly inferior to Lu Qingyue by one point. She is still considered to be a school flower level character. Currently, her strength should be at the seventh level. The boy on Zhang Yulong's right side, the one who just beat the retreat, was named Zhao Feixiang, currently ranked number one in the class. I forgot how much. Anyway, the ranking is backward, very inconspicuous. The strength is about the sixth level of the initial stage, and the S class would system supernatural ability. The latter will not be introduced one by one. Anyway, a line of 13 people there are 7 or 8 are first year class students, but what really attracted Lin Li's attention was the middle order alien beasts they were talking about. Lu Qingyue had also said last time that there were roughly 10 middle ranked foreign beasts within the sunset forest, and as a result, last time, she was very unfortunate to have bumped into one, resulting in the annihilation of her entire army. This middle ranked foreign beast was considered both a strange encounter and an encounter. If you can finish off the other party and obtain the crystallization of the middle ranked foreign beast, then this trial, the bottom of the top 10 is guaranteed, but if you were taken out by the other party, then congratulations, tossed in vain, ha, huh, there's a fire here, everyone, be vigilant, a group of people quickly arrived at the location where Linley had just been, and upon discovering the fire that hadn't yet been extinguished, they immediately alerted their surroundings, there was no such thing as classmate love in this place, only interests, enemies, hunters, and prey, they just left not long ago, or, Zhang Yulong's eyes looked at Lin Li's location playfully, and said word by word, still, haven't, gone. As soon as the words fell, Zhang Yulong directly disappeared in place. Lin Li secretly said that it wasn't good. The other party hadn't discovered himself, but had discovered Little Fatty. In a flash of lightning, Lin Li tugged Little Fatty up and directly leapt out. In the next second, the grass where the two of them were located was directly crushed into pieces by a force of space. What a ruthless hand, both of you. Eavesdropping on people's conversations is a very impolite behavior. Mao Frost stepped forward and released a wind barrier, stopping the two of them hard. Lin Li, Ma, Mr. Ma, Zhao Feixiang's expression was scornful after seeing Lin Li, and then he saw Little Fatty and completely wimped out. Little Fatty's style was well known. If he offended the other party today, it would be strange if he didn't get retaliated against when he returned to the academy. That, Yu Long, we are all classmates. Why don't we just forget about it? Although Mao Frost made a move to intercept, he did not have the intention to attack. After all, these two people in front of them were one more than one not to be messed with. It would be better to do more than less. It's not like I said I was going to rob their crystals. Space rippled once again, and Zhang Yulong's figure appeared directly in front of Lin Li's duo, with his eyes firmly fixed on Lin Li. He said, I am more interested in student Lin Li. Yo, is Mr. Jang preparing to try me out? Lin Li didn't wimp out at all. Don't look at the number of people on the other side, but the quality was average. John Yulong was the only one who could hold his own. As long as the situation wasn't good, he himself would directly take Little Fatty and run away. Of course, but, it's also just a sparring match. If you win, let you guys go. If I win, join our team and hunt mid-ranked alien beasts together. Ha, you think you can keep us? I don't dare to guarantee you, but I can definitely keep this Little Fatty. What, do you know who I am? My father is Ma Gang. Do you believe I'll ask old man's son to beat you up? Little Fatty's bravado was back, moving his father at the drop of a hat. Then do you know who I am? John Yulong's gaze was disdainful, not taking the little fatty seriously at all. Lin Li was also quite curious. What identity and background could this John Yulong have? Not even giving face to the Titan Guild? All right, hurry up. Middle-ranked alien beasts don't come to the door by themselves. Mao Frost put away his alien energy and made way for this field. Lin Li frowned slightly. This kid's strength was considered to be the first amongst the first years. A beginner rank 9 could fight against a beginner rank 10. A bit challenging. Hongi, flash to the side. I'll meet him. Oh, brother Li, be careful. Little Fatty listened to Lin Li the most and directly exited the battlefield area. Come on. Okay, come on. Lin Li took the lead. A cloud of dark mist wrapped around his entire body and directly disappeared in place. It's so interesting, the darkness department can even jump through space. In just an instant, Lin Li appeared behind Zhang Yulong, with his right fist covered in alien energy. He swung out nonchalantly. If it had been in the past, Lin Li would have focused on long-range offense. But now, 
The simplest and most effective way to deal with a space department alien was to get close to the opponent in a close battle. As much as possible, he would entangle the opponent's feet and hinder him from utilizing space to execute his jumping skills. The plan was quite good, and the implementation went smoothly. The problem was what if the enemy didn't cooperate? Linley's thoughts were seen through by the other party. John Yulong didn't even move, and Ripple suddenly appeared in the space behind him. Immediately afterward, Linley's punch fell short. It wasn't that the enemy had disappeared into thin air, but that his own fist had disappeared into thin air. Spatial transformation? Linley could feel that his fist had struck the air and had appeared within another space. You know quite a lot. Mr. Linley, I won't show any mercy oh. John Yulong sidestepped and attacked Linley's abdomen with an elbow strike. What happened to the promised sparring session? All as a fart? Linley didn't bother to spit, and directly drew back his arm to block it. Immediately after, aiming at the other party's dogs had a burst of small punches. John Yulong's close combat skills are not bad. For a time, the two fought back and forth, hard to give up. Although not compared to Kung Fu Superstar, however, they also had a few moments of a three-legged cat stance. Monkey steals Peach, the foot that breaks the child's grandchildren. Five poison piney palm. Kinetic kick. Enin kick. Thousand year kill. Space cut. Crap. You're cheating. Jiang Yulong suddenly couldn't play anymore. Directly swinging out a palm blade, Lin Li quickly crouched down. Boom. Two seconds later, the sound of a heavy object smashing into the ground came. Little Fatty and the others in the distance watched in awe. What a fast blade. No. What a fast hand. This strike without 30 years of strength is afraid to play out ah. Lin Li looked back with palpitations. A maple tree as thick as a thigh was neatly cut in half. One half smashed to the ground. And the other half was sobbing in place. This kid doesn't talk about martial arts. What about the promised comparison of fisticuffs? Did not say? Then he can't play around and zoom in either. Black curtain. Just when Jiang Yulong seemed to be pleased. Lin Li suddenly shouted. Immediately afterward, he couldn't see a thing. The two eyes of a large black awe. This kind of black. Not normal people can experience black. Instead, it's a blackness that can't be seen or recognized. How to say it? As if you are blind. Two eyes somehow lost general. Can't see the slightest bit of light at all. At this moment, John Yulon was a bit flustered. Although he knew that this was Lin Li's tactic. But now he couldn't see anything. So he couldn't do spatial positioning. Yulon, be careful. Mao Frost's voice came from the distance, and Jiang Yulong subconsciously turned his body. A biting wind slashed across his cheeks, causing raw pain. Jiang Yulong reached out and touched his face. It was a little wet. Smelling it, it was blood. Damn. Jiang Yulong knew that he had been hit, and had also been cut through that most handsome face. Face value instantly dropped two degrees Ah, What, that's not pleasing? I'm merely returning the favor in the same way I did. Lin Li's voice appeared beside his ears, and Jiang Yulong was startled. Those two moves just now were both developed on the fly. The principle was simple. The first move was called Black Curtain. The first move was called Black Curtain. It utilized the darkness element to wrap the opponent's field of vision and dispel all light. It turned the opponent into a blind man. Of course, it didn't last long because the level of consumption was too great. The second move was thanks to John Yulong's spatial cutting, which brought Lin Li a ray of inspiration. The spatial attribute was not available on its own. But compressing the power of darkness until it was in an abnormally sharp state and releasing it would have the same effect. Mr. Jiang, still fighting? You, to be honest, Jiang Yulong was very unconvinced in his heart. From the beginning to the end of the fight, his space department's advantage had not been utilized. He had thought of trying Lin Li and then seriously defeating the other party. As it turned out, he had played along with the other party and played himself out. You win. Although reluctant, this was the case. What else could one do when one had become blind with one's eyes open? Wait for the other party to give himself another monkey stealing peach? Lin Li nodded in satisfaction, then dispelled the darkness ability. Jiang Yulong's gaze was grave as he looked at Lin Li beside him. The characteristics of the darkness system were really too unintelligible. Devouring energy, transcending combat, mimicking moves, and damn well turning people blind. You guys go, I won't make things difficult for you. The team members not far away were shocked. Not expecting the top-ranked Jiang Yulong to really lose. Mr. Lin Li, could you let me try you? Mao Frost also saw that Jiang Yulong didn't lose in strength, but in brain. Not as cocky as Lin Li. Not as calm as Lin Li. And even less so as Lin Li's dog. Fighting. You have to be in the spirit of 12 points. Cannot be careless in the slightest. No need. Losing is losing. I, Jiang Yulong, can afford to lose, but I'm not convinced. One day I'll challenge you again. Fine. I'll play along anytime. As long as you give money. Pay? Of course, if I don't pay, 
Why should I fight you? Do I look like a sandbag? Accompany you every day? John Yulong as well as many of his team members were disliked. As if it was quite reasonable. Okay, this is the deposit. One month later, we will fight again. Well, rich people are quick. Lin Li wasn't polite, and directly accepted the blue card. Ah, uh, let's get this out of the way. I have a very high fee, so ordinary people can't afford to use it. Ten million dollars. Okay, I'll do it whenever you're free. Really rich landlord. Ten million said like a thousand dollars. Hoomf. Let's go. Zhang Yulong sullenly led the team ready to leave, but was stopped by Lin Li. Mr. Zhang, fighting is fighting. Peace can't be hurt. I'm very interested in the middle-ranked alien beasts you just mentioned. Why don't our two teams work together? Zhang Yulong was not going to be able to get over this whole thing by Lin Li. Since he wanted to cooperate with himself, then he still took over the battle? I see. This is a trap ah. Uh. This dog thing is just to trap his own money. You, really want to cooperate with us? I'll agree to cooperate with you if the points are split 40 to 60. Deal. 6 for me. 4 for you. What? Before Zhang Yulong could react, Mao Frost and the team members behind him quit. There were 13 altered beings on his side, and only 2 on the other side. 4 or 6 was already very cheap for him, but he was still shamelessly taking a big share. Lin Li, don't go too far. On what basis do you take up 60% of the points? By virtue of me being bullish. By virtue of you being a bully? Because you can brag, right? What? You're not convinced? Your boss has lost to me. So what qualifications do you have to yell and shout? Get this straight. If I work with you, I'm the strongest main force. Linley spoke with such bravado. His eyes were unruly. His expression disdainful. A proper middle-aged youth. Ah, uh, I think what Mr. Lin said is a bit reasonable ah. Uh. Zhao Feisheng didn't know what he was looking for, but he actually supported Lin Li. Furious, Mao Frost directly stomped on him. Hey Gu, why are you stomping on me? Classmate Mao? Idiot. Shut up you. Got a point? If you have a point, go fight against a middle-ranked foreign beast yourself. Alright. Zhang Yulong spoke out and everyone obediently shut their mouths. Lin Li, when you talk about cooperation, you should bring some sincerity. Your means are indeed special. Yet they're not worth 60% of the points. At most 40 and a half percent. Otherwise we can't afford to suffer this loss. Lin Li still wanted to continue to raise the price. But seeing Zhang Yulong's demeanor, he thought better of it. 45% is 45%. It's good to have something to earn. Alright. For the sake of Mr. Zhang's face. 45%. Deal. Lin Li stretched out his palm. His intentions clear. Although Zhang Yulong was reluctant. He also stretched out his hand and struck it against it. Signaling a happy cooperation. Alright. This time you can tell me the information about the foreign beasts you know. Right? Ice Crystal Beast. Rare Rank SS. Strength Level. Middle Stage Level 2. Elemental Attribute. Ice. Active in the Ice Lake area at the foot of Falling Cloud Peak. Surprisingly, it's an Ice Crystal Beast? Lin Li had never heard of it. But the very rarity of the SS already proved that this Fey Beast was not simple. Although the number of foreign beasts was a hundred times that of humans, there were very few that were truly amazingly talented and had high attribute levels. Maybe it was specially arranged by God. Otherwise, humans wouldn't be able to play at all. Okay, then let's have a good cooperation. Lin Li's shameless energy came back, hooking Jiang Yulong's shoulder and riding on Jiang Yulong's back, talking and laughing. They continued on their way. Little Fatty also interjected from time to time. The atmosphere was very pleasant. The team traveled until late at night, and the crowd stopped to rest for more than three hours. Only when the sky was slightly bright did they continue to move forward. The team was not very far from the foot of Falling Cloud Peak, and the journey was about half a day or so. During this time, there were quite a few more beasts encountered, probably due to the proximity of the water source. Anyway, Linley killed very happily, more than 20 beasts, and snatched 13 of them. This could make Mao Frost and the others angry. Linley's head snatching speed is really too fast. Dark cutting moves to kill. Have a temper also cannot send out. According to Lin Li's own words, I grabbed with the ability. What are you not convinced? If you have the patience, you can also rob with me ah? Joking. In addition to John Yulong's space department, who can rob over Lin Li? Plus Ma Hongyi this kid play rogue. Once Lin Li and the beast fighting, dead stop in front of the team refused to give way. You hit me? If you hit me, I'll call my father. I'll see who's unlucky at that time. On the second day of the trial, at 10 minutes past noon, the squad of 15 people finally arrived at the ice lake area. The so-called ice lake is a lake that is frozen all year round. No matter if you're in spring, summer, fall or winter, it won't change in the slightest. The principle was still a mystery, but Linley guessed that something definitely existed underneath the lake. Otherwise it was in early fall, 
Still a suitable temperature. How could it freeze? Everyone be careful. The ice crystal beast is just ahead. Zhang Yulong stared tightly at the surface of the lake not too far away and warned out loud. If he could sense it, of course Lin Li's crowd could sense it as well. About a kilometer away on the ice, a huge body, at least three or four meters high, blue, with two small insignificant horns on its head, and a lot of ice cubes inserted into its back, was leisurely pacing in a wobbly manner. A moment to look up at the sky, a moment to look down at the lake, a moment of small feet backward too, a moment of tail flicked to and fro. This foreign beast is a hyperactive? Little Fatty observed for half a day and summarized an important point. Linley nodded indifferently as well. This foreign beast did have a bit of a problem. If it doesn't sleep honestly, what is it doing wandering around blindly? Everyone get ready. This foreign beast isn't simple. Try to fight quickly. Understood. Yu Long. Linley always felt that this Mao Frost was plotting against Jiang Yu Long. What people say is what they say. You can listen to them along the way. Damn. This pair of dogs. Do it. Slow down. The crowd was blindsided by the sudden stopping sound. With puzzled faces, they looked at Linley, wondering what this guy was up to. What's wrong, Linley? Zhang Yulong didn't have much of a reaction. Presumably thinking that Linley had discovered something? My shoelace is open. Wait, I will. Seeing Linley really squat down to tie his shoes, Zhang Yulong's mouth twitched. This be deliberately playing with himself, right? All right, you can start this time. Zhang Yulong lazily ignored him and observed the ice crystal beast once again. Do it. Slow down. With a bang. Zhao Feishang was knocked out by one of the team members behind him. Luckily, it was ice, and his face landed on the ground and scuffed, so it wasn't a big deal. The crowd was all anxious, glaring at Lin Li. What is this dog doing again? Even Zhang Yulong was frowning, glancing at Lin Li with some annoyance. Why are they all looking at me? Look at them. Looking in the direction Lin Li had pointed. Another group of people had unexpectedly appeared in the other direction of the lake. The number didn't seem to be inferior to their own party. It seems like we're not the only team staring at the ice crystal beast. Mao Frost frowned slightly as she looked towards Zhang Yulong and said, This sunset trial has a total of just 10 middle rank alien beasts, and the ice crystal beasts are still considered to be the rarest of the few. So how can it be that we're the only ones who have their eyes on them? Then what should we do? Brother Lai, since you asked sincerely, I'll be merciful and tell you. Stay well and let them have it. Give it to them? On what grounds? An earth adept from the same class as Linley was instantly offended. Kid, it's not your fault for being retarded, but it's your fault for showing it off. Charging up now. Do you intend to engage the ice crystal beast? Or do you intend to engage another team? Or are you confident that you can take out all the people and beasts in one fell swoop? That earth type alien was dumbfounded by the dislike. It seemed like choosing either one would be a disadvantage. Linley is right. Wait and see what happens. And when they make a move, we'll reap the benefits. Kudos to you. Lin Li gave Jiang Yulong a rudy thumbs up. But unfortunately, what he got in return was a big blank stare. Boom, 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 roar. They're starting to make their move. Everyone get ready. Once the ice crystal beast loses, we'll charge straight up and grab the crystals. Slow down. What's going on again? Lin Li didn't say anything. Only his expression grew more and more grave. His gaze was locked onto a figure at the location of the battlefield. That familiar great sword. That familiar holy light descending. Who else could it be but Lu Qingyue? The ice crystal beast was at least a middle-ranked second level of strength. And even though there were more than a dozen people in Lu Qingyue's team, they were still at a disadvantage when they exchanged blows. This girl, she's still so reckless after having suffered a loss once. Ha, huh? brother Lai, who are you talking about? Little Fatty came forward and looked at the battlefield curiously. Hey, isn't that Mr. Lu, and what's his name Hugh? They're all there. Linley was a little depressed, most afraid of meeting this situation. His relationship with Lu Qingyue is now very complicated. You say there are feelings, that is indeed there, and last time it was almost, to say that there wasn't. Seeing her attitude towards Wu Xiao, he was kinda disgusted. What jealousy, don't talk nonsense. Roar. A heaven-shaking roar came from the location of the battlefield. The surface of the ice began to tremble. An extremely sharp ice thorn sprang out from underneath the surface of the lake and quite a few people were too slow to react and thus were stabbed. Only no one died. The roll of the life bracelet began to appear. A turquoise green light enveloped the body, resisting this fatal blow, then disappeared together with the person. Damn. Lin Li in the end still could not sit still. Black mist wrapped around the whole body disappeared in place. Not only in terms of feelings, but also Lu Qingyue's help to herself. Since the beginning of the school year until now, Lu Qingyue was the only girl who didn't care about any gain or loss and wholeheartedly helped herself, especially the last sunset trial, which was intercepted by Yi Chang, 
and the person rushed to himself without any concern. Just based on this, Linley couldn't even see death to save himself. At this moment, the ice crystal beast had been completely enraged. The ice spikes on the lake surface were getting denser and denser, and the temperature around them was dropping rapidly. After all, Lu Qingyue and the others were all beginner level adepts, and without the ability to fly, it was simply a desperate situation. Light speech, hold me tight. Just at the moment of despair that they were going to be eliminated, Linley's voice appeared beside their ears. Lu Qingyue subconsciously turned around and rushed towards the black mist. Thirty seconds later, Linley returned to his original position with the beautiful woman. Linley, I thought you wouldn't come to my rescue. Lu Qingyue clenched her lower lip and looked at Linley pitifully. How did you know I was here? Because I caught a glimpse of little fatty honey, so I guess that you were in this neighborhood as well. Oh, that. You'd better take a break. The ice crystal beasts are too strong. You won't be able to achieve victory with the team you're in. Wait Linley. Lu Qingying called out to Linley who was ready to leave, releasing that question that had been perplexing him for a long time and said, You, why are you avoiding me? Me, where did I? Is that so? Ever since the last time I brought Wu Xiu to apologize to you, you haven't been willing to come close to me. Did you misunderstand something? Nonsense. You're so close to Elixbill. Who else who wouldn't think more? How could it be? I just. It's just. A dead duck must talk tough. Linley also wants to save face. Okay. Wu Xiu is my aunt's son. That is. My cousin. What? Linley directly confused a big B. What the hell becomes your cousin? Hey. This matter was told to me by my sister. And Wu Xiu only learned about it later. Otherwise. How could I possibly forgive him for what he did before? The corners of Lin Li's eyes kept twitching, and even Ma Hongi on the side was somewhat unable to accept it. Licking dog turned cousin, love rival turned brother-in-law? Hongi, shut up, little fatty. Don't talk nonsense. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue simultaneously opened their mouths to drink. Ma Gang was right. Don't say everything out loud. Lin Li, if you don't go save your brother-in-law, he's going to be eliminated oh. Mao Frost appeared near the duo at an unknown time and reminded them as if flirting. Classmate Mao, just eat melon. Can you stop speaking? What the hell just my brother-in-law? Serves him right to be eliminated. Just take it as a lesson for him. Really, making people feel weirdly embarrassed. Lin Li, there's no time to delay. Now is the best time to strike. Zhang Yulong was observing the battlefield movements at all times. At this moment, Lu Qingyue's team had suffered more than half of the casualties, and the Ice Crystal Beast was also slightly exhausted. Unleashing great moves one after another. How much stamina was enough for him to consume? Alright, let's strike now and take down that beast. Linley didn't nag. The matter of his brother-in-law would come later. Right now the ice crystal beast's exotic crystals were the most important thing. The 15 Xenos collectively mobilized, with Linley and Zhang Yulong rushing at the front, executing their spatial jumping skills. Spatial annihilation. Dark cut. Ice explosion. Green entanglement. A dozen strong and powerful skills bombarded the ice crystal beast, causing that originally tired body to receive a heavy blow, and it directly tumbled sideways and fell to the ground, sliding out dozens of meters away. Linley, do you guys still need some face? It was clearly us who discovered it first. Wu Hu that big fool still forced Lai Lai very unconvinced. Linley without saying anything went up as a foot. Damn. Just TM you call cousin Ah? Wu Hu was kicked in the face. Just said what the hell. Waiting to fucking clean you up. This kick could put Linley in a good mood. The dark shockwave shot straight at the ice crystal beast's body. It was just as fun as pushing a hockey puck. Linley, the ice crystal beast's weakness is in its neck. Seeing that the battle was favorable, John Yulong hurriedly spoke out to remind him. Neck? Linley leapt up to the body of the ice crystal beast. This big guy was really meaty. Stepping on its belly was soft, as if it was a trampoline. Then looking towards its neck position. Sure enough, there was no ice covering there. It was just black and frilly skin, normally not seen. It should only be seen when it's on its side. So now was the right time. Dark cut. Linley swung out a dark blade, driving it straight at the opponent's neck. When the crowd saw this, they revealed joyful colors. Without any surprises, this foreign beast's head was about to be chopped off. Unfortunately ah, without accidents that wasn't called a protagonist. With Linley around, how could things go smoothly? The ice crystal beast realized that death was imminent and didn't hide it anymore. The aura of the middle rank too quickly drew up. An intense force of ice and cold swept out, and dark cutting was easily frozen in place. This was the first time Linley had seen this situation. A dark attack could actually be frozen? Even if this ice crystal beast is the strength of the fourth level of the middle order. That is also, middle rank 4? Crap, everyone get out of the way. The biting cold wind stung the skin, and the tidal wave-like impact lifted everyone present out of the way. Especially Linley. 
the bitter man was directly lifted into the sky. Thinking back to that song, wanting to fly into the sky, shoulder to shoulder with the sun. Pa, ouch. Unfortunately, the height wasn't enough and he soon fell on the ice surface. Jiang Yulong, didn't you say that this beast is at the second level of the middle rank? Lin Li was infuriated enough, without even being able to feel the strength of the other party. He came to the siege so rashly, isn't this rushing to give away his head? Nonsense. After three months apart, how do I know he's risen two levels in a row? What the hell? Three months apart? You're fucking rating him according to his strength three months ago? What else? Lin Li swore that he had never wanted to hit someone like he did today. He wanted to beat the shit out of Jiang Yulong. Just a moment ago, he thought he was a smart guy. How did he turn into a retard in just a few minutes? Brother Lai, be careful. Little Fatty's shout came from the distance, and Lin Li hurriedly rolled forward. With a rumble, the ice crystal beast's big foot slammed down hard on the ice surface. A huge deep pit. Chow, why are you always chasing after me? Lin Li stood up with a carp, and his dark slash cut through the air and landed on the ice crystal beast's head. There was a crunching sound, but nothing happened to him. There was a difference of eight levels. What talent could make up for such a gap? Don't just stand there. Fire. Seeing the people around him staring blankly at his performance, Lin Li shouted angrily. What time is it? They'd be given a wave by others later. Space stripping. Zhang Yulong took the lead, and the space where the ice crystal beast's head was suddenly fluctuated, followed by a terrifying obliterating force. The effect was there. The ice crystal beast roared in pain, but unfortunately it didn't cause any significant damage. Just a horn was stripped away by the space. Roar. This large monster turned its attention to Zhang Yulong, and with a forceful movement of its feet, cracks actually began to appear in the surrounding ice. Bang bang bang, a succession of ice-breaking sounds came, and one meter high ice spikes then appeared anywhere. Immediately after that, the ice crystal beast let out a roar towards the sky, and snowflakes unexpectedly drifted up in the sky, and this snowflake grew bigger and bigger and bigger, until finally, it could no longer be called a snowflake, but a snowball, although it wasn't very dense. It still hurt like hell when it hit people. The inside of this snowball was completely frozen, not the usual soft and sticky toy. The crowd dodged and dodged while letting their skills bombard them. Drops of sweat were seeping out of Linley's anxious forehead. Running, he could definitely run away by himself. The problem was what about Fatty and this bunch of trash? Besides, he's here now, so he's not willing to settle this beast. Hey, aren't there so many people who are of the Inferno lineage? Yes, I am. There was a tall. Thin lad in the crowd who raised his hand, and the little bit of flame surrounding his body wasn't enough to blow in the wind. Damn. Beginner level 3. What good could that do? Never mind. Something is better than nothing. You come with me. The youngster nodded and rushed towards Linley's side. Linley's plan was to use the inflammatory exotic energy to break through the ice crystal beast's defense. After all, these two attributes were considered to be mutually restraining existences, so there was always some use for it. Eventually then by the crowd to join forces to attack the weakness of this beast. It should be. There's no problem. Right. Lin student. My name is Zhang Quan. I'm 19 years old this year. S class inferno system. Get get get. What time is this? Grab your hands. Aim at this beast's neck and blast the hell out of him for me. Understood. Red lotus flame. Yeehaw. That's quite a domineering name. Black curtain. Lin Li blocked the ice crystal beast's field of vision briefly in order to match Zhang Quan. And then. There was no more then. Hey, I'm stuffed. The so-called red lotus flame wasn't even as big as the flames from the cooking stove. It was just a single ball of fire. And when it hit the neck of the ice crystal beast, it couldn't be said to be useless, but it could only be said to be just a little bit useful. Classmate Lin, how was it? Zhang Quan shyly asked Lin Li with a big, excited face. Cow B. Heifer goes to the toilet. Cow B is in a hurry. Boom. When the ice crystal beast regained its vision again, all four of its large hooves began to move. Don't look at this guy's physique. But his movement speed was not slow. Huffing and puffing. It swept through the entire battlefield. Zhao Fei Xiang. Yao Tong. Si Fingyu. And the others. Half of the trialists again were tragically killed. Lin Li. I still have one last move. So show your skills too. If you still can't solve the ice crystal beast. Then retreat. Good. You first then. You first. You first. You first. Of course you're going to go first. You're the one who's claiming. Okay then, I'll go first. Space Storm. Zhang Yulong's full output blocked off the ice crystal beast's space of movement. And immediately after, the space began to shatter and collapse. A stream of inky green turbulence releasing from the ruptured void. This kind of power was quite special. Not belonging to the elements or matter. Rather, it belonged to an origin power that easily broke through the ice layer covering the ice crystal beast. Roar. 
The latter was in pain and shook its body vigorously, but unfortunately, it was still unable to escape this space. Linley shouted loudly and applauded. However, once he turned around and saw Jiang Yulong's white, 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 like a dead man's face, Linley sincerely admired. Young man good look, sacrifice you won, save millions of families. Linley, you instead make a move, I can't hold on much longer. This voice was weak, very weak. It felt like it was shouting, but was actually panting. Fine, I'll make up the last cut. Dark water. Linley also went out on a limb, redirecting all the alien energy in his body and attaching it to the ground underneath the ice crystal beast's feet. There was no need to say where the inspiration came from. It was a strong batch anyway. The ice crystal beast slowly descended while enduring the spatial turbulence. The dark water continuously eroded his feet, legs, hips, and body. Until finally, the ice crystal beast was completely consumed by the darkness. John Yulong was finally deflated and half fell to the ground. After freezing for a few seconds, he realized that something was wrong. The ice crystal beast was swallowed by the darkness. What about the fey crystals? Linley, where are the fey beast crystals? The promised 45%. Ah, uh, Linley similarly collapsed to the ground off his feet, scratching his head, not knowing how to explain. This, I can't do anything about it. The ice crystal beast was devoured into dregs and that fey crystalline beast was naturally, cough, coughing, Lin Li, I, Zhang Yulong, am not finished with you, let's be reasonable, you asked me to show my skills, you didn't ask for the exact result, cough cough, Zhang Yulong was so angry that he couldn't speak, and finally simply faced the blue sky and closed his eyes to think, a team of 15 people was currently left with only 7, excluding Lin Li and little fatty, there were still 5 people left, but this had nothing to do with Lin Li, this was the end of the cooperation, each to their own homes, each to their own mothers. After a brief recovery, Lin Li, Little Fatty and Lu Qingyue left the frozen lake. As for Wu Xiao, Si Feng Yu and the others were eliminated long ago. A single ice crystal beast had taken care of more than 20 people. This trial was truly not simple. After the group dispersed, Lin Li's squad set off on their journey once again. The maple leaf forest didn't have any exotic beasts and the falling cloud peak was still too weird to get into any danger by getting deeper into it. Therefore, the group of three began to head towards the mountainous rocky land. Brother Lai, in that case, aren't we tossing and turning for most of the day for nothing? Who said it was a waste of time? To be able to eliminate more than 20 competitors, it's not a waste of time. Lu Qingyue on the side rolled her eyes. The reasoning was this, but the time wasted was too much. And, who says we're getting nothing? Lin Li smiled mysteriously and raised his palm as dark energy began to converge. As the energy grew thicker, a small vortex appeared in the eyes of the three of them. And in the very center of that small vortex, there was a blue crystal floating. Lu Qingyue couldn't believe her eyes, and asked with both happiness and nervousness, This, this is the ice crystal beast's fey crystallization? Of course. With a wave of Lin Li's hand, the energy disappeared and the blue crystals floated into his hand. Brother Lai, then why did you just now? Hong Yi Ah. What about being a human being? You have to have a heart, since we can maximize the benefits. Why do we need to share it with others? What do you think that Jiang Yulong and the others have in mind? Whoever the crystals fall into, the points are up to them, and if we really let them take it away, it's unknown whether we'll be able to acquire the points in the end. Lin Li, should I praise you for being smart, or should I criticize you for being bad? He he he, it depends on your mood. One day later, the three of them managed to arrive at the mountainous rocky land. There really were much more foreign beasts here than in the maple leaf forest, and they could be encountered nearly every half hour. Lin Li's squad had a higher level of strength with the addition of Lu Qingyue. Wherever they passed, there were no crystal hairs left. The average strength of the 3000 trialists was only at the third or fourth level of the beginner's class, especially the 50 classes at the back. Their strength was a bunch of vegetables. As long as Lin Li and the others met, the crystals in their hands would definitely not be kept. However, Lin Li still carried out love and justice and would not eliminate anyone. After all, there was still a secondary income waiting. It was said that when people were busy, time would pass very quickly. It was indeed this truth. In a flash, came the last day of the trial, the seventh day. With more than 180 alien beasts, the three of them had divided their points up to 1,670. This didn't even count the middle-order alien beast crystals. One of them is worth thousands of points, so we'll just see how they are distributed at that time. The last day. Lin Li must work harder. Grab all the teams he can and lock the rankings firmly at number 1. The legendary elemental magic weapon Lin Li hadn't touched yet, so he had to get one of those, right? Lin Li, there seems to be someone fighting in front of us. I feel it too. Hong Yi, you stay here for a while, 
Brother will grab the crystals for you. Little Fatty nodded excitedly. Lin Li and Lu Qingyue lowered their heads, bent over, and slowly approached the front. That action. The look. The police came and couldn't even explain it. Mountain and Rocky Land. As the name suggests, a territory full of mountains and rocks, used to hide the shape of the body is particularly great. As long as the breath is hidden well, no one can find you. After the two of them approached a considerable distance, the sounds of battle became clearer and clearer. Next to a huge rock, the two revealed a small head as a crowd of spectators. The teams that were fighting were all familiar faces. One group was Jiang Yulong's team. The other group was the first year class. Ranked second. Currently third. Qian Zimo's team. In terms of numbers, Qian Zimo definitely had the advantage. With nine people in his team. While Jiang Yulong only had five left. But in terms of strength, Jiang Yulong still has the upper hand. Qian Zimo. SS grade inflammatory ability. Currently, he and Jiang Yulong were at the same early stage 9 level. However, the same level is not the same strength. They had all seen it 4 days ago. Jiang Yulong's spatial system abilities were perverted to the extreme. And he could even injure an intermediate rank 4 alien beast. If he hadn't made a move to restrict the movement of the ice crystal beast, Lin Li wouldn't have been able to devour that big monster so easily. Even now, Lin Li didn't have full certainty of resolving the other party. The battle was fierce, with all sorts of elemental supernatural abilities everywhere. Eliminators had already appeared on both sides. Obviously, Jiang Yulong didn't want to drag the time out for too long. Space cutting, space annihilation, space transformation, were all powerful and incomparable moves that were used by this guy one after another. Qian Zimo knew that he wasn't an opponent, so he kept on consuming the other party and tried his best to dodge. Just according to Jiang Yulong's maneuver, he would hold out for another 10 minutes or so, and then he would exhaust himself and fall to the ground. Anyway, no matter what the outcome was, with Lin Li as the yellow bird, none of them could escape. Hey man, do you see which side of these two groups has a better chance of winning? Well, I think Jiang Yulong has a better chance of winning. After all, he, whom, why does it feel weird? Lin Li and Lu Qingyue reacted one after the other and looked back furiously. A scruffy boy with swollen hair and very casual clothes was standing behind Lin Li with a smile on his face. A tall man nah, to be able to approach me silently? Dare I ask what this student's name is? He he he. Lin student is too polite. My name is Bai. A student of first year class 100. First year class 100? Lin Li and Lu Qingyue looked at each other incredulously. It was really unbelievable. First year class 100. That place was a dispensable existence for Saint Imperial. And the students in it were basically A class or even B class elemental adepts. This kid in front of him looked very uncomplicated. Both in terms of appearance and strength. It was also unknown whether it was because the other party had concealed his breath or what, and could not perceive the realm at all. Boo. Hello, clothes student, you've come here for, the same reason. No, classmate Lin you've got it wrong. I'm just a powerless little piece of trash with no crystals on me, much less to snatch them. I just saw you guys watching the show, so I came over to join in the fun. Seeing that Bui was sincere, he didn't look like he was lying. Lin Li nodded his head with conviction, as long as there was no threat to himself. Come, make room for you, let's eat melon together, he he he, thanks a lot. Thus, the melon eating team grew by one point. The battle between Qian Zimo and Jiang Yulong was nearing its end, and the former was on the verge of not being able to support himself. The spatial peeling brushed against his body, causing a battle trench coat to be tattered and torn. Qian Zimo's expression was grave. A small handful of white hair at his forehead kept flying, as if it was that ancient beautiful man, which was delightful. Qian Zimo. I'll give you one last chance to join my team so that you may still be able to keep your ranking. Jiang Yulong, you wouldn't be unclear about what kind of person I, Xian Zimo, am, would you? Besides, this battle isn't over yet. It's not certain who will win or lose. Tough talker. Jiang Yulong slashed the air with another space cut. Xian Zimo dodged and managed to avoid it. But as soon as he stabilized his stance, the next attack came one after the other. Flame carnival. Spinning, jumping, he closed his eyes said Qian Zimo, a leap stalled in mid-air, the blazing flames surrounded his body, and with another spin, the power was even better, as if that a fire snake, non-stop flying, circling, Jiang Yulong's attack was blocked without any surprise, the three melon eaters in the distance watched with great interest, needle point versus, wheat horse, bandit meets hooligan, these two people's skills were so damn cool, Linley wondered when he would be able to have such a dangling skill move, boom, good, well played, slap, at this moment, Lin Li actually realized what it was like to have the air suddenly go quiet, and also realized an indisputable truth. Less contact with the wrong people. Damn it, 
This cloth cloth brain what? Eating melon is eating melon. Lifting the melon pot is what do you mean? Zhang Yulong, Qian Zimo and others' attention has been diverted over. This guy, Bu Yi, scratched his head in embarrassment and said, Yeah, sorry, I was discovered. Lin Li took a deep breath and thought to himself that this bastard definitely did it on purpose. ITM. Ha, huh, where is everyone? Lin Li turned around and prepared to give that scruffy kid a punch, but he didn't realize that the other person's figure had already disappeared. So fast? Really an expert? Lin Li, you have the time to watch the show, but not the time to make a move? Zhang Yulong's voice came from the location of the battlefield, and Lin Li had two big heads. There was no choice but to show up and meet him. Mr. Zhang, I'm just a spectator. You guys are fighting quite vigorously. What's wrong with me making a move? Less pretending. 50-50 after it's done. This guy has saved up a lot of crystals. As soon as Lin Li heard that there was business coming his way, he immediately became interested. 46, 6 for me. 4 for you. You. Good. 4 6 on 4 6. Yikes. The price seems to have been raised lower. Damn it. Just now I said 37 is good. Mr. Lin. As long as you join forces with me, you'll take 70% and I'll take 30%. Zhang Yulong has accumulated much more crystals than me. Lin Li's eyes lit up. This was a good deal. Lin Li. We've worked together before. There is. Aya. What cooperation or not? I Lin Li is a businessman. Which one gives a high compensation I will help which one? Money does not tolerate love drops. Zhang Yulong was so angry that he gritted his teeth. Once he recalled that middle rank alien beast crystal, his liver hurt. Good. 28%. Classmate Lin. I'll split it 19%. Lin Li. I don't want the crystals anymore. They're all yours. Kill Qian Zimo with me. Lin. I'll give you 10 beginner alien beast crystals. These two people were considered to have completely gone out of their way. What crystals or not? As long as they could finish each other off. That was victory. Ah, uh, in that case, you guys fight first. I'll think about it. Lin Li changed his mind. These two goods were one richer than the other. So why not just kill them all in one go? You long. Save. Mao Frost's cries came from the distance. But unfortunately, it was already too late. He was besieged by three extraordinary strength exalts. The green light enveloped his body. And he was miserably eliminated. Xian Zimo. I'm not done with you. Seeing this, Zhang Yulong didn't have time to pay attention to Lin Li and directly erupted into a full force rush towards Qian Zimo. The two's already tired bodies exchanged blows once again. Flames shot out in all directions and space collapsed. Lin Li quietly stepped back. Right now wasn't the best time. Wait a little longer. Five minutes later, Qian Zimo finally couldn't support himself and took the lead in defeat. Being eroded by the spatial turbulence, directly falling to the ground with serious injuries. It was estimated that he was just a hair's breadth away from triggering the life bracelet. Zhang Yulong's condition wasn't much better. He had received a fire dragon from his opponent head-on, causing multiple burns on his body. There was even less physical energy left. However, he was still bracing himself, bracing himself to walk towards Qian Zimo, preparing to deal a fatal blow to his opponent. Qian Zimo. In the end, it's still me who won ah. He he he. In the end, it should be me who wins oh. Zhang Yulong turned around violently, and Dark Cut had already arrived close. Green light enveloped his body, and Zhang Yulong disappeared before he even had time to curse. Qian Zimo didn't feel excited when he saw Lin Li strike, but instead laughed at himself. He wasn't a fool. Lin Li's style of doing things was still something he had heard of. Classmate Lin. This sparrow. You've done a good job as a sparrow? I'm flattering you. Mr. Qian. Trials are like a battlefield. People's hearts are treacherous. Qian Zimo sighed and didn't need Lin Li to do anything, he directly threw a punch at his own chest. There's still this kind of operation, but it doesn't matter. After the two were eliminated, 200 crystals were scattered on the ground. Lin Li reached out his hand and sucked all the crystals into the dark vortex. He happily continued sweeping. The rest were a group of small party vegetables. It didn't take much effort at all, and it was resolved in three tries, inside and outside added together. This harvest 301 beast crystals. How many points are too lazy to count? Already enough for Lin Li. Lu Qingyue, the little fat man three people to hang on the top three. Brother Li, nearly 500 fey crystals. We're rich. Behind a huge mountain rock, little fatty sat on the ground ecstatic. Even Lu Qingyue was secretly smacking her lips. Calculating like this, the average points of the three of them was as high as over 2,400. It had already broken the record of previous years. He he he, I can't wait to meet my elemental magic weapon. You'd better save your breath. Lu Qingyue anachronistically splashed Lin Li with a pot of cold water and said, The rewards of the elemental mage weapons are randomized. They don't come with every trial. 
otherwise Zhang Yulong, Xian Zimo and the rest of them would have already had a handful of them, he he he, you don't understand, my brother's luck is by no means comparable to anyone else's, old man's son will definitely have the magic weapon ready to greet us, 8 hours later, the trial ended on time, everyone was teleported back to the sacred imperial, notice teleportation square was whimpering and yelling, and the smell of gunpowder permeated everywhere, there was no way around it, this kind of situation happened once every three months. How could a trialist who saw his opponent, or who had eliminated and plundered him, be at peace? To talk about the most typical case, it was none other than Linley. As soon as his sight was restored, good lord, dozens of people had surrounded themselves, but Linley is not the slightest bit panicked. Upside down in the hands of a piece of crystallization said, What? Not convinced? I've already been merciful by not eliminating you guys, but if you were anyone else, would you still have a chance to get points? The crowd looked at me and I looked at you. Indeed, this is the truth. But the grievances in their hearts have not decreased at all. So what should they do? What do you guys want? Do you want to lose your character after losing the trial? Lu Qingyue wasn't accustomed to anyone and walked over to Lin Li, questioning in a loud voice with a lot of vigor. Chow, what's a bunch of trash doing surrounding my brotherly? If you don't get lost, I'm going to call for old son too. The little fat man was even more arrogant, pointing at the nose of the front row of several people and cursing. The crowd's heart was so angry. However, the Titan Guild was a huge mountain that was far from something they could provoke. In the end, they could only leave their indignant gazes and blatantly leave. Ding dong, please, all the trialists, place the fey crystals obtained from this trial into the testing table, and the testing system will judge the points of this trial. The 3,000 students heard the announcement and walked towards the other end of the square. Brother Lee, what are you looking at? Ha, huh? no, I mean, what are you looking at? Aren't we going to the testing platform? Little Fatty saw Lin Li looking around all the time and not moving anywhere. So he was curious. Looking for an asshole. An asshole who screwed me over. The person Lin Li was talking about was, of course, Boo Yi. This guy was rather uncomplicated. Coming and going without a trace. Importantly, after pitting Lin Li without even saying hello, he ran away in ashes. Who is Lin Li? The little prince who holds a grudge. Hey, I cannot dick you, but you cannot not hang me. If I offend you, you beat me, but if you offend me, I will beat the shit out of you. Naiha this 3000 number of figures is too much. Densely packed. Dazzling to see. After half a day, no trace was found. Alright Linley, don't look for it, the trial is over. Besides, it's not like people are doing it on purpose. Grab a hold of the testing table. That bastard. Don't ever let me meet him in the future. Alright, alright, it's just a weak classmate from first year class 100. Don't be so vindictive. A weak classmate? Linley didn't think so. He always felt that this cloth was strange, and even had an inexplicable sense of familiarity. It seemed like he had seen it somewhere before, but he couldn't vaguely remember. Forget it. Meeting is destiny. Sooner or later for the Buddha to accept you. First year class 13, Yuan Guayuan, 211 points. First year class 4, Chang Chang, 516 points. First year class 77, Luo Fingji, 29 points. 3,000 people, standing in 16 ranks, as there were a total of 16 testing stations, neatly lined up for testing, the more advanced the class, the more points the students received, there was no way around it, the academy had always upheld that the strongest would win, there was no such thing as fair or unfair, some people were born at the top of the heap, they had high talent and progressed quickly, while you, with low talent, progressed slowly, and this was reason, deadly reason, it belongs to the alien world, you're weak, you can't grab the crystals, or they've grabbed the crystals, so your points are low. Naturally, your ranking will be lower. In fact, this is a means for the academy to motivate the students. You are weak in talent. It can be, but if you're lazy and don't seek advancement, and your strength can't catch up with others, then it's no one's fault. First year class 1, Zhang Yulong, 0 points. First year class 1, Mao Frost, 0 points. First year class 1, Xian Zimo, 0 points. A series of zero score beats shook the entire arena. These people were all top level talents within the academy. Talent and strength were all more than one demon. In the past, they were all ranked among the best. Why did they collectively strike this year? First year class 2. Ma Hongi, 2544 points. Wow. At this moment, the entire room boiled. 2. 544 points. What concept? The highest score in the past was only 2000 points. Ma Hongi? That's that little fatso from the Titan Guild? Are you crazy? How can you call that little fatty? If you let Mahani know about this, it would be strange if my gang didn't beat you full of peach blossoms. 
I've heard that Mahoney is only at the third level of the beginner's class, with more than two, five hundred points, how did he do it, Che, how else can I do it, his father is Ma Gang, what can I do, the students in the queue are talking a lot at the moment, it is impossible to be convinced, this little fat boy's strength is obvious, without a strong background, how could he achieve such high points, first year class 1, Lu Qingyue, 2666 points, wow, the familiar boiling sensation struck again, only, everyone was admiring Lu Qingyue's strength, and that terrifying talent, spraying, was not daring to spray drops, people's backstage could be much more terrifying than Mahongi, first year class 1, Lin Li, 3021 points, this time, it's not boiling, because this result is both shocking and not shocking at the same time, 7 days, how many people had Lin Li robbed, how many foreign beasts had been killed, most of the students were clear in their hearts, it was only that everyone was unconvinced by the results that Lin Li had mastered at this moment, or rather, jealousy, hatred of the rich, as well as resentment, it was too detrimental to the image of the academy to let a darkness department fellow achieve first place, however, Lin Li didn't care about the discontent of the crowd on stage, whatever, I earned the points with my skills anyway, what else could this group of trash do all day long besides chewing the cud, decent, just because they're decent, there's a lot of trash, they don't clean up after themselves, instead they blame the existence of people who are cleaner than them, and practical, isn't that human nature, counting the time, there are still two and a half months to go, it didn't matter if Si Feng Yu and the others were challenged, there was no suspense at all, the only thing Lin Li cared about was Lu Qing Yen, middle rank 3, sitting in the same position as a legend, the world must be made to understand that the darkness department is the genus that deserves the most respect, darkened, become a demon, self-degradation, which department doesn't have demonizers, to put it bluntly, it was because the darkness department didn't have a dominant voice and their numbers were too scarce, otherwise, the current situation is that the darkness department does not look down on the existence of other genera. Student Linley, please come to the dean's office. Student Linley, please come to the dean's office. Student Linley, please come to the dean's office. The successive voice prompts made Linley really puzzled. What's the point of calling someone and then pulling a crap radio and constantly urging them back and forth? Did the dean die? Or did he kill someone? Aha, uh -huh, the dean died has nothing to do with himself? Linley did not understand. The students under the stage even more do not understand. Why did the dean call Linley? Good or bad? I think it's a bad thing. So, a new round of slander frenzy once again started. What Linley killed? Linley is not a person. Linley undercover identity was revealed. Linley trial foul. One had to admire the brain circuits of this group of people. It would be a waste of time not to go write novels. Brother Li, what is old man son calling you for in a hurry? Yes Linley, why don't I go with you to take a look? I always feel that something's not right. Don't worry. There's nothing wrong. Can old man's son arrest me? I haven't made any mistakes. But, all right, I'll be right back. You guys wait for me here. To be honest, Linley was more or less nervous. Some sort of intuition told him that what was coming next was very uncomplicated. Ten minutes later, Linley arrived at the dean's office. The door to the office was open. And out of politeness, knocked on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Dean's son, you're looking for me? Sun Wukong faced the bookshelf and leaned his back against the desk, unable to hear any tone of voice. That's right, come in. Linley frowned, lifting his steps and walking in. Arriving in front of the desk, Linley stopped and looked curiously. Unfortunately, he didn't see anything, and Sun Wukong, the little old man, didn't know what he was doing. Linley, you performed well in this trial. This compliment from Sun Wukong was not heartfelt at all, not even an appreciative tone. Dean Sun. There's something you'd better say straight out. I, Lin Li, don't seem to have made any mistakes, right? Mistake? Oh, perhaps for you. The word mistake doesn't exist. What a mess. Lin Li listened in confusion. This old wall lamp had something to say straight away. Had to sell a secret. Hey. Sun Wukong sighed as he lowered his head, then slowly turned around. This time Lin Li saw clearly. Old man Sun's face was full of sorrow, and his gaze was even more complicated. Lin Li, do you still remember what you said on the day you entered school? Of course I remember. Not submitting to power. Not submitting to darkness. But you submitted. What? Linley was a bit puzzled. When did he submit? Submitted to what? Dean's son. What do you mean by that? Take a look for yourself. With that, Sun Wukong twisted the computer screen around. Linley happened to get a good look. 30 seconds later, Linley was dumbfounded. He couldn't believe his eyes. Dean's son. This is impossible, this is definitely not my doing. During the seven days of the trial, Hong Yi was by my side the entire time. 
He can testify for me. The more Linley spoke, the more agitated he became. It was just this picture in front of him that had to make him agitated. Ah, in the screen, it was precisely the Sunset Forest, Maple Leaf Forest screen monitor. What was the content of the surveillance? It was Linley killing a student, and it was a one-hit kill, so fast that even the power of the bracelet couldn't react. That student was viciously penetrated through the chest by Linley and fell into a pool of blood. This is not all. Linley smiled evilly and released the dark water, devouring the body without leaving any traces. This scene, even Linley himself began to scrutinize himself. Can't it be that he really did it? Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Linley, it's already this time. And you still refuse to admit it? Our school's vice principal Zhang Yulu, the maker of the life bracelet, tangibly sensed your aura. When exactly did you become demonized? As soon as the words fell, the air around Linley suddenly became silent. Brilliant light enveloped the entire office, a lurid to the extreme holy light system of supernatural energy, impacting Linley as he retreated. Principal son, I, Linley, dare to act. This was not my doing at all. So there's no way I'm going to admit that I wasn't demonized at all. Linley shouted angrily against the infinite pressure. However, Sun Wukong was unshaken and the alien energy he released became even more terrifying. Linley, I'll give you one last chance. The demonization matter is not irremediable. As long as you repent in time, I can deal with you at my discretion. Bullshit. Linley's face turned red. His legs trembled unceasingly from the pressure. ITM didn't demonize or kill anyone at all. You old thing. Just based on a baseless image. You're ready to condemn me. Is this your style of doing things as the dean of the six great courtyards? Swish. The holy light supernatural energy in the office instantly disappeared. Linley directly sat paralyzed on the ground, huffing and puffing and gasping for breath. Sun Wukong stared tightly into Linley's eyes, and the latter stared at him with great tenacity. After 10 seconds, Sun Wukong was a bit shaken. Sun Wukong was a bit shaken, because he didn't see any lies or deception in Linley's eyes, much less any signs of evil aura or demonization. This could not help but make him start to doubt. Can't it be that what Linley said was true? But this surveillance image couldn't be faked, and Zhang Yulu's perception couldn't be faked even more ah, Dean, what are you still hesitating for? This kid killed Wang Chi. The evils of the darkness department have already been displayed. A man with gold-rimmed glasses, wearing a blue suit, eagle eyes, and a hooked nose, barged in, pointing at Linli, he shouted, Zhang Wen, calm down, this kid isn't demonized. So what? Even if he's not demonized, he can't hide the fact that he brutally killed his classmates. Stinking idiot, are you farting? Who the hell killed a classmate? Did your father tell you that in his dream? Lin Li's foul temper also came up, and now no one was good enough. Shit, somehow turned into a murderer. Someone must be framing him. This shitty place, it's fucking impossible to stay. Lin Li, how dare you? Zhang Wen was so infuriated that he was shivering. A long golden energy sword converged in his hand, pointing at Lin Li as he continued. How dare you sophistically argue even now, after killing Wan Qi? You no longer deserve to live in this world. After saying that, he chopped down with his sword. Linley's gaze grew colder and colder as endless killing intent filled his entire body. The ancient black ring on his ring finger turned rapidly. Before the golden longsword could fall, a tidal wave of dark alien energy surged out of nowhere. It instantly engulfed the golden longsword in Zhang Wen's hand and gradually spread its body. Yi Chang, how dare you? Ah, half of Zhang Wen's arm had been swallowed by the darkness. The pain that was like a knife cut caused him to stop howling miserably. Sun Wukong was furious when he saw this familiar dark black energy. But right now, stopping the spread of darkness on Zhang Wen's body was the most important thing. Otherwise, this four-eyed boy wouldn't survive for long. Lin Li, how do you feel? Yi Cheng's voice appeared in his ears, followed by his ghost-like figure, which became clearer and clearer. Lin Li didn't squeak, just coldly stared at the duo not far away who were selling their efforts to stop the darkness from eroding. Wrong. He was really wrong. Originally, Lin Li still had a glimmer of hope. A glimmer of luck, for Saint Royal, thinking that someone like Luo Hongtian, who was able to recognize reason, would still appear, but the truth is, in addition to little fatty, Lu Qingyue, there was none at all. This darkness department of his own had already become an existence that everyone shouted at and was not treated well by anyone. Who? Chief Yi? This matter? Have you been involved? Lin Li's words were not empty words. Yi Cheng had previously said that he would give himself three months to see some facts, and unavoidable truths. Then it was extremely likely that he would do something from it. If I waited for another two months, maybe I would get involved. But, what you're going through right now is completely out of my foreknowledge. Lin Li nodded, and that was enough. Made a good decision? Yi Cheng's voice was light, 
but it still carried a hint of anticipation and delight. Made a good decision, I, Lin Li, was born into darkness, and this false light, having trampled and died once is enough. Lin Li, don't listen to that Yi Chang's nonsense, things haven't reached the point of no return, I'll investigate further into Wang Qi's matter. Sun Wukong was anxious, but the movements in his hands couldn't stop. Yi Cheng's dark erosion effect was too powerful. As long as Sun Wukong let go of his hand, then Zhang Wen could basically declare bye-bye. Dean Sun, do you still remember what you had said to me on the first day of enrollment? Lin Li slowly got up. Not a trace of temperature could be seen in his eyes. It's okay if you can't remember. I'll help you recall your memories. You said that if I joined the sacred royalty, you wouldn't make things difficult for me since then, much less treat me differently, that you would suppress negative public opinion for me, and would guide me as much as possible. If my heart goes astray, you will correct me and urge me on. Ha! Linley laughed grimly and continued. So, your so-called urging is to indiscriminately instruct someone to kill me? Sun Wukong's already wrinkled face became even more compact. For a moment, it was actually impossible to retort. Indeed, just now, when Zhang Wen struck out, he hadn't even thought of going over to stop him. That's all. Too lazy to waste time with you guys here. Lin Li twisted his head to look at Yi Chang, who nodded slightly. Boom. Without hesitation, Yi Chang directly shot out and blasted a wall. The blinding sunlight attached itself to everyone. However, Lin Li couldn't feel the slightest bit of warmth. People were cold. The heart was naturally cold as well. A black mist wrapped Lin Li, Yi Chang and the two of them. Before leaving, Yi Chang also specially appreciated a sentence, Dean Sun. Thanks for the gift. I hope that next time you cultivate some more dark talents. I, Yi Chang, take it all. These words made Sun Wukong's face turn blue, and his super rank 8 berserk foreign energy stirred up the entire office. Unfortunately, it was of no use. Yi Chang flew out of the office with Lin Li in tow, and not far away from the teleportation square, 3,000 students, as well as many teachers, and upperclassmen saw this scene. The dean's office was blown up. Lin Li was taken away by Yi Chang. This change came a bit too suddenly. Especially Lu Qingyue and Ma Hani were full of questions. How did Lin Li follow Chief Yi away? Sacred Imperial Academy trash listen to me. Lin Li's voice resounded throughout the entire academy. That cold and murderous tone irrigating into everyone's ears. I, Lin Li, from today onwards, I officially leave the Sacred Royal Academy and join the Dark Kingdom. I'll take all your so-called sins, ominousness and disasters. We'll meet in the mountains and waters. I'll see you on the battlefield. Everyone was dumbfounded. Lin Li had announced in such a high profile that he was quitting Sacred Imperial and joining the Dark Kingdom. And he called everyone present trash? Hundreds of figures rushed directly into the air, trying to intercept Yi Chang and his duo. It really was the so-called remembering to eat, not remembering to fight, not measuring up. How could this group of scum possibly slow down Yi Chang's pace even a little bit? With a wave of his big hand, the dark fluctuations spread out in a ring shape. All the school leaders and teachers who rushed up and tried to intercept them were blown away. Immediately afterward, the duo completely disappeared from the spot. Whisper, Hiroshi, I'm sorry. Boom, old man's son, get the hell out of here. Was it you who chased away brotherly? Little fatty was all red-eyed with anger. A foot kicked the office door open. Seeing that Sun Wukong was forcing back the dark erosion for Zhang Wen, he pressed on and didn't care. I'll go NM, you're the one who fucking messed with my brother Lai? Little fatty rushed forward and kicked Zhang Wen over. Sun Wukong looked dumbfounded. Just one last step away, Zhang Wen's dark erosion was dispelled. This kick was impartial and landed on Zhang Wen's abdomen. Great. Half a day's work for nothing. Ma Hongyi, what are you doing fooling around alone? Sun Wukong was really anxious. Lin Li had been robbed by Yi Chang and rightly announced that he had joined the Dark Kingdom. This was enough for him to suffer. Now this little fatty was even causing trouble for himself? Let go of your mother's dog farts. Who the hell is fooling around? It's clearly you. This old thing, who's not open-minded and forced brother lie away. I'm not fucking finished with you. At this time, Lu Qingyue also rushed into the dean's office, hurriedly stopping Ma Hani who was rolling up his arms and sleeves. Dean's son, what exactly was the matter that made you force Lin Li away so ruthlessly? Lu Qingyue was still somewhat polite, but Lin Li's sudden departure really wasn't a small blow to him. Sun Wukong took a deep breath and forced down the anger in his heart, pointing at the computer screen. He said, you two go and take a look for yourselves and see what Lin Li has done. After saying that, he couldn't care less about these two people. Zhang Wen was still wailing at this moment, and the level of dark erosion grew a few more points. Half a minute later, how is this possible? For seven days, Brother Li and I have never been separated. I remember every battle he fought. This person we have never met at all. And this place, this place, the more little fatty looked, the more wrong he looked. 
as if he remembered something. Isn't this the forest where I saw a ghost with brother Lai? Seeing ghosts? Everyone present was confused by a big arm. Where did a ghost come from? Hong Yi, quickly tell us, what exactly did you and Lin Li meet? Lu Qingyin realized that this would probably be a breakthrough. She knew all about Lin Li's behavior, and the killing could never have been done by him. Little Fatty thought for a moment and then told the story of the white-furred monkey leading the way, passing through the depths of the woods and meeting the ugly old man. What? What you said is true. Ding dong. Ding dong. Who is it? Auntie. It's me. Xiao Li. Hearing that familiar voice, Wang Lanying hurriedly opened the door to her room. What met her eyes was really Lin Li. Xiao Li, why did you come back? Is this a surprise for your aunt? Wang Lanying gladly went forward and hugged Lin Li. Although only a month apart, Lin Li was after all brought up by Wang Lanying. Not a mother but better than a mother. Which mother under the sky does not want a son? Except for certain people who were born but not raised and are selfish. Xiao Li, who is this? Only then did Wang Lanying notice that there was another person standing behind Lin Li. It looked like he was quite a bit older than Lin Li, with a very easy-going face. Hello auntie, my name is Feng Chang, Lin Li's instructor and also Lin Li's very good friend. At this moment, Yi Chang had completely lost that air of looking out of the corner of the eye and being the only one to be respected. It was really like a big brother, a young teacher, dressed in black casual clothes, carrying two boxes of wansai cowby milk in his hand, polite and civilized. Make Lin Li strange uncomfortable. A Gu, so it's Xiao Li's teacher. Quick, quickly please come in. Wang Lining has always been hospitable. Once heard that it was Lin Li's teacher, a million happy, hastily invited him into the door. To be honest, at the very beginning, Lin Li didn't intend to let Yi Cheng follow him over. Not for anything else, because Yi Cheng's identity is too special. The strength, status of the entire divine continent. There are only a handful of existences that can be compared to him. I was afraid that he wouldn't like the living environment of secular people. The result proved that Lin Li overthinks. Yi Chang was a completely familiar patient. Entering the door, he changed slippers and started to visit around. A moment to fiddle with the furniture. A moment to pull pull electrical appliances, making it look like a curious baby. Xiao Ya, your brother is back. Wang Lanying shouted to the inner room while preparing the meal. Ka, the door of the innermost room was pushed open, and Xiao Ya couldn't wait to get out of the room. Only. When Lin Li saw Xiao Ya's condition, his heart thumped. Auntie, didn't I send a lot of money? Why hasn't Xiao Ya's condition gotten better? After hearing this, Wang Lanying's movement was obviously stagnant, and then sighed, AI. Xiao Ya's disease, the doctor said that the best treatment period has been missed. The money has not been spent, but has not been able to see the effect. So, so I decided to give up the treatment. Now such a life. I have been very satisfied it. Xiao Ya was smiling, so well behaved that it was heartbreaking. Hospital? Auntie, why don't you take Xiaoya to find a wood system alien? Brother, we've already searched. Just, saying this, Xiaoya paused, and Lin Li roughly guessed something. Squatting in front of Xiaoya, he helped him rub his cold little hands and said, Is it, have you encountered a liar? Xiaoya's eyes flashed a trace of aggression, nodded with teardrops. Lin Li was both heartbroken and angry. Heartbroken at what happened to Xiaoya, angry at that damned liar, without killing him, Lin Li could hardly resolve his heartache. This girl, Yi Cheng didn't know when he came beside the two of them, frowning and stroking his chin, staring at Xiao Ya in a very puzzled manner. It was only then that Lin Li reacted to the fact that a wood system powerhouse could look for Yi Cheng to help Ah. How could Nota's Dark Kingdom not even have a single wood system powerhouse? Brother Chang, I know what you want to say. I know quite a few wood system ability powerhouses, and it shouldn't be difficult to treat them. It's just that this girl's alien ability. Alien ability? Lin Li's eyes widened, his eyebrows almost didn't fly, incredibly looked at Xiao Ya, and then looked at Yi Chang, why didn't he himself feel the presence of alien energy in Xiao Ya, TSK, I'm not really sure, I need to test it, but let's treat the condition first, there's no hurry about the supernormal abilities, Yi Chang pulled out his cell phone and walked to the side to contact the Dark Kingdom, Lin Li and Xiao Ya were left wide-eyed and confused, brother Lin Li, this big brother is, ao, he's my teacher and a very close friend, He's capable of a lot. Xiaoya's condition isn't a problem for him at all. Really? Upon hearing that her condition could be saved, Xiaoya smiled happily. Bright and clean little white teeth, half wrapped by the lips that were pink with a slight pale color. Very playful and cute. Three minutes later, Yi Chang hung up the phone, walked back to the side of the two people and said, The Super Order 3 level wood system alien will arrive in Tianwu City early tomorrow morning? This girl's condition is very special. The treatment may be a little bit troublesome. Or, this girl's condition is very special. 
the treatment may be a bit troublesome, or a bit painful. A bit painful? It doesn't matter. Xiaoya isn't afraid of pain. Indeed, as long as the disease can be cured, what can a little pain and suffering be? However, Lin Li, who was on the side, was worried that Yi Chang's so-called pain was a little bit. I'm afraid it's not a simple pain. At 7 o'clock in the evening, Wang Lanying prepared the meal. Wang Lanying made a big table full of food, all of which Lin Li loves to eat. Originally, I was worried that Chief Yu would not be able to eat it. But when it was served, Lin Li realized for the first time what it meant to be a big, 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 big boss. For the first time, Lin Li experienced what was called a whirlwind sweep. At this moment, he seriously doubted that there was no food in the Dark Kingdom. And recalling back to the last time he was in the Dark Forest, this guy snatched a rabbit leg as soon as they met. Was this a hungry ghost or had he suffered abuse for a long time? But no one cared. It was just a meal. Wasn't it just for eating? At the dinner table, the four people talked and laughed and got along very well. Wang Lanying also deliberately asked Yi Ching Du a lot of questions about Lin Li's performance in the academy. Although it is fabricated, but also have nose and eyes, said very detailed. After hearing this, Wang Lanying was doubly pleased. After dinner, Lin Li went downstairs alone, because there was no need for Yi Cheng to make a move. What for? Looking up at the night sky. As the saying goes, dark moon and windy night, killing and setting fire to the sky. Since the moment he broke away from the sacred royalty, Lin Li had secretly sworn, from now on, whoever commits a crime against me, or against his own family, will have to pay the most painful price. Forgiving him was something that God should do, and what Lin Li was going to do was send him to God. Three million blue coins was nothing to the current Lin Li, but for Wang Lanying and Xiao Ya, it was a great trauma. They felt very guilty about this, and felt that they had wasted Lin Li's hard-earned medical expenses. For this reason, Xiao Ya also gave birth to the idea of giving up treatment. Based on this, Lin Li will not be that liar broken into pieces, are sorry for the word dark. Taking out his cell phone, he entered a string of numbers, and then Lin Li pressed the dialing button. Today is a good day. Anything your heart desires can come true. Crooked? I'm with healing master Wang Boki. How much can you pay? Crooked? One sentence shocked Lin Li twice. Wang Boki. This name was quite profoundly named, as if it signified something, and then asked how much money he could give. Did I fucking say anything? You just want money? 30 million dollars. Blow NB. Anyway, say nonsense do not need to make a draft. 30 million dollars? What's wrong with you? An excited voice came from the other end of the phone, and that feeling was close to writing the word liar on his face. Ah. Uh, Advanced brain cancer. My doctor told me that today is the last day time. If I can't get treatment again, then, just, Lindley acted with such emotion that she almost didn't cry out with that last sentence. Oh, so that's how it is. Advanced brain cancer. TSK. It's not very curable. And at a cost of 30 million dollars. I'm afraid. Come on. This is still a con artist professional. Knowing when to raise the price and when to rob. Master Wang. Money is not even a problem. As long as you can cure me tonight. I'll give you 100 million dollars. 100 million? Ahem. 100 million ah. Ah. Okay. Saving a life is better than building a 7 level pagoda. This master will work hard and work an extra shift. I'll be waiting for you at the Wang's Gene and Medical Center on Sand Carving Road. Come over as soon as possible. Okay, okay. I'll be right there. After hanging up the phone, Lin Li put away his smile. This Wang Boki is really a man of God. This was the first time Lin Li had ever seen a trademark registered fraudster. In his case, I don't know how many seriously ill patients have been victimized, but he can still continue to cheat without fear. It looks like the background strength is not shallow ah. Unfortunately, he met Lin Li today. 20 minutes later, Lin Li arrived at San Sculpture Road, Wang's G Min Medical Center. There were a handful of medical centers like this that had with system psychics in attendance. As long as one strength arrived at the sixth level or higher of the primary stage, they could control healing skills. Therefore, most of the wood system adepts would choose to open a medical hall, or join a guild and organize a medical team to obtain a considerable portion of the considerable income. Of course, this didn't mean that wood system adepts couldn't participate in battles, just like Wu Xiao. Don't look at this kid's stupidity, but his control of wood system combat skills is quite good, and he didn't make much effort in the last joint fight against the ice crystal beast. That's exactly what he said. There is no trash elemental attribute, only trash elemental controller. Knock knock knock. Is DR. One in? I'm here. Come in. Lindley pushed open the door and walked into the medical center. And incidentally, closed the door tightly. This medical center is really not big. Just 40 or 50 square meters. The house placed a few beds. A desk. A computer. And then no. Even the medicine shelf. 
Medical equipment are not. 2TM perfunctory. You are the gentleman who just called and got brain cancer? Wang Boki stood up from behind his desk. Seeing Lin Li in this state of mind, how could he not look like a terminally ill patient? That's right. I am. Wang Boki. A man like his name. No. You guys are thinking the wrong way. How could Lin Li possibly see it? This guy was very short. Just a little over 1 meter 6. It was a whole 20 centimeters shorter than Lin Li. And when he stood in front of Lin Li, he had to tilt his head. That is, tilt his neck. That's why it was said that a person was just like his name. Strange. Is it possible that it's a flashback? Wang Boki walked around Lin Li and didn't notice anything unusual. Solely, it didn't matter. Since the other party said he was sick, then he was sick. A hundred million blue coins. It would be foolish not to earn it. Ah, uh, that. You lie down first. I'll give you a checkup. Then let's cut straight to the chase and start the paid treatment. Paid treatment? Shouldn't it be treat first and pay later? Lin Li asked with a cold face. I'm a small business. In case. Cough. I mean in case. In case I cure you. What if you don't pay and renege on the bill? Is it hard for me to beat you into brain cancer? Ha! <laughs> Lin Li laughed coldly as a heavy killing intent began to emerge. Wang Boki ah Wang Boki. Just this kind of scum. Scum like you deserve to be called a healer? Tonight, it's true that people are going to die. Only, it's not me who's going to die. It's you. Lin Li's smile became more and more evil. That oozing tone, eyes, stared Wang Boki with a jolt. Then reacted, pointing at Lin Li shivering. You. What do you want? I'm an alien. Just by you? Stop pretending. After saying that, Wang Boki's head was covered with a layer of faint green light. It was indeed the wood system. Only, Lin Li detected something wrong. It had nothing to do with the green light coming out of this guy's head. What was said was Wang Boki's current realm. Beginner level 2. It was too unbelievable. This guy looks like he's at least 40 years old, if not older. In other words, it had been more than 20 years of awakening so far. After such a long period of time, how could he only have the strength of the second level of the primary rank? Even if you don't deliberately cultivate, even if your talent is poor to the extreme, in 20 years time, your body would be able to arrive at the fifth or sixth level of the elementary rank just by self-absorption. This was still without practicing. How could an elemental ability controller not practice? Who doesn't want to be strong? Who doesn't want to be respected? There's something else wrong. That is, Wang Boki did not perceive Lin Li's realm. At this moment, Lin Li had long since released his dark aura, and as long as he was a normal alien, he could sense it, yet this guy was still comparing himself like a fool, thinking that he wasn't an alien, things were very wrong, after half a day of inking, it was still necessary to take actual action in order to figure it out, thus, Lin Li casually threw out a ball of dark energy, that Wang Boki was like a fool, not moving at all, probably scared by Lin Li's dark alien energy, then, was then hit 100% by the skill, Ah, a pig-killing howl came from. Wang Boki spat out a mouthful of blood and lay on the ground half-dead, covering his chest. Lin Li was a bit confused. This physique isn't right, is it? That blow just now. Even if the other party couldn't take it, it wouldn't be so bad that he spat out blood, right? This was completely the physique of an ordinary person, and it was even a few points weaker. Wang Boki, I'll give you a chance to live. Tell me, how did you get this wood system ability? Once Wang Boki heard that he could live, he strongly supported his body and knelt in front of Linley, explaining as if he was praying, Mr. Oh no, Grandpa, I'm telling you, you must let me go, less TM nonsense, grasped to say, it's like this, I paid for my psychic ability, 60 million dollars, beginner level 2 psychic ability, what, abnormal ability can be bought with money, yes, as long as you pay enough money, then, how powerful an alien ability you can obtain, even if you are just an ordinary person, the situation described by Wang Boki really did involve Lin Li's knowledge blind spot. As long as you pay enough money, you can have powerful elemental powers. That wasn't realistic, was it? Since the advent of the elements on the blue planet, there had never been a case of a late awakening of psychic abilities. Lin Li knew that this matter was definitely not simple. If Wang Boki wasn't lying, then the entire divine continent, and even the entire blue star, would undergo a mutation. The five in a thousand probability would be completely broken and having money meant you could walk sideways, then where did you buy your alien ability from? Now that he knew, he had to dig deeper to find out. Wang Boki hesitated, his two eyeballs darting around as if he were a thief. You won't shed a tear until you see the coffin. Lin Li directly fired another dark energy ball. Only, this time, he controlled the strength and directly bombarded the opponent's thigh. ka -ching, a cracking sound came. Lin Li had killed another pig. Any more TM nonsense? I'll blow your dog's head off. 
This time, Wang Boki completely wimped out. His face was white and cold sweat was pouring out. Shivering, he returned, It's, it's the potion bought from the demonized legion, the fourth demon lord, Knight Tianhua, demonized legion, the fourth demon lord, Knight Tianhua, gotta, another bunch of knowledge blind spots. So, there are a lot of catalytic aliens like you? No, there aren't many. I'm the first ordinary person to participate in the purchase, and only 20 slots will be provided in each batch. Yesterday, was the sixth time that Knight Tianhua has sold alien potions. That really wasn't a lot to say. It was just 120 people. Just how did the demonized legion develop the alien energy catalyst potion? Grand Master, I've already said what I should and shouldn't have said. Please let me go. I have an old man and a young man, and I'm earning a bit of money to support my family. Really? Are you sure everything you know has been said? Wang Boki nodded frantically. That look wouldn't be faked anymore. Lin Li thought for a moment, then turned around and walked towards the door. Wang Boki saw the other party preparing to leave and breathed a deep sigh of relief. Covering his already broken thigh, he grimaced in pain. He was just about to go get his cell phone and call for help when Lin Li's voice, which was like a demon from the Nine Hells, resounded throughout the entire medical center. In your next life, pay attention. Ta. The crisp ringing finger heralded the arrival of death. Dark water about one meter in diameter appeared under Wang Boki's feet. Unwillingness, roaring, grumbling and resentment. At this moment, they all turned into flying ash and were swallowed up by the darkness. In the evening, Lin Li returned home. Xiao Ya had already rested. After all, her body was too weak to stay up all night. And Wang Liying was sitting on the sofa with Yi Chang while watching TV and chatting. A peaceful atmosphere. Lin Li always felt that something was strange. Changing her slippers, she sat on the sofa and took a look. Jin Zhu Zhuan, your majesty, spare your life, your majesty, the child in concubine Kai's womb is in no way a victim of my concubine, humph, now all the evidence is pointing to you alone, how do you expect me to believe you, your majesty, please spare auntie Jin Zhu, she is innocent, Lin Li's mouth was slightly open, his eyes straight, how could he have never imagined that Yi Chang would even like palace fighting dramas, that plot analysis was so thorough that he and Wang Lanying were discussing whether Jin Zhu would burp or not at this moment, this world is really ridiculous. In this way, Lin Li accompanied the duo to watch two more episodes. It seems to be quite good. Wang Lanying was a little sleepy, so the task of accompanying the guests fell to Lin Li. This house is a three-room configuration. Wang Lanying, small Jacob a room. The remaining room was exclusively for Lin Li. Wang Lanying cleaned it every day, in order to wait for Lin Li to return home, so that she could sleep comfortably. Unfortunately, they didn't know that an alien didn't need to sleep. After Wang Lanying returned to her room and closed the door, Yi Chang spoke. How does it feel to kill someone? Lin Li took out two cans of Hele from the refrigerator, and with a pfft, unscrewed them and took a hard gulp. It was fucking awesome. How did you know I killed someone? This ring can't be your surveillance tactic, right? Yi Chang snorted and shook his head slightly. Why would I monitor you? There's a murderous aura on you that hasn't been dispersed yet, and the smell of blood is also very strong. Bloody odor? Lin Li then reacted. Wang Boki had sprayed a lot of blood on the ground. It must have been tainted with the smell. Killing. Doesn't that mean, turning into a devil? Oh, what is a devil? What is a Buddha? What is good? What is evil? What is positive? What is evil? It's just a hypocritical way of judging. Strength is what determines everything. Determines if you're right. If you're wrong. The great pretender Yi Chang has started his class online. What if a child kills someone? Mostly fee. Just listen to pretender Yi Chang give a lesson. By the way. Just now I found out something big. Oh, what big thing? Tell me? Lin Li told the matter of Wang Boki buying the alien potion and the demonized legion selling the alien potion from beginning to end. Yi Chun listened to it and pressed on and didn't care at all. This thing you said. I noticed it a long time ago. The demonized legion's alien energy extraction technology is becoming more and more mature. This is not a bad thing for the alien energy realm or even the entire divine continent. Lin Li pondered over this for half a day. And it was indeed true. Even if the alien energy potions would lead to chaos between the alien energy world and the civilian world. But for the big picture, for the entire human race, it was a good thing. Once the alien potions were mass produced, the strength of the human race would be raised several notches. And at that time, the war of resistance against the alien beasts would be much more winnable. Well, there is one more thing. Speak. Yi Chang was watching TV with vigor, and he answered whatever Lin Li asked. The matter of me being planted and framed for making fake surveillance at Sacred Royal. Hearing this, Yi Cheng came back to his senses. His gaze was slightly grave as he said, That surveillance image, it's not fake. Not a fake? How could it be? 
Can't it be true that I killed my classmate? I'm not sure about this matter, but it's true that you don't have any signs of demonization. So that means that the person definitely wasn't killed by you. The problem lies in the fact that who exactly is the person in that surveillance image? Even I, Sun Wukong, can't detect it. It can be seen that this person's strength is not ordinary nah. Yi Cheng pondered for a while and continued to ask. Think back carefully. Did you meet any strange people or strange things during the trial? Hearing you say that, there are really two. Thus, Lin Li carefully recounted the matter of the ugly old man and the clothier. Yi Chang immediately became energized after hearing this. Ugly old man, cloth clothes, ugly old man, cloth, ugly old man, cloth. Yi Cheng got up and paced back and forth in the living room. His mouth was still chanting the names ugly old man, cloth cloth over and over again. Three minutes passed, ten minutes passed, twenty minutes passed. Yi Cheng's face became more and more ugly, as if he recalled something but couldn't organize it for a while. Lin Li was already exhausted, that Jin Zhu Zhuan was still a hypnotizer, and then Yi Cheng was still here to help him sleep. Unconsciously, her vision began to blur. I remember. I don't know how long it took, but Yi Cheng raised his head violently and whispered. Lin Li was startled in his half-sleep, almost furtively flabbergasted. Hey Gu, my dropping brother Chang Ah, you finally remembered something. Quickly tell me. Yi Cheng sat back beside Lin Li and said word by word, I can't be sure of Bu Yi's identity for now, but your so-called ugly old man, I should have some eyebrows, this frame-up is most likely caused by him, the ugly old man caused it, who is he, why did he set me up? Upon hearing this, Lin Li's sleepiness was gone, and he hurriedly squared his shoulders and asked, regarding this person's name and deeds, I can't tell you about them, but there's one thing I can be sure of, he's not trying to frame you, but is testing you, or rather, paving the way for you, ha, huh? the more Lin Li listened, the more confused he became, what the hell couldn't you tell yourself, and what the hell was testing himself and paving the way for himself, Lin Li, let's put this matter aside for now, I have no right to interfere in his test, sooner or later, one day, you'll meet with him again, and at that time, everything will come to light, ayo, oh. Lin Li was screaming his heart out, for good reason, he had to play, heaven's secrets can't be divulged, what? Is that old man an immortal, or is he just a dead man in the light of day? It's so secretive. It's a waste of half a day's work. I need to leave for a while to confirm something. Ha, huh? what am I going to do then? Not going to the Dark Kingdom? Of course you're going. You're going by yourself. When you arrive at the Dark Kingdom, report your identity and someone will meet you. Then when will you return to the Dark Kingdom? Yi Chang lowered his head and thought. Not sure. Maybe three to five days, or maybe more than half a month. Lin Li always felt that this scene was deja vu. Wasn't Luo Hongtian like this back then? Leaving himself in a flaming rage? Could it be that he had the retreat curse? It was that, retreat, retreat, retreat. By the way, during this period, the ring on your hand will lose its contact effect, and it will be difficult for me to arrive to support you in case of danger. So, be careful with everything, and don't try to be strong when you meet someone who is unbeatable. Yi Cheng got up, came to the door to change his shoes put on a black casual jacket and instructed, don't worry, the reasoning of running away if you can't beat them is clear to me, Lin Li, good, the wood system powerhouse I instructed will arrive first thing tomorrow morning, he will contact you then, after saying these words, Yi Chang was enveloped in black mist and disappeared, Lin Li inexplicably felt empty in his heart, as if he had lost something, it can't be, ha, huh? love you walking alone in a dark alley, love the way you don't ghost, crap, in the middle of the night, who is it? The cell phone rang, yanking Lin Li's impure thoughts back, rushing towards the couch. It was past 11 in the middle of the night. Who would miss them so much? Looking at the caller ID, the little fatty, Ma Hongi, Lin Li sighed. This time, when he broke away from the sacred royalty, the ones he was most sorry for were little fatty and Lu Qingyue, leaving without saying a word. I also wondered if the two of them would complain about themselves. Hello, Hong Yi? Brother Lai, how are you doing Lai? Where are you Lai? Have you joined the Dark Kingdom? Brother Lai, did you really break away from the sacred royalty? Brother Lai, with this large number of questions asked, Lin Li opened his mouth, not knowing which question to start answering properly. Hong Yi, don't worry, brother is fine. Brother Lai, the whole academy knows about you. That group of idiots are following the trend indiscriminately, saying that you are the source of evil, an alien that has been demonized and also saying that sooner or later you will pay the price for killing Zhang Qi, that damn old man's son, knowing that there's something fishy going on with the surveillance, has been refusing to speak up for you, Lin Li sneered, at this point in time, how could that old man's son possibly speak for himself, even if there was something fishy about the surveillance, 
Based on the fact that he had joined Yi Chang and joined the Dark Kingdom openly, it was unlikely that he, Sun Wukong, would choose to accept himself again. However, Lin Li pressed on, including that group of idiot students. Say what you like, but don't let Lin Li bump into them. Otherwise, none of them would be able to escape. Hong Yi, listen to my brother and stop meddling in this matter. I, Lin Li, have not been fit to survive in the six great colleges since the beginning. A month ago, I made a decision that was both right and wrong. Joining Sacred Imperial allowed me to recognize reality, see human nature, and figure out that path of life that belongs to me. From now on, I will be ruthless and kill everything that stands in my way, stifle all existences that threaten me. The other end of the phone went silent. Little Fatty had never seen such a Linley. It was as if he was cold-blooded, as if he was ruthless. Brother Lee, I've already contacted my father. He's trying to find a way to get rid of your negative influences, and at the same time, He's also deeply investigating the Dark Kingdom, so once there's any unfavorable factors against you, I'll be sure to tell you at the first opportunity. Little Fatty was still the same Little Fatty. For Linley's heart, the emotions had never changed. Thank you, brother. A thousand words were not as real as this sentence. Brother Lai, there's no need for thanks between brothers. He he he. Oh right, there's one more thing. After knowing that you joined the Dark Kingdom, Mr. Lu has been moping around, running east and west and I don't know what he's busy with, how about, you'd better care about her, hey, at the mention of Lu Qingyue, Lin Li didn't know what to do, the relationship between the two was already unclear, now that there was also such an incident, the number of times they would see each other in the future would be much less, perhaps both of them would never forget the happy times they had experienced together, the trials and tribulations of life and death they had gone through together, Hong Yi, take care of Qingyue for me, during this period of time when I'm not here, if anyone dares to bully her, call me and tell me, Sacred Royal Academy, not yet gone, little fatty got excited, purely the type to watch the show, don't worry brother Lai, whoever dares to bully student Lu, I'll finish him off with you, good, hanging up the phone, it was already past 12 in the middle of the night, Lin Li was not only physically exhausted, but even mentally drained, at some point, his head drifted off and he fell asleep, Lin Li, what kind of existence do you think darkness is, I, I think the darkness doesn't have any meaning. It's just an element, a substance, an energy. Darkness and light are essentially no different, only in people's hearts to produce mustard, thus giving birth to the distinction of subjective judgment. Darkness is not evil, not to mention sin. Darkness is merely a scapegoat for people allegorizing evil. Ha ha ha. In the endless darkness of the abyss, an old and familiar laughter rang out. Linley tried to look for it, but somehow, the darkness here was extraordinarily deep and claustrophobic. The eyes had completely lost the role it was originally supposed to have. Who the hell are you? Linley was a little flustered, but not afraid, because the darkness here seemed to give him a kindred spirit. The pale laughter ended abruptly, but did not answer Linley's question. Light signifies hope. Darkness signifies immersion. In the beginning of chaos, all was nothingness, darkness alone, giving birth to all things. Light is also nothing more than a speck of darkness and nothing escapes the attribution of darkness, it can devour all things, can mold all things, it can be infinite, can be weak, it can move with the heart, and it can move at will, child, the darkness represents you, and you represent the darkness, at the end of the sentence, Linley was enlightened, it was as if there was already some clarity in his heart, many thanks for your guidance, senior, although he couldn't see it, Linley could perceive it, as if it were a heart net, everything around him would surface in his mind, just a short distance away directly in front of him, the ugly old man looked at Linley with a pleased face, the original kind of oozing face, at this moment looked so kind and affectionate, child, you still have a long road ahead of you, there's no need to be constrained by the moment, just follow your heart, that's how you can cultivate your mind, accompanied by the fading voice, the ugly old man's figure also completely disappeared, Linley, Linley, quickly wake up Linley, brother Linley, wake up quickly, Xiao Li, don't scare your aunt, Xiao Li, Wang Lanying, Xiao Ya, and an unfamiliar man were constantly calling out to Lin Li. Lin Li's consciousness gradually became clear, and her eyelids slightly lifted a slit. So green yo, why is it so green? The green of this baby's heart is flustered. The green of this baby's heart is balking. Xiao Ya, auntie, you guys are. Lin Li completely came to his senses and was a bit overwhelmed by the sight before him. He was being wrapped in an energy shield released by a strange wood system powerhouse. And then Xiaoya and his aunt were waiting anxiously not far away. The three of them couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief when they saw that Linley had completely awakened. As the wood system powerhouse withdrew his supernatural ability, 
Wang Lining rushed forward and said with concern, Xiao Li, how are you feeling? You scared Auntie to death. It's fortunate that Master He was there. Otherwise this home would have been torn down by you. Master He? Lin Li hurriedly looked at the strong wood system psychic. His age should be about the same as Yi Chang. He was very tall and strong. His face was a bit serious. But he could also tell that this person was more easygoing. Mr. He? What happened to me just now? I remember I just had a dream ah? He Chen solemnly shook his head. The flash of shock under his eyes hadn't yet had time to dissipate. Lin Li, I really can't get my head around your dark attribute. Just now you weren't slumbering, but rather, your spirit was detached from your physical body, as if you had entered another dimension. But none of that matters. What matters is that you made breakthroughs one after another without being autonomous, and you're currently at the ninth level of the primordial order. Ah, uh, Lin Li leapt up from the sofa in shock and sensed the foreign energy in his body. It really was the ninth level of the primary order and it had also lit up the fifth elemental star. It's too damn bizarre, sleeping and rising three levels in a row. At present, it seems that your body does not appear to be in any bad condition, rising three levels in a row. Oh, He Chen laughed bitterly, simply unheard of. Lin Li scratched his head in embarrassment, then reacted. He Chen didn't come here for Lin Li either. Ha, huh? oh right, Master He, you see my sister's condition. Be at ease, just now the attention was focused on you. This girl I just took a brief look. The problem shouldn't be too big. He Chen walked to Xiaoya's body, carefully looked at the face, and then took her pulse. Nothing was checked out. In the end, he had to release his foreign energy, pouring it into Xiaoya's body and carefully probing it. Lin Li and Wan leaning on the side were so nervous, whether Xiaoya's illness could be cured or not. It all depended on He Chen's words. Two minutes later, He Chen withdrew his supernatural energy, his gaze cloudy. Mr. He, how is it? Ah. Uh, it's true that it's a bit troublesome, but it's not incurable. I'll need to put in some effort in time, and most importantly, this girl will have to suffer a bit before she can be cured. As soon as Wang Lanying and Xiaoya heard that there was hope of being saved, smiles instantly appeared on their faces. Only Lin Li, his frown deepened. Yi Chang had said long ago that the process of treating Xiaoya's illness would be a bit painful, and now He Chen also said that he would need to suffer a bit. One had to know that these two were both super-ranked powerhouses that stood at the forefront of the divine continent. To be able to make them say pain and suffering, the process was definitely not simple. Mr. He, will Xiaoya be in danger during the process? Danger is not so much, but it requires this girl's willpower. Master He, I can do it. No matter how bitter or painful it is, I'm going to give it a try. Seeing Xiaoya's resolute gaze, Lin Li couldn't say anything more. Since he had made a good decision, the treatment would begin. He Chen and Xiaoya entered into the room, while Lin Li was responsible for watching outside. During the process, no matter how painful Xiaoya was or what kind of accidents would occur, Lin Li and Wang Lanying could not enter. Once they interfered with He Chen's treatment, Xiaoya's condition would most likely suffer a backlash, thus worsening. This point, Lin Li firmly kept in mind. Three minutes later, strong green light filled the entire room. Through the glass of the room's door, Lin Li felt the sting. What ensued was the sound of Xiaoya's agonizing moans. Wang Lanying's heart felt like pins and needles. Seeing her daughter in such pain, her tears could not stop flowing outward, and all Lin Li could do was to be relieved. The treatment process lasted for more than three whole hours. In the second half of the time, Xiaoya no longer had the strength to make a sound. Lin Li's palms were clenched with sweat, and he silently prayed in his heart that he must succeed. As the strong green light faded away, He Chen spoke. It's okay to come in. Lin Li and Wang Lanying were overjoyed in their hearts and hurriedly pulled open the door to the room. But before they could see Xiaoya's condition, a sudden change occurred. Golden light that couldn't be described in words permeated out from Xiaoya's body, and immediately afterward, an appalling impact swept through. Lin Li subconsciously focused all of his alien energy in front of Wang Lanying, forming a dark barrier. Then, Lin Li and He Chun were miserable. One was lifted off the wall and smashed heavily to the ground. One was blasted out of the room, gibbering and crashing into the corner of the wall. Only Wang Lanying stayed in front of the room door at a loss for words, protected by the dark barrier. A Gu. Lin Li's head hit the corner of the wall, causing him to grunt in pain. He Chun wasn't much better. Healing Xiaoya had already used up a lot of her powers, and she was still the closest one to the point of impact eruption. With this fall, he almost didn't fall out of his waist. It took half a day to slow down. Xiaoya, what's wrong with you? Wang Lanying was worried when she saw Xiaoya, who was shimmering on the bed like a holy angel. She, she, she's awakened her supernormal abilities. He Chen held the end of the bed holding his waist and struggling to get up, his eyes staring straight at Xiaoya, awakened psychic abilities, just like Xiao Li, that's right, 
But this girl's awaken holy light system abilities. Looks like the quality is definitely not low. Holy light system abilities? My sister has awakened a holy light system ability? At this time, Linley also covered his head and walked back into the room. Hearing that Xiaoya had awakened her psychic ability, he was happy from the bottom of his heart. Brother, master he, what's wrong with you guys? Xiaoya woke up from her coma at some point and was confused when she saw Linley and He Chen in this state. Xiaoya, how are you feeling? Are you uncomfortable anywhere? Linley rushed forward to hold Xiaoya's small, slightly warm hand and touched his forehead in passing. Brother, I'm fine. I feel much better physically. And, and, Xiaoya seemed to have sensed something, lifting the blanket and trying to move her legs. Sure enough, the legs returned to normal and could swing at will with Xiaoya's control. Wang Lining, Lin Li, and Xiaoya were completely thrilled. After sitting in a wheelchair for 10 years, until today, they can finally live like a normal person. Lin Li didn't dare to be careless and hurriedly helped Xiaoya to get up and try to get off the ground. One step, two steps, three steps. Wang Lining already had tears in her eyes, and Xiaoya was sobbing even more. Brother, I'm better, I'm finally better. At this moment, Xiaoya couldn't hold it in any longer and let out a loud cry, excitedly hugging Lin Li tightly. He Chun, a pretty big man, was made to cry by this family as well, wiping his tears one by one. The four of them cried for ten minutes before they got over it. For a while, it made the atmosphere very awkward. By the way Xiaoya, not only did you get better, but you also awakened the holy light system of otherness. I awakened my supernormal ability? Xiaoya then reacted. Her body was indeed different from usual. Closing her eyes, she felt it with her heart. An incredible energy really just kept hovering in her body. And this energy was so comfortable, so soft, and it filled one's whole body with power. Come, come, come. I happen to have a testing crystal here. Holy light system psychic energy. It's too precious ah. He Chun also pulled out a testing crystal from somewhere and came to Xiaoya's body with great interest. Xiaoya, put your hand on it. It will detect your talent level, and the attributes of your supernatural ability. Good. Xiaoya obediently placed her hands on top of the detection crystal, and then, the crystal exploded. It was in the same condition as when Linley had tested it, except that the color displayed by the testing crystal before it blew up was colorful. Colorful. Especially beautiful. Linley and He Chan were confused. What did seven colors mean? Moreover, when the crystal blew up, it meant that the detection crystal couldn't withstand the foreign energy invading Xiaoya's body. That is to say, I'll be damned. SSSS level holy light system? My mom, what's wrong with this world? Near noon, Wang Lining began to prepare the meal. Xiaoya was currently lying in bed resting as she had just awakened her powers and recovered her body, so she needed some time to reconcile and recuperate. Lin Li and He Chin sat on the sofa in the living room and started a discussion regarding Xiaoya's future. Lin Li, have you ever heard of a rumor? If humans want to re-establish themselves at the peak of their time, they must awaken ten legendary exalts of different genera. Your darkness lineage is the ninth, while your sister's holy light lineage will be the last. He Chen's gaze grew deeper and deeper, completely unable to tell if he was happy or sad. I have also heard of this rumor. The darkness department and the holy light department are the rarest and most special existences amongst the ten genera. Once the legendary talents of all the genera descend into the world, mankind will usher in a change and the pattern of the world will be altered. This is both a disaster and an opportunity. That's right, both a disaster and an opportunity. It's been 50 years, and a new era for humanity has finally officially begun. In recent days, the movements of the foreign beasts in the borderlands have gotten louder and louder, and large-scale battles have already occurred many times. So this rumor, it's probably true. The ultimate battle between humans and foreign beasts is not far away. Mr. He, what should my sister do then? You mean, where she belongs, Lin Li nodded, he was quite torn about this matter, after all, it was the sacred light department, which would never be able to join the three dark organizations, much less follow Lin Li, if it was the six academies, it might be suitable for Xiaoya, but Lin Li was very uneasy, that group of hypocrites, even if they would vigorously cultivate them, wouldn't they still end up doing it for their own selfish interests, not to mention that Xiaoya was still a SSS ranked holy light department talent, so the six great academies were afraid that they would fight openly and secretly, trying to get Xiaoya by any means possible? I know what you're worried about, but everyone has their own suitable path. You can't get in the way, much less stop it. Your sister is different from you. If she joins the six academies, she will achieve immeasurable results. Don't look at those few old foxes with a lot on their minds, but they won't skimp on cultivating holy light department geniuses. Seeing Lin Li's eyes lowered, not squeaking for half a day, He Chen smiled and continued. How about this? I'll show you. 
or rather your sister, a clear path to the Holy Radiance Academy. Among the sixteens, the one who is the most sensible, the one who cares for his students the most, and the one with the strongest strength is Wang Gang, a legendary talent of the Holy Light Department. He will definitely do his best to cultivate it, and won't let your sister suffer any slightest grievance or harm. Hearing these words from Yi Chen, Lin Li's heart was moved. This was indeed the best place for Xiaoya to go at the moment. Wang Gang, this person, was just as He Chen had said, protective, strong, and not stingy. Moreover, Sacred Radiance Academy was still the number one academy in the Divine Continent, with resources, education that was designated as nothing to speak of. By the way, with your current identity and the influence you have created, try not to travel to Sacred Radiance with your sister. Otherwise, 80% of you won't be able to come back. This favor, for Yi Chang's sake, I can help you. Help me? Aren't you also a member of the Dark Kingdom? Who said that? I'm not a member of your Dark Kingdom. I'm the president of the Walker Guild. Walker Guild. The 24 major guilds of the Divine Continent. Currently ranked 7th. It was in existence second only to the Titan Guild. In that case, Mr. He, Xiaoya is in your hands. These elemental crystals. Consider this as hard-earned money for you. Please do accept them. Linley released the darkness and took out 10 elemental crystals of relatively good quality from it. If converted into blue coins, it would be tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions, at least. The darkness means of storage is really convenient. Eliminating the need for a spatial ring, making me a little envious. He Chen didn't care about the crystals at all. And with a wave of his hand, they all disappeared. A character of He Chen's level. As long as he had promised something, then he would definitely do it especially if he received a gift, so Lin Li had nothing to worry about. Before long, Wang Lanying had prepared a meal. It was another big table full of food. Although Yi Chen didn't sweep up the food like Yi Chang, he was still satisfied with the food. At the dinner table, Lin Li will just talk about the results told Xiaoya. Xiaoya good behavior, willing to listen to all the arrangements of the brother. Wang Lanying although the heart cannot let go, but after all is awake and supernormal ability, will be Xiaoya tethered to the side will only harm their daughter's future. Moreover, there is also He Chen as a guarantee. There is no risk to speak of. Therefore, chose to agree to this decision. Early the next morning, several people were ready to depart. The Dark Kingdom was located in the northern part of the Divine Continent, situated in the Qingyun City. Or rather, Qingyun City was part of the Dark Kingdom. It was the opposite direction of travel from Xiaoya and the others, so going out was parting ways. Before they left, Lin Li handed Wang Lanying and Xiaoya a card, although Xiaoya can't use it. After waiting for the Sacred Radiance Academy, Wang Gang will probably directly give her a few hundred million. But, after all, it is a peace of mind well. Poor brother also have to send dowry is not. When Lin Li later mixed with the wind and water, dozens, tens of billions of dollars that are only sprinkled with water just law. As for Wang Lanying, for the time being, she can only live alone for a while. This is also something that cannot be helped. With Lin Li go, unrealistic. Dark Kingdom that area is too chaotic. For ordinary people, the danger is extremely high. Going with Xiaoya, also impossible. Sheng Hui belongs to closed management. Family members can't enter. In the end, they still can't see each other. Not as good as in this Tianwu city. Live peacefully, and even less trouble to find the door. When Lin Li and Xiaoya graduate, they will be able to take over Wang Lanying and live together. After some parting words, Lin Li officially departed. The usual, the train moves forward. Flying is impossible. Not in this lifetime. Sensei realm enough or not. Anyway, just don't fly. Took a cab and headed to the station. For Lin Li now, it had to be the best, most expensive carriage, the most comfortable, the most natty treatment. Came to the front ticket office. Lin Li boldly said to the ticket lady, 98. Fill up. The ticket lady froze. Back to A, ah? The surrounding people have cast a look like a fool. Lin Li then reacted. Scuttled the stage. Ah, uh, excuse me. Train to Qingyun City. Super unrivaled Supreme Deluxe VLP box. One person. Okay, please wait yo. Upon hearing that it was the Super Invincible Supreme Deluxe VLP, the attitude of the young lady instantly shifted 180 degrees. The winks thrown. Double eyelid stickers fell off. After buying the ticket, Linley went to the VIP area to wait. There is still more than an hour to go. What are you doing? Massage. Of course is the most pure massage techniques, in a place like the station, how could there be anything that isn't authentic, during the period with the massage lady nagging family life, heard Lin Li is a supernatural, almost on that, fortunately, Lin Li stopped in time, so that it did not lead to high, bah, tragedy, after this, 
Lin Li vowed to try. He vowed that he would never go to the station for massage again. Nasty. Buddy a yellow flower young man, chastity is how important. In case of that, can you afford to speak softly? Mom, I want to sit in the super invincible supreme deluxe VLP box, the other ones I don't sit. Little bear, the tickets for the super invincible supreme deluxe VLP box are sold out, and mom scolded the ticket agent severely. So let's just settle for the deluxe VLP box, okay? No good, I'm going to be super xxxxxx. I don't care, I don't care. Linley laughed. Where did this bear child come from? The mom is also a strange person. The ticket is sold out. What does it matter to the ticket agent? What's the point of scolding them? What a stupid parent with a bear child. May I ask if you are Mr. Lin? The train to Qingyun City has started checking tickets. Please come with me. Lin Li was just leaning against the railing in a leisurely manner and watching the show, when a pretty young lady in professional attire with a smile on her face came to the door. Then what are you waiting for? Let's go. In a short while, Lin Li boarded the train through the exclusive VIP channel. This so-called super invincible supreme luxury VLP box is a whole section of the carriage, all belong exclusively to Lin Li alone. The first thing you need to do is to get a good deal of money to pay for it. What entertainment facilities, fitness facilities, rest facilities have everything, and also equipped with an exclusive butler. A made outfit of a young lady, asterisk carrot carrot asterisk, blah blah blah, is Lin Li that kind of person? Just feed your eyes. It's very expensive. Okay, this one ticket is worth 30 W blue coins. That's right, it's the price of half a house. The life of the rich is so extravagant. Boom, why are you stopping me? I'm going in to discuss with the people inside. Quickly get out of the way. Ma'am, this is Mr. Lin's exclusive carriage. You can't enter without Mr. Lin's invitation. Please don't be unreasonable. Snap, a crisp sound came out as the noblewoman directly slapped the stewardess. Who the hell are you to talk to me like that? Do you know who I am? Half of the sky in Qingyan city belongs to my Zhu family. With such a big commotion, Lin Li's ears should have heard it even if they were being. Getting up, she walked out of the bedroom, her gaze icy cold as she looked towards the doorway. What's going on? Lin. Mr. Lin. I'm really sorry. This lady had to barge in, claiming that she wants to switch compartments with you. Miss Housekeeper covered her beaten face and came to Lin Li's side in a very aggravated manner to report. Changing compartments with me and hitting people. What kind of thing are you stupid bee bitch? Lindley's words confused the few people present. Silly bitch? Pithy enough. Asshole. Do you know who I am? I'll give you one chance. Get out of this compartment and leave a thank you gift. Otherwise I'll make it impossible for you to get off this train. Pa. A thunderous slap resounded through the entire carriage. The noblewoman was directly whipped out. Mom. Get up quickly ah mom. I want to sit in the super invincible luxury VLP compartment. The bear child ran to the noblewoman's side and pushed and shoved as hard as he could, not caring in the slightest that his mother's face had swollen into a pig's head. Miss Housekeeper looked incredulously at Linley. This person could be an alien. Mr. Lin. This. Just a small lesson. Next time, her entire being will turn into a pig. Find someone to clean it up. I don't want the environment I live in to be polluted. After saying that, Linley turned around and returned to the bedroom. What a big forest with all kinds of birds and half the sky of Qingyun City? Why didn't she say that the Dark Kingdom was run by her family? But fortunately, such a small episode didn't disturb Lin Li's interest in watching the scenery. A movie was playing on the 108K Ultra HD large screen, and the viewing window beside her was half open to the green forest, so the air was extraordinarily fresh. The drive lasted a total of 27 hours. So if it's slow, it's slow. The emphasis is on enjoyment. Anyway, Yi Chang did not limit himself to how many days to arrive in the Dark Kingdom. Linley was still thinking about having a good time after arriving in Green Run City. Without realizing it, Linley was a bit sleepy. It wasn't exhaustion, but too much comfort and ease. In such an environment, it would be a waste not to take a nap. But what's fucked up is, just as she was about to fall asleep, the sound of whimpering and yelling resounded once again. This time, it seems that it's not just the noblewoman and the bear child. There was also a lot of yelling and cursing from men. Boom! Linley kicked open the door to the room. Damn it! No one was going to get out alive today. It's that asshole. Hitting me and cursing me. Not putting the Zhu family in his eyes at all. The noblewoman pointed at Lin Li's nose and complained loudly. A few burly men on the side came forward with fierce gazes. Carrying a broken beer bottle in their hands. Left blue dragon. Right white tiger. With a tattoo of a lala mayfly in the center. It looks like they have been on the road. Damn. Brat. Are you the one who hit Mrs. Zhu? You fucking. Not waiting for the stupid ex to finish cursing. Lin Li kicked out. Control the force? Sorry. For this kind of trash. 
Linley didn't bother controlling it. The result was obvious. The man was sent flying by a kick, his pelvis instantly shattering into slag, blood pouring out like a waterfall. After smashing into the wall of the carriage, he made a loud noise. A herringbone-shaped crater appeared in everyone's eyes. The person in question, needless to say, sprayed two mouthfuls of blood and went to meet the king of hell. The surrounding several big men were frozen in place with fear. The terrifying force, the unspeakable aura. You, you're an alien? Linley laughed coldly, he couldn't even figure out what he was, so he dared to come to the door to pick a fight? It was indeed time to clean up the trash these days. Plop, plop, plop. Several big men knelt down one after another. They were reckless, not stupid, in front of an alien. Who the hell were they? A prayer, a wail, echoed in the carriage. The noblewoman stared wide-eyed, at a loss for words. Although the Zhu family also had a shifter in existence, distant water could not quench the thirst of the nearby Ah. Even if she called now, by the time they came over, she would be dead through and through. You, don't be impulsive. I, I didn't want to do anything. Just looking for someone to scare you. I'm wrong. I, I'll leave now. The noblewoman picked up the bear child and was about to run away, really taking Linley for air. Run, if I let you run away, will I, Linley, still be able to stand up to my audience and friends who support me? Ta, a crisp ringing finger signaled the coming of death. The ground beneath the noblewoman's feet was suddenly eroded by a wave of darkness. With a clunk, the noblewoman and the bear child fell into a heap when they were caught off guard. The bear child wailed and even said that he would tell his father to come and kill Linley. It's true that with what kind of parents come what kind of cubs ah, the last thing I, Linley, am used to is bear children. As soon as the words fell, the dark area underneath the two men's feet rapidly closed in. Under the trembling gazes of several big men, a large and small group was devoured without even a crumb remaining. Grand Master, Ancestor, please spare my life. I'm just a punk. I didn't want to offend you nah. Father, Father, I kowtow to you. Please spare me. I have an old man and a young man. Please, spare us. The several big men begged frantically with one word from you and another from me. The stewardess lady at the side had long been paralyzed on the ground. In less than two short minutes, Linley had directly killed three people, without even blinking an eye. Originally, could an alien be arrogant to such an extent? The corner of Linley's mouth curled up slightly, as if he had thought of something interesting. It's simple to spare you all. Each of you leave a part of your parts behind and roll as far away as possible. When the three big men heard this, their faces instantly turned deathly white. Leave a part of the parts behind. This young man in front of him was really ruthless and bloodthirsty. In fact, at this moment, Linley didn't realize how perverted and cruel his actions were. He only felt that this way was quite interesting, wanting to see what each of the three big men chose. The first big man, moved, getting up and walking towards the dining table. He picked up a fruit knife and swung it down very decisively. Curb. The big man was in cold sweat from the pain, and two of his fingers were chopped off bloodily just like that. Linley nodded, signaling that he could fuck off. Immediately following was the second big man, and likewise he picked up a fruit knife. Only, this knife wasn't aimed at himself, but at Linley's chest, stabbing out like mad. Even if I die, I won't be able to unload my own parts a commendable spirit. It was only a pity that it was too reckless to recognize reality. With a flick of his hand, the dark energy wrapped around the big man. Twenty seconds later, it was completely devoured. The third big man was terrified, shivering and picking up the fruit knife on the ground, uncertain and hesitant, looking at his hands and then his feet. It seemed as if he couldn't even part with it. In the end, he made a decision that made Linley unexpected. Cultivate the Sunflower Treasure Classic. This time Linley reacted and realized that he had overplayed his hand. The alien energy in his hand accurately knocked out the fruit knife, leaving this big man's second brother with a small life. All right, I respect you as a man. Get lost. The big man was ecstatic, lifted his pants and rushed out of the carriage with a roll. Linley took a deep breath and adjusted his emotions. That scene just now was too weird. When did he become so bloodthirsty and ruthless? In the beginning, he had only intended to teach these people a lesson. Four people's lives, just like that were buried in their own hands? Lin. Mr. Lin. I'll clean it up for you. Don't be angry. Miss Housekeeper hurriedly got up and respectfully prayed. Linley looked at the other party and sighed again. He himself had become a bloodthirsty murderer in people's eyes. Shaking his head, he got up and prepared to walk towards the bedroom. Boom. A sudden violent explosion lifted Linley out, and five figures flew in from the vacancy in the broken carriage. Linley, be sensible and come with us. As long as you're good and obedient, You'll be able to enjoy all the glory and wealth you want. You know the difference in strength between us yourself. Resisting won't get you any benefits. Hurting you is bad for all of us. 
what you just did, we all saw it in our eyes, as long as you come with us, all troubles are not troubles, five people, one person, one sentence, causing Lin Li to not know which one to dislike first, the five people in front of him weren't too far off from the Dark Kingdom's look, all black, wearing masks, unable to see anyone, but Lin Li was clear that the other party had nothing to do with the Dark Kingdom, if it's not someone from the demonized legion, then it's, Lin Li sneered and got up, for middle ranked level 9s and one high ranked level 1, the other party was really looking down on themselves, going with you guys, I don't even know who you guys are, before inviting someone, you have to declare yourselves first, right, Lin Li intended to stall the other party while looking for a chance to get away, the same kind of situation, Lin Li would never allow to happen again, otherwise, his own darkness journey would be completely ruined, you're coming with us, when we get to the place, it'll naturally become clear, don't waste time, you won't be able to escape, your rate of progress is indeed amazing, but the ninth level of the primordial stage is still far from enough, these five idiots, still calling themselves a waste of time, one by one, wouldn't it be an even bigger waste of time, tsk tsk, it looks like you, Dean Huang, still won't die, the pupils of the five people shrunk slightly, and Lin Li really suspected that they were quintuplets, really tm flush, worthy of being a dark legend, now that you know, come with us, the high-ranked alien in the lead began to approach Lin Li, obviously, the other party didn't want to spend any more time, go, I'll go your ass, dark cut, a black blade appeared out of thin air, and the iron skin of the carriage was easily cut open, the high-ranked alien in the lead struck out with a fist, directly shattering the blade, the action was flowing without any delay, only, by the time the five people reacted, Lin Li had already been wrapped in black mist and instantly disappeared in place, when his vision returned, Lin Li's figure appeared on the barren mountain, damn, it's better to be in a hurry than to be in a hurry, how did I happen to pass by such a shitty place, seeing that the surrounding area was barren, Lin Li immediately became worried, only, there wasn't much time left for him, arbitrarily choosing a direction, he burst into full speed and started to flee, why flee, nonsense, those five big brothers behind him are still following, with Lin Li's current strength, the black mist can transport up to 50 meters, how can those five big brothers not perceive, this is certainly off the train, is chasing in their own direction, this is the wild mountains, not even a ghost, can only take advantage of the terrain, keep wandering in the mountains and forests, five minutes later, Lin Li, you can't escape, be good and go back with us, you don't even have the ability to fly, how can you escape, if you don't know better, we won't be polite, what an inkblot, Lin Li's ears were getting cocooned, these five guys are getting closer and closer, like a dog skin plaster, can't shake it off, Lin Li knows that this cannot go on, but for a while, he couldn't come up with any countermeasures, the other party is five, himself one, the gap in strength is still so big, it's hard to believe that today he's going to be taken captive again, boom, while thinking like this, a fireball fell from the sky and exploded behind Lin Li, the rolling heat wave that was set off caused the skin to burn, and the corners of his clothes were directly set on fire, and it spread rapidly, motherfucker, these five dogs really made a move, Lin Li did not care much, directly take off his jacket, release the dark barrier wrapped the whole body, the five guys in the sky are also ruthless, wind blades, fireballs, ice spikes, earthquakes, lightning came one after another, the dark barrier only lasted three seconds before it exploded, the energy blasted on his back, and Lin Li directly spat blood and flew out, it was a good thing that the other party didn't hit him with a deadly blow, otherwise Lin Li wouldn't have been able to withstand it, this was good, he fell to the ground, and the five people instantly surrounded him, toast to the drink, had to force our hand, well now, you're hurt, aren't you, be good and go back with us, oh my god, Lin Li was dying of worry, these five guys were too good at inking away, come on, can you guys send a representative, I'm so distracted by one person saying one sentence, Lin Li sat on the ground, tilting his head, his expression that was so sad, so, are you going to get up and come with us by yourself, or are the few of us going to grab you and go, the high ranking alien at the head took two steps forward, looking like he was the representative, Lin Li was disturbed, go, could he still have a chance to escape after going to Huali himself, escape, with what, these five guys are so sticky and so strong, unwilling, all sorts of negative emotions began to well up in Lin Li's heart, hatred, unwillingness, anger, hatred, indifference, it's, which could devour all things, could forge all things, it's, which can be endless, can be weak, it's, which can move with the heart, can travel at will, these three words suddenly surged into Lin Li's mind, and inspiration burst forth at once, devour all things, forge all things, 
Linley muttered to himself, and the five people around him didn't understand for a moment. What was this kid doing? Devouring all things. Forging all things. Linley smiled. Devouring all things was currently under control. Then it was casting all things. There was a saying in Taoism, Tao begets one. One begets two. Two begets three. And three begets all things. Then it should actually be. Darkness begets all things. Linley got up and rubbed the blood from the corner of his mouth. Although I am not as strong as you guys. But, that doesn't mean that darkness is not as strong as you guys. Wide-eyed. See the fear that belongs to the deepest depths of darkness. Linley raised his arm, sensing the purest darkness within and trying to release it. Darkness, that is, it gives birth to all things, and grants you, the power of casting. In his mind, that dull and loud voice sounded once again. Linley violently opened his eyes, and a rustling of bizarre aura actually caused the five people present to feel a tremor in their hearts. The dark foreign energy entwined around his body seemed to be metamorphosing. It became abysmal red and black. Something's not right. This kid seems to be awakening something. Should we stop it then? Of course we should stop it. What if we let him escape? But isn't this kid awakening his power a good thing for us? Wally? It's. Let's wait a little longer. The five people were torn between stopping and not stopping. It was simply better to just freeze in place and take a step forward. Bunch of idiots. Since they're so looking forward to my performance. Then. Dark Shadow Legion. Come out for some air. As soon as the words fell. Dark energy overflowed the earth in all directions. And dozens. Hundreds of figures emerged from the shadowy ground. They were not ninjas, but demons. The demons created by Linley had form but no god, and had substance but no power. In layman's terms, they were all black. There are shapes, such as human type, animal type, and devil type, but there is no appearance. As if a massive molded black fog, each demon exudes dark power, and you can roughly judge its realm. More than half of them are at the first and second level of the middle rank. Very few of them could reach the fourth or fifth level of the middle rank. There was also one that held the aura of an intermediate rank seven. The strength of this group of demons was not completely controlled by Linley. Most of them were randomly generated. Of course, the higher the strength of the caster, the higher the probability of casting a high level demon. As for the powerlessness, as for the powerlessness, the fighting strength of the demons is just average. Currently, hundreds of demons had already fought with the five Hawali robbers. The attacks of the demons were too one dimensional either scratching with their hands or smashing with their fists. Occasionally, they would release two small skills. The probability of injuring the opponent was negligible, and it was difficult to achieve substantial results in a short period of time. However, it was worth appreciating that the recovery ability of this group of demons was quite amazing. As long as they weren't annihilated as a whole, then they could absorb dark energy in a short period of time to make up for the body's vacancies. Anyway, Linley was quite content. What strength did he have that he knew so well? What kind of bike did he want? Damn it. What the hell is this group of things? Why can't it be annihilated? It's unbelievable that Linley could summon so many monsters. Everyone, go all out and use wide range moves to obliterate these damn things. We mustn't let Linley escape. Cover me. Catch the thief first. Catch Linley and all problems will be solved. The high ranked alien made an instant decision. Directly and brutally opening the way. Trying to forcefully break through the encirclement. Seeing this, Linley wanted to escape. However, he realized that there was very little alien energy left in his body. In order to summon the Black Shadow Army, he had just exhausted all of his alien energy. It was only by relying on a darkness-type fey crystallization clutched in Linley's hand, which he kept absorbing and drawing from, that he was barely able to support it. Motherfucker, that, that, the one that can fly, grab it and take me away, Linley ordered, pointing towards a strangely shaped demon with a pair of wings. That demon really listened to Linley's words fluttering its large wings and flying directly to the front, prostrating itself on the ground. Without saying a word, Linley directly mounted it. The demon swung its wings again and slowly rose into the sky. That direction. Full speed ahead. Linley ordered urgently, pointing to the north. The high-ranked alien had also broken through the heavy encirclement of the Black Shadow Army, and when he saw Linley being carried away, he hurriedly chased after him. A great escape had begun. Linley is not afraid of heights. I do not know whether it is because of nervousness or the darkness affects the psychological reason. At this moment unusually calm. Calm at the same time, but also extremely eager to kill. There is always an inexplicable impulse that pushes Linley back to fight. Anyway, I don't know where the confidence came from. It was good that reason prevailed over everything. Linley forcibly suppressed his inner impulses and accelerated the absorption of the crystals in his hands. The current distance between the two sides seemed to be at a standstill. This demon under his but is quite powerful and his flying speed is not inferior to that high-level alien. From start to finish, 
it maintained a distance of more than 300 meters. Linley, we, Huali, are sincerely inviting you to join us, so feel free to put forward any conditions. We, Dean Huang, can fulfill them all. Bullshit, you call capturing me twice in a row sincere? You call threatening my family sincere? The last time, it was purely Qian Li Hua's own initiative, contrary to Dean Huang's intention. Moreover, they all paid a heavy price for what they did. If you need any compensation, just ask. Self-initiated? Deviate from it? Oh, this goods really take Lin Li as a fool. Huang Fei baked not authorized. Lending him Qian Li Hua Ten Guts also dare not act so. Moreover, the so-called price is also the Dark Kingdom to punish. It had nothing to do with his Hua Li Academy. Words don't come together. I, Lin Li, have already joined the Dark Kingdom and will never betray it. Besides, what can you Hua Li teach me? Do you have an instructional program for the Darkness Department? Of course I do. The high-ranked alien subconsciously responded, then realized something and hurriedly covered his mouth. He was panicked, and Lin Li was still shocked. Hua Li had an instructional course in the Darkness Department? That meant that Huali was secretly cultivating darkness department talents, which was grossly inconsistent with what it had proclaimed on the surface. Crap, big blowout ah. Linley, no matter what, you have to come back to Huali with me today, even if I have to cripple you. The dogskin behind him was fuming, his inflammation system's supernatural energy surging madly, 300 or so meters away. Linley could feel the heat wave coming, turning back to look. Holy shit yeah, wasn't this the great inferno ring? A super huge fireball was being held above his head by the dog's skin, and that momentum seemed to be destroying the sky and the earth. Are you stupid? Want to fuck me to death ah? Linley cursed, which is to cripple himself. This is clearly to blast himself into slag. If you surrender, I'll take back my powers. I'll vote for you. Linley redirected his alien energy and converged on the darkness domain once again. Six demons with wings appeared in close proximity. With Linley's command, they all rushed towards the dog's skin. I don't want them to be able to kill each other. I just want them to be able to stop the fireball. Otherwise, Lin Li will have to sit here today. Bastard Yi Chang. He left sooner or later. But this is the right time to leave. Just leave. The ring is still not working. One self. A beginner level 9. Facing a high level 1 existence to support it so hard discouraged. Rumble. Crap. Hurry up and raise your altitude. The fireball behind them exploded with a boom. And the vigorous to the extreme inflammatory power engulfed all the demons. Even the space the neighborhood stood in began to tremble, showing how terrifying its power was. Linley hurriedly ordered to adjust his altitude, or else he would have been burned to ashes. Fortunately, those six demons had just desperately lowered the height of the fireball's release a bit. This was what allowed Linley to escape. Even though his back was burned, it wasn't a big deal. Dogskin plaster this attack not only did not intercept Linley, but also slowed down their own footsteps. As a result, the distance between the two of them grew larger and larger. At this moment, even if he released another skill, it would be difficult for him to reach Linley. Taking this opportunity, Linley commanded the demon to charge straight into the clouds, utilizing the thick clouds to cover his figure. I don't believe I can't get rid of this piece of plaster. Six hours later, Linley threw up. It has nothing to do with fear of heights, it's just that he can't afford to toss and turn. Continuous flight for six hours, the supernatural energy are almost recovered. Sitting down the devil is nothing. But Linley was bared by the wind that called a dizziness. Behind him, eight or nine hundred meters away, the dogskin plaster is still continuing to chase. The wind is not a good thing. But the wind is not a good thing. But the wind is not a good thing. But the wind is not a good thing. Big brother, you see where we are? We're about to arrive at Qingyun City. Are you still chasing after us? Linley forced himself to hold back his vomiting and shouted to the rear in a mournful manner. In fact, that dogskin plaster had long been tired of chasing after him but he was unwilling to do so. The duck that came to hand flew away just like that. How could he explain to Huang Fei baking when he went back? For middle rank 9, one high rank 1, they couldn't take down a beginner level 9 brat? If this was spread out, how would they still be able to get along in the future? Lin Li, this is what you forced me to do. Ha! Huh? Lin Li's head rose, not reacting for a moment. Turning his head, he looked towards the back. After seeing clearly the half of the sky that had been burned red, he was so frightened that he hurriedly summoned more than 30 flying demons. This thing behind them was going to come for real. The aura belonging to a high-level aberration was unleashed in full force, and a pillar of inflammation shot straight up into the sky. The already dim sky color was rendered by the flames that swept across the sky. It was like the end of the world, but it was scary. Hey, aren't you afraid that you won't be able to return after finishing me off? More than 30 demons surrounded the sky above, always ready to meet the enemy. 
Linley still intended to delay a little longer and unleash his mouth cannon skill. The Dark Kingdom was close at hand. As long as he rushed into the boundaries of Qingyun City, someone would surely come to his rescue. At that time, if he didn't beat this bullshit anointing back into shape, Linley wouldn't be surnamed Lee. If I let you fall into the hands of other forces, I'll be even more unable to deliver. Linley, I'll give you one last, last, last chance. Come back to Huali with me, and everything's negotiable. Seeing the flaming clouds getting closer and closer to him, Linley panicked a little. Looking further ahead, the silhouette of a high rise building had appeared at the end. That was Qing Yun City. At the current speed, it would take at least three more minutes. Put up a fight. Linley gritted his teeth and released a dark barrier to protect himself. More than 30 demons rushed straight into the clouds, doing everything they could to stop the blazing flames. Linley felt no pain at all for the sacrifices of the demons. This was because they were not living beings, but merely energy bodies composed of dark essence. In other words, mindless, non-autonomous killing machines. Perhaps as Linley's strength grew, he would one day cast living bodies, but that was all for later. Right now saving his life was the most important thing. Big baby ah, if you fly a little faster, my life is in your hands. Linley touched the head of the demon under his seat, soft and sticky, as if he hadn't touched anything, but the demon sensed it, looked sideways at Linley, and even nodded humanely, then desperately stirred the wings, the speed has been raised by another level, however, Linley also clearly sensed that the demon's dark power was rapidly fading, clearly, it was operating at overload, it was over, and now Linley was a little heartbroken, it was such a mindless, emotionless energy body that would do so much for itself, it was too damn touching, Linley didn't nag, in order to prevent the darkness from flowing too quickly, he pulled out another darkness crystal, held it in the palm of his hand, and quickly transferred the energy into the demon's body. Boom, boom, boom. Successive booms resounded above Linley's rear. The demons were already battling with the flames, and every roar meant that a demon had fallen. Worthy of being a high-ranked exalt, more than 30 middle-ranked demons couldn't stop a single blow from the other side. With the flames getting closer and closer, the scorching temperature seemed to melt everything. The dark barrier gradually began to show cracks, and it looked like it wouldn't last much longer. Even the demon's tail began to burn as if it was the downed fighter plane, shaking and scattering smoke. I am Linley, Inquisitor of the Dark Kingdom, Executive Officer. Where are the guards? Linley was also sick and desperate, and when he was about to arrive at the fringe of Qingyun City, he shouted out loud in spite of everything. One second. Two seconds. Three seconds. Just at the moment when the roiling flames were about to engulf Linley, an echo appeared. Dark Kingdom. 36 legendary guards come to the rescue. Dark Kingdom. Quan Jia. Ling Xing, Long Chang, Chao Yi, the four great executives have come to the rescue. Dark Kingdom, Wo Lei, Inquisitor, come to the rescue. Lin Li was dumbfounded. What the hell is, come to save us? You're stringing me along, aren't you? Just as Lin Li was immersed in confusion, a strong force of darkness wrapped itself around him. The encroaching flames were easily isolated and did not harm Lin Li in the slightest. Immediately after, there were dozens of figures swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 swish swept through the sky. They went straight to the dog skin plaster. Mr. Lin, how do you feel? Are you not hurt? A clear and energetic voice appeared beside his ears. Only then did Linley react and look to his side. He saw that it was a handsome and beautiful man dressed in black ancient robes, with long silver gray hair, slender eyebrows, a high nose, a sharp jaw and eyes as bright as diamonds, who was asking about himself with concern. Ah, uh, I'm fine, may I ask who you are? The beautiful man guffawed and said with peace in his eyes, just call me Wo Lei, Mr. Lin, Wo Lei? Lin Li recalled the words he had just spoken and asked incredulously, you're the inquisitor of the dark kingdom? Precisely, wow, how old are you, and you've become an inquisitor, ha ha, Mr. Lin is too kind. The Dark Kingdom has always judged positions by their strength. Wole smiled that springy smile, white teeth, delicate lips. Fortunately Lin Li was a man. Otherwise, he would have been mesmerized by it. Damn it, there's someone in this world who's equal to me in looks. The pressure is so high. Ha, huh? you're injured. Mr. Lin, Wole suddenly frowned, collected his smile, and came behind Lin Li in a flash, stripping off the already burnt outerwear. The skin that was originally smooth and white and philosophical was now burnt red and black, as if there were still signs of oozing blood. Damn it, that Hua Li's people dared to injure you. Obviously slapping our dark kingdom's face, an extremely cold intent spread out, and Lin Li couldn't help but shiver. 
This little guy's face had changed too fast, right? Just now, he was still gentle and elegant, a fluttering gentleman. His killing intent is comparable to that of the nine devils. How old is this person? Strength is so strong? I'll give you three minutes to capture all the Huali thieves alive and place them at the disposal of Mr. Lin. Wole didn't even turn his head back, his cold voice resounding through the sky. Dozens of figures responded in unison. Yes, look, look, look at this battle, this deterrent, this B-game. The envious Lin Li's mouth was about to water. Lin student, I'll take you back to the Dark Kingdom for treatment first. Those five thieves, none of them can escape. The Dark Kingdom coordinated three major regions. They were the Dark Sanctuary, the Dark Academy and the Dark Metropolis. Xinyan City was a small part of the Dark Metropolis. If calculated according to the area covered, the entire Dark Kingdom was comparable to the six academies plus an upper capital city. Among them, there were also two hills that were the Dark Kingdom's special trial grounds, one for academy trials and one for temple members' trials. This was a masterstroke that had truly stunned Linley. The Dark Kingdom really was a kingdom. Independent core, independent economic system, independent living city, independent training academy, independent supreme management system. How much money would be needed to build it? Hundreds of billions? Trillions? Linley didn't even dare to think about it. Anyway, the Dark Kingdom's treatment must be great. Why? Because since stepping into the realm of the Dark Kingdom, everyone, as long as they were members of the Dark Kingdom system, were polite and respectful when they saw themselves. Linley didn't know them, but they knew Linley, especially Wo Lei, accompanied all the way to explain. That treatment, it was estimated that Yi Chang would be like that when he came. Hey, too bad. Why didn't you choose to join the Dark Kingdom a month ago? Student Lin, this matter doesn't lie with you, but with our Dark Kingdom, Luo Hongtian's intervention was something we never expected. Those four losers failed to protect you, so, they also paid the relative price. Wo Lei said this without the slightest hint of pity, still smiling and flat. Lin Li also sensed out that Wo Lei was about 26 or 27 years old, with a minimum strength of super rank 1. Because the strength requirement for an inquisitor was a minimum of super rank, rumor had it that there were seven great inquisitors in the Dark Kingdom, each one a super rank powerhouse. The 24 great executives just met four of them. Each of them was above the standard of strength of the high order seven. With this configuration, what can the holy royalty compare? Face? Those five unlucky bastards from Huali just now. I don't know what they were packed up by the Dark Kingdom. It was estimated that in a moment, they should be brought to Linley and left to their own devices. Student Lin, this is the sanctuary treatment center. Linley looked up and asked in confusion, which one? All of them. All? Linley was not sisterly. Why did a treatment center set up eight 100 meter buildings? Are there really that many people in need of treatment? Student Lin, this way, Wole said, pointing at the golden super building in the very center. Linley nodded his head in confusion, following wherever people said to go. As soon as he walked to the door, he was confronted by several black clothed members, who, Upon seeing Wo Lei, directly bowed 90 degrees and respectfully said, Good day, Inquisitor Wo Lei. Then looking up and seeing Lin Li, they first froze, then became excited. Good day, Lord Lin. Ha, huh? this one gave Lin Li a whole lot of trouble. Two high-ranked Xenos greeting themselves? What was Lord Lin? No, you guys don't have to be so polite. I'm not any lord. Lin Li hurriedly waved his hand, signaling that he couldn't afford it. Student Lin doesn't know. The Dark Kingdom has always revered the strong and gifted to the strongest. Chief Yi is the most typical example. SS Grade Darkness Talent. Currently Super Rank 9 Strength. And you. Speaking of this, Wo Lei also looked at Lin Li with a burning gaze, seemingly excited. A SSS Ranked Darkness Department Legend. The first person in all of history. Therefore, all the retainers, members of the Dark Kingdom respect and love you, and even say that sooner or later, your status will surpass Chief Yi one day. Surpass Yi Chang? That's for sure. Don't look at who our buddy is. Transcending the rank wasn't Lin Li's goal. Even the holy rank wasn't enough. The legendary god king realm was the ultimate that a person of legend should pursue. Ah, uh, Wo Lei you're joking. I'm only at the ninth level of the beginning order. I'm still a hundred thousand miles away from Chief Yi. Elementary rank nine? Wo Lei looked at Lin Li suspiciously, as if his eyes were asking, blowing NB are you? However, after two seconds passed, Wo Lei's pupils began to contract slightly his expression growing more intense. Classmate Lin, I just realized, why can't I perceive your realm? HM, how come? Those five guys just now could still sense it. Ha, huh? Wo Lei frowned and looked at the two black clothed members to the side. Can you guys perceive the realm of strength of student Lin? The two members in black shook their heads in unison, indicating that they couldn't. 
Linley also realized that something was wrong. One couldn't, two couldn't, proving that the problem was with himself. When they were on the train, those five guys were clearly still. Ha, huh, on the train? What about after getting off the train? Linley suddenly remembered. Could it be because he had awakened the power of casting? With that, Linley informed Vol of the awakening. Vol's expression froze, as if he had been dumbfounded by what he heard. Awakening? What awakening? Why have I never heard of it? It was over. One after the other all confused. I'll show you all right. Look, this is the power of casting I've awakened. Summoning demons that I'll call the Black Shadow Legion. Linley gently stopped his foot, and the center of the four was instantly eroded by darkness. Immediately afterward, a humanoid, yet winged demon slowly burrowed out of the ground. It was pitch black, with no facial features, no epidermis, and was only shrouded by a black mist. This, 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 Wole even stuttered, obviously having never encountered such a situation before. When did the darkness department become the summoning department? The demon summoned by Linley had collapsed the worldviews of several people around him, and many of the darkness members who were passing by froze in place when they saw the demon. The aura on that demon was just too familiar. How pure, how high quality dark supernatural abilities. What in the world was this thing? Assholes, what are you all doing gathered here? Have you all thrown away the rules of the sanctuary? An extremely authoritative scolding voice came out, and the surrounding darkness members were all startled and hurriedly dispersed in all directions, doing whatever they had to do. Wole, what are you doing here? An old man dressed in gray-brown ancient robes, holding his beard curiously went forward and asked. When he saw the inhuman, ghostly demon, he also froze and spoke out incredulously. This is, what is it? Only then did Wole come back to his senses and bowed slightly to the old man. Elder you fifth. Elder you fifth? Linley scratched his head. Which big brother was this? Ha, huh? aren't you Linley brat? You Wu moved his eyes and happened to see Linley. It was kinda happy to see. Greetings, Elder Yu Wu. Linley saluted in a decent manner. After all, he was so old. He had to show some respect. Rogue rascal must still know how to be polite. No. Hey, quickly exempt. The old man I have always been unconventional. What etiquette etiquette? Ass no use. Yu Wu stretched out his one arm and helped Linley up. The corners of that mouth were grinning up to his ears. Wole couldn't help but raise an eyebrow after hearing Yu Wu's words. Unconventional? Who had just farted and called the crowd unruly? And wasn't this Yu Wu a disciplinary elder of the sanctuary? Wouldn't it really hurt his heart to say such words? Some time ago Yi Cheng said to me that Yu Kid will soon join the Dark Kingdom. Counting the time. It seems like it's been some days. Why did you just come? Did you meet any trouble? Without waiting for Lin Li to answer, Wo Lei indignantly interjected. Lin student was chased by Hua Li all the way here and suffered a lot. If it wasn't for Lin student's exceptional talent, intelligence and courage, it would have been difficult to arrive in Qing Yun City in the face of four middle-ranked level 9 and one high-ranked level 1 Xenos chasing after him. Outrageous! Yu Wu suddenly bellowed. Startling Lin Li. Why was this old man as startled as Luo Hong Tian? Huang Fei Baking is really getting more and more shameless. How dare he blatantly provoke the Dark Kingdom and hunt down our Dark Kingdom's legend. When Yi Cheng comes back, he must give him Huali a small lesson before he can do so. A small lesson? It was said that the Dark Kingdom had always held grudges. People don't offend me and I don't take offense. But if people offend me, ITM dislike you. This family is so big that it shall not blow up Huali? Ha! Huh? Yu Wu's attention shifted to Lin Li again. And after looking at him for half a day, his eyebrows became heavier and heavier. Finally. He couldn't figure it out before asking. Kid, if I'm not mistaken, you've been awakened for more than a month, right? How is it that there is no realm on your body at all? Oh well, the topic was finally brought back. Linley recounted the events of his awakening from beginning to end, saying everything that needed to be said except for the ugly old man in his dream. Strange, strange, my old man has been studying the darkness department for so many years, and this is the first time I've heard that the darkness department can cast your so-called demons. I'm not sure about the concept of casting. Could it be a special ability like the summoning department and the superpower department? Wo Lei reminded. Yu Wu thought for a moment, then shook his head. No, the summoning department makes contracts with living beings so as to achieve the effect of assistance. What they summon are living spirits that exist in the world. But this thing, said the demon, circling around it again. There are no signs of life, no consciousness, no intelligence, and even less ability to act on its own. It's more like a skill move that manifests energy into form, thus dictating its operation. Wole nodded and shook his head again. If it's a skill move, then this is too outrageous, isn't it? According to what Mr. Lin described, he was able to cast a mid-stage 7th level demon, so the difference in strength is a bit too great. Middle rank 7? Kid, what realm are you in now? 
Beginner rank 9. The two glanced at each other, both feeling that Linley was blowing in B. Hey, do I have to blow in B? Saying that, Linley unleashed his alien energy at full power, his beginner level 9 aura exploding with such force that the ground began to tremble slightly. This time, Wole and Yu Wu perceived it. It was indeed the ninth level of the beginner's stage. Ha, huh, why does it feel strange somewhere? Elementary rank 9? Yu Wu lost his. Yuck, he lost his voice. Wole was even holding onto the doorframe, his eyes a little black. It was as if they had heard the most absurd thing in this world, yet one still had to admit that it was true. Yu Wu was the first to get over his shock, and the corners of his mouth grew whiter and whiter. Then he let out a loud laugh. Ha 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 ha. The darkness members passing by in the surroundings thought Yu Wu had gone crazy, throwing gazes of both fear and sympathy. Great, wonderful, lucky for my human race, lucky for my darkness. Ah, uh, Elder Yu, why don't you calm down a bit? I'm afraid your high blood pressure will kick in. This old man was so old. Linley was afraid that he wouldn't be able to take a breath and hiccup. Kid, say, what do you want? Yu Wu's words came too suddenly, leaving Linley at a loss for words. What do you want? I want everything. Luckily, Yu Wu gave the options. Exotic beast crystals, elemental crystals, elemental magic weapons, heavenly treasures, fierce imperial beasts, blue coin funds, supreme powers, heavenly fairy beauties. The further he spoke, the more outrageous it became. What the hell was a heavenly fairy beauty? Can you really choose? Ha, huh, why should I choose? Only a child would go for a multiple choice question. I want them all. Ah, uh, I, I think. Greetings to Elder U5. Inquisitor Vol. Lord Lin. These last three words were the point, and the thirty-odd neatly ranked warriors in black combat trench coats were impassioned, shouting with particular vigor. It was as if Lin Li was the most exalted existence in their hearts. At the very front of the queue stood four high-ranking alter egos. They should be the four executives. How was it that one was younger than the other? And one had a higher face value than the other? Did Ji Chang have some special fetish? The more Lin Li searched, the more wrong he became. This guy was so nice to himself, so attached to himself. Was it really just because Lin Li had high talent? Kud. Ha. Really perverted. Where are the people? Wu Lei put away his gentle smile, and Yu Wu resumed his usual serious demeanor. Looking at Lin Li that was admirable. These two were definitely the heirs of the intangible cultural heritage. Legends of the face-changing world. Over here. A blue-haired executive with a cool image and temperament similar to Wu Lei beckoned. For half-dead unlucky people. As well as one big unlucky person who was already dead through and through were carried up. The dead one was the dogskin plaster that had chased Linley all the way and almost didn't send Linley away. Miserable is really miserable. Chest was penetrated. Head was flattened. Red and white liquid almost to overflow. This life must have suffered a lot of crime. The first thing I want to do is to get rid of all the people who are in the world. And I want to do that. Linley inexplicably felt a burst of relief. Relief. Put. Ha. Huh, what does this mean? After carrying the person to the open space in front of Linley, the four executives, Leading the 36 legendary guards, knelt down on one knee, hands crossed in front of their chests, as if they were waiting for something to descend, reporting to Lord Lin, for this operation, our side missed killing an enemy, causing the mission to fail, special request for punishment, special request for punishment, 40 people, shouting in unison, Lin Li's hands were busy, not knowing whether to help, or not to help, Wo Lei, this, there was no other way but to turn to Wo Lei for help, Lin student, this is the rules of the Dark Kingdom. The mission explained, must be completed 100%. Any mistakes, are considered a mission failure. As for the punishment for this mission failure, it can be determined by the immediate superior, or it can be punished according to the laws of the temple. So strict? So perverted? A slight error and the mission is judged a failure? Lindley felt that this group of people were doing a pretty good job. Otherwise, these five idiots would have had a hard time escaping death in their own hands. Ah. Uh, it's straight up to the superiors to decide. What does it have to do with me? Besides, I think they did a pretty good job. There's no need to punish them, right? Wole smiled at Linley, then explained. These four executives, as well as the 36 legendary guards were all prearranged by Chief Yi. From now on, they're your people, how they're arranged, how they're punished, and how they're given missions are all up to you. So this punishment will also be decided by you. Kid, there are no rules. When you do something wrong, you have to be punished. If you keep siding with your subordinates and exempting them from punishment, in the end, you'll only be harming them. And even more so, you'll be harming yourself. Yu Wu came to Lin Li's side, patted his shoulder, and taught in a heartfelt manner. This reasoning Lin Li also understand. The problem is, hey, forget it. Since the Dark Kingdom had its own rules, 
it was better to follow them. He himself was, after all, an existence that was going to mature and carry the banner of the divine kingdom one day, and too much compassion would only push him into the land of doom. Then, what would be their punishment if they were to follow the laws of the holy temple? Yu Wu said indifferently. Failure of the mission. Death. Ha! Huh? Lin Li was numb. What the hell is death? A subordinate who had just been arranged to meet was parted by life and death? This is the law of the holy temple. That's why there's an extra clause. It can be decided by the superiors. Listen to understand. This so-called law of the temple is not a person to beat up. Purely a pure setup. In the end, the power of speech still fell to Lin Li. Wole. I'm not experienced in this area. Can you make a suggestion? For executives. 100 black rods. 3 months subsidy reduction. 36 legendary guards. 50 black rods. 2 months subsidy reduction. That should be about right. Lin Li nodded. That sounded pretty good. This would be it. Good. Then. Hey, what's a black stick? Yu Wu explained from the sidelines. It's an iron rod that's attached by the darkness element, and it can chip away 99% of an alien's defenses, making their physique no different from that of a normal person. In other words, they have to carry a hundred iron rods with the physique of an ordinary person? Yu Wu and Wole nodded at the same time. Hiss. Or what about good perverts? We are willing to accept the punishment. The blue-haired executive officer at the head of the group took the lead. The rest of the execs and guards shouted, Student Lin, the decision is yours. Add or subtract as you wish. Good. Then I won't nag. Lin Li took two steps forward and said in a loud voice, A mission is hereby issued. No matter what method you use to pry out the secrets hidden by Hua Li from these four people, the mission will be rewarded and the punishment for failing this mission will be waived. If the mission still fails, the punishment will be double. Wo Lei. Yu Wu froze. Everyone kneeling on the ground froze. Lin Li had played this job well, played it wonderfully, and played everyone croaking. If the mission succeeded, the punishment was waived. And if the mission failed, both were punished at the same time. Not only did it establish majesty, but it also made the subordinates appreciate themselves. Giving you guys a chance to make up for your mistakes. It's reasonable, isn't it? Ha ha ha. I've been in the Dark Kingdom for more than 30 years. And you're still the first person to make up for your mistakes. Good. Good. It's original and doesn't count as breaking the rules. Yu Wu was made to laugh by Lin Li's trick and appreciatively patted his shoulder again. This old thing really didn't know how strong he was. Are they all deaf? What are you waiting for? Yu Wu was worthy of being a disciplined elder. Speaking and doing things was just impulsive. We, 4-1, promised to complete the task. With that, the crowd got up and dragged the four little unlucky Huali men away. Torture was definitely unavoidable. Who told them to offend Lin Li? However, Lin Li's move wasn't entirely for the sake of his subordinates. Huali's secrets were indeed too many and too appealing. Especially since it involved the darkness department. Lin Li definitely had to investigate. Classmate Lin, let's just hurry up with the treatment. With things perfectly settled. Wole then remembered the purpose of this trip. Yu Wu still had his own business, so he didn't follow the duo around. Entering the treatment center, Lin Li was shoved into an instrument for a good examination. Nothing serious, just burns. A wood system psychic solved it in a couple of strokes. Why were all those treatment instruments just for show? And in the end it wasn't solved by psychic powers? After leaving the building, it was getting dark. Lin Li's stomach has long been grumbling. Wole originally wanted to take Lin Li to a restaurant and have a good meal. However, he received a phone call on the way, claiming to have something important to deal with. He threw Lin Li a black card, saying that unlimited swipes. Finally, he contacted the blue-haired executive, Ling Xing, then turned around and left. Three minutes later, Ling Xing arrived in a flaming hurry, with what appeared to be remnants of blood on his cuffs. What dedication. Since he had just left, this little guy had definitely devoted himself to the mission. Lord Lin, I'm sorry I'm late. Lin Li hurriedly waved his hand and said helplessly, First of all, you're not late. No need to apologize. Secondly, you should stop calling me Lord Lin, including the others. It's too awkward. I'm especially prone to jumping the gun. Either call me Lin Li or Lord Lin. Ling Xing nodded very seriously and said, Okay, Lord Lin. Okay, I'm starving. Let's go eat. Okay, Mr. Lin. The Dark Kingdom's restaurant. TM wasn't called a restaurant either. It was clearly a small restaurant city. Hundreds, thousands of restaurants, taverns, specialty snack stores, the sky south and north, a variety of dishes, flavors, only you cannot think of. There is nothing he cannot do. Lin Li was too hungry to choose. Seeing a restaurant directly drilled into it. The restaurant staff didn't recognize Lin Li, but they did recognize Ling Xing. Who didn't know the 24 executives of the Dark Kingdom? 
Ling Xing's reputation was second only to the seven great inquisitors. The owner of the restaurant directly entertained him personally, arranging for one of the most luxurious, most open private rooms. All the best and most expensive dishes were served. Lin Li was also not polite. Left hand chicken, right hand duck. Crazy sweep up. Thanks to Ling Xing. If Lin Li was by himself, the owner of the restaurant would have thought that he had come to eat a king's dinner. Ling Xing, can you drink? Ling Xing nodded, but hesitated. Ah, uh, my lord. During the mission, we can't drink. This is sanctuary law? Ling Xing nodded. What bullshit law? Big night. Off duty. Time to eat and drink. Come. Drink with me. Since his superior had opened his mouth, what else was there to say? Ordered the restaurant service staff, brought two bottles of good nine grain liquor, poured a glass for Lin Li and another for himself. Your Excellency, I toast to you. Ling Xing was just about to get up, but let Lin Li press back. Drinking is drinking. Where are the manners? Cheers. A cup of refreshing wine went down. Beautiful. The two of them drank while chatting. Through understanding, Ling Xing was 24 years old this year and had joined the Dark Kingdom for 8 years. Current strength level. High order 9th grade. Ranked first among the 24 great executives. Whether it was from face value, appearance, or prestige and aura, it was second only to Wo Lei. It was only a pity that due to Ling Xing's talent was the SS Great Ice System. Therefore, it was difficult to arrive at the height of an Inquisitor in this life. This was quite realistic and cruel. The seven Inquisitors were all Darkness System powerhouses. Not that Yi Chang and the Elder Council were biased. But the darkness system's ability to enhance their powers was faster and their combat power was stronger. The mere fact that they were able to challenge each other across levels was enough to make the other genera out of reach. The Dark Kingdom had always upheld the principle that the strongest would win. The stronger you are, the higher your status. Your cultivation value determined the heights you could reach in the Dark Kingdom. That was why Linley's heights in the future would surely surpass everyone. Yi Chang was not far behind. Knock knock knock. The door to the room was knocked on. The duo's chat was interrupted. The owner of the restaurant walked in respectfully and said to Ling Xing, Lord Ling, Shu Wuning seeks an audience. What the hell? Pig Wunong? The eight preceptors? Lin Li thought he had drunk too much and was hallucinating. Ling Xing hurriedly explained, Shu Wuning is the head of the Zhu family in Qingyan City. His strength is average, but he is very rich. Oh, a big dirt family. Lin Li chucked a piece of meat into his mouth. And the more he chewed, the more wrong he became. Zhu family? Rich? Half of Qingyan City? Lin Li laughed. The wrong family. Tell Zhu Wuning that I'm not available right now. Let's talk about anything tomorrow. Ling Xing's primary goal right now was to accompany Lin Li. What Zhu not Zhu family? Simply could not see eye to eye. Okay my lord. I will. Now. Wait. Lin Li suddenly opened his mouth. His eyes looking playfully at the owner of the restaurant. Let him come in. We're not busy. Ah. Uh, this. The owner of the restaurant looked at Lin Li and then at Ling Xing. Not knowing what to do for a moment. What? My son's words are not good? When Ling Xing saw that the restaurant owner didn't move, his face changed with a swish. It was so cold that it was almost frosty. Your son? The restaurant owner was shocked. What kind of person could make the executive officer respect him so much? Hoping that today's meal. Ling Xing was just here to serve? No. 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 I should be damned. I wouldn't dare to disobey the words of the eunuch. I'll ask Zhu Wuning to come in. The owner of the restaurant was scared out of his skin in a cold sweat. But fortunately he was sharp and smooth enough. He instantly changed his attitude and almost didn't kneel down for Lin Li. After he exited the box, Ling Xing asked softly, Does Mr. Lin recognize this person? No. Lin Li shook his head. The corners of his mouth couldn't stop curling up as he said, But I know his family. Be at ease. I've almost guessed the purpose of his coming to you. The two clinked their glasses again and drank it all in one go. A good show was about to be staged. Greetings, Lord Ling Xing. I'm sorry for disturbing your meal. At the doorway, a middle-aged man in a suit bowed 90 degrees and faced Ling Xing. Lin Li glanced at it, unlike the eight rings, skinny as a monkey. However, rich was indeed rich. That gold watch, gold necklace, diamond big ring to wear. The whole person shines, as if the street is the most beautiful boy. What's the matter? Say it. Ling Xing turned around, poured a glass of wine for Lin Li and said nonchalantly, Put. Xu Wuning took two steps forward and knelt directly in front of Ling Xing. A handful of snot and a handful of tears said, My lord, you have to do it for me. My wife and son are all dead. On the train, killed by an alien. No bones left. Woo woo, quite a big old man. Crying that called a miserable. Only, this tears fall also too fake. Can't see where the real feelings are at all. Alien, killed your family on the train? Know the identity of the other party? Xu Wuning shook his head and said, 
Not clear, but I have investigated a roughly. This person is 18 or 19 years old. The darkness of the Department of Psychic Ability, Kill My Family, was a group of unknown forces hijacked, as if it also broke out in a conflict, as for the final destination of where, for the time being, has not been investigated clearly, 18 or 19 years old, darkness system alien ability, by unknown forces, Ling Xing's eyes grew whiter and whiter as he turned his head to look at Lin Li, gotta, be sure, the murderer was right in front of him, because at this moment, Lin Li was smiling evilly, his gaze filled with teasing and killing intent, family master Zhu, then how do you want Ling Xing to do it for you? Ah, uh, may I ask who you are? Xu Wuneng had never seen Lin Li before, but those who could stay with Ling Xing were definitely not in a good position. This is my son, surnamed Lin, a Gu. I've met Mr. Lin, just now it was my humble self who was too abrupt and forgot to salute Mr. Lin. Xu Wuneng hurriedly got up and face first saluted Lin Li. Mr. Lin, if you can do the honors for me, I'll be sure to offer a generous gift. He he. How to do the Lord's work? You haven't said it yet? I only ask that Mr. Lin give the order to capture that alien back, regardless of life or death. As long as it is handed over to the villain, a hundred elemental crystals, I will certainly give it with both hands. Good Lord, a hundred elemental crystals. How much money would that be worth? Lin Li smiled more and more happily, and gave Ling Xing a look. The latter understood and similarly smiled lightly. Xu family head, this matter is in the hands of our Duke Lin. But this thick gift well, Duke Lin has always been straightforward, unwilling to be dragged. Xu Wuning was so smart that he instantly understood what it meant. Pay first and then do things. I understand. Mr. Lin, this space ring has more than a hundred crystals, hundreds of millions of blue coins, and a few treasures, as my filial piety to you, and then give me a little time. I'll go back to prepare for hard labor fees. Lin Li was not polite. He took the spatial ring and blew on it. The quality was not bad. It was much better looking than this black antique ring worn on his hand. All right, seeing as you're sincere, I'll accept the gift. As for this matter, I've already done it too. Don, Zhu Wu cannot understand what the meaning. This is not yet ordered to arrest it? Your so-called murderer is me. Lin Li held his chin, teasingly looking at the eight rings. Zhu Wu Nang was dumbfounded. The murderer is this big Buddha in front of him? According to what you said, I've already brought myself here. Then, the hard work fee grabs the preparation Oh. 4. Why? Xu Wuning's eyes became more and more frightened and desperate. How could he not think that the murderer of his wife and child was already standing in front of him? However, one was still so powerless and inactive, because they wanted to kill me, so I killed them, it's as simple as that. Lin Li was unperturbed and bland, it was as if killing people was rustling and stress-free for his current self. Ling Xing on the side cast an appreciative and reverent gaze. In his heart, the legend of the dark world should be like this, killing and decisive. Those who messed with them were got in their way had to be gotten rid of. Family Master Zhu, do you have anything else to say? Ling Xing didn't want this guy to waste Lin Li's time anymore. No, there's nothing more to say. Thank, thank you, Mr. Lin. The latter half of the sentence was completely squeezed out through gritted teeth, killing his own wife and son, and still having to give someone a gift, by respectfully acted like an animal, not daring to squeak or retort. Shu Wuning heart that call a hate na, unconsciously, a wisp of killing intent penetrated, the two present perceived clearly. Lin Li shook his glass, and Ling Xing nodded slightly. Xu Wuneng trembled as he got up, bowed again, and prepared to leave the box. Put. Ah. Miserable howls resounded throughout the entire restaurant building. A thick and long ice spike penetrated Zhu Wuneng's chest, followed by the rapid spread of extreme cold. In just five seconds, this person was frozen into an ice sculpture. It was Ling Xing who made the move. Although Lin Li didn't put words in his mouth, his gaze and demeanor clearly acquiesced to this matter. Those who threatened themselves had to be dealt with. The owner of the restaurant rushed upstairs at the sound of the noise, and when he saw Zhu Wuning's tragic death, his face turned white. With a plop, he knelt outside the door. Mr. Lin, this person has nothing to do with my dragon lie building. I didn't know he would do something to anger you. Pan please atone for your sins. Lin Li thought to himself, what's wrong with this group of people? What era is this? Kneeling without moving. It is said that there is gold under a man's knees, but this group of people's gold has turned into dung? This matter has nothing to do with you. Hurry up and clean up. These dishes. Cold. Lin Li proceeded to drink, and the boss outside the door rushed to bring the waitstaff to get rid of the ice sculpture. The dishes on the tabletop were also rechanged. There was wine to be drunk today. Since Luo Hong Tian had left, Lin Li had never gotten drunk again. Tonight, Lin Li drank and got drunk. It seems that Ling Xing was also drunk. Anyway, 
I don't know who carried him away in the end. When I woke up, the sun was up. On Noda's luxurious double bed, Lindley got up in a daze. This sleep is so comfortable, so peaceful, so cool. Hmm, cool. Crap, where are my clothes? Lindley hurriedly grabbed the quilt to cover the exposed key parts. Motherfucker, last night went into the water? Or, let someone take advantage of it? Keep your body like a jade for 18 years. A wine, drink it away? Knock knock knock. Mr. Lin, are you awake? A soft and melodious voice came from outside the door. Lindley became even more flustered. A girl was there? It can't be. No, didn't. Didn't wake up. When people were nervous, their IQ would plummet. Lindley was currently in this state. And no one was squealing? Mr. Lin, I'm here to bring you clothes and lunch. If it's inconvenient for you, then I'll just leave it outside the door. Ah, uh, delivering warmth. Blah blah blah. Here to deliver clothes? Then. Come in then. No peeking ooh. Okay Mr. Lin. As the golden double doors were pushed open, a beautiful figure pushed the food cart and walked in. A long black dress. A bit of a dark paradigm. Her body very great. And her face value is nothing to speak of. Ah, uh, looks like a valet. Not like that. Your Excellency. Lunch is on the table for you. And Lord Vol's special clothing for you is also here. So feel free to order me if you need anything. Good. Thank you. Lindley was like a little daughter-in-law, curled up under the quilt for fear of exposing something. After the attendant young lady left, Lindley hurriedly got out of bed and changed into that so-called special outfit. Looking in the mirror, it was so cool that it exploded. The inner body is a black long shirt. Pattern pattern is very rare. Outside the black loose section trench coat, especially smooth, with feeling, there is a cape hat hidden in the collar, which can be taken out at any time to cover the face. The lower body of black pants black boots, anyway, is all black, there was also a demonic pattern engraved on the back, just what Linley wanted, however, there was something strange, Linley had slipped around the dark kingdom so much yesterday, and had never seen the same type, even the same kind had never appeared, whether it was the members of the organization, the teachers and students of the academy, as well as the top management, all of them had ordinary black uniforms and cloaks, without any patterns, right, it's a bit odd, after a simple meal, Linley left his room. Curious, he wandered around the villa. During this time, he encountered a dozen or so beautiful young ladies. All of them were Linley's, asterisk carrot carrot asterisk. Ugh, all of them were Linley's attendants, responsible for taking care of life and living. In other words, this large villa belonged exclusively to Linley from now on. I really fucking regret it. What's the point of that stupid sacred royalty compared to the Dark Kingdom? A villa, an apartment, a young lady, an old bachelor, a young lady, an old bachelor, a man to be admired, a man to be looked down upon, with just one choice, life, the road was changed forever, my lord, Ling Xing is here, a very kawaii attendant young lady reminded, Linley returned to the living room, just in time to meet Ling Xing, who had rushed here in a flurry of wind, my lord, how is your body, body, Linley scratched his head, pretty good ah, uh, why do you ask, Ling Xing smacked his tongue inside, ah, uh, because, you drank too much last night, your physical state wasn't very good, and you threw up the whole way. So that's why my subordinate had someone change your clothes. Changed clothes? Where are they? Lost them? And who changed my clothes? A man or a woman? I'm not that casual. Am I? I'm glad you're fine. This time, I have two things to report. The first thing, the task you explained has been completed. Regarding Hua Li's secrets, those four people have all explained. Over the years, Hua Li has indeed been sheltering darkness system adepts behind the scenes and has mastered the darkness system's cultivation methods. Its dean, Huang Fei Baking, also had dealings with the demonized legion, as if they had reached some sort of partnership, with no way of knowing the specifics of the partnership. In addition, according to inaccurate information, Huali was plotting something that was enough to threaten the entire divine continent. Whether or not to continue pursuing against this point needs to be decided by you. No need. What Huali wants to do is out of my hands, or at least not capable of it right now. Ling Xing nodded and continued. The second thing is the Elder Council's arrangement for you. Arrangement for me? What arrangement? Lin Li picked up an apple and nibbled on it. It was very sweet and crunchy. The Council of Elders has already greeted the Darkness Academy. Starting tomorrow, you will be able to continue going to school and continue practicing. Oh, I thought it was something. No problem. Ah, uh, there is also the matter of your identity. From this moment onwards, you will officially assume the position of the Holy Lord of the Dark Kingdom. Put. He just took a sip of tea and sprayed it all out. Holy Lord? I'm still Valen. 
What kind of middle-aged title is this, to go along with one's Black Shadow Legion? What the hell is this Holy Lord? What does it care about? It doesn't care about anything, and it can care about anything. The Holy Lord is a symbol. A symbol of the Darkness Department's supreme strength. And a symbol of our Darkness Kingdom's journey to the peak of humanity. Crap. Nay. The poor Taoist was uneducated. And one line of crouch traveled around the world. To put it simply, it is. Mascot chanting. Hey. Whatever. It's just a title. Sir. Mr. Wole is here. Again. That sweet and pleasant voice rang out. And immediately afterward, Wole walked in. When Ling Xing saw Wole, a trace of strange emotion clearly flashed in his gaze as he bowed slightly and said, Greetings, Lord Wole. Wole waved his hand, signaling to be excused. Lord Holy Lord, are you still used to living here? Don't, don't, don't call me Holy Lord. It's too second rate. Better call me Lin Li. Ha ha, Mr. Lin, I heard that the Zhu family is looking for trouble from you? Looking for trouble from me? Lin Li laughed. That look could be disdainful. Indeed, it's a bit troublesome. You still have to see blood when you eat a meal. It affects your appetite. Ling Xing, I don't want student Lin to get involved in a situation like this again. Any dangerous elements that the Dark Kingdom will not allow to appear around student Lin. Ling Xing bears that in mind. AI. Well, well, not so much. You guys keep creating a greenhouse for me. It'll only affect my growth rate. I, for one, prefer challenges. Hot blooded. A good fight is the fastest way to stimulate potential and enhance strength. The two people around them agreed one after another. If it wasn't for those five unlucky bastards chasing after Linley, Linley wouldn't have been able to awaken the power of casting. Especially later, under the cycle of successive consumption and recovery, the elemental power was once again enhanced. Currently, the sixth elemental star was already lit. Beginner level 10. Just around the corner. Since student Lin said so. Then, the exam in three days. Exam? Haven't I even enrolled in school yet? You guys even arranged for the exam? The corners of Lin Li's mouth twitched slightly, always feeling trapped. Wole smiled elegantly and said, You're mistaken. Lin, this exam isn't aimed at you, but it just happens to come up. First year students, all of them will take this exam. Oh, I see. What's the test? The test of strength. Lin Li immediately came to be interested. Test of strength? Not to say that he was confident. Right. There was still no problem with emerging. The content of the test is very simple. Fight with a high-level alien. The longer you hold out, the higher the score. It sounded quite simple. But Linley was very clear. Beginner level fighting a high level. Pure and simple. A great injustice. Huali's high-ranked alien. He knew too well what level of strength he had. Almost. Linley almost sat down and ascended. The examiner sent by the Dark Academy might be as strong as this. It was good that it was just holding on. There was no danger. Alright. I know. I'll be on time for the exam in three days. Then, while it's still early, how about I take you to the Darkness Academy for a spin? Good. I'm worried that there's no place to sneak around. And so, a group of three people left the villa. A luxurious reception sedan was parked at the entrance at an unknown time. Driven by Ling Xing himself, the two sat in the back of the car, chatting while enjoying the scenery. The Dark Kingdom was a place of sin, filth, and evil retching in the eyes of the righteous in the alien world. In reality, it was all bullshit. Those self-righteous idiots always thought that the six colleges were so, so righteous. In reality, they are all a bunch of frogs in the bottom of the well. Hypocritical people. In terms of strength, within the Dark Kingdom, there are at least 30 super-ranked powerhouses. The main war in the north, leading hundreds of small organizations, for many years to guard the border zone, never had a mistake. In terms of quality, the Dark Kingdom judges heroes by their strength. No matter what talent you have or what genus you are, except legends. As long as your strength is strong enough, you will win the respect of thousands of your peers. Unlike the holy royalty, who looks down on this and that. The whole day is full. Not to go to the good cultivation, but even study some small mind. An hour later, the three of them arrived at the Dark Academy. The faction is full of awe. Nine heavenly pillars were located in front of the academy. The ones depicted on them were all ferocious beasts. From left to right, they were, poor chi. Tao Tai, Chaos, Blockhead, Golden Gaby, Kuei Nyo, Fire Chi Dragon, Dragon Whale, and Great Wind. In fact, Linley didn't recognize any of the latter, and relied on Wu Lei to explain. The carvings were so lifelike that the cost was definitely not cheap. Greetings to Lord Wu Lei, Lord Ling Xing. Several students in uniforms saluted in turn upon seeing the three, waiting for Linley the stuck. Those eyes, they were like neon lights. They flickered back and forth. Doubtful. Confused, 
expectant, excited, shocked, completely grossed out, Lin, Lin idol, Linley was shocked, thinking, crap, what kind of name is this, that's right, it's Lin idol, calling lord holy lord, idiot, holy lord, Lin idol truly represents a legend, get up, you're blocking my view, the more a few students talked, the more outrageous they became, and in the end, they simply surrounded Linley to ask for autographs, how dare you, did the rules of the dark kingdom tell you to mix your food? Ling Xing took a step forward, and the power of extreme cold instantly forced several people back. Wu Lei's expression also seemed icy cold. Obviously, it was very dissatisfied with the behavior of the several people. My lord forgive us, we know we are wrong. The six students straightened up and stood in formation like children who had made a mistake. With their heads lowered, they kept praying to admit their mistakes. Lin Li frowned, it seemed like an overreaction, right? After all, it was his own little red fan. The requirements couldn't be too harsh. Okay Ling Xing, they are all students. There is no need to get real. A few students. I, Lin Li, will be an ordinary student of the Darkness Academy from now on. Take the time. You can communicate. The matter of the idol. It's better to put it aside for now. The six students glanced at each other. Their faces showing joy. One after another said yes. Lin Idol, I will challenge you. A roar resounded through half the sky. Everyone present sensed a raging wave of foreign energy that was coming here. Kibin Bin, you're too unbridled. Seeing the visitor, Linley's first reaction was, Master Shah? That big Buddha beat on his chest, his exploding head, downstroking hawthorn beard, and all tendon meat. The face looked quite easy going, but the aura on his body was as brutal as an ox. This is not the point. The point is, this guy is really carrying a crescent shovel in his hand. It looks like Shah Shir D's demon sacrifice staff. Those who didn't know thought it was a cosplay. When Ling Xing saw the visitor, he shouted angrily. The power of ice and cold gathered in his palm, and a long turquoise blue sword instantly emerged. Wait, let me meet him. Lin Li stopped Ling Xing, and a dark black longsword converged in his hand in a decent manner. With his feet, he charged straight out. A middle-ranked second-grade psychic couldn't perceive the elemental genera. 80% of it was a special kind of superpower faculty. Lin Li just happened to want to test his current strength. So didn't this sandbag just come to his door? Ling Xing saw Lin Li rushing out and was so frightened that he didn't know what to do. On the side, Wu Lei was also ready to strike at any moment. Strong man, eat my sword, then I'll not be polite idle. Demon subduing shovel. The two figures impacted together. Berserk dark energy spilled out in all directions, devouring the surrounding light and the ground. As a result, the center of the battle was pitch black. No one could see the exact situation. Boom. Five seconds later. Linley's figure flew backwards. The dark longsword in his hand was shattered, and his tiger's mouth was even cracked from the shock. Motherfucker, carelessness, surprisingly, it's a strength type ability. After stabilizing his figure, Linley cursed himself for being too reckless. In the moment of the battle just now, the other party's strength had soared, once causing a crushing momentum. Fortunately, Linley reacted in time, with the dark barrier protecting his body. He was not seriously injured. My lord, are you alright? Ling Xing came instantaneously and asked with concern. I'm fine. This strong man is a bit interesting. The battle is not over yet. Anyone is forbidden to intervene. But, without waiting for Ling Xing to finish, Lin Li rushed out again. This time, Lin Li was serious, adapting the dark cutting skill, causing the black longsword to be incomparably sharp, and the power was even several times stronger than before. Strong man, again. Ha ha, again. The two figures collided again. This time, a ring-shaped shockwave was directly formed, shaking the distance of a hundred meters in a circle, at the exact center of the location where the two were fighting. Ripples appeared in the space, as if they were ripples that fluttered and waved. Wisps of smoke. Good strength. Take another blow from me. Seeing that the attacks of both sides were stalemated, Linley once again released his supernatural energy, madly pouring it into the dark long sword. This strike, only the strongest. Rumble. The violent explosion lifted the two of them off the ground and Linley twisted his body in the air, landing smoothly. Master Shah wasn't so lucky, most of the impact was on his side, causing him to fly dozens of meters backwards and fall heavily to the ground. The crescent moon shovel in his hand was even detached, making a crisp sound, not far away. Ling Xing heaved a sigh of relief. Wu Lei placed his arm heavily behind his back with an appreciative expression. Your Excellency is truly a man of God, with only the ninth level of the preliminary rank, he defeated this Chi Binbin of the second level of the middle rank even comparable to the third level of the middle rank. Ling Xing came over to Lin Li's side and started slipping up. The students gathered around them also applauded enthusiastically and shouted in unison. 
All right, who said I won? One win, one loss, only a draw. Linley wasn't being modest, it was the truth. If it was a real battlefield, how could the enemy leave himself a chance to be reckless? I'm afraid that the first time they exchanged blows, they would have put themselves to death. Even if the second strike was slightly better, it didn't prove that he was better than others. Black mist wrapped around his body. Linley disappeared and appeared in front of Master Shah. Strong man, this battle is a draw. Your strength is very good. Linley stretched out a hand and said in a friendly and appreciative manner. She Binbin obviously didn't expect Linley to be so open. If he were someone else, he would have already bragged about it and claimed he won. Right? Lin Idol. You really are my idol. The strong man pulled the other person with one hand. Thus getting up. Looking towards Linley, he was so excited. Ah, uh, I'm just an ordinary student. You'd better stop calling me an idol and call me Linley or Student Lin. Okay, Lin Idol. Whatever. The little episode ended. Kibinbin was reprimanded by Ling Xing in a split second. In the end, he was punished with 30 black sticks for provoking a fight in public. This was still for Lin Li's sake. Otherwise at least a hundred black sticks. Kibinbin did not say anything more. As if accustomed to it, the ass left the college entrance. Before leaving, he did not forget to throw a wink. Almost did not give Lin Li nausea over. After inquiring only to learn. Kibinbin is a 4th grade class E student. What is class E? The Dark Academy names classes by their heavenly stems and earthly branches. They are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X, I, N, Nan, Dek, Z, Yu, In, Mao, Chen, C, Wu, Wei, Shen, Yu, Hu Xiu, Hai. A total of 22 classes, each with 50 students. A total of 6 grades. That's many, many students. The class that Kibinbin was in was pretty far ahead proving that his talent was pretty good. Class A Superpower Power Explosion System Ability Roughly speaking, at a certain moment in the battle, burst out 10 times, a 100 times the power. It's perverse to say so, but it's really just average to say so. Invincible in close combat. Long range trash. Not just now. The first fight Lin Li ate a big loss. The second time they fought, the other party's skill CD should not have arrived yet, so they were blown away. This person's character is just like that. Reckless naive, doing things recklessly, pursuing extreme power, especially after hearing about Linley's SSS ranked darkness talent, he had long wanted to fight with one of them, this is not, coincidentally met Linley, say what you will, but also have to compare two times, Gongzi, don't let that simpleton spoil the fun, let's just continue the tour, yes, Mr. Lin, it's still early, we still have to meet someone, meet someone, who is it, the headmaster of the darkness academy, Yi Kong Shen, Knock knock knock. Is old Dean Yi there? I'm Lo Lei. The door to the black office was knocked on, and Lin Li's trio stood outside the door, quietly waiting for a reply. Finally, after three seconds had passed, a pale, aged voice came through. Come in, boys. Wo Lei pushed the door straight open and walked in respectfully. As soon as Lin Li entered the office, he was shocked by the NB's architectural style. It was all black. The walls were black. The ceiling was black. The floor was black. The tables, Chairs and benches were black. Everything was black. Except for the lights and the old man. Not far away. Behind the large desk. Was sitting a gray-haired old man. How to be 60 or 70 years old. Right? At this moment. It was staring at Linley with eyes full of kindness. Child. You finally come. Good day old Dean Yi. Linley bowed slightly. And for this man. He had heartfelt admiration. On the way here just now. Wole had already been roughly introduced. Yi Kong Shen. The founder of the Dark Kingdom. Yi Cheng's grandfather, strength unknown, abilities unknown, has been inaugurated as the head of the Darkness Academy for more than 10 years. Don't look at the status as inferior to Yi Cheng, but if it came to prestige and power of speech, he was definitely the number one person in the Dark Kingdom. Child, come here. Yi Kongsheng's kind smile was still hanging on his face, making several people feel inexplicably at ease. Lin Li raised his head and took a step over. There was no nervousness, no fear, and even less suspicion. Far from the negative emotions held when facing Sun Wukong's group of old things. When Lin Li came closer, Yi Kongsheng scrutinized him very carefully. Then, he took hold of his arm and looked at the palm. How is this drawing style so much like fortune telling? Child, overall, you are very good. Your qualifications are worthy of being the strongest of the human race. And at the first level of the exalted ability, you have awakened the power of the origin. But, your heart is insufficient. And you still need to sharpen it. The dark origin is too powerful and has gradually affected your mind. Yi Kongsheng analyzed Lin Li's current situation that thoroughly. Indeed, 
Lin Li himself could also perceive that there had been a qualitative change in his mentality since he had left the Holy Imperial. To put it nicely, it was called decisive, realistic, and cruel. To put it bluntly, it was called tyrannical, bloodthirsty, ruthless, and murderous. The dark system represents the powerful, not evil. It is right to kill and do things without mercy, but it couldn't be too casual. And if things went on like this, there would come a day when Linley would become addicted to killing and fall into the true meaning of evil. Elder Dean Yi, what should I do then? Ha ha, old Dean Yi is called by outsiders. It sounds too rusty. You and little Chang are brothers. What should I call you? Linley smiled shyly and said, Grandpa Yi, ha ha ha, that's the right thing to do. Matters of the heart need to be honed. Go out more to see the world and experience more things. You'll naturally be much smoother. Of course, there is also a way to cure the symptoms. To find the meditation stone, modify it and make it into a meditation necklace. It will help you suppress the side effects of the darkness power. Meditation stone? Ah, uh, never heard of it. Elder Dean Yi, could this meditation stone be the one from the extreme northeast region? Wolei asked as if he was unsure with his gaze fixed. That's right, it's the crystal stone in the extreme northeast region, deep in the underworld abyss. Hiss, extreme northeast region? And the underworld abyss? Lin Li, I've never heard of it. The far northeast region was clear. But what was the so-called underworld abyss? This name sounds so dangerous. Then look at the expressions of Wolei and Ling Xing. It's definitely not a good place. Grandpa Yi, is this underworld abyss dangerous? Yi Kangxing nodded his head. That Wolei duo was even bobbing up and down crazily like an engine. The spirit boy looked at them all and called out to the insiders. The Stygian abyss is located right in the center of the extreme northeast region, a thousand miles longitudinally and dozens of miles horizontally. The depth is even as high as 10,000 meters. At the bottom, it's like an abyssal prison, where the living beings are extinguished and all things are in the air. Rumor has it that there was once a holy beast there, so powerful that it could destroy the sky and the earth. If you want to get the meditation stone, it's no easy task. Lin Li was dumbfounded. A sacred beast? Humans haven't even touched that level yet, and they're asking a little dish to go and deliver shit? Little old man. You drop. Bad. Silly boy. I didn't ask you to go now. With your own cultivation speed, in eight years at most, you will arrive at the realm of super rank. At that time, will it be difficult to resist a holy beast? Eight years? You're looking down on people, aren't you? Linley said, at most five years. Thank you Grandpa Yi for your guidance. When I step into the super order realm, I will head to the underworld abyss and fetch the meditation stone. Wolei and Ling Xing sighed in relief. Luckily, Linley wasn't considered reckless. Alright child, let's talk here today. Old man me. It's time to go rest and rest. Then I'll come back to visit Grandpa Yi another day. Good, good, good. Old man me won't be bored in the future. Ha ha ha. The most important thing had been done. Wole brought Linley around the academy again. It should be said or not. This place is full of beautiful women. The prevalent Diablo style. It was very much in line with Linley's appetite. The sky gradually darkened. And it was dinner time again. This time, Linley came up with an idea. Calling the 36 legendary guards as well as the remaining three major executives, to have a meal together. At least they were subordinates, and having just come into contact, they had to get closer. Linley's character was both. Those who belong to me will not be treated poorly. Moreover, Linley is now the most important thing is money. How much can you spend on a meal? The result proves it. 66 million. Linley held a big grass. Motherfucker. A meal had killed off his previous small goal. But it should be said or not. This meal was indeed very good. Not only the dishes, but it also allowed Linley to get a general idea of his subordinates. 36 legendary guards, all male. They were not too old. In their 20s and 30s, talent was average. Not very top-notch. Not very crotch-pulling either. The average strength was middle rank 9. The strongest, high rank 4. The four major executives, Ling Xing needs no introduction. The remaining three are Quan Jia, Long Chang, and Chaoyi. Quan Jia was female. Long Chang and Chaoyi were male. Their face values were nothing to write home about, and their strengths were all at the high rank 8 level. To be honest, Lin Li felt that Yi Chang was making a big deal out of it. It was too much of a waste to have so many strong people surrounding themselves. It would be better for the executive officer to use only Ling Xing alone, right? There were also those 30 or so guards. I've heard that they are carefully selected loyal people from the Dark Core. A little bit like Deadpool. As long as Lin Li gives the order, this group of people will not hesitate to dedicate their lives. More or less a bit exaggerated ha. Huh? Linley couldn't possibly do that. Anyway, the Dark Kingdom was putting down all the money. Bound to cultivate Linley into the first person in the darkness. In the evening, 
Lindley returned to the villa and took a bath as usual. Several attendant young ladies volunteered to serve, almost went into the bathroom. Frightened, Lindley rushed to stop them and set a rule. No one was allowed to trespass into the bedroom without asking for their permission. Even the prettiest can't, carrot. We, Lindley, have integrity. Love you walking alone in a dark alley. Love the way you don't ghost. The cell phone rang. It was the little fat man Mahongi calling. Hello, Hongi, how have you been lately? Has the strength improved again? Brother Lai, let's talk about this later. You're wanted. Wanted? Who wants you? The six academies are jointly wanted. The reward amount is as high as $300 million. What the hell? $300 million. Do they have money to burn? What are the wanted charges? Many, many, many. Ah, uh, defecting from the holy royalty and degrading himself to join the Dark Kingdom. Colluding with Yi Chang to destroy all the buildings and facilities in the institution. Brutally murdering his classmate Zhang Qi and severely injuring his teacher Zhang Wen. Designed to persecute six Huali teachers and one Huali student. There's so much more. A total of 21 offenses. Little fatty couldn't read anymore. Lin Li was also unable to listen. The fabricated and non-fabricated ones added together were enough for Lin Li to die several times. Ha! That bunch of trash can really play around. 300 million dollars for me. Lin Li, a little less, right? Brother Li, you actually don't have to worry too much. I heard that Wang Gang, the Dean of Sacred Radiance Academy is stepping in to put in a good word for you. My father and school sister Lu Qingyan have also been discussing with old man's son in the past few days. So I believe, there will be a result soon. Lin Li wasn't surprised that Wang Gang would step in to put in a good word for himself. What else could it be? It must have been requested by Xiaoya. This girl had already stepped into the alien world, and she definitely knew a lot of the rumors about herself. Only, with just Wang Gang alone, he was afraid that it would be difficult to stop the situation from spreading. Hong Yi, don't let Godfather interfere in this matter. In this current situation, Sacred Imperial and Huali are determined to get rid of me. So if the Titan Guild intervenes one way or another, they will probably end up drawing fire. I did kill someone, so it's the same for me whether I'm wanted or not. Those idiots, feel free to use whatever abilities they have. I, Linley, will definitely be there to the end. Little Fatty was silent for a while, as if he had made up his mind about something and said, Brother Lai, I'm going to quit school. Why? Since you left, I've also seen this so-called human nature. It's too dirty, too hypocritical. My dad was right. The guild is much cleaner than the academy. Old man's son isn't a thing at all. I'm going to go back to the Titan Guild. Lin Li's gaze drifted a bit far away, seemingly sympathetic. Hong Yi, no matter what you do, brother will support you, but make sure you think it over and don't make a decision that you will regret. Don't worry brother Lai. I will weigh the right and wrong trade-offs for the next 20 minutes. The two chatted about their daily lives, about Lu Qing Yue's matter. Not much was mentioned. It was just about practicing and attending classes as usual. After hanging up the phone, Lin Li came to the window. Silence for a long time. In just a month's time, so many things had happened. From now on, Lin Li was completely on the opposite side of the alien world. It couldn't be said to be a street rat that everyone shouted at, but it was also considered a public enemy of the righteous. Ha! So what? I, Lin Li, only live for myself, so-called enemies, all go to hell. Early the next morning, a soft voice woke Lin Li up. This bed calling service is really on point. Breakfast, costumes were all ready. Today was the first day of officially joining the Darkness Academy. Ling Xing had already been waiting in the living room for a long time. This guy is becoming more and more like a male secretary. Handsome and sweet, he would arrange all of Lin Li's trips outside. Also, a qualified bodyguard. Since what happened last time with Qi Binbin? Ling Xing no longer dared to allow unsavory people to contact Lin Li, for fear of getting into some more trouble. After saying goodbye to the attendant ladies, Lin Li got on the car and headed to the Darkness Academy. Ling Xing was also nonchalant enough. He drove the car directly into the academy and walked all the way around, making Lin Li's blood boil. How could it be so white? So thin? So long? How is it so black? So short? So, running off topic. It wasn't just Lin Li who was looking at them. They were also paying attention to Lin Li. Since the establishment of the Darkness Academy, who had that qualification to drive the car in, except for the principal, the chief level figure, since they couldn't see Linley's face through the glass, the students on campus were talking, they were all guessing which big shot had arrived at the academy. Finally, Ling Xing stopped the car, it meant that the first year Class A had arrived. Originally, according to Wo Lei's idea, it was to divide Linley separately, it caused the academy to send the three strongest darkness teachers to tutor him one-on-one. -on -one. As a result, it made Linley give a merciless hara whistle, purely joking. 
What is school for? Is to relax, is to sleep, is to pick up girls. With one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you don't even have a chance to skip class. What's the point of going to school? Practice is practice, study is study, relax is relax. When you're serious, you're serious. When you're bullshitting, you're bullshitting. If you mix up seriousness and bullshit, then isn't life missing a great deal of meaning? People say, live a lifetime. The happiest thing is not more than, drought meets sweet rain, meet the old friend in another country. The night of the wedding flower candle, when the gold list, promoted and into the title, the financial resources have to, family and physical fitness, enjoy the day of heavenly family, but in Lin Lee's view, all unrealistic, the real eight things are very simple, should be, eat, drink, play, fun, bubble, pretend, clean, beautiful, don't get it, go figure it out, friendly reminder, the above content is purely nonsense, don't be led astray, smiley face, a goo, it's really an honor for me, bye, to have Lin in first year class A, please come in, just as he got off the bus, a middle-aged man with a slightly whiter, rounder physique greeted him, he held onto Lin Lee's hands and shook them vigorously, that look was even more excited than meeting his own father, ah, uh, are you my homeroom teacher, Mr. Bai Ligua, Mr. Bai, Lin Lee looked embarrassed and looked at Ling Xing, the latter also shrugged helplessly, indicating that it had nothing to do with him, he hadn't arranged it, that's right that's right, A Gu, it's really an honor to have student Lin thinking about you, I've already arranged your seat, please follow me, Bai Gua could be considered to have let go of Lin Li and brought him into the so-called classroom, the style of the classrooms in the darkness academy was rather plain, it was nothing more than that, paved with jade tiles, inlaid with platinum surfaces, backed by luxury chairs, and topped with diamond halls, covering an area of several thousand square meters, the high platform sits in the middle, crystals can be taken casually, and beautiful women can be held casually, SOSO, Linley's seat was placed in the last row, no other reason, just because it's the most comfortable place with the widest view, at this moment, many students had already entered the class one after another, well, the average strength of the first year students was above the sixth level, it was many times stronger than the first year of Saint Imperial. However, it could also be because of the darkness department. Of the 50 students, roughly 20 were of the darkness department. Of course, there were no ones with too much talent. For the darkness department, B rank and upwards were considered to be gifted. A rank was enough to step into the forefront. An S rank was unattainable and scarce to the extreme. There was no SS level except for Yi Chang. Today suddenly came a SSS level. All the little red fans boiled up for a while. A dozen or so fanatics swarmed up and tried to approach Lin Li. Ling Xing passed by with a single look, and the entire room fell silent. Ahem, I know that you guys are very excited about Lin's joining, but, the academy has academy rules, so sit back honestly and get ready for class. Bailey Guo was inflamed. The three words class teacher were displayed to the fullest. A dozen or so little red fans honestly returned to their seats. As for the other students, there were some anticipation, some excitement, some envy and some reverence in their gazes, there are also, were eager to try, Lin Li clearly perceived that a heavy battle intent was approaching him, that person was, Xia Jie, withdraw your battle intent, Ling Xing took a step forward, and an icy cold to the core chill swept through the entire classroom, everyone present, including Bai Ligua, couldn't help but shiver, so strong, just the aura that was emitted could affect the surrounding temperature, a high-ranked powerhouse was truly as terrifying as this, Ling Xing, understood, your excellency, Ling Xing hurriedly withdrew his aura and retreated to the side, what the hell, seeing a strong person and wanting to compete was just that, this was not only a form of courage, but also a form of respect, respect for Lin Li, classmate, your strength is very good, after class, you can spar, Lin Li cast his gaze towards Xiao Jie, the corner of his mouth slightly rising as he said, this person was in the same department in class as Lin Li, ever since he stepped into this classroom, his wariness hadn't cut down, Classmate Lin, it's a deal. Xiao Jia rose from the luxurious reclining chair in the first row, his eyes burning as he locked gazes with Lin Li. This person was very tall, probably around 1 meter 9, short red hair on top of his head, as if it was that intangible cultural heritage that had faded away for a long time. A big non-mainstreamer, average looks, but his aura was online, especially that fiery wariness, which Lin Li appreciated. A challenge, much more useful than blind worship. Seeing the end of the two's conversation, Bai Ligua hurriedly interjected, that, it's time for class, so everyone return to their seats and sit down, before class starts, how about letting student Lin do a brief self-introduction, yes, nearly 50 students shouted in unison, shaking the ground slightly, 
This faction, all embarrassed for Linley, student Lin, please, by Liqua pointed to the high platform, signaling Linley to go up. To be honest, Linley was quite averse to things like self introductions, especially during the opening season of junior high and high school. It was embarrassing. However, the situation now was different. The stage was full of his own little fans, so it seemed like he couldn't be bothered not to say a few words. After mounting the podium, Linley fiddled with the microphone. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Good lord, the chance almost didn't send Linley away. Eh, hello everyone, my name is Linley. I'm 18 years old this year. Alien ability attributes. There's no need to say more about my rank. My goal in life is simple. To ascend to the top of the supreme power and eradicate all those who stand in my way. Strictly speaking, I'm a wanted man. And just yesterday, the six academies jointly issued a bounty. My head is worth 300 million dollars, because I, Linley, have killed, set fire, and done nothing wrong, but I feel so proud, so proud, so free, people say I'm bloodthirsty and inhuman, that's good, it's much better than practicing those false lights, irony, contempt, hatred, I don't care, this is a world ruled by the strong, one day, I will let those idiots experience the pain of being dominated by the darkness, me, Linley, from this moment onwards, I will only advocate for the darkness. Pa 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 pa. Applause like a tidal wave drowned out Linley. This scene, it was a hundred times more shocking than that speech by Saint Royal. Many people on stage were touched by Linley's words. How could it not be the same for what happened to this group of people? Just because they had awakened their darkness ability, they had been coldly looked at and spurned ever since. If it wasn't for the Dark Kingdom's acceptance, how many people would have gradually lost themselves in hatred, thus embarking on a path of no return? Only, Linley's encounter was the most typical. Through the holy royalty, one could recognize the truth, see human nature, and make sense of the future. Student Lin's speech was fantastic. What's the saying? The righteous are all dog slayers, and the heartless are mostly scholars. What are the six colleges? They're nothing but a bunch of frogs in the bottom of a well. Unable to recognize facts and distinguish between clear reasoning. What's wrong with darkness? The darkness department is the strongest department. It's the power of the alien world and even the entire divine continent. Since that group of trash don't look up to us, let's show them some color, teach them to recognize some reality, and recognize that strength is the only standard for testing truth. Hearing these words from Bailey Gua, Linley straight away called out to the insiders. This bee's brainwashing technique was second only to his own. Nearly 50 students, once again, boiled away. This vestigial sense, properly the head of a pyramid schemed in. Next, there was nothing left for Linley. Sitting back in his seat, Ling Xing took the place of the attendant young lady. This gave people a commission. It was so hard to get a chance to stick it to a big family. But in the end, he let someone throw it away. There is no way out. Who let others are the executive officer adults. This class is a basic cultural counseling class. Abbreviation. Brainwashing class. Presented by the class teacher. By Ligua. More than an hour long brainwashing ah. Linley was about to vomit from listening to it. What's wrong with Diablo Academy? This kind of program was created to keep the negative feelings of the students at bay? That's not necessary, is it? Thinking about it, it seems like it's really necessary. Because the Dark Kingdom has a class system. This system was backward, but it's very practical. Times have changed, and the good, the equal, has long since fizzled out. What the Divine Continent currently maintains is nothing more than a false basic order. There is no practicality to it. It's like Linley killing people on the train. Who cares? The alien world would care? That was also given Linley's identity. If it were any other Xenos, this matter would never have been spread. Because, a shifter was much more important than an ordinary person. Returning to the topic, the reason why the Dark Kingdom brainwashed the students, in order to do so, is to cultivate obedient, and cold-blooded and ruthless killers. Warriors, if you are strong and have high talent, naturally the restrictions you are subjected to are low. If you are weak and still have low talent, then you can only become a grassroots warrior. Ding bell. The bell rang for the end of class, and Linley stretched his back. The brainwashing course was over. After resting for a while, the next step was the practical combat instruction course. This course was the most interesting to Linley, and had the strongest practicality. Only, before that, Linley needed to settle one thing. Classmate Lin, let's go. Fine, fulfill your desire to fight. Classmate Lin, please enlighten me, please. Xiao Jia flung his hands together, and two long swords converged by dark energy came out to meet the edge. One hand was held in front and the other behind. With a bang, he rushed out. Linley silently stood in place, have to admit, the other party's B-frame is very high. But, 
Can he be higher than himself? Don't say I'm bullying you, Shadow Legion. Give him some color. Tada. I don't know where I learned this habit of snapping his fingers. Anyway, it was great for pretending. With Linley's feet as the base, the ground within a 10 meter radius was shrouded in darkness. A head of strange, mindless, and appearanceless demons drilled out of the ground, shocking the entire scene. That. What is that thing? A demon that Lin Idol summoned from hell? Looks more like a devil to me. Such pure darkness power. When was the darkness department able to summon demons? The crowd of eaters a hundred meters away were talking, and were very new to the appearance of demons. However, at this moment, Xiao Jie was already fighting with the demons. The dual swords were constantly waving in his hands. Each attack could lead to the sound of breaking wind. Death sword dance. Xiao Jie directly performed a spiral ascension. Dozens of black sword she slashed across the ground, sending the surrounding demons flying out. A sword flower flashed, stabbing straight at Linley's chest. Quite smart, knowing the principle of capturing the thief first. Unfortunately, the reality was always worse. A crunching sound came from a three meter tall demon holding a mist shadow axe, which stopped it. After sensing the level held by the demon, Xiao Jie's body exploded back. Intermediate rank six, classmate Lin. How on earth did you do that? Xiao Jie couldn't stabilize himself. This big monster's strength was a bit too outrageous. How could this still be played on? Perceive the dark will in your heart. Try to communicate with it. Merge with it. And intersect with it. Release the most original power. You. You can do it too. Blah blah blah. The other party's s rank darkness talent was definitely unable to awaken the power of casting. But after all, people asked and said something profound to show off the B-game. Sure enough, Xiao Jie didn't understand a thing. Shaking his head, he continued to attack. The giant axe demon met the battle, and the ground trembled with nearly every step of its massive body. The giant axe that was one person high blasted at Xiao Jie. The latter did not intend to fight hard, and dodged the giant axe with a sideways roll. The two primordial demons found the right moment to smash their fists into his chest. Xiao Jie wanted to dodge, but how could the big guy give him a chance? The giant axe fell from the sky and landed firmly in front of his head. The feeling of death. So damn exciting. Mr. Xiao, how was it? Linley came close with a flash and patted the giant axe. With that, all the demons instantly dissipated. It was as if they had never appeared. A drop of cold sweat slid down from his forehead. Xiao Jia shook his head and smiled bitterly. Classmate Lin deserves to be a legend of the Dark Realm. I've lost. Pa pa pa. As soon as the word admit defeat was uttered, a torrent of applause rang out from a hundred meters away. There were also quite a few little fanboys shouting at the top of their lungs. Lin Idol NB. Lin Idol 87. Lin Idol NB 87 again. Lin Li waved his hand, strangely embarrassed. Lin student, I, Xia Jie, have lost this battle with conviction. At the same level, I can't even get close to you. I'm really ashamed. From now on, you're in charge of first year class A. Ha, huh? this scene feels a bit familiar? You're welcome. It's getting late. Let's go to class first. Lin Li patted Xiao Jie's shoulder and prepared to let Ling Xing take himself to the actual combat training ground. Just as his feet took a step, a familiar and sweetly moving voice rang out behind him. Lin Li. This voice was soft and weak, as if it was timidly afraid of something. Lin Li's body stumbled violently, and the beating of his heart slowed down by half a beat. Stiffly, he turned back, his eyes full of incredulity. E e you, why are you here? Lin Li's entire body was confused. Ex-girlfriend? Ha, huh? it didn't seem like it. After all, one was in it for the money in the first place. However, to say that there wasn't any affection at all would be a lie. After all, the two had gotten along for quite some time, and even understood each other's personalities, preferences, habits, family background information, etc. Lin Li, long time no see, I, I just came to say hello to you. Lin E seemed to have emaciated a lot, and also lost a lot of weight. A black uniform with a short skirt, although it set off the figure, it also showed the helplessness. What helplessness? The helplessness of not being able to help oneself. E e, why are you here? Linley couldn't care less about others, and took two steps forward to inquire. I had something happened to my family and was desperate, so I joined the Dark Kingdom. Something happened? What could have reduced you to such a state? Lin e was just about to open her mouth when an angry rebuke came from behind her. Lin e e, you shameless thing, screwing around behind my back. Who is this guy? Oh come on, it's another big SB. The entire academy knew of Lin Li's existence, and this bastard didn't even recognize himself, crossing over Lin Yi Yi's figure to look towards the back. What a hangman. His face value was medium to high. He was relatively tall, and at this moment, he was full of anger. Hanging like a 250, 
pointing at Lin Yi's back and cursing. He is? He, he, Lin Yi's eyes dodged, as if extremely reluctant to say, he is my boyfriend, Gu Ji. Lin Li frowned tightly, Yi Yi's vision is not so bad to such a point, right? This kid is either a rich second generation or a son of a bitch. It seemed that Lin Yi was really desperate and had encountered trouble she couldn't solve. Hey, talking to you too, are you deaf? Gu Ji came to the position beside the duo, pointing his finger at Lin Li not to mention how arrogant he was. Jumping clown A, E E, what are the difficulties you despite and I say, do not have to degrade yourself to rely on this kind of garbage. Lin Li, I, Go NMD, you dare to scold me? My father is the director of teaching in the institution, you count as A. Ling Xing, Lin Li opened his mouth indifferently, and a cold aura crossed in front of his eyes. Ling Xing's figure appeared three meters behind Gu Ji. In his hand, a turquoise blue cold ice longsword trembled slightly, shaking off a drop of scarlet blood at the blade. My lord's atonement. Ling Xing was careless for a moment and let this kind of trash trample and taint you. It's alright, he'll pay attention in his next life. As soon as the words left his mouth, Gu Ji's head slipped from his body. It rolled to the ground with a gurgle. Lin Yi was so shocked that her face turned white and she clenched her small mouth. It was almost impossible to believe that Lin Li had killed Gu Ji with a single word. Good, good kill. Lin Idol. You're practically the dark Europa of my heart. Gu Ji, that big son of a bitch, deserved to die a long time ago. Lin Idol I support you, seeing Gu Ji die a horrible death. Not only were the people around them not scared, they were excited to the extreme. A few girls were almost about to confess their love to Lin Li, calling out that they wanted to give him a monkey. Lin Li was not even going to be organized by this group of people. What kind of road? Killing a person excited like this? The education standard of the Darkness Academy was a bit too bizarre. Ling Xing, this trash just said that the director of instruction is his father? Yes my lord, this person's name is Gu Ji, the fourth year teaching director of Darkness Academy, the son of Gu Hong Fong, just because his father is a bullshit director of instruction, so he can be so rampant to such an extent? The management standard of Darkness Academy doesn't seem to be that bad, right? Uh, actually, this guy has another dad. Lin Li's eyes lit up with explosive points. There's another dad. Fuck. Ling Xing shook his head and stifled a laugh. Pro. This time Lin Yi wasn't afraid anymore. As if this popping point in front of her was more important than fear. Then he is now this father. My lord. This matter. Only the academy senior. As well as the temple senior know. Gu Hongfang is not his real father. The academy vice president. The prime minister is his real father. As for this specific details. Gotta. Lin Li hurriedly waved his hand and said. Details you don't say I can also guess. Dark Academy Senior is really too messed up. With the double daddies going hand in hand. No wonder this bastard was so rampant. Then. Will Gu Hongfang and Optimus Prime retaliate against me? Please rest assured. Your Excellency. Borrowing a hundred of their guts. They wouldn't dare to have any unfavorable thoughts towards you. Lin Li nodded. Since Ling Xing had said so. There was no need for him to rush the whole thing. E. Now can you tell me why you joined the Dark Kingdom? Lin Yi slowed down, her expression becoming more and more haggard. It turned out that just over half a month ago, the Lin family of Park City had suffered a catastrophe. Exactly which force was offended, Lin Yi was not clear. However, the other party's hand was extremely vicious. Seven alien, the Lin family up and down the slaughter of all. All of Lin Yi's relatives died on the spot. As for herself, she traveled to the capital that day and escaped. But fate was still playing tricks on people. Lin Yi e arrived at the Shang Chang Academy and prayed to the Academy to help her investigate the murderer. The hospital agreed, and also worked very hard to investigate. The result. There is no result. The leader of the courtyard handed Lin Yi e 10 high quality elemental crystals and told her to let go of the matter and not pursue it any further. Hearing this Lin Li all but laughed, because he had already guessed who did it. This style of doing things, strength and background, besides Huang Fei baking who else could it be? And by the looks of it, this Sheng Chang wasn't clean either. His own students were slaughtered all over his family. And sending 10 crystals would make him let go of his hatred? It was simply a travesty. This group of hypocrites were getting more and more incapable of doing anything. The end result was obvious. Lin Yi e withdrew from school. She and Lin Li were of the same mind. Sheng Chang was no good either. After thinking it over, Lin Yi e decided to take revenge. But she definitely couldn't do it on her own. So, she found the Dark Kingdom and relied on her tenacious will and full of hatred to survive the seven tests. Yi Chang personally promised to help her find the murderer. As long as Lin Yi was loyal to the Darkness Academy and the Darkness Kingdom. After the story was told, Lin Li's heart ached. A good girl had suffered much worse than Lin Li. In just a month's time, so many things had happened. To be able to persevere to this point, 
It meant that Lin Yi was really quite good. Ling Xing, send someone to take care of Yi Yi. Within the Dark Kingdom, I won't allow it to be wronged or harmed in any way. Don't worry my lord. Ling Xing understands. In fact, Lin Li didn't do this because of old feelings being rekindled. Rather, it was sympathy and guilt. After all, in the beginning, it was he who had wronged the girl and used people's feelings to gain money. Even if the purpose was to help Xiaoya get cured, what did this have to do with Lin Yi? Scum, always have to pay a price. Report. On notice training ground, Lin Li shouted in a decent manner. A young male teacher who was teaching was annoyed when he was interrupted. What's going on? What time is it not? No. No. Student Lin. Hello. This wave of sharp flips from the male teacher was too powerful. It caused the nearly 50 students present to be amused to the point of giggling. Hello, Mr. Meng. Hey, Lin student. In fact, if you're not comfortable, it doesn't matter if you take this class or not. Your matter is the top priority. This wave of ass kissing was well done. It meant that Lin Li loved to come or not, and could do whatever he wanted. I've taken care of all my matters. You continue. I'm here for class. Saying that, Lin Li walked towards the team. The students were very self-conscious and gave up their sea seats, their gazes staying locked on their idol. Ah, uh, okay, then let's continue with the lesson. The specific content of this lesson is, defense, in battle, attack is important and defense is even more important. Your defense determines whether or not your little lives can be saved. In a real battlefield, every attack of the enemy, that is running towards fatality, if you can withstand it, then the advantage of the next round of attack will be controlled by you. There are two more days before your midterm test begins. In the face of an attack by a high-level aberration, you can't do anything but dodge and defend yourselves. Therefore, I'm going to conduct special defense training for you. Linley listened attentively. What this guy said was somewhat reasonable, but not entirely there. Defense was certainly important. When facing an enemy stronger than oneself, one could only fight back appropriately based on saving one's life. But when facing an opponent of the same level, or weaker than oneself, a quick battle is the most correct method. Hey, whatever. Since it's a defense class, it's good to train your defense. Next, you guys will fight me in turn, and you can attack. But, you have to think carefully if you will be beaten to a pig's head by me. Exempt. What a big mouth. Haven't brushed my teeth for a few days. Sensing the level of this person's strength. High rank 4. Not bad. It's enough to abuse this group of small party vegetables. Ah, uh, student Lin. Why don't you still? I'm just an ordinary student. I'll go to class as I should. Can you still beat me to death? No. 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 You're too good at joking. Mr. Lin. How would I dare? The male teacher hurriedly waved his hand. Don't joke Lao Tai. Beat you to death? Injure you. The one next to you can't even spare himself. P.S. Thank you Kill Greatly sent God certification. Thank you Small Small Watermelon Greatly. Sent the God certification. Thank you for your support. Later there will be corresponding special characters oh. Boom. Next. Boom. Boom. Next. Boom. 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 Next. First year class A. 50 students. Within 3 hours, they were nearly abused. Most people's choice was defense. Either an alien energy barrier or alien energy armor. Only a small portion of the students with a higher heart and a proud nature chose to attack. The result was that they were beaten even worse. Soon. Only Linley was left in the entire class. The crowd of students purposely gave up a large area of the ground just to watch the idol perform. The ninth level of the beginner's rank could defeat the second level of the intermediate rank. So how long could one sustain against Wu Qing? The young teacher? Teacher Wu, please enlighten me. Student Lin, please, point to point. Wu Qing was really vain, afraid of giving Lin Li a bad beating. Ling Xing, who was in the distance, was currently staring intently at himself. If you don't release the water, you will definitely be beaten. If you let the water out, you will be beaten even more. Motherfucker, what kind of world is this? Mr. Wu, distraction is a very bad habit. Wu Qing was creeped out. When did Lin Li come over? A long black sword crossed in front of his eyes, and Wu Qing dodged it with a slight sidestep. It was decided that he had to act more realistically, so he couldn't let this big Buddha lose too much. Thus, Wu Qing deliberately suppressed his strength, bracing himself to use 30% of his strength. He condensed a black lance in his hand and began to launch his attack. Son Long, Wu Qing danced the lance around his waist and used his strength to stab straight. Lin Li's expression seemed disgruntled. Dark cutting attached itself to the sword and delivered an upward strike, deflecting the opponent's attack a little. Immediately afterward, it was the blade that was sharp to the extreme, devouring all energy along the way, blasting towards Wu Qing's chest. This strike was fast, accurate, and vicious. 
if it was a strong person of the same strength level, it would be difficult to receive it. The problem was that Wu Qing was not a strong person of the same level. The blade landed impartially on his chest, and was stopped by the dark armor that had long been attached to it. In the blink of an eye, it dissipated. This strike by Mr. Lin is very good. Amongst his peers, no one can stop it. Teacher Wu, words of bragging are exempt. If you suppress your strength any further, then you are looking down on me. Wu Qing was startled. His eyes dodged as he defended. How could I? How could I suppress my strength? Mr. Lin you're joking. That high-ranking alien from Huali. When he gets his hands dirty, he can defeat me with a lift of his hand. Do you mean to say that you're inferior to him? Lin Li's wave of agitation worked. Wu Qing was dumbfounded by his dislike. Saying that he was inferior to Huali's trash? Who could endure this? Good. Since student Lin said so. Then I, Wu, will be offended. As soon as the words fell, the aura of a high-ranking fourth-level powerhouse exploded. A strong wind blew the crowd's eyes open. Lin Li, on the other hand, was exceptionally excited. This was the kind of effect he wanted. If you're not strong, how do you deserve to fight? Dark cut. A black blade sliced through the air and went straight to Wu Qing's neck. Not enough. Boom. With a casual punch, the dark bladed aura dissipated to nothing. Black curtain. Wu Qing's vision gradually became blurry as the darkness power acted on top of the space, absorbing all the light through and through. Student Lin's moves are good, but, well, it seems like he was careless. Wu Qing waved his hand, and the black mist in front of him instantly dissipated. This was absolute suppression. This time, it was his turn to strike. Wu Qing withdrew his lance, as it was useless. With a simple punch, he appeared in front of Lin Li in the blink of an eye. Boom! A muffled sound came from the two figures backing up sharply. A trace of surprise crossed Wu Qing's eyes. What the hell was this big guy? Just before Lin Li's body, a demon had appeared at some point. The strength of a middle rank 5. It was barely enough to block Wu Qing's plain and simple punch. It was the recoil that was not small. It toppled Lin Li backward by more than 10 meters. Classmate Lin. What is this? As a fellow darkness faculty ability, how come Wu Qing hadn't come into contact with this kind of thing? Could Mr. Wu have heard a saying? Darkness, which can devour everything, can forge all things. This is the power of casting. After saying that, Lin Li summoned again. Dozens of demons wrapped Wu Qing in three layers inside and three layers outside. Seeing this, the surrounding students applauded and shouted. Wu Qing was indeed a bit shocked, but not enough to panic. With just these dozens of low rank, middle rank demons, it really wasn't enough to look at. Student Lin, watch this. Wu Qing raised his right foot, bending it at 90 degrees to his thigh, and the power of darkness gathered crazily. Lin Li seemed to have realized something, and the dark barrier wrapped around his entire body in a hurry. Rumble, along with the roaring sound, the dark foreign energy that was shaped like substance and much like a tidal wave engulfed everything. All demons instantly dissipated. The dark barrier in front of Lin Li was only supported for less than three seconds before it completely shattered. Then, Lin Li was blown away. With this fall, he almost didn't get his brains out. Not only Lin Li, but also the remaining dozens of students who were watching the show. All of them were unable to react in time, and thus were affected by the fall, falling more miserably than one another. A thumbs up silently. This was the true strength of a high-ranked alien. Gongzi, are you alright? Ling Xing rushed closer in a panic and helped Lin Li up. Hiss, touching his head. What a big bag. Can it be okay? It's fine. Mr. Wu is indeed powerful. Killing everyone in one hit. Wu Qing reacted. First scratching his head in embarrassment. Then after sensing the gaze filled with killing intent. He wimped out. That expression was simply worse than crying. Lord Ling Xing. This. I this. I didn't do it on purpose. Ling Xing. Lin Li chided in a disgruntled low voice. Ling Xing hurriedly withdrew his gaze and dispersed his alien energy. Good lord. Almost made a move. Ding bell. A pleasant bell rang for the end of class. And Wu Qing heaved a sigh of relief. This class was so tiring. Ahem. Class dismissed. After saying these words, Wu Qing ran out of sight in a puff of smoke. Finally class is over. Ling Xing, go eat. Okay Gongzi. The first day of school ended here. Afternoon? There were no classes in the afternoon. The dark academy system was even so. Half a day of classes. Half a day of self-cultivation. Otherwise, what to take to promote strength? Simply, after eating, Lin Li returned to the villa. Didn't go back to the bedroom but headed to the special cultivation room. Motherfucker, more than a hundred elemental crystals, more than a hundred exotic beast crystals. Among them, there is no lack of high-level darkness. Just casually spend it? The feeling of having money is really good ah. So, under Lin Li's diligent cultivation, by evening, a breakthrough finally came. 
My lord, Chief Yi is back, inside the cultivation room littered with crystals, Lin Li slowly opened his eyes, after calming the more violent foreign energy in his body, he got up and pushed open the door, Brother Chang is back, where, looking east, looking west, there was no sign of Yi Chang, Ling Xing scratched his head and said, ah, uh, just left, it seems like he went to the holy temple to hold some kind of meeting, wow, what time is it now, half past ten, Lin Li touched his belly and grunted, go, dry rice to go, twenty minutes later, catering city, Fu Yue building, you piece of trash, you dare to eat bully food in my Fu Yue building, give me a beating, you fart, I just happened to lose my wallet, I, Yuan Guan Yuan, walk the walk, sit properly, never eat king's dinner, righteous, sit properly, look at you, you're so poor, you don't have anything worthwhile from head to toe, how dare you talk like a dead duck, give me a good beating, in front of Noda's Fu Yue building, there's a show going on right now, our old acquaintance, Yuan Guan Yuan, at this moment, is being surrounded and beaten by seven or eight restaurant fellows, the fellows are actually all low-level altered beings, and Yuan Guan Yuan's current strength is only at the fourth level, one against eight, Ultraman can't even help him, within a short time, Yuan Guan Yuan was beaten into a second division, lying on the ground and grunting, it's bad luck to run into a piece of trash like you, carry away, the owner of the restaurant waved his hand, and seven or eight fellows rolled up their arms and sleeves and prepared to strike, slow down, an indifferent voice came, and the whole place fell silent, Linley carried a cup of milk tea and leisurely strolled through the crowd to the front of Fuyue building, just now, he heard the familiar sound of killing pigs from a long distance away, getting close to see, it is really big Xiang, how did this kid also run to the dark kingdom, is it fate that hasn't run its course, Agu, Mr. Lin, the owner of the restaurant was a Mediterranean, with a fat body type and a bit of a greasy feeling, seeing Linley was like seeing the god of wealth, his eyes glowing, he hurriedly went forward to say hello, unfortunately, Linley simply did not pay attention to him, dead fat man, eat a meal dare to ask for 66 million, did not send someone to clean up your good, does Xiang, is the king's meal good, Yuan Guan Yuan wiped the blood on his forehead and rubbed his eyes again before he could see the person in front of him, Linley, you, why are you here, I should be the one to ask you this, right, how long have you been in the dark kingdom, even I don't know, just, just came, just came, Linley frowned, could it be that this kid was also like Linny E, met some predicament and was desperate, boss, the best room, the best dishes, clean up this kid, the debt he owes is on my account, let, you inside please, the owner of the restaurant groveled, respectfully, this scene gave Yuan De Xiang a confused look, when did Linley become so rich, tell me, how did you come to the dark kingdom, Linley took a sip of small wine and asked lightly, Yuan Guan Yuan held a big pig's hoof and nodded vigorously, and that situation, the zombies had to recognize their relatives when they came, didn't this bastard just eat a king's dinner, how is it still like a starving ghost, cough cough, cough cough, the, choking you to death, Linley didn't even have the eyes to look down, this bastard's nature hasn't changed at all ah, I, I was brought back by Lord Chief, not long ago, Ming Xian Academy expelled me, brother Chang, expelled, why did they expel you, Yuan Guan Yuan put down his pig's trotters and wiped the tears that hadn't fallen yet and said, at the academy, I offended Jean Tianhua, and he designed to frame me for the crime of murderer, then the academy expelled me and issued a wanted notice for me, I hid for days, no food, no sleep, all day long I was afraid of being caught, six hours ago, Chief Yi met me and told me that if I joined the dark kingdom, I wouldn't have to worry about food or clothing, and one day I can even go to Ming Xian Academy to take revenge, then I definitely agreed, and just after arriving at the Dark Kingdom, Shif Yi hurried off to a meeting, I searched for half a day to find a place to eat, I thought I didn't have to pay, but it turned out, put, Ling Xing on the side didn't hold back and burst out laughing, even Lin Li couldn't help but laugh, this one was too is that, what people meant was that by joining the Dark Kingdom and becoming a member of the Dark Organization, they would be able to obtain high rewards, subsidies, and be assigned a safe and warm residence, where does it say that you don't have to pay for your meals, you've eaten too much xiang and you've lost your mind, haven't you, blah, 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 it's disgusting, hey, say you poor, indeed poor, say you deserve it, but you do deserve it, when you were in high school, you were careless and self-righteous all day long, have you received a lot of lessons, now, it is still the same behavior, do you realize the pain of reality? Do you feel your own ignorance? Do you recognize the cruelest human nature? Lin Li's three consecutive questions completely broke Yuan Guan Yuan's last line of defense. He cried out with a wow sound. Tears, snot, and saliva all flowed down together. 
Linli and Ling Xing had no desire to eat. Only after this bastard finished crying did Linli ask the waitstaff to change the table again. I'm also quite curious. How did brother Chung seek to bring you back? Because he has hatred in his heart. A black mist appeared on the seat beside Linli, and Yi Cheng's familiar face came into view once again. When there is hatred, there is motivation. And when there is motivation, there is power. Our dark kingdom accommodates not only strong people, but also avengers who carry hatred, killing intent, and resentment. Seeing Yi Chang, Ling Xing hurriedly got up and half kneeled on the ground. See you, Lord Chief. Meal time, no need to be polite. Sit down. Yes, Ling Xing sat upright, no longer daring to relax. Brother Chang, how was the harvest of this trip? Lin Li helped Yi Chang pour a glass of wine and asked curiously. It went pretty well. Met a few old friends and an old elder. On the contrary, it's you. 300 million wanted. The whole alien world. You are the most famous ah. Yi Cheng lightly smiled and clinked glasses with Lin Li, then drank it all in one go. He he he. Famous is famous. There's nothing to say. Sun Wukong and Huang Fei Baking are determined to get rid of me. Then I, for one, am determined to get rid of them. One day, I will make the six academies disappear from this world. Let all those who have blocked me and hated me pay the price. Yuan Guan Yuan on the opposite side of the table had his mouth wide open at the moment, not moving a muscle. There were a billion points of shock in front of his eyes. Lin Li was sitting on an equal footing with Yi Chang, talking and laughing? Lin Li was going to eradicate the six great academies and take out the six greatest supreme beings? Lin Li's bounty is as high as 300 million? Then what am I? Ambitious, but I don't agree. The existence of the six great academies isn't wrong. It's a place that responds to the demands of the times and holds the hopes of humanity. If they die out, it will be a fatal blow to humanity. The invasion of foreign beasts is becoming more and more frequent, and with a great war on the horizon, humanity should be united as one to defend against foreign enemies. Of course, this doesn't mean that we will just tolerate and retreat. If those guys don't know what's good for them, then let's teach them a proper lesson. Killing a few chickens won't hurt. Lindley was silent for a while, feeling as if there was some truth to it. The current situation on the Divine Continent was getting more and more tense. So if there was a lot of infighting, it would only allow that group of brutes to take advantage of the situation. Other forces, organizations aside, this Huali alone seems to be detrimental to the general situation. Lin Li briefly recounted the secrets that he had pried out from those unlucky bastards. Yi Chang didn't have much of a reaction after hearing it. There are indeed a lot of secrets in Huali. Huang Fei baking is very uncomplicated. There is no way to know what exactly they are plotting so far. Don't be anxious, we still have time. Put in a long line to catch a big fish. Yi Chang left Lin Li with a meaningful gaze, as if everything was under control. The meal is over. Go home and sleep. Sunrise, late for class. Beautiful teacher. Spring breeze floating. Half a day's lesson. All in vain. Keep practicing. The results are not visible. The road ahead is long. Developing skills, dark rhythms. Early to bed, early to rise. Tomorrow indulgence. Time. Came to the morning of the third day. Midterm exams are about to begin. The first year, a total of more than a thousand students were in neat rows, waiting for the vice dean, Optimus Prime, to speak. The old man doesn't look like a good person. Why do you say that? This prime minister, from the face, is the pure villain category. It is not a sharp mouth, fat head and ears, nor is it a thieving eyebrow, brutal and unkind. Rather, it is the dark light flowing in the eyes, lined with deep eyebrows. The face was gloomy and cold, and it was impossible to tell if he was happy or sad, especially the aura on the body, too oozing. It seems sinister, violent, and bloodthirsty. Everyone be quiet. The prime minister finally opened his mouth. All the teachers and students on the field tightly closed their lips, waiting for someone to play B. Extra nonsense I don't want to say more. The usual, midterm test, 1 minute and 30 seconds as a passing standard. Those who fail the test. You will be given a chance. You can challenge a trial officer of a lower level. Pass. No reward. Fail to pass. Then you have no value of existence. Linley straight away called out good guy. Fail the exam and have no value of existence? Straight to death? Crap. This was definitely the most powerful exam in human history. Ling Xing. According to what this old man said. Wouldn't that eliminate a lot of people every year? It's true that some people will be eliminated. But not many. The so-called second exam. The difficulty coefficient will be greatly reduced. That is, it will be like the fourth or fifth level of the intermediate order. If even one and a half minutes can't last, it means that this person has no motivation. His heart and disposition are extremely poor. Cultivating them will only waste more resources and time. What about an interloper like me? Ah, uh, 
Ling Xing sighed, conduct the exam as usual, the difficulty will be lowered by that much. A drop? Lin Li was startled. He wasn't worried about himself, but rather Lin Yi Yi, Yuan Guang Yuan and the two of them. Through that meal the night before, Yuan Guang Yuan had changed his ways and said that he would follow Lin Li and be his little brother. Lin Li didn't refuse. After all, he is an old hometown. What's the saying? The hometown to see the hometown. Two tears. Moreover, it is still three years of classmates. There is no great hatred, great grudges, as the development of their own forces. The problem is, this guy can't do it. The first four levels, as usual, should be able to hold out for one and a half minutes. It refers to the middle ranked enemy. But this guy's IQ is limited. Lin Li is afraid that he will be brain dead and go up to others. There's also Lin Yi Yi. This girl has average talent and even more average strength. Mainly because she had been tossing and turning for a month, she basically hadn't practiced much, with only the strength of the second level of the first stage, not to mention the high stage and the middle stage. She wouldn't be able to support even the powerful ones in the beginner's rank. One must know that this was the Darkness Academy. Within the 22 classes, except for the last one or two classes that were generally lower in strength. The rest, after half a year of growth, were at least at the fifth or sixth level of the primary order. There were even more people at the seventh and eighth levels of the primary order. Four people. Passing the exam was by no means a difficult task. Just be slightly more serious. I declare the midterm exams. Officially begin. As the last words of the Prime Buddha ended, dozens of examiners mounted the ring. Here, there were a total of 22 rings corresponding to the 22 classes, the strength of the examiners would naturally fall in a stepwise manner. A, B, C, and D, the four classes, all aimed for the high rank exam, through the high level examination, not only can prove their own strength, but also to obtain the attention of the academy, the senior staff of the temple, light will be rewarded, heavy will be added to the title, after graduation directly as a so-and-so position, the dark academy is not as petty as the holy royal, the rewards are all high quality crystals. The rewards for the top three were even customized elemental artifacts. At the mention of elemental artifacts, Linley was annoyed. Damned Saint Royal, damned old man's son, still owed himself an elemental artifact that he hadn't given. One day, it must be doubled back. Chen Zhanfeng, please come up to the stage. A short girl with a ponytail listened and walked straight up to the ring. Beginner level 9. Very good. Look at the examiner again. Higher order 8th grade. Ha! Your Excellency, this person is named Fengling, Thunder System Ability, the same as me as an executive officer, currently under Inquisitor Mu Xin. Mu Xin? How does it compare to Wo Lei? Comparable and divided. Lin Li nodded, then focused his attention on the ring. The girl named Qin Zhanfang had already exchanged blows with Fengling. A flame barrier stood in front of her, without the slightest intention to attack. It looked like she was trying to rely on her defense skills to hold on until one and a half points. Thunder! A pillar of thunder light descended from the sky, striking the barrier with unerring precision. Obviously, the opponent didn't use his full strength. The power of thunder did not manage to break through the opponent's defense, only leaving a scorched black mark in the center of the barrier. Chen Zhanfang's face showed joy and strengthened his foreign energy support. Second strike. Thunder light art. Without any expression, Feng Ling continued to launch his attack. A ball of thunder half a person high rushed straight towards Chen Zhanfang. Linley stood under the stage and rolled his eyes. This girl is afraid that she doesn't have a dysfunctional cerebellum. Such a big ring. You don't go to dodge. You just know how to resist. How confident are you in your own strength? Rumble. Chen Zhanfang. Grade. Fail. Hey. Talent ah. Xia Jie. Please come to the stage. Yo, it's his turn so soon? Linley looked at the ring with interest. Xiao Jie's strength was good. And his fighting mindset was also very good. It shouldn't be a problem to last for two or three minutes in the hands of this Feng Mandarin. Lord Feng. I'm offended. After getting on the stage, Xiao Jia pressed on with no intention of defending, and still had those two dark long swords. Only, this time, it wasn't a melee battle. A sharp blade cut through the air, leaving scars on the stone surface of the ring. A hint of color flashed in Feng Ling's gaze, as if he had come to be interested. The surface of his fist was attached to the power of thunder and lightning, blasting the blades to pieces in turn. You will pay the price for your carelessness. Feng Ling's figure instantly disappeared in place. A strand of purple current that flashed rapidly. Death sword dance. As the saying goes, offense is the best defense. Xiao Jie spun around in place. The black sword in his hand dancing rapidly. Blade after blade spread out in all directions. And no matter which angle the enemy attacked from, they would all be impacted. Boom. 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 Sure enough, in its position directly to the right, 
The sound of an energy impact was heard. It was definitely impossible to block it. With the disparity in strength between the two sides, what Shao Jia had to do was only to confirm the enemy's position so that he could make his next countermeasure. Shadow binding. A ball of dark energy quickly forced its way towards Feng Ling from the ground. Shao Jia himself also stopped spinning in circles and raised both swords in his hands, following closely behind. With this strike, it would either bind the opponent and be cut by himself, either let the other party break the bind and be cut by himself. Anyway, he was determined to let the other party be cut by himself no matter what. Linley, who was watching the battle from the stage, shook his head slightly. He still underestimates the strength of a high-ranked alien. The Thunder System specializes in more than just explosions. And speed. Just at the moment when the dark energy on the stage was about to touch Fongling, the purple current flashed once again. Almost in the blink of an eye, it disappeared in place. A coolness came from behind. Shao Jia subconsciously converged on the dark barrier. When he heard a muffled bang, the powerful impact sent him flying several meters. His body couldn't stop rushing forward. Fortunately, he stopped less than a meter away from the edge of the ring. Otherwise, after leaving the ring, he would have been ruled unqualified. Having learned his lesson, Shao Jia no longer dared to be careless, focusing all of his alien energy on the protective wall in front of his body. He counted the time and held on for another 20 seconds, counting it as a victory. Thunder Light Art. It was still the same familiar move, familiar power, familiar sense of oppression. But, the difference was, Shao Jia was smarter, exploding into full speed and roaming around the ring. Why fight hard when you can dodge? Is it pleasurable to be masochistic? Linley just wanted to give it a nod of approval. But when he saw that thunderball cruising on its own, he knew that he was the one who was too naive. These days, positioning and navigation technology, that's a barrage. It was popularized on skill moves. The thunderball was sticking to Shao Jie's ass, and he couldn't shake it off. Seeing that it was getting closer and closer, Shao Jie made a logical and unexpected decision. He pounced on Feng Ling, when he rushed to a distance of less than 2 meters in front of him. He did his best to dodge the enemy's incoming fists, then braked sharply, reversed direction, and ran away with all his might. The imagined explosive impact did not happen, because the thunderball was retrieved by Feng Ling. After all, it was someone else's skill. How could it possibly hurt him? Ding dong, 1 minute and 30 seconds exactly. The result is qualified. The cold mechanical tone came from the back of the side of the ring. Shao Jie patted his chest and sighed in relief. Next, it was the high score battle. The longer you supported yourself, the higher the score you would receive. Your fighting skills are very good. I'm going to get serious next. Feng Ling's expression grew more and more serious as he raised his hands, and the terrifying to suffocating power of thunder rapidly gathered. There was no wind in the surroundings and the sky was surging with storm clouds. This bee was going to come for real. The students near the ring backed away in unison, fearing that the waves would affect them. Shao Jie on the stage unconsciously gulped. This strike could definitely not be dodged, and could only try to resist it. Thunderclap. ZZZ. Dense electric light filled the entire ring. Onlookers at this moment, are unconsciously close their eyes. This electric welding was so damn piercing to the eyes. The burst of flash lasted more than 10 seconds, until a broken sound came from the stage, and only then gradually dimmed down. Xia Jie, 2 minutes and 14 seconds. Rating, 87 points. Wow. Pa 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 pa. The surrounding audience first burst into an uproar, followed by that overwhelmingly enthusiastic applause. A score of 87 points was already quite good. At the very least, it was something that would be focused on by executives, or even inquisitor level figures. It was going to be brilliant. Chi Fei soaring. Please come on stage. Xiao Jia was carried out of the ring by two rescuers and sent to the treatment center. The man was truly manly, and the misery was truly miserable. His whole body was scorched black. It was estimated that his mother couldn't even recognize him when she came. Ling Xing, you say, in a moment, is it possible for me to turn into this demeanor as well? Don't worry Gongzi, I've greeted him in advance. This kid is not stupid. The relationship between you and Chi Fi is clear in everyone's mind. What the hell? When did you say hello? Who asked you to? Lin Li immediately drooped his face and questioned with great dissatisfaction. Ling Xing bowed slightly, with a cozy return. My lord, your safety is the most important thing no matter who it is, no one can be a threat to you. This vestigial feeling, one had become a national level protected animal. Hey, bar going through the storm, how can we see the rainbow? No one will succeed casually. I need to be practiced and challenged, okay? Ling Xing raised his head, blinked, and made a gesture. Okay, okay my ass. All right, you don't need to accompany me. Go check on Lin Yi and Yuan Guan Yuan. Think of a way to keep them from being eliminated. 
Yes, your excellency. Boom. Chi Fei Sword. 1 minute and 44 seconds. Rating, 69 points. So fast? In a fart's effort, another one was solved. Linley looked around, found a sunny place, sat down, and slowly waited for the number to be called. This wait was an hour. There were 50 students in the class, and Linley was the last one. But don't say, the probability of passing first year class A was quite high. Out of the 49 people, 42 passed the high level test. For the rest, there shouldn't be much of a problem with the intermediate order test. Student Linley, please come up to the stage. It was finally his turn. Linley got up and patted his butt, walking straight up to the ring. Lin Idol, go for it. Fight to finish off Fongling. Crap, who's so brave? Lin Idol, let him see the true strength of a dark legend. Lin Idol, if you win, I'll give you a monkey. Bullshit, it should be me. This group of fervent little red fans all gave Linley a hard time. If you win, you'll give birth to a monkey? You scared this baby. Student Lin, all along, I've especially appreciated you. Legend of the Dark World. Let me take a lesson from you. Your dark shadow army. Fongling really knows how to act. The acting is so damn realistic. It's good that you're a face paralyzer who doesn't speak. But when you do, it's even more like you're faking. Instructor Fong, I hope you can treat this test very seriously. Absolutely. Absolutely. No. No. Can. Put. Water. What are you talking about? Mr. Lin. I. Fongling. Definitely won't. Will. Release. Water. Of course. Come on. This bastard seemed to have misunderstood the meaning. It's just that. He's the one who suffers anyway. So Linley just treats it as if he's hitting a sandbag. Instructor Fong, please teach me. Dark rhythm. Linley's palm rushed forward, and a powerful, yet extremely profound darkness power surged madly. With his feet as the benchmark, nearly the entire ring was eroded by darkness. Suddenly, Fong Ling realized that something was wrong and did a side flip to dodge through the large amount of black chi that emerged from the ground. This wisp of black gas looked like it was fluttering and had little destructive power. In reality, it contained a terrifying power of devouring and erosion. Fong Ling was clear that if he had just touched the black gas, his skin would have been traumatized. A micro trauma was also an injury. Boom! Another ball of black chi erupted from the ground, and Fong Ling once again dodged to escape. Immediately afterward, wherever Fong Ling went, the black chi from the ground would follow and spray to wherever he went, unless he was willing to jump out of the ring. But, it was stated in the rules that if the examiner dropped out of the ring, then it would be considered a win for the student. A hallowed executive officer, could he afford to lose that one? Student Lin, you are indeed very strong. Fong Ling's face was heavier. These words were not a boast, but an exclamation from the bottom of his heart. The strength that Lin Li was showing right now had already surpassed all of his classmates. With this strike alone, he could battle a strong middle stage mid-ranker. Instructor Fong, your praise is a bit too early. This is just the beginning. What? A look of astonishment flashed across Fong Ling's eyes, and immediately afterward, the ground began to tremble, and the darkness grew thicker and thicker. This is, the Dark Shadow Legion. Hundreds of demons burrowed out from the ground, densely packed in a large swath, completely occupying the ring. Among them, there were also a small number of flying demons, lifting their wings and hovering in the sky, always ready for a surprise attack. Fong Ling's entire body was not well. Hundreds of oddly shaped demons, most of which were middle ranked, and there was even a large monster with a devil's horn and a long black shadowed sword, whose strength was comparable to that of a ninth ranked middle class. This amount was truly shocking to the entire audience. However, Linley himself knew very well that this group of demons had strength, but no combat power. They were nothing more than an illusion. Dragging the other side for a period of time is not a problem. If you want to defeat, oh, simply impossible. Now this situation can be considered to Fong Ling choked. Let the water out? If you look at this situation, you'll be in trouble if you let go of the water again. No, if you promise someone something, how can you not fulfill it? Moreover, if he doesn't let go and injures Linley, what if Yi Cheng comes after him later? Fong Ling, if you don't take it seriously, you're going to lose the face of the Dark Kingdom executives. Linley was really convinced by this old six. What's the situation? Still hesitating? Fong Ling Ling dodged and dodged while being torn. Finally, the time arrived. Ding dong. 1 minute and 30 seconds exactly. Passing grade. Fong Ling sighed in relief. Like this, he should be able to deliver. Student Lin. I'm offended. After holding his tongue for half a day, Fong Ling finally chose to counterattack. Thunderbolt. It was that piercing electric weld again. And Lin Li hurriedly released a dark barrier to wrap himself around it. Z z z z. The piercing purple light lasted for another 10 seconds or so. But this time, 
No and beep sounded. In other words, Linley carried it off. When the light dispersed, the surrounding crowd of eaters hurriedly got up and tilted their heads towards the center position of the ring. At this moment, Linley was majestically holding a black longsword and pointing it at Fong Ling. There were no injuries on his body. It was the hundred or so demons that had dissipated without a trace. I have to say, the difference between this beginning level 9 and beginning level 10 isn't half a star. In terms of the dark barrier alone, if it was at the ninth level, Linley would have been electrocuted into a fool. And just now, that strike was completely blocked by himself. Even though there was a demon in front of him to consume the might of the enemy's attack, it still proved that the strength had progressed a great deal from before. Student Lin, you, you, Fong Ling couldn't believe his eyes, just now that strike, even though he hadn't used his full strength, but even a middle-ranked alien would have a hard time resisting it, right? This Linley's talent was very strong, and it was normal to challenge him at a higher level. The problem was that Linley had gone a little too far, right? Instructor Fong, the battle isn't over yet. Linley's figure flashed, and the longsword in his hand stabbed straight forward. Fong Ling's face couldn't stand it any longer. If it dragged on any longer, what face would he have as an executive officer? The explosive power of the Thunder System ability suddenly appeared, surrounded by powerful electric current, instantly disappeared in the same place. Lin Li's blow fell short, and he hurriedly turned back, but the full force of a high-level psychic's outburst, how could he withstand it? As a huge force like a mountain torrent came, Lin Li flew backwards without any surprise and fell under the ring. Ding dong, 4 minutes and 44 seconds, rating, 100 points. Lin Li held his waist and struggled to get up, shaking his head with a bitter smile. The gap was still too big ah. Student Lin, how are you doing? Let me send you to treatment. Fong Ling came back to his senses and directly bounced down to the ring with a big jump. Seeing Lin Li in this state, he was genuinely a little worried. Of course not worried about Lin Li, but worried about himself. Worrying about whether or not he would receive a beating. Gongzi, how are you doing Gongzi? At this time, Ling Xing also rushed back from afar. Seeing Lin Li in this state, he immediately glared fiercely at Fong Ling. All right, all right, nothing's wrong, make a fuss. This male secretary was becoming more and more maternalized. How is it holding a grudge like a little girl? How are the two of them? Lin Yi Yi and Yuan Guan Yuan? My lord, I'm here to report to you and ask for instructions. Miss Lin Yi Yi has passed the intermediate level test. But, Mr. Yuan Guan Yuan is not so lucky. Passing the intermediate level test was only a second away. And now, trouble is a bit big. Lin Li secretly said that it was not good. To be able to make Ling Xing say that the trouble was big, then the trouble was really big. Can't we go through the back door? It was possible to go through the back door. But I didn't expect to be interfered with by Kung Tuwa. This person has always been ruthless in his work. And he refuses to sell anyone except for the face of old Dean Yi. Humph, refusing to sell anyone? I would like to see what he is capable of. Take me there. With that, Ling Xing led the way. The two quickly arrived at Yuan Guan Yuan's location. Brother Lai. Save me brother Lai. I don't want to die. Vice President Prime. I should be the one to deal with any mistakes my people make. I'm afraid it's a bit improper for you to act in such a manner. Isn't it? Improper? Prime Tua turned around. His gaze grim as he locked eyes with Linley. This is the rules of the Darkness Academy. The Darkness Kingdom. Anyone who is eliminated from the exam must die. Student Lin. Even if you have a high status, it's nothing compared to the rules of the Dark Kingdom. Ha! Rules are dead. People are alive. Yuan Guan Yuan joined the Dark Kingdom less than two days ago. And his strength has not been cultivated. So how can you decide that he can't? Vice Dean Prime, if you're bent on having your way, I'm afraid you'll attract the discontent of the students. Ha ha ha. Prime Tua lowered his voice and laughed in a particularly oozing manner. The Dark Kingdom only talks about rules, not favors, even if Chief Yi comes today, there's no way I'll release him. Ken Tuo's aura grew thicker and thicker, and more than a dozen of his subordinate instructors lit up their supernatural abilities and positioned themselves behind him. Unbridled, you dare to disrespect Lord Holy Lord? Where are the 36 guards? Ling Xing took a large step forward, utilizing his foreign energy to spread his voice throughout the sky. Immediately afterward, dozens of figures swept through the sky and descended straight in front of Linley. The 36 legendary guards are here. Executive officer. Quan Jia is here. Executive officer. Long Chang is here. Executive officer. Chao Yi is here. Ling Xing stepped forward and stood right in front of the group, pointing the ice-cold sword in his hand at Kang Tuo. Kang Tuo, do you want to rebel? The forty strong men present uniformly erupted with a shocking aura. The shocking impact forced the melon-eating students within a thousand meter radius to retreat. A black candle dragon silhouette appeared right above the group. The dragon's head was aimed at Prime Buddha, 
and a vast and far-reaching aura filled the air. Good means, the candle dragon shadow formation has been practiced. Kengtuo's complexion grew lower and lower, and the ten or so instructors behind him had long been overwhelmed by the other party's aura. At this moment, they were being weakened by their legs and feet, and cold sweat was pouring out. Vice Dean Prime, I'll say it one last time, my people, leave them to me. A cloud of black mist wrapped Linli and appeared beside Ling Xing in a flash. At this moment, Linli was like that Nine Heavens demon monarch, his eyes turning darker and darker. The great terrifying aura from the Dark Origin caused everyone present to feel their hearts tremble. Kangtuo was no exception. He was a super class level powerhouse, but he would be bluffed by the aura emanating from a yellow haired kid. It was too unthinkable. Kangtuo, release the people. It was at the time when both sides had their swords drawn and a great battle was about to break out. A pale and aged voice echoed beside his ears. Linley instantly regained his senses, the terrifying and bizarre aura on his body dissipating completely. Just now, what happened? Linley looked around blankly. When did he run ahead? Yes, Dean. Kengtuo really listened to Yi Kangxing's words, and although he was a little upset in his heart, he chose to release him. Thank you, old Dean. Linley faced the direction of the source of the voice and bowed his head slightly in thanks. It was fortunate that Yi Kangxing had stopped it or else a big battle would have been inevitable. Brother Li, you're my living father ah brother Li. Yuan Guan Yuan got rid of his restraints and rushed to the near front, so he didn't kneel down for Lin Li. All right, big man crying chicken hair, go back and practice tightly. If you fall off the chain for me again, you'll go home and raise pigs. Yes, 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 I, Yuan Guan Yuan, will definitely break through to primary level 5 within a month. Lin Li was all speechless, ambitionless thing. A month's time and the goal is one level? Optimus Prime. Linley, you two come to my office. Yes, yes. The two of them answered the drink at the same time and glanced at each other. Linley's gaze had a slight daze in it, and Kengtuo's gaze had a slight complexity in it. Student Lin, please. Vice Dean Prime is polite. You too, please. The relationship between the two instantly took a 180 degree turn. It caused everyone present to be confused and filled with question marks. These two people, it's all for naught if they don't enter the palace. Knock knock knock. Come in. Kangtuo pushed open the black office door and took the lead. Linley followed closely behind. The two came to the desk and stood side by side. Old Dean Yi, Grandpa Yi. Kangtuo stared at Linley with wide eyes, full of incredulity. Student Lin, don't be rude. Old Dean Yi, ha ha, there's no harm in it. I'm the one who told him to call out. Yi Kangxing stroked that rubbed white mustache. Smiling kindly but slightly majestically. Kang Tuo ah, uh, do you know, why I called you over? Kang Tuo knows. Oh, then tell me. Kang Tuo took a deep breath and slowly said. Lin Li killed my son. You think I have a grudge in my heart. So you'll target him. You who? This time it was Lin Li who was shocked. Is this old boy so frank? It was a man. Yes, but not all. I know you. Even if you have a grudge in your heart, you won't easily manifest it. And what just happened? You were indeed acting impartially. The reason why I called you here is that there is another thing I need you to do. The Prime Minister raised his head, still with the same cold look, only, his eyes grew more and more resolute. Tomorrow at noon, together with Xiao Chang and the others, head to Huali. Traveling to Huali? Lin Li didn't hold back and subconsciously took off his mouth. Kang Tuo leads the way. Ha, huh? this old kid agreed without even asking? Grandpa Yi, what is Brother Cheng up to? To give Wali a little punishment. For me? Yi Kangxing nodded his head then shook it again. Not really. Huali sent three undercover agents to try and infiltrate the Dark Kingdom today. The purpose, naturally, is to rush towards you. But, this is also provoking the Dark Kingdom. Three times involving our bottom line, without giving them a lesson. How can we stay grounded? Look at how this was said. Too domineering. Grandpa Yi. I. No way. Crap, did I say what I was going to do? You're not strong enough to participate in high-level battles. Doing will only distract them from taking care of you. Linley nodded slightly. Indeed. A bunch of high level, super level powerhouses fighting. A small beginner level trash like himself going. Wouldn't he be purely looking for a beating? For this exam, you achieved a percent score. Kang Tuo, the matter of the elemental spells. I'll leave it to you. Understood. Elemental magic weapon. Hey hey hey. This old Dean Yi was really atmospheric, and did not default on the wages of the grassroots. He was a good contractor. Thank you Grandpa Yi. Ha ha. Go on. Do whatever you need to do. Old Dean. Kang Tuo will leave. Grandpa Yi. I'll chat with you some other time. Good good good. With that, the duo exited the office door. Just after taking two steps, Kang Tuo stopped. Student Lin. What type of magic weapon do you want? 
I'll send someone to customize it for you. Sword, that has to be a sword, not for any other reason, just because swords were the most handsome and the most capable of pretending. A sword to chop mountains and rivers, a sword to break the void, a sword to destroy all things. See how handsome the sword immortal and the sword god are in that novel? The sword symbolizes justice? Bullshit. A weapon is a weapon. It's most important that it's easy to use. Any other requests? Linley held his chin and thought about it. It has to look good. It must be sharp. The dark attribute bonus must be strong. Saying it was the same as not saying it. Kangtuo let out a snort and left. Before leaving, he didn't forget to leave a deadline. After seven days, someone will deliver it. Linley rubbed his hands together and couldn't wait to see his own exclusive elemental magic weapon. Afternoon time, practicing as usual. Since Linley had stepped into the tenth level of the primary stage, the speed of his cultivation had decreased quite a bit. It took two days before he managed to light up an elemental star. According to what Ling Xing said was, the tenth level of each stage was the most difficult bottleneck to break through. To exaggerate, the amount of elemental essences that Linley would need to draw from to break through the tenth level now would be the total amount of the first nine levels put together. It would even be more. In fact, in this current situation, if Linley wanted to break through quickly, it wasn't without a solution. The essence drawn from the darkness crystals was much purer than the other elemental crystals. At this rate, breaking through within 10 days wasn't a problem. The problem was that the side effects were simply too great. Linley could clearly perceive that his mind had been affected, especially this morning, when he confronted the Prime Tutor. Nearly losing his mind, he couldn't even figure out who was controlling his body. If it is not controlled and calmed down, it will be dangerous in the future. So that is why, right now, this situation, it is better to practice a little bit to be stable. It was late at night. The familiar ringtone of the phone rang. It was Xiaoya calling. Brother, how are you doing in the Dark Kingdom? Are you living well? Of course it's good. Free and unfettered. Everyone here worships your brother. Brother, why didn't you tell me the truth earlier? Now the six colleges all regard you as a public enemy. Some days ago, I begged Dean Wong to step in and put in a good word for you. But it turned out, it's basically of little use. Saint Imperial's Dean Sun and Hua Li's Dean Huang are exceptionally resolute in their attitudes. And no matter how hard the others try, they won't be able to change it. Lin Li smiled disdainfully, dark shadows flowing in his gaze and said, Xiao Ya, you've just come into contact with the alien energy world, and you don't understand many things yet. The six colleges ostensibly uphold justice, symbolizing the hope of mankind, but in reality, oh, everything has good and evil, yin and yang, not to mention human nature. Brothers matter you do not interfere again, I am now living a good life. The darkness department should have the darkness department belongs, and you, should also have your belonging. But brother Linley, I heard from Dean Wang that the sacred royalty, Huali is discussing with the other four houses to raise an army to conquer the Dark Kingdom. And the purpose, most likely, lies in you. For me, for me, the six courtyards to jointly conquer the Dark Kingdom? Linley was amused. These few old things were truly capable of bloodshed. In order to eradicate themselves, they didn't hesitate to start a crusade and raise their troops to attack. This kind of behavior didn't care in the slightest about humanity's current situation. The beasts are still fighting a civil war? A bunch of fools. All these years, they've lived to be dogs. Yuck, not even as good as a dog. Brother, why don't you just run away? I'll beg Dean Wang to arrange a hiding place for you. And after hiding for this period of time, the six academies will gradually forget about you. Xiao Ye, you underestimate the Dark Kingdom too much. With this group of trash, they can't even enter the gate. I appreciate your good intentions brother. I will take precautions. You'll be responsible for practicing peacefully in sacred radiance. Don't meddle in anything regarding the darkness series, and don't get too close to Huali or sacred royal. But, alright Xiaoya, listen to your brother. Everything is under control. After hanging up the phone, Linley stopped practicing. Getting up, he walked out of the door of the cultivation room and raised his head to leisurely look at the night sky. The moon was very full tonight. The sky was clear and dotted with stars. Ha! It seems that a great battle is inevitable. Your Excellency, what are you? Ling Xing pushed open the door to the other training room and was curious to see Lin Li looking up at the night sky alone. Ling Xing, the six great academies are preparing to jointly crusade against the Dark Kingdom. This matter, what do you think? Put, my lord, let's watch this while we eat. What do you mean? Lin Li returned to his senses and was puzzled to see Ling Xing smiling. The six great academies have risen up to conquer the Dark Kingdom. Counting on it, there should be more than ten times, right? That many? Of course. Since the establishment of the Dark Kingdom until now, there have been 800 battles of all sizes that have arisen with the six great academies, if not a thousand. 
Things like joint crusades are something we've long been accustomed to, since they're happy to send themselves to their deaths, then why should we stop them? Ling Xing's words were too arrogant. Lin Li became more and more curious as to what the Dark Kingdom's underpinnings were. My lord, let's wait for Chief Ye's glad tidings tomorrow, and see how the Huali Academy is bulldozed. The corners of Lin Li's mouth followed suit, nodding slightly as his sight shifted to the night sky once more. Oh moon, you're so big and round. Oh stars, you're so small and round. Ding bell. The bell rang, and Lin Li stretched. Going to school was so damn tiring. Originally, I thought that by awakening my psychic abilities, I would be able to get rid of the pain of cultural classes, but it turned out to be the same thing. It's just that the culture class has been changed into a class on the basics of psychic abilities. Same hypnosis, same nagging. Lin student, I want to challenge you. No time. On what grounds? What based on what? Not available means not available. Lin Li didn't even look at him as he got up and walked towards the door. I think you just don't dare. The so-called legendary darkness department, it doesn't work at all. Be glad you're a girl or else you'd already be on the ground at this moment. Really? Do you have that ability? Should I say no? This girl's voice was quite nice. It was like a lark, crisp and pleasant, the opposite of Lu Ching Yue's style. It's just that this provocative character isn't good. The provocation method used was also not good. Love has no. What can you do? You. The girl behind her was clearly pissed off enough. However, the moment before Lin Li stepped out of the classroom door, she smiled. Lin Li. Ah Lin Li. I see that you just can't, as a man, you just can't, Lin Li's figure jerked, woman, you've successfully provoked me, seeing this, Ling Xing on the side side helplessly, why was this auntie still pestering Gongzi, who is this girl, so brave, Gongzi, this is 5th elder Yu's granddaughter, Yu Yu Eka, Yi Ha, 5th elder Yu's granddaughter, this personality, it's really comparable to her grandfather's, Lin Li didn't want to leave, this girl had completely caught his attention, turning around, he looked back, M, it's kinda cute how about that, not too short, not a head short of Linley, the body is also good, just a little smaller on top, in the future to cultivate, have material, a high ponytail on the small head, very playful look, at this moment, is grinning a small mouth, giggle straight music, what, not leaving, Yu Yu Eka tilted her little head, striding up to Linley and said, Lin, if you want to prove yourself, fight with this girl, if you win, I will recognize you as a man, and I'll give you whatever conditions you want, if I win, you'll be my little brother, don't worry, I'm sure you won't lose, Lin Li looked at him with interest, his eyes intentionally downward, am I a man, or not, in the end, how do you know, it's hard to believe that you've tried, tsk, it shouldn't be, my Lin Li's vision shouldn't be this bad, Yu Yu Eka's smile suddenly froze, following Lin Li's gaze and looking down, her face turned red, not that kind of sultan red, not that kind of through red, but that kind of tender red, stinking rascal, go to hell. Yu Yu Eka lifted up that exquisite little leg and kicked it towards Lin Li's lifeblood. Ouch. A delicate grunt came out as Lin Li directly clutched Yu Yu Eka's white, tender and thin calf and gradually raised it upwards. Looking down from this position, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. What else do you want to see? People's security awareness is very strong. Lin Li, let go of me. Yu Yu was in a hurry even though she hadn't gotten any real advantage, but this position is quite shameful, okay, and also can't use the force to resist, was deadlocked at the root of the thigh of fate, you beg me, I'll let you go if you beg me, dream on, then you can just stay in this position alright, I'm not tired anyway, Ling Xing, give me your cell phone, what are you doing, I'm warning you, don't mess around or I won't spare you, Che, even if your grandpa comes, he won't be able to stop me today, Ling Xing, Gong, Gongzi, this, it's not right. Ling Xing was a little bit scared. This was something he really didn't have the guts to do. If you really let you Wu know, Lin Li certainly can't do anything, but he will be miserable. It would be strange if he didn't get skinned. Why are you so full of crap? I'm letting you take a cell phone, not letting you do anything. Lin Li rolled his eyes. The stupid white sweet will not really think they want to do that? It's just to scare the girl in front of me. Ling Xing had no choice but to pull out his cell phone and hand it to Lin Li. Miss you. I'm going to give you one last chance, beg me or not, if you're capable and won't beg me, then I'll shoot it, when the time comes to send it out to the public platform, don't care what you shoot or don't shoot, in short, you'll be on fire, Yu Yu was a bit abashed, seeing Lin Li's handsome and slightly lewd face, it seemed like he might really do such a thing, at that time, how could he still have the face to meet people, but, bow down to Lin Li, also good or shameful how to do, count down to three, three, 
Linley raised his cell phone and adjusted the angle, staring you Yueka's small face red and white. 2. Linley, I'm warning you. 1. Wow. Crap. Yu Yueka was crying? Linley and Ling Xing were taken aback. Why did this girl cry when she said she would? Those little tears were falling. Spilling out. Linley hurriedly let go of Yu Yueka. Flustered. Men. They are most afraid of women crying. Moreover, it was still such a cute little girl crying. The guilt was overwhelming. No. Miss you. Let's not be that bad. I'm just scaring you. Wow. Got it. Crying even harder. Miss you. I was wrong. Can't I apologize to you? You're almost inviting wolves with this crying. I don't care. Growing up. No one has ever bullied me like this. You big bad guy. Wow. I. Linley was speechless. Which one in the dark kingdom wasn't a bad guy? Okay. Okay. So what do you want? You beat me up okay? Wow. Oh my goodness. I'll promise you anything you say to stop crying. Simple. Fight me. Linley? Ling Xing? Yu Yu Eka? Oh, oh. Damn. I'm trapped. This girl was basically counting on Linley. Hiss. Miss you. Your acting skills are good enough. Ha. Huh? In terms of face changing speed. Your grandfather isn't even half as good as you. Cut the crap. Do you compare? With your intermediate level strength. Aren't you afraid I'll break your face? Don't blow in B. It's not certain who will beat who. Linley took a deep breath. He had planned to quietly wait for news from Yi Chang and the others, but it turned out to be good. Let's wait while fighting. I'm really convinced. Beforehand, if you lose, don't pester me in the future. No problem. Go. Soon, the three of them arrived at an empty trial site. It was now noon, and there was plenty of sunlight. It was warm on their bodies. Miss you. Please. He he. I'll be polite then. Yu Yu Eka smiled playfully and surrounded her body with a colorless foreign energy. It was the wind system. Wind whistling technique. Three wisps of white hurricane formed, wrapping in three directions. Linley's feet converged on the foreign energy, his speed increasing to the peak. It was easy to dodge it, but these three hurricanes were obviously installed with a positioning system. After breaking sharply, they violently reversed direction and continued tracking. Dark cut. A ray of black blades cut through the air, driving a ripple through space. Yu Yu Eka was quick on her feet and instantly gathered a wind barrier in front of her body. Boom. A muffled sound came out, and Yu Yu Eka was knocked back three or four meters by the powerful impact. As soon as he stabilized his stance, Linley's voice came again. Black curtain. Then, Yu Yu Eka couldn't see anything. Damn it. What kind of broken stance is this? An emerald green jade fan was held in his hand. It looked like it was an elemental magic weapon. Yu did not care as he spun in place and swung it around. With each swing, a dark green dragon scroll was created. Although it wasn't very powerful. It was enough to cause damage for a middle-ranked aberration. Linley's figure kept flashing, dodging the oncoming dragon scrolls. The black longsword in his hand was aimed directly at Yu Yueka's chest. Miss you. You've lost. The black longsword was stagnant at the other party's chest, and could be touched at any time as long as Linley was happy to do so. Obviously, Yu Yueka also sensed this. Her small face once again flushed red, putting down the jade fan in her hand. She took two steps back and said, What a big asshole always thinking of taking advantage of others. Losing is losing. What's the big deal? Cut. Linley dissipated the dark longsword and twisted his head in disdain. You're too overconfident, aren't you? With this body, I wouldn't even want to give it away for nothing. What did you say? What's wrong with my figure? If you say anything else, I'll tear your mouth off. You've become blind, and you're still bragging? You. The fight is over. Why don't you untie me? I'm afraid you'll rip my mouth off. Bastard. Yu Yu Eka swung a small pink fist with her perception. Unfortunately, it didn't touch anything. All right, toss yourself slowly. After three minutes, it will naturally unravel. Ling Xing, let's go. After saying that, Linley turned around and left the trial grounds. Yu Yu Eka was the only one left, stomping her feet and standing in the same spot, groping around, inside the Fuyua building. Linley and Yuan Guan Yuan ate and drank indiscriminately. Ling Xing was accompanying them on the side and Linny E was coyly drinking tea. Hmm. Eat. Brother, can you fucking swallow before you squeak? The rice grains are spewing out. Linley copied the chopsticks and threw them at Yuan Guan Yuan. This bastard is too uncouth to eat. Eh? Brotherly? I mean, the rice here is too good. Follow brotherly. You'll be full for nine meals in three days. All right. Less ass kissing. Eat and grab some cultivation. I'll tell you. If you can't break through to the fifth level within ten days, I'll starve you for three days and three nights. When you break through, when you eat, hearing Lin Li's words, Yuan Guangyuan immediately cried and said, Brother Li, 
I'm just an A-grade talent. Unlike you, breaking through 10 levels in a month, it's just not human. What? No no no. I mean, it's simply not comparable to normal people. Don't fart here. E is also an A-rank. It's only been a day and she's broken through to the third level of the beginner's class. Where do you fall short? You're not as good as her brain? I. Knock knock knock. Mr. Lin. Excuse me. Miss you would like to. Boom. Grind it out. Just open the door. Yu Yu Eka kicked the door of the room open. And as if she had arrived at her own home, she pulled open the seat beside Linley and directly sat on it cross-legged. Big sister. Sitting on your family's bed? Bullshit. What do you care how I sit? Where's the cutlery? Grab it with your hands? Yu Yu Eka shouted at the owner of the restaurant outside the door. Hiss. No. This seems to be my private room. Right? Linley felt a bit baffled. How did this girl find her way here? What did she want to do? What's wrong with your private room? Can you go bankrupt if I eat your meal? Not. You. Linley pointed her chopsticks at Yu Yu Eka, unable to hold back a word for half a day. Seeing this, the boss outside the door hurriedly brought in a brand new set of tableware. Yu Yu Eka was even more nonchalant, directly chucking a piece of beef and stuffing it into her small mouth, barfing and eating it. Yuan Guan Yuan didn't react for a moment and followed suit. Angry Lin Li threw out another chopstick. What the hell are you chirping about? Big man. Shut up. Only then did Yuan Guan Yuan react, hurriedly shrinking his neck and shutting up. Lin Yi Yi looked Yu Yu Eka up and down. Her gaze was very new. The latter also noticed Lin Yi Yi, and out of politeness even said hello. Hello classmate. My name is Yu Yu Eka. Second year class A. Hello schoolmate Yu. My name is Lin Yi Yi. First year class D. A Gu. Don't call me senior sister. I'm not as old as you. Just call me Yuku. Okay Yu Eka. It's nice to meet you. Me too. Lin Li took the chopsticks handed over by Ling Xing and froze as she watched this duel perform. Not sick, right? Why didn't they greet each other the first time they met? This would know to be ladylike and polite? Miss you. What do you want to do? I'm eating. Why? What do you mean? What do you want? I told you what I want. What else do you want me to do? I mean, what do you want? I. Okay. 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 I was wrong. Blame me for not making myself clear. Okay. After this meal, please leave and don't pester me. Okay? Who's pestering you? I just lost the competition. So I've come to fulfill my promise to be your little brother. What the hell? Lindley's frown was so furrowed that it could kill a fly. When did I ask you to be my little brother? Didn't you say that if I lose, I'll be your little brother. And if you lose, I'll do whatever I want? You're thinking about fart eating. What I clearly said was, if I lose, I'll be your little brother. Pa. Linley covered his head with a slap. Ling Xing on the side also couldn't help but laugh. These two living treasures had sort of met. Missy, first of all, I don't need a little brother. Secondly, I don't need a little brother like you even more. After you finish eating, please leave and do whatever you need to do. How can that be? You Yu Eka pouted. I, Yu Yu Eka, have always done what I said. What I promised. I will never change. Ling Xing, throw him out. Lin Li was really a bit impatient. A girl's family, why is she deadpan? Even if she was good looking in Kawaii, Lin Li had little interest in her. My lord, for the sake of Elder Yu's face, it's better not to be rude. He was scared enough just now with the cell phone, but he's going to throw it out again. Wouldn't you woo be anxious? Yo, isn't this you girl? Lin Li, have your tastes changed? The familiar black mist appeared from the seat as Ling Xing, Yu Yu Eka, Lin Yi Yi, and Yuan Guan Yuan rose one after another. Facing Yi Chang, they bowed and said, Greetings, Lord Chief. Yi Chang waved his hand and pointed at the dishes in front of him. Ling Xing hurriedly took a portion of the dishes and served it. Brother Chang, how did it go? Lin Li couldn't care less about you Yu Eka and asked anxiously. Yi Chang took a bite of the dish and chewed. Hmm, it tastes good. Brother Chang, Aya, uh, look at me like this. Do I still need to explain? What should be pushed flat has already been pushed flat. That old man, Huang Fei Baking was also beaten up by me, everything went well, a smile appeared on Lin Li's face, too powerful, now, Huang Fei Baking was probably about to vomit blood from anger, but then again, there's also bad news, Yi Chang put down his chopsticks and said word by word, in 10 days, the six academies will join forces to crusade against our dark kingdom, so I've decided to place you out after 7 days, arrange out, arranged to where, the northern borderlands, Lin Li couldn't make sense of it, why would he send himself to the northern borderlands? Brother Chang, isn't this time when the six academies raised their troops to crusade not quite the same as in the past? Yi Chang sighed slightly, his face becoming more and more hesitant. It is indeed very different. In the past, 
They were all under the banner of ridding the people of evil and upholding justice. The amount of troops they gathered was limited. And, most likely, they were just going through the motions. But this time is different. Their direct target is running towards you. The deans of the six major academies. Four of them are deployed. 40 to 50 super-ranked adepts are expected. And the rest of the high-ranked adepts. Countless. When the people present heard this, they all sucked in a breath of cool air. This battle, it was a bit too outrageous. All of them are running towards me? Yi Chang was silent and nodded. Chief Yi, our Dark Kingdom's candle dragon formation isn't a vegetarian ah. Besides, the academy and the sanctuary together. 30 to 40 super ranked powerhouses. We can make do. So why should we be afraid of them? Yu Yu Eka's words hit the nail on the head. The Dark Kingdom's heritage was far beyond the imagination of those idiots. The fact that this great mountain was able to stand to this day proved how deep its roots were. Especially Yi Kong Shang, the mysterious little old man. No one knew what his strength really was to this day. Brother Chang, you're not worried that the Dark Kingdom won't be able to hold on. You're worried that I won't be able to hold on. Once the Great War opens, all of the opponent's battle strength will be concentrated at one point. So don't be afraid of 10, 0, 0, 0 things. If this group of guys breaks through and captures me regardless, then the Dark Kingdom will be completely defeated in this battle. And if I'm arranged out in advance, it's very likely that the war will die down. And even if the two sides go to war, those few old guys won't be able to find me and won't be entangled much. Linley analyzed the situation so well that several people listened to it and came to their senses. Yi Chang showed a look of appreciation. It was obvious that Linley was right. 100 points for the answer. Give you 99 points. The remaining one point is not for fear of you being proud. But there is another reason. There's more? Linley thought for a moment. Not coming up with anything. To be honest, I've been observing your body for a long time. Ha! Huh? Linley was taken aback. Why did this smell weird? Yi Chang glared at Linley, naturally knowing that he was thinking the wrong way. What I'm referring to, is the alien energy in your body as well as the cultivation method. Yu Yu Eka was just getting a little interested, but it was instantly doused. Damn it, the smell of a rotten girl dissipated. Your legendary talent needs to be stimulated. Bland cultivation will only raise the realm, unable to awaken the deeper levels of power. Combat, crisis, killing, that's the most primitive cultivation method of the darkness department. I decided to disperse you for three months. After three months, the storm should almost have calmed down. Crap, three months? Am I your family chicken? All right, all right, everything is at your disposal. Lindley sipped a cup of wine to himself. Going out for trials was quite good. Receiving quests, fighting monsters, saving gold coins, and leveling up. Free and unconstrained. Kill whenever you want fight whenever you want. It's really good. On this trip, Yuyaya accompanies you. Put. Linley sprayed out a mouthful of wine. Coincidentally, Yu Yueka was getting up and preparing to pinch the food. The sight of her face just within the range of the spray. Linley, are you sick? Yu Yueka put down her chopsticks and wiped her face. It was all liquid. Brother Chang, what's the point of bringing her? Aren't you making it more difficult for me? When the time comes, will I fight the foreign beasts or her? Linley, what do you mean? Is it hard to believe that I'll be dragging you down and creating trouble for you? Isn't it? You. All right. You two settle down. Humph. Che. Yi Chang couldn't help but smile when he saw how tacitly these two were understanding each other. First of all, you're a boy out there. You need a girl's company to take care of you and relieve your boredom or something. Secondly, Yuya's talent is also very good. So it just so happens that taking this opportunity to try out will always be beneficial. Then why don't you just let her go to the south border? East border? West border, up and down border to try out. Why do you have to follow me? I don't need a corkscrew as a companion. Corkscrew? Everyone present except Lin Li and Yuan Guang Yuan failed to understand the meaning of this sentence. He he he. Corkscrew. Following Yuan Guang Yuan's lewd gaze. Laughing at you too. Go to hell you. Yu Yu Eka was so angry that she threw her rice tray at Yuan Guang Yuan. Boom. Splat. Ouch. What a harmonious sound. Yuan Guang Yuan covered his head and wailed in pain. Lin Li. The results of the competition are in front, and the orders given by Chief Yi are in the back. You must take me with you. Yu Yu Eka's brashness was back. Worried, Lin Li scratched the back of his head. Hey, it's just a matter of throwing you into the pile of foreign beasts when the time comes. You'll still be able to attract some firepower. I'm full. You guys take your time tossing. Ling Xing. Yes, your excellency. With that, the two of them got up and left the private room, before leaving the main door. Linley didn't forget to remind the Mediterranean boss. This meal, count it on you Yu Eka's head. She said she wants to treat. Got it. You take your time. Things have been decided. There is nothing to dwell on. 
The remaining seven days were nothing but classes and practicing. Nothing special happened. If there is, it's also you, you Eka. The girl's ghost is still there. As soon as class time comes to an end, she immediately looks for Lin Li. Why? Just nagging. Like a fly. Constantly in Lin Li's ear buzzing. I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Luckily, she is a beautiful woman. Otherwise Lin Li would definitely beat her into a bottle cap. And flat. And cover. Time flies. To the seventh day. The exclusive magic weapon that the Prime Tutor had customized for Lin Li had finally arrived. Excited heart. Trembling hands. Opening the wooden box. Lin Li was shocked. This is a magic weapon? This is a burning stick. Right? The body is black. The hilt wrapped around a black dragon. The workmanship is quite exquisite. Holding in the hand ice cold. The dark power is also very pure and lush. It is this scabbard is too cheap. Black is not black. Gray is not gray. What pattern? Carving are not. The material seems to be good. But not handsome ah. Optimus Prime this old wall sconce was definitely intentional. Barely. Linley pulled the sword out. And a crisp and pleasant metallic friction sound came out. So cheap. The silver colored body of the sword was covered with a layer of extremely dense darkness element. The sharpness was nothing to speak of. And Linley used his finger to gently point it. Nothing happened. Pulled a hair and floated it down on top of the blade. Broken. Blow hair short hair. Too awesome. Boom. Crap. This power. Absolute. Linley released a savage black sword chi with just a casual wave of his hand. The polished and smooth ground was smashed with a scar. If the OCD saw it, he was afraid that he would be killed in a hurry. Duke. What are you doing? Ling Xing rushed over at the sound of his voice, curiously surveying the situation. A.O. Oh, it's nothing. The customized elemental magic weapon that Optimus Prime helped me with has arrived. Try the power. My lord. This sword. It doesn't seem too simple. Ling Xing walked forward. His eyes kept converging on the hilt of the sword. Not simple? Where is it not simple? The material is quite good. It's just that this style is too pricey. That old thing. Optimus Prime. Must be holding a grudge. No. My lord. I'm referring to the fact that this sword has special characteristics. Lin Li sniffed and handed over the black sword in his hand. Ling Xing held the black sword upside down, causing the bottom of the hilt to be completely revealed. This time, Lin Li also saw it clearly. The bottom of the sword hilt was actually inlaid with a crystal, the quality of which was definitely not low. My lord. This sword is by no means forged by the Prime Tuwa, but, rather, it is. The more Ling Xing spoke, the more unbelievable it became. Touching the sword body and then the blade. Simply unheard of. This kind of means. I'm afraid that it would require the hand of a saint-ranked powerhouse to bring together such a degree of dark origin power. A saint-ranked powerhouse? Where in the dark kingdom or even the entire divine continent would a saint-ranked powerhouse come from? Suddenly, Linley thought of something. Saint rank? It's hard to believe that. Boom. Before his thoughts could be organized, an earth-shattering roar resounded through the clouds. A beam of holy light pierced through the sky, rushing straight into the sky directly above the Dark Kingdom. Just when Linley thought that this strike would crash down inside the Dark Kingdom, above his head, the vastness of elemental power surged crazily. A thousand meter long black dragon shadow covered the sky, its terrifying pressure radiating out in a substantial manner. It easily annihilated the holy light, and the heavens and earth were shaken by the aura. The candle dragon formation has been activated. The enemy should have arrived near Qin Yun City. Your Excellency, you need to act in advance. The six great academies have even launched their attacks in advance. Is it intentional, or is it? Lin Li's brows were furrowed, and he couldn't help but feel a little nervous in his heart. Lin Li, it's time for you to go. Yi Cheng's figure suddenly appeared and patted Lin Li's shoulder. Brother Chang, how are the enemy forces? The four deans are in town. Half a hundred super-ranked powerhouses, half a thousand high-ranked aberrations, and the total force, at least thirty thousand. Can you handle it? It's no big deal. Lin Li nodded solemnly. If Yi Chang said there was no problem then there was no problem. By himself, it was time to run away. Lin Li, we should go. Yu Yueka's voice came from the distance. This girl looked more anxious than anyone else. Ling Xing, take care of my people. In three months, I'll return to the Dark Kingdom with my feet in the six academies. Yes, your excellency. Ha 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 ha. Huang Fei Baking. Sun Wu Kong. Zhao Quan. Zhou Fei Zhang. Do you four old things still want some face? Coming to hit our dark kingdom again? Humph. Last time, you were beaten up by us and couldn't find your way around. This time, you're going to be unable to tell the difference between up and down. Right? A bunch of self-righteous guys. Do you really think that our dark kingdom is easy to bully? Alright. Why are we talking so much nonsense? Do these old things understand? More than a dozen black-robed, graying temple elders lined up in the sky above, exuding an aura that stirred the wind and clouds. 
and behind them stood the seven great inquisitors of the Holy Temple, the twenty-four great executives, as well as countless middle and high-ranking powerhouses. Roughly estimated, there were at least ten thousand people, this is not counting the ground, ready to go dark core, and constantly rushed to support the instructors, leaders, institutional staff, senior students, etc., and directly across from them, a thousand meters away, was the same large group of people. At the head of the group was the dean of Sheng Chang College, Zhao Quan, the dean of Sheng Yu College, Sun Wu Kong, the dean of Hua Li College, Huang Fei Baking and the dean of Ming Xian College, Zhou Fei Zhang. These four old men, all of them were imposing, their expressions indifferent and serious, just like who owes them five million dollars, and behind them, similarly ranked were countless strong men. Where is Yi Chang? Tell him to get out. Don't look at Sun Wukong's small size, but his speaking voice was as bright as a flood bell. Dean Sun, with such a strong fire, it's better to go back and take some anti-inflammatory medicine. A cloud of black mist appeared at the position directly in front of the queue, and Yi Chang's figure appeared in the eyes of the crowd. Yi Chang, you compelled Lin Li and caused great losses for our academy. Today, you must give me an explanation. An explanation? Oh, good. Yi Chang smiled wistfully and stretched out his palm. A roll of tape appeared out of thin air. Dean Sun, ah Dean Sun, your sacred royalty is poor to such an extent. Why are you still showing off? This roll of tape, just take it as a gift from me. No need to thank me. As soon as the words fell, Yi Chang directly flung the tape over. Knowing that the other party was teasing him, Sun Wukong was furious. With a big wave of his hand, he utilized his supernatural energy and directly blasted the tape into pieces. Yi Chang, you really don't see the coffin. Hand over Lin Li painfully and my six academies can consider letting your dark kingdom off the hook. Dean Sun, don't say too much. My Hawali's revenge has yet to be avenged. Huang Fei baking dressed in a white trench coat, hand plate two walnuts, eyes cold and resentful rebuke. With you two trash, you are also worthy of negotiating with my dark kingdom? Yi Chang was worthy of being a great pretender, disliking the sky and the air. If Lin Li was present, he would definitely worship him. Yi Chang, you're too arrogant. How dare you call the two deans trash? The golden robed Zhou Feijian saw the opportunity and shouted angrily. Yi Chang, on the other hand, shrugged his shoulders and said with an innocent expression, I think you guys are misunderstanding. I'm not referring to Dean Huang and Dean Sun, but all of you present. All are rubbish, rubbish. Wow. At this moment, whether it was on the side of the six academies or on the side of the dark kingdom, all of them boiled over. Yi Chang and B. Ah, the words were too imposing. Yi Chang, you seek death. Sun Wukong was already a violent temper, and at this moment, he couldn't stand it anymore. Lifting up one palm, the Holy Light Department's foreign energy filled the entire sky. Everyone unconsciously closed their eyes. Roar. As a dragon's roar came, the Holy Light didn't reach two seconds before it dissipated to nothing. Damn it. The power of this candle dragon formation is getting stronger and stronger. Dean Sun, don't be impulsive yet. Don't forget the purpose of our trip. Yi Chang, I'll give you one last chance. Hand over Lin Li and we'll retreat immediately. Ha! Huh? Yi Chang didn't know when he was infected by Lin Li. Rolled his eyes. Disdainfully I. E. Indifferently said. If you want to come when you want to come. And leave when you want to leave. Won't I lose face then? Vomit. Ha! Huh? Can you not be so disgusting nah? I. Vomit. Do you think I want to? Ah. You threw up on my skirt. Puking is fine. I don't even mind you holding me back. What? Bang. Ouch, what are you hitting me for? You you echa pouted. I'm happy to. Linley covered his head, his face turned white, and he couldn't stop dry heaving. The pain of this flight was comparable to the pain of love. It was too torturous. Hey, you say, will Chief Yi and the others be alright? What's the matter, with that bunch of losers? Linley's predecessor was lying on the demon's soft and sticky back. His but facing you you echa disdainfully. That's right, where are we going? Ping City. What are we going to Ping Chun for? To find the Shadow Guild. Why are we looking for the Shadow Guild? Lin Li took a deep breath. This girl must have been a mute in her previous life. Not only was she dumb, she was also an idiot. Miss you. Are you usually like this? Use your brain to think about everything okay? Are you a hundred thousand reasons? Che, I'm just trying to liven things up. Thank you, I'm already in this state. You can still let me stop. I get it. You want to go to the Shadow Guild to take on missions and earn money while accumulating practical combat experience. Bullshit. Do I? Linley, look like I lack money? Then what do you lack? Linley especially wanted to say lack of pussy. But after taking a look at this girl behind him, he let it go. I'm going to collect heavenly materials and treasures and ask someone to refine a dark attribute essence pill. 
Essence Dan, that thing is heard to be so difficult to refine. The materials alone are worth several billion dollars, and there's no market for it. Can you? Can you do it? Cough cough cough. Mocked again for not being able to do it. You wait and see if I can do it. After flying for an entire day and night, Linley's duo finally arrived at Ping City. Ping City, neighboring Tsong City, also belonged to the border zone. But the difference was that Ping City was known as the hunting city. Why was it called that? Because within Ping City, there were a total of 13 guild landing sites. Among them, the Shadow Guild was the most powerful. The quests sent out were difficult, but the rewards were exceptionally generous. It was currently ranked at the top of the 24 major guilds. Super Deluxe King Room, please. Inside a 10-star high-end luxury grand hotel in the center of Ping City, Linley dragged his tired body and said to the front desk lady, Okay sir, two in total huh? No, just myself. I'm not familiar with her. What, Linley? Are you still considered a man, coming out to stay in a hotel and asking me to mind my own business? Linley leisurely turned his head, his empty and lifeless eyes staring at you you like a dead in the face. You, what are you doing? It's not like I asked you to come here. You're the one who's like a follower. You have to stick to me. Why should I care about you? Can you warm my bed? Sir, your room is ready. 301 on the third floor. Linley twisted his head and thanked him, then went upstairs on his own. Bastard. Son of a bitch. Rotten egg. Kaching. Pushing open the door to the suite of rooms, Linley directly began to undress. What for? Taking a shower. Resting. Tossing and turning all day and night? Hell knows why that you Ueka girl is so spirited. Amazing thunder. This Tontian cultivation of the sky collapses into a purple and gold hammer. What? The newly changed cell phone ringtone is good, right? It was a bit retro, but Linley liked being different. Hey, Ling Xing, how's the battle going? Linley walked into the bathtub and asked as he drained the water. My lord, the battle situation is good. The six great academies have already fled. Although there are some losses, they're still within tolerance. Where have you arrived? Ping City. Ping City? What are you doing? What else can I do? Take quests, save materials, kill foreign beasts, and raise my realm. My lord, you must be careful in the near future. Although the six academies have retreated, their eyes have been watching the Dark Kingdom and searching for your whereabouts. Try not to reveal your true identity in non-essential situations. Don't worry, it's time for me to rest. You go about your business. Yes, my lord. The call ended, and Linley closed his eyes, fully relaxed, and began to soak in the bath. Completely unnoticed, Outside the glass below the bathroom, a figure quietly sneaked in. Fifteen minutes later, Linley got up and simply wiped himself off, wrapped in a bath towel and left the bathroom. Ouch. Linley stretched out comfortably. If you don't say that the North loves to take a bath, it's really a great relief from fatigue. Linley half squinted his eyes, in a trance, pushed open the bedroom door, threw off his slippers, and made a flying leap to the big bed. Plop. Ah. First, there was a piercing scream that almost didn't send Linley away. Immediately afterward, there was that soft, sticky touch underneath her body. Linley was so startled that he bounced up and fell on his unsteady feet. You you Eka, when did you break in? Linley's eyes widened and his palms unconsciously scratched as if he was recalling the feeling he had just experienced. I, I, can't I go to the wrong room? You you Eka lifted the quilt and rubbed his messy hair. When its line of sight shifted to Linley, it froze. Wow. Three seconds passed. Ah, big pervert ah. Well, use groundhog but that's when Linley reacted, taking a look at his lower body. Crap, when did the towel fall off? What? I'm not afraid of anything. I'm not the one who suffered. Linley got up, picked up the towel and put it back on. Then, step towards you you Eka. You, what are you doing? I'm warning you, no messing around. Woman, you have successfully aroused my interest. The Bully Lin President class is now online. What should I do if I'm being looked at by a girl? What to do? What to do? Put. Linley made a hungry tiger pounce and fell down on the bed. Unfortunately, he didn't press on the target point, and was dodged by the girl you you Eka. Linley, I'm warning you, I'm your little brother, not you. You what? You, you, you pervert. You you Eka's small face turned red, pushed open the door of the room and walked out. Little like, still can't rule you? Linley was too lazy to care about her, directly burrowing into the quilt and starting to sleep. Love how to toss how to toss it have the ability to run their own nest to, together with the toss. A good night's sleep, woke up again, the sky is getting dark, looked at the time, 6 o'clock in the evening, little brother, still their little brother? What for? Yu Yu Eka's displeased voice came from the living room location, Linley smiled faintly and got up to put on his clothes, time to get to work, this gentleman, please stay, 
The Shadow Guild only receives strong people above the middle rank. Your realm. Forgive me for my poor eyesight. I can't perceive it. Knight fell in front of the door of an ancient black building. A male attendant wearing a ruddy mask on his head and a black uniform stopped Linley. And at this moment, Linley was similarly wearing a mask. This was the rule of the Shadow Guild. Don't reveal your identity. Only your strength. No approachability. Only missions. My realm is enough to look beyond the middle rank. The attendant froze, then sensed something. You are a darkness system powerhouse? Linley nodded indifferently. The attendant thought for a moment and said decisively, Sir, I need you to prove that you are qualified to enter the Shadow Guild. Small point. Linley struck out with a single palm, and a terrifying shockwave of dark energy shot straight into the sky. Rumble. A violent explosion struck, the impact volleyed out onto the ground in the shape of a trumpet, and the squire shook left and right, eventually failing to stabilize himself and taking a step back. Mister is gifted. This strike can look beyond the middle rank second grade Xenos. Both of you, please come in. The attendant sidestepped and extended his hand to receive the guide towards the interior of the building. Linley nonchalantly walked in. Yu Yu Eka, wearing a white plume mask on her head, followed closely behind. Lin, just as she exited, Yu Yu Eka realized something was wrong and hurriedly corrected herself. Sir, I'm hungry. Linley gave her a blank look. Speechless to the core, didn't you just finish eating? You're hungry again after all this time? Big brother, you're stingy and give me a burger, a fries, a popcorn, a chicken roll, a chicken nugget, a chicken wing, a chicken leg and a cup of hele. Who's full? Linley's figure stalled, looking at you Ueka with suspicion. Then what else do you want? Are you a starving ghost, eating more than your second senior brother? That's me growing my body. Just you? Linley looked at the not-so-bumpy parts, snorted, and continued to march along the corridor. Before long, the two arrived at the guild hall. Not to mention, it was quite lively. Hundreds of people were wandering around the hall, looking up from time to time. Linley also looked up. He saw an oversized electronic screen, which was currently scrolling with rows and rows of text. 079. Seek out and capture a red giant chicken of middle rank level 3 or higher. Quest reward, 3 elemental crystals of middle ranked quality. 1 inflammatory gaining elixir. 161. Travel to the dark forest. Hunt and kill a middle rank 9th level golden crazy tiger. And take its tiger whip and bring it back. Quest reward, 1 high rank quality elemental crystal. 2 high rank quality foreign beast crystals. 900 W blue coins. 441. Kill the demonized alien. Pu Zhang Cheng, bring back his head. Mission reward, 1 golden light grass. 100 million blue coins. The types of quests are quite complete. Not just for alien beasts. Materials. There are also killings and cargo robberies. The Shadow Guild didn't belong to the decent forces, nor did it belong to the villainous forces. It's just a trading center that doesn't ask the world to do anything. Or you can call it an underground assassin organization. If someone sends out a mission, someone will naturally take it. If the mission is completed, you get the reward. Failure is discretionary. What is discretion? Those who fail to collect materials or capture beasts will not be penalized. Because you can't do it, doesn't mean others can't do it. There is no limit to the number of people who can take on this type of mission. Whoever completes the mission first and sends something back to the Shadow Guild will be rewarded. However, assassination, interception of goods, if you fail, there is only one outcome, and that is death. Because most of these missions are carried out by only one person. And if you fail, and alert a snake, if you fail in your mission and alert the police, it will bring many bad consequences for the publisher, thus affecting the reputation of the Shadow Guild. At that time, it will be blacklisted. There would be strong people who would step in and settle these people. Linley found a seat and sat down. His gaze locked onto the large screen. He was waiting for a reward to appear that was enough to make his heart flutter. The essence pill of the darkness system. The first thing that was needed was a large number of darkness system crystals. At least 10 high grade, or 100 medium grade. Secondly, one would also need to purchase or collect ghost grass and ancient fossilized stones. These two materials could be considered heavenly treasures. Without a billion, 800 million blue coins, don't even think about it. Next, there was the alchemy crafting fee. This alchemy is not the alchemy of immortal cultivation, metaphysical fantasy. Instead, it is a combination of technology and psychic ability. Linley does not understand the general process. Anyway, it is very troublesome. Need to invite a high-level person to sit in the town. The price is very expensive. Inside and out added together. The cost was as high as 3 to 4 billion dollars. Hey. I hate money when it comes to using it, and I don't know how hard it is until it's gone through. Yo, what's the great philosopher lamenting about here? Linley moved his butt and ignored you Ueka. It was a money loser. 
After observing for more than 10 minutes, Linley finally locked onto his target. 999. Travel to the depths of the dark forest and seek out a middle rank tier 3 ice and fire chilin cub. Capture it alive quest reward, 2 ghost grasses, 50 middle ranked fey crystals, and 3 billion blue coins. Reward for killing and bringing back its corpse, 1 ghost grass, 40 middle ranked fey beast crystals, 2 billion blue coins, ice and fire chilin cubs, not too difficult. Yu Yu Eka was in a daze and didn't react for a moment. Ah, said. Mission objective. Ice and fire chilin cub. Depart. Ah, uh, ice and fire chilin? Are you crazy? Yu Yu Eka grabbed Linley's arm and forcefully pressed him back into his seat. What for? What for? Don't you know your own weight? Dare to hit on the ice fire chilin? Don't you know that the ice fire chilin is very protective of its calves? If you make that peak super stage foreign beast angry, you and I wouldn't be enough to slap him with a single claw. Nonsense. Of course I know that catching a foreign beast relies on brains, not brute strength. A stupid girl like you, who has neither breasts nor brain, can understand shit. You, you you Eka pointed at Lin Li's nose, her little mouth bulging with anger. Alright, use your brain to think. Will there be only the two of us to capture the ice fire Chilin? See the opportunity and be rich. Wow, you you Eka thought about it, and it was indeed true. With that, the two of them got up and went to the counter. I want to take quest number 999. The attendant lady with a mask handed Linley an ancient black token. This token represents your quest number. So please don't lose it. Please also leave a title for your records. Linley thought for a moment and said, Reaper, gold medal little chef. Linley looked back in confusion. What kind of odd title was this? What are you looking at? Not convinced? Ah, uh, okay. Reaper and gold medal little chef. Both of you. I wish you all the best. Both of you. Please stay. Linley's duo, who had just turned around and were about to leave, were suddenly called back by a voice, pretending or looking for a fight, turning back to look, a line of three people, two men and one woman if they hadn't analyzed it wrong, listening to the voices, they didn't seem to be very old, and their strength level averaged around the third level of the middle order, to say that they were polite was just like that, to say that they were not polite was somewhat polite, can I help you, if I heard correctly, the two of you are running towards the ice fire chilin, right? A blonde man at the head of the group spoke. Yes, how is it? Coincidentally, we're also heading for that ice and fire chilin. How about some cooperation? Linley scrutinized the three people in front of him in turn. Although he couldn't see their character, he was able to determine their origin and positioning. This is like a poor person and a rich person standing together. In the case of not being able to see the face, demeanor, mannerisms, and that long cultivated temperament can be distinguished. The three people in front of me living conditions must not be bad, look at the hand of the space ring will be clear, how to cooperate, Linley didn't make a decision, he still needed to observe for a while, people's hearts were treacherous, without enough benefits to drive them, who could trust anyone, as far as I know, mission 999, there are currently more than 10 teams that have taken it up, there are a handful of strong adepts, we have no advantage to speak of, it's not realistic to rob openly, it's not safe to wait for the opportunity to start, the mantis is afraid of the yellow bird. The only feasible method is to borrow the knife to kill and reap the benefits. The blonde youth in front of me is very clear thinking. It seems to really say something. Several people. How to call. Fluttering gentleman. Jianghu warrior. Chang Linger. The three of them clasped their fists in turn and performed a Jianghu salute. It felt like it was a bit awkward. But Linley had to return the salute as well. God of death. Gold medal little chef. The five people said in unison. Nice to meet you. Grandma. It instantly felt like dreaming back to the Great Tang. Both of you, may I borrow a step to speak? Linley looked at Yu Yu Eka and nodded in agreement. The fluttering gentleman then pulled out a green card and handed it to a valet in the neighborhood. The attendant took the green card and respectfully said, Gentlemen, please follow me. Five minutes later, several people walked into a reception room. The place wasn't big, and with five people, it wasn't too crowded. After serving some fruits and pastries and making a pot of tea, the attendant left the room. It's not that great. I thought it was the super unbeatable Supreme Luxury Carnival VLP. It's really cheap. The two of you are coming to the Shadow Guild for the first time to take on a quest, right? That's right. I don't have a lot of money lately, so I thought I'd try my luck. In that case, all the more reason for us to work together for a win-win situation. Oh, Linley crossed his legs and asked with interest, how about this? The fluttering prince put down his teacup and pulled back the hair at his temples. The Shadow Guild's mission seems simple, but in reality, they're all full of crises. That group of publishers, the probability will reduce the narrative difficulty of the task, so as to lower the price. If you complete it, it's fine. But if you don't, 
the price you have to pay is too high, so it's a losing proposition. For example, the Ice and Fire Chilin capture quest that we have taken on is indeed correct at the middle ranked third level, but the mission did not mention the peak of the superorder Ice and Fire Chilin. Ask, the entire divine continent, there are a few dare to fight against the existence of it? If we don't unite as one, this mission is a complete pit. No matter how many people jump in, it will never be filled. Lindley listened with great interest. What the other party said made sense. The problem was, if there weren't enough attractive rewards, who would go for it? Those two ghost grasses alone were enough to make people sink. After all, it was a matter of capturing a young beast and taking a chance. If one could detach the mother beast, wouldn't this task be much simpler? Tell us your plan. Linley didn't want to ink, and directly cut to the chase. He he. We haven't established a cooperative relationship yet. How can we casually talk about this plan? Yikes. This one is still quite sharp. In fact, I can guess a generalization even if you don't say it. In the dark forest, foreign beasts are rampant, and there are countless strong guys, casually lure in a few high or even super ranked foreign beasts, and that ice and fire chilin female beast will naturally be lured away. Snap. The name of the god of death. The spirit of ghostly talent. Your excellency is smart enough. Since you guessed it, what choice should you make? As the saying goes, there is strength in numbers. Someone to lure, someone to catch, and someone to guard against. With just the two of you, it doesn't seem to be enough, does it? Whether it's enough or not is another story. We need to discuss the distribution issue first. I only want the ghost grass. The rest goes to you. He really was a master who wasn't short on money. Three billion blue coins. Fifty crystals. Without even blinking, he threw them out. But what about Linley, who was also running after the ghost grass? Ha, huh? we're the villain now. Why do we have to be trustworthy? After utilizing it, why don't we just snatch the ice and fire unicorn and redeem the reward alone? I'm so smart. He he he. All right, in that case, let's cooperate for a win-win situation and capture the ice fire Chilin hatchling together. Ha ha, your excellency is quick enough. It's only the wisest choice for everyone to earn money together. Saying that, the five people rose together and high-fived each other as an oath. Counting the time, the mission has already begun for two days. So why don't we head to Tsong City first, and tomorrow morning, we'll set out for the dark forest. The jung -Hu magician who had not spoken for a long time opened his mouth and suggested. The remaining four people said that it was fine. Thus, the group left the Shadow Guild. Taking the express train, they traveled together to Tsong City. It was 12 o'clock at night. The five people arrived at Tsong City. It was the same familiar bed and breakfast inn, still that familiar erotic room, still that familiar cool evening breeze, the only difference was the change of horses, blah blah blah, changing partners, blah blah blah, changing heroines, blah blah blah, change, change of companions, I don't know what's going on at this BNB, there weren't enough rooms once Linley arrived, people have one room for three people, so naturally Linley and Yu Yueka have another room, what, girls with girls and boys with boys? How can that be? Both parties don't know each other. What if they make a little move and neglect to take precautions? You, sleep on the floor. Linley nonchalantly grabbed the quilt and comfortably laid on it. What? You're a big man. Letting me, a little girl, sleep on the floor? Are you ashamed? Cut. Can shame be a meal? Aren't you the little brother? Have you ever seen a little brother ask his big brother to sleep on the floor? Or the sofa? I, you Ueka was disliked. Very unconvinced. He took out the spare quilt from the cabinet and walked towards the sofa. Single dog, deserve to die alone. All right, I won't tease you. Go to bed. Linley got up, put on his jacket, and walked towards the observation deck. How could he possibly sleep after sleeping all day himself? Right now, stepping up his cultivation was the most important thing. Just now, he had merely wanted to tease that silly girl. Are you going to practice? Or else, then, this is for you. Linley turned around at the sound of the voice and saw Yu Yueka holding a large black crystal in both hands, and it looked like the grade wasn't low. But strangely enough, Linley couldn't sense the elemental essence emanating from the crystals at all, judging only from the appearance. This is? Holy rank foreign beast crystals. Linley's eyes almost didn't glaze over. Holy rank foreign beast crystals? How did this come about? Before I left, Chief he handed it to me chanting that he would give it to you when you practiced. Make sure to absorb it carefully. Uphold your nature, and hold on to your sanity. Linley couldn't hide his exhilaration as he took this palm-sized black crystal from his hands. As soon as he entered his hand, the dark power in his body began to boil. It was as if it was being pulled by something, refusing to calm down for a long time. This thing, so dense, so dangerous nah. Linley's brows unconsciously furrowed. With his current strength, 
would it really not be a problem to absorb this sacred stage alien beast crystallization? However, since it was arranged by Yi Chang, there must be its so-called reasoning. It would be good to give it a try. Lin Li came to the viewing platform, sitting on his knees, the holy order alien beast crystallization was cupped in his hand, it began to try to absorb it. Jie, a soul crushing, sharp hissing sound exploded in his head, caught off guard. Lin Li's eyes rolled over and he directly fainted. I don't know how long it took. It seemed as if he had regained consciousness, but it also seemed as if he hadn't. This feeling is very wonderful. Light all over. No sense of touch, but also can sense the environment. The eyes are blurred, gray and yellow. Lin Li stretched out his hand and rubbed it hard. Only then could she see the surrounding scenery. The desert was lonely and the sun was setting over a long river. What was described was exactly the same as the environment Lin Li was in at the moment. The sky was filled with yellow sand and dust. There was no sunlight. No night. No vegetation. No living beings. Where was this place? It always feels a bit familiar. Yellow sand. The desert. Light and airy. Nothing. Crap. I hiccuped. This can't be the Yellow Springs Road. Right? It was rumored that after a person died, they would pass through 800 miles of Yellow Springs and arrive at Mengma Bridge. This scene in front of me was just too much like it. It couldn't be that he had exploded to death in order to devour that sacred rank fey crystalline beast, thus bursting into flames? It's too dramatic, isn't it? I, Linley, can be the main character. Gee, he was just being skeptical. A familiar and sharp hissing sound once again came from above. Linley was so shaken that he covered his ears and grimaced. Dizzy, his body staggered. Immediately afterward, a huge figure that covered the sky swept in. Rumble. It smashed straight down on the open space a hundred meters away. The gusts of yellow sand that were raised instantly buried Linley. Blah blah blah. Linley wiped his mouth, climbing up from the yellow sand with difficulty. His sight was fixed on the huge figure in front of him. Opening his mouth, he didn't know what to say or what to sigh. What a big bird. How big of a pot would it take to stew it down? Is it better to stew it with cabbage? Or should it be stewed with potatoes? What? Why do you want to eat it? Tai, what kind of demon is that? Linley flicked his right hand, and the Shang evil sword appeared out of thin air. Linley had studied this name for a long time. Ling Tian Shang Xie. The sword points to the sky. Handsome as hell. Jie. The black feathered. Golden footed. Head raised. Imposing strange bird called out again. That look. Disdainful to the extreme. As if it didn't take Linley seriously at all. Hey. Do you know how to speak? Don't waste my time if you don't know how to speak. Grab on and send me out. Jie. You Jie Ah Jie. You. Take me. Out. Linley pointed at himself and then pointed at this sky, waving his arms twice, he signaled for the other party to take him out, however, the strange bird was still indifferent, still looking at people with its nostrils, if it wasn't for the fact that this strange bird was too large, Linley really didn't know that birds had noses, Gia, the strange bird seemed to read Linley's movements, and then seemed to not read them, it twisted its neck and waved its wings, lifting its foot, it directly stepped over, Linley was startled, hurriedly releasing black mist, wrapping his entire body. The moment the giant claw smashed into the ground, teleport out. Damn. If you don't send it, what's the point of making a move? Do you really think I'm afraid of you? Lin Li's figure appeared a hundred meters away, and was angry enough by the strange bird's action. What can't be discussed properly? Do you have to do it? Dark cut. Lin Li leapt, placing his figure in the air, and swung down a sword with vigor. Dang. A crunching sound came from the strange bird's body as if it were steel, not moving a muscle. Linley clenched his teeth, shifted all of his powers, and blasted again. Dang, it was still useless. Linley was confused. This situation was a bit outrageous. That's right just now. Even if it was a super-ranked alien beast, there was no way it could not even leave a mark. This strange bird was so strong. Could it be that it was a saint-ranked foreign beast? Linley snapped his head up and seemed to realize something. Could this strange bird be the original owner of that saint-ranked foreign beast crystal? And at this moment, it had already transformed into an energy body and invaded Linley's consciousness. The battle between the two sides was about grabbing the right to control the body and the consciousness. Once the other party was allowed to achieve victory, then one's own consciousness would be devoured. Thus, demonization would occur. The more one thought about it, the more oozing it became. If that were to happen, what the hell are you afraid of? Motherfucker, old man's consciousness can still be bullied by you? This is like dreaming. Once you meet a nightmare, the so-called ghost invasion. You have to be brave, with willpower and imagination. Give yourself magical powers. The space of consciousness is your own territory. In this territory, you are a god, omnipotent and in control of everything. Once, the reason why you lost to the intruder was because you were afraid. 
you were afraid. Your subjective consciousness believed that you couldn't beat the other side. Therefore, the power would be weak, thus allowing the other party to find an opportunity to take advantage of it. But Linley had studied this aspect very thoroughly. From childhood, she loved to dream the most, especially the dream of fighting monsters, incarnating as a bumpy man and resolving the opponent with a teasing kick. Bastard, all dead and still so arrogant. Today into my territory count you unlucky, obediently absorbed by me. Become a stepping stone on my way to advancement. Ling Tian victory evil first sword. Annihilation. A new storm has appeared. How can we stand still? The BGM sounded out of nowhere. The yellow sand filled spirit world began to tremble. A darkness like an abyss enveloped the earth. And everything began to turn into nothingness. At this moment, Linley was surprisingly not afraid of heights. With his mind, he slowly flew into the air. The strange bird seemed to have sensed something, and began to become anxious and uneasy. Large golden claws poured out vigorously. A pair of hundred meter wide giant wings extended out, ready to impact up at any time. Baird, the crisp sound of a sword swing rang out, and heaven and earth were suddenly silent. The yellow sand no longer flew, the earth no longer trembled, and everything in this world seemed to be waiting for something to descend. Gie, the strange bird's eyes were crimson, and its feet suddenly developed strength, hissing up against the black sword chop that carried out heaven and earth. Bastard, how dare you pretend to be a bee in my territory, send you to the west. Rumble. The blinding and eye-catching explosion impact shook the space and cracked it by inches, as if it were a spider's web, falling off in pieces. Lindley covered his eyes with one hand, so damn bright. If this strike could be wielded in the real world, what super rank, holy rank, are all dregs? Gie, yeeha, this isn't even dead. There's something. The strange bird's hissing became agonizing. Lindley waved his hand, the blinding light and the smoke in the sky dispersed. The monstrous bird's huge body smashed straight down to the ground. Almost half of its body disappeared. Only, what was revealed at the location of the wound wasn't flesh and blood, but a piece of dark, pure foreign energy. Elemental energy. Now Linley was completely certain that this strange bird was only a crystallized body of consciousness. At this moment, the half of the body that had disappeared was turning into a mass of dark elemental essence, drifting towards himself. This large mass of elemental essence, after absorbing it, would he not be able to rise three levels in a row? The idea was quite good but it was a pity that it couldn't be realized. Linley opened his arms and absorbed it for less than three minutes. Then he couldn't absorb it anymore. The body had reached saturation. Forcing it to absorb was easy to self-destruct. Linley, Linley, wake up Linley. Yu Yueka's irritable and anxious voice came from above. And Linley smiled faintly and closed his eyes. At this moment on the B and B's observation deck, Yu Yueka was maintaining the wind barrier with all her might. It wasn't himself who was wrapped up, but Linley. Looking at its surroundings again, tables, chairs and benches, tea bowls and pastries were scattered all over the place. Those who didn't know would have thought that these two had been crazy all night and had moved too much. Linley, if you don't wake up, I'll, I'll, I'll throw you down the stairs. Miss you. Look what you're saying. I provide you with food and drink. And in the end you're throwing me out? Big white-eyed wolf. You saw Linley open her eyes and heaved a sigh of relief, hurriedly withdrawing her powers. Bastard. Exhausted old me. Why didn't you have a precursor for your breakthrough? Almost demolished someone's BNB. Breakthrough? Lindley returned to his senses, only then realizing that there had been a sea change in his body. Clenching his fists, his strength was abundant. Gathering his mind again, he peered into the elemental stars. Sure enough, the number had grown to nine. This indicated that one had successfully stepped into the middle stage realm. Not only that, the current elemental star had already been lit up to the seventh. The foreign energy in his body was still digesting and running, constantly impacting the eighth one, worthy of being a sacred order exotic beast crystal, absorbing less than 1% of the essence alone. It possessed such a great breakthrough. This if it was all absorbed. He he he. Linley, what are you giggling about there? Breakthrough lost your brain to breakthrough? Go sleep your sleep. Corkscrew. You. You Ueka pointed at Linley, her small face puffing with anger. After tossing herself around for half a day, the other party didn't even have a word of thanks. You're the one who's a white-eyed wolf. Ha, huh? thank you. What did you say? Louder. I didn't hear you. Yu Yueka's footsteps stalled and she stifled her laughter. I said, go eat some papaya to make up for it. Corkscrew. Asshole. Clunk. Ouch. Knock knock. Shinigami. Gold medal little chef. I'm Flutterboy. Are you two up yet? Damn. Why is this so weird? Sounds like a cosplay reality show. Pure and simple bourgeois youth. Kada. Lindley's duo put on their masks and pulled open the door to their room. About to leave? Yes. We. Ha. 
the fluttering gentleman and the Jiang Hu magician behind him, Qing Ling'er seemed to have noticed something unusual. Your Excellency's aura is getting deeper and deeper, and it doesn't seem to be the same as before. Lin Li nodded slightly, his tone was indifferent. A small improvement, currently only middle ranked strength. The compulsion is full of wood. Cough. Your Excellency is too modest. Stepping into the middle rank with the power of darkness, I'm afraid that your strength has taken a qualitative leap. Congratulations. Congratulations. Your Excellency, the God of Death, is so gifted. It's really enviable. Congratulations. These three people symbolically said one sentence each, and even clasped their fists. It was so embarrassing to watch Linley. You're welcome. You're welcome. We'd better hurry up and get going before the night gets too long. All right, both of you, please. You guys, please too. In this way, under the two teams inviting each other, the crowd moved forward towards the steel barrier. Halt, what are you doing? What is the purpose of traveling to the dark forest? Two watchmen in silver and white combat uniforms stopped the group of five. The fluttering prince took two steps forward and pulled out a shadow guild mission token and said, Shadow executioner, heading to the dark forest to capture the fey beasts. Seeing this, several people behind him also pulled out their tokens. The guards took the token and simply looked at it before handing it back. Several people, I wish you all the best, and eradicate as many foreign beasts as possible. The guards gave a slight salute and then pressed the blue button on the wall. The hundred meter city gate slowly opened. Thanks a lot. These three middle-aged youths were getting awkward again. After returning the salute, the few people were ready to depart. Slow down. A rough and familiar voice came from behind the few people. Lin Li looked back, and it was actually Kong Zhang. It was the General Jianwei who had taken a billion dollars in bounty last time and arranged for Lin Li and Lu Qingyue to almost have sex. What's he doing here? It won't be. Lin Li became more and more nervous. His head is worth 300 million dollars. The other side will not be rushing to the bounty. Right? Shouldn't be. Based on breath alone the other party had no reason to recognize him. Several people. The Dark Forest has been experiencing a lot of strange movements lately. So I hope to be careful. I don't know if it was a coincidence or what. But Kong Zhang walked up to Lin Li's side and stopped. Solemnly and solemnly, he reminded the five of them. It's this small action in the hand that's a bit interesting. Thank you, your excellency, for reminding us, we will act with care. The Jiang Hu magician clasped his fists and saluted, then led the crowd to continue walking towards the outskirts of the city. Through his mask, Lin Li glanced at Kong Zhang with slight confusion. However, the other party had no change in mood, as if, everything was fine. After stepping out of the city gates all the way to the north and crossing the open buffer zone, the group of five soon arrived at the dark forest. This was not a place for children to play house, and everyone present was on their toes. They were always alert to the changes in the surroundings. The three from the second squad were in the front, while Lin Li and Yu Yueka were in the back, seeing that there were no abnormalities in the neighborhood. The three people in front of them didn't pay attention. Lin Li quietly spread out his palms. His eyes flicked downward slightly. There really was something fishy. On the tiny slip of paper was written, Peer Mole, be careful. A mole? Lin Li hurriedly clenched his palm, and the power of darkness slightly overflowed, devouring the note. Interesting. Things were getting more and more interesting, which meant that these three people in front of them had evil intentions and impure purposes. It was just that the meaning of this mole Lin Li didn't quite understand. Enemies? Or what? Furthermore, where did this Kong Zhang learn about it? It looked like the other party had long recognized their identity as if they had prepared for it in advance. There were many doubts. The situation was complicated, and Lin Li needed time to verify it. Everyone, something's coming over. The fluttering prince stalled, and with a convergence of gold system powers in his hands, he spoke out to warn him. At the same time, the other four also sensed the presence of the beast. The distance was getting closer and closer. The strength of a middle-ranked sixth level. And still, two of them. Cluck, cluck. Two strange sounds came from both the east and west directions at the same time. The five people were very taciturn, and after sensing the danger, they, directly scattered in all directions. Two silver-colored blades flashed by and landed on the ground where the five people had retreated from and exploded. A powerful force scattered in all directions, causing the leaves of the trees to rustle. Everyone, we've hit the big jackpot, the killing heart mantis, or a pear. The male mantis is weaker, leave it to the two of you. The three of us will take care of the female mantis. Wow. After a simple division of labor, the five of them stepped into the battlefield. Lin Li took out the Shang Xia sword. Yu Yu Eka took out the turquoise fan. One in front of the other. Clamping down on the female mantis. Damn. These three middle-aged youths really weren't good birds. One was at the fourth level of the middle rank. One was at the third level of the middle rank. And one was at the second level of the middle rank. 
According to the realm, they were the top three combatants in the team. As a result, they let the two middle rank ones share the male mantis. Weak? Listen to his bullshit. The same middle rank six. How weak can it be? Cluck. Mindlessly distracted. The male mantis was charging with a large claw. Have you ever seen an extremely sharp adamantine hand that looks like a scythe? Have you ever seen an appalling size that is as tall as a human? Have you ever seen a mutated insect with green hair and a bear head? This is the fey. The killing mantis. Dark cut. Lindley took the lead with a flash of black energy. A crunching sound was heard as it collided with the male mantis large claws. The latter only managed to take two steps back, and then both claws exerted themselves, shattering the dark blade. At the same time, Yu Yu Eka also struck. Lifting her fan, she swung it in a circle around the mantis. More than ten small tornadoes wrapped around the male mantis. Seeing the right moment, Linley erupted with his full strength and shadow bind attack from the ground. The black curtain caused the opponent to lose his vision. The last thing was, Ling Tian Sheng evil first sword. Annihilation. Hey, hey, familiar. This was all sensed and developed by Linley from the spirit world. The power was definitely not as powerful as the original version by a million percent, but it was enough to show off the B game. Feeling that terrifying annihilation power, the three members of the middle tier 2 squad all distracted themselves and looked away. Was this really the strength that could be exerted by the middle rank one? Boom. Ah. Due to his distraction, the Junghu magician was knocked away by the female mantis with an impact, spitting out blood and falling to the ground. Just after the start of the battle, his side had lost one of their combatants. He was really convinced by this old six. Linley said, serves you right. There's a price to pay for watching people pretend to be someone else. LOL. The male mantis let out a miserable scream that shook a few people into unconsciously covering their ears. The annihilation power from the abyss easily broke through the male mantis defense, followed by cutting down an arm of the other party like tofu. This was not all. At the wound of the broken arm, black energy was rapidly spreading, eroding its flesh and blood. The male praying mantis could not stop wailing, fell to the ground and rolled back and forth. Linley wanted to continue to make up for it, but he realized that the blow he had just dealt had consumed almost half of his alien energy. At this moment, it was difficult to execute another full strength strike. Little chef, kill him while he's sick. It was better to save your strength and tell your little brother to do it. Yu Yu Eka responded, raising her turquoise fan above her head and began to gather a large amount of wind alien energy. Well, the big move still had to store up energy. LOL. Reaper, watch out. Strong killing intent came from behind. Linley directly cast black mist and instantly disappeared in place. Only when his vision returned did he see that it was the female mantis charging over. Damn it. Three losers. One mantis couldn't even stop them. I'm really sorry. The Jianghu magician is injured. It's hard for the two of us to control this female mantis. The fluttering duke rushed forward and said with an apologetic gaze. Linley was smiling on the surface. But in his heart he was selling his ass. If it wasn't for the fact that these three would be able to share some of the pressure when they grabbed the ice and fire Chilin later on, Linley would have packed them away long ago. All right. The male mantis is greatly reduced in strength. Let's attack together and settle the battle as soon as possible. Good. At this moment, Yu Yu Eka was finally done storing up her strength. A dark green tornado attacked the location of the two mantises. The surrounding trees snapped at the waist. Rocks flew about. And black sand filled the distance of a thousand meters in a radius. The force of this attack is not small. This wind force, at least eight or nine levels. Moreover, this tornado was also filled with wind blades and the trees that were twisted into it were like being chopped up like vegetables, constantly disintegrating and shattering. Ice Blast. Aurora. Dark Shockwave. Three attacks with different attributes smashed down, combined with that terrifying wind blade tornado. For a time, the elements were chaotic, creating a violent big explosion. More than ten seconds later, the smoke and dust dispersed. Several people approached forward vigilantly. LOL. Lindley was startled and busily shouted. Watch out. Immediately after, Countless silver blades struck out from the center of the explosion. The fluttering prince was the closest, so he couldn't dodge in time. After enduring three or four blades head-on, he spat out blood and flew backwards. His body was covered with cutting wounds. Ching Linger and Linley reacted in time, utilizing their elemental barriers to ward off the attack. Yu Yu Eka was the furthest away and easily dodged it. This aura is. Ching Linger spoke in a grave tone, as if she was facing a great enemy, looking towards the deep pit again. At this moment there is still where the male mantis traces. Only a female mantis left cackle mouth chewing something. Motherfucker. Killing your own husband. What a pervert. Do you love me? Love me and you kiss me. Love me and you hug me. Love me and you eat me. Blah 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 blah. It's so fragrant. Seeing the satisfied look of the female mantis. Linley and the others felt a chill run down their spines. 
What a pervert. Eating a mate without hesitation in order to raise its strength. A middle-ranked ninth level. It really couldn't cope. Anyway, Linley had no intention of coping with it, and it was time to run away. Fluttering gentleman. Journeyman magician. How are you two doing? Ahem. I. I'm okay. The fluttering playboy forcefully got up, and a small red pill appeared in his palm at some point, which he directly threw into his mouth and swallowed. After only a few seconds, no more blood spilled from his body. I've almost recovered too. The voice of the Jenghu magician came from the back, and Lin Li glanced at him. Almost, he didn't see anything wrong at all. Just now, he was purely pretending, not wanting to contribute. These guys, their hearts are very bad. Since this was the case, then Lin Li would play along with them. Few of you, there's only one left of this killing heart mantis. If the five of us attack together, even if we can't get rid of it, it's still possible to slow it down, so it won't be too late to retreat at that time. Linley secretly gave you Ueka a look. This girl couldn't do anything else, but her head was brilliant. She instantly understood what she meant. Then she cooperated. I think it's feasible, rich and powerful. We might as well give it a try. Good, then let's give it a try. Prepare to strike. The five of them spread out, occupying different positions, and began to converge their supernatural energy in their hands. It was like taking a shit holding their breath for half a day. The female praying mantis could be considered to have finished chewing, and her two adamantine hands grew another size, sensing the aura emanating from a few people. She was not the least bit intimidated. Lifting her large claws, her eyes showed a fierce color. Cluck. Do it. Chained ice vector. Golden light seal. Wooden dragon. Dark impact. Wind blade art. Ice. Gold. Wood. Wind. And darkness. Five types of energy impacted concurrently. It was as if Ultraman was attacking a small monster, neatly firing kinetic light waves. Killing Mantis didn't even dodge. Two scythe claws quickly danced. Extreme sharpness swept out in a ring shape, and collided with the five people's skills. Collided with the skills of the five. Rumble. The ground in a hundred meter radius was directly impacted to a depression, and the colorful elemental fluctuations were very pleasant. Linley saw the opportunity and shouted, Can't beat them. Run. Then. Yu Yueka turned around with an extremely tacit understanding, positioning himself in the north direction, and started to run. This scene all gave the remaining three people a dumbfounded look, not being able to react for a moment. They remained frozen in place releasing their powers. Running away just like that? Wasn't there still a winner to be determined? LOL. The killing mantis saw two of the enemy running away, and humanely revealed a smug look. With a single force from the scythe claw in his hand, he directly blasted the three out. In midair. Shang Linger, Jianghu magician did a flip and landed smoothly. He then caught up with fluttering Gongzi. They quickly chased after Lin Li and his team in the direction they were traveling. That killing mantis is not a fool. Running away from two people is still acceptable. But if they all run away, who are they going to find to settle the score? His own husband had been eaten. So if he didn't get some interest back, where would he put his reputation in the world of exotic beasts? Swish swish swish. Several blades attacked the trio again from the rear. Shang Linger, Seeing this, ripped off the ice crystal necklace and threw it out with some heartache. The moment the necklace landed on the ground, a sea of ice-based supernatural energy was crazily released. A more than 10 meter high thick ice wall rose up from the ground. It directly intercepted the incoming blade main and killing heart mantis. Seeing this, the three of them sighed in relief and continued to chase towards the depths of the dark forest. Those three guys won't be killed, right? I don't think so. Looking at the way that each one of them spends money like dirt. How could they not have a means of preserving their lives? Do you think those three guys have problems? I'm not sure for now, but they definitely have some small minds. This ice and fire Chilin snatching battle will probably be very lively. Linley dropped his speed and sensed his surroundings. Then he pulled Yu Yueka to turn the direction and traveled towards the western position. There are too many people and a big target. So let's not move with them for now. Someone is coming. I know. The two stopped their steps and looked towards the front. A figure was approaching from afar. Staggering and covered in blood. A middle ranked third level of strength. Linley wasn't afraid. Just quite interested. Injured like this and still dares to run around. Quite a big heart. At the same time. That figure also noticed Linley and the two of them. His figure first stalled. Then accelerated and rushed over. Seeing this. Yu Yueka raised the turquoise fan in her hand and was about to give the other party a blow. Don't rush. The other party doesn't have killing intent. It seems like they're here to seek help. Linley stopped Yu Yueka. Staring at the figure with a rather amused intensity. After more than 10 seconds had passed. The. The man wearing a black mask on his head finally came closer. By the looks of it. He was also a shadow guild missionary. Both of you. Please help me and take me out of the dark forest. 
The masked man had multiple wounds all over his body. Although the bleeding had been stopped, the injuries were particularly serious. If he wasn't treated in time, he was afraid that he wouldn't be able to support himself for long. Your Excellency this is an encounter with a foreign beast? That's right. The team I was in was attacked by a high-grade foreign beast and suffered heavy casualties. I was the only one left to escape. So I hope that you two will come to my aid. Oh, simple. Shell out the money. Ah, the masked man froze, clearly failing to understand Linley's meaning. Take out money. Take out what money? Ah, what ah, crystals, blue coins or whatever materials you've collected. Otherwise why should I help you? Do I look like a philanthropist? That's right. Just thinking about empty gloves. No shame. Yu Yueka's divine assistance caused the masked man to be at a loss for words. Both of you. I. I. I don't have any crystals or heavenly treasures on me. For the sake of being of the same human race, please help me. Scratch that. It turns out to be a poor bee. Happy for nothing. Linley rolled his iconic big white eyes and said, Brother, now that the great compassion mantra has to be VLP in some software, my Buddha doesn't degree poor bee. You'd better find your own way out. Saying that, Linley and his duo bypassed the masked man and continued on their way. Two of you. I'm really desperate. Please, please help me. I. I'll let you have my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law can be young and beautiful. Only 33 years old this year. Linley stumbled and almost didn't pout. Turning his head and looking at the fool like to the masked man said. Buddy, you're a fucking talent. I'm only 18 fucking years old. Just now I thought you were quite pathetic. But now it seems. You still go to hell. A man who can even give away his daughter-in-law is really not a thing. Yu Yu Eka took two steps forward and. Raised his small pink fist and directly smashed it. I know an amazing secret treasure. Don't kill me. The masked man was scared. Put on fell to his knees. Hands folded and shouted. Yu Yu Eka's small pink fist stopped in midair and looked back at Linley. Amazing secret treasure? Who am I to believe you? A poor bastard who couldn't even produce a crystal could really provide any clues to a secret treasure? If what he stated now was true. Then, those words just now were false. People's hearts are wicked ah. I, I admit that I lied just now. The team I was in was not attacked by a high-level foreign beast, but rather, it was robbing treasures with a high-level foreign beast, thus, suffering heavy losses. I had intended to sell this clue for a good price after I went back, but I didn't expect to meet Lin Li. I didn't expect to meet Lin Li and ask for money without saying anything. If you don't give the money and send your wife to them, they won't do it and are ready to kill themselves. This fucking find who to say reason to go? What treasure? Elemental Dharma scroll. What? Say that again? Without waiting for Lin Li to react. You you went crazy first. Pulling out a voice almost didn't bring the wolves. Are you crazy? Why are you so excited when you hear something? Lin Li yanked you you Eka over. Seemingly annoyed. Seemingly confused. And asked. Idiot. You don't even know about the elemental law scroll? This thing records the shocking secret of the elements descending into the world. And has existed since long before the opening of the new era. It is rumored that as long as one collects all 12 elemental dharma scrolls. One can learn the method of controlling the origin and awakening the power of nature. At that time, you can arrive at an unprecedented new height of human beings. What beasts, enemies, just in a thought, can be destroyed in smoke. You can understand that the one who collects the scrolls of the law can be called a god. Linley stared blankly, touching his own forehead, and then touching Yu Yueka's forehead. He didn't have a fever. Why does this story sound like the eight dragon balls? Collect all eight dragon balls. Be omnipotent and realize any wish you want. Girl, are you alright? Oops, what time is it? I'll lie to you? Three months later, go back and ask Chief Yi. Rumor has it, he also has a volume, and the Dean of Sacred Radiance Academy, Wang Gang, and the President of the Divine Lord Guild, Li Tainan, each have a scroll in their hands. Crap, this story is true? Controlling the origin, awakening the power of nature. The meaning of the latter has not been clarified yet, but the former. Didn't Linley just come into contact with the Dark Origin? What other elemental law scrolls did this thing need to collect? Arriving at unprecedented new heights. No feeling awe. Saint Rank or God King? You guys. Are from the Dark Kingdom? The two men's movements stalled. And only then did they react to the fact that they had just blurted out their words. Since this was the case. It was time to kill and silence them. With a flash of coldness in his hand. The victory evil sword was once again drawn. The masked man was so frightened that he hurriedly cowed out and admitted his mistake. Master, I didn't hear anything. And you didn't say anything. I'll tell you where the elemental dharma scroll is located. And you can spare my life. Yes. Linley smoothly retrieved the Shang Xian sword. Indicating his agreement. The masked man heaved a sigh of relief. And just in case made a point of making the other party swear an oath. Making an oath with an elemental star. 
This thing was no joke. Once the oath was broken, it was highly likely that it would be reversed. If it was light, the breakthrough would be blocked, and if it was heavy, the body would explode with demonization. Therefore, no one would choose to make an oath with an elemental star if it wasn't an extremely special situation. I hereby swear to the elemental star in my body that if the other party truthfully explains where the elemental dharma scroll is located, I will let him go and will never hurt his life. Is that okay? Linley held up three fingers and made an oath in a decent manner. Only then did the masked man feel relieved, and recounted the location of the elemental scroll in detail. Incidentally, similarly, he made an oath, stating that he would not disclose the identity of the two of them, not to mention that he would not lie or falsify. Linley nodded with satisfaction, so proving that the elemental dharma scroll was real. All right, deal struck. Good luck. After saying that, Linley turned around with an evil smile. On the side, Yu Yueka pulled back her black hair curtain, her killing intent showing. You, are you crazy? But you made an oath that you would spare me. The masked man was dumbfounded. He never expected the other party to suddenly change his mind. This was illogical, wasn't it? I did promise to let you go, but my little brother didn't? I can guarantee that I won't make a move. As for the others, hey, sorry, my word doesn't count. You, you're simply a devil, scum, pervert. Before the masked man could finish, a dark green blade cut across his neck, a generation of poor bastards, and thus the curtain fell. This is Linley taught him the last lesson of life, nothing less with strangers' contact. It is not certain when you will be removed from the waste. What? You say I don't keep my word? No humanity? A ruthless man? What? Can you eat this? This poor man knows his identity, even if he makes an oath. There's no reason to trust him. Besides, he's no good either. He's just a profit seeker. Even if Linley didn't kill him now, with his current behavior, it would be difficult for him to get out of the dark forest. To give him a ride ahead of time, to help alleviate his pain, would be considered a good deed. No need to thank me. Please call me Mr. Living Buddha. What's the next target? The ice and fire unicorn or the elemental scroll? After briefly cleaning up the scene, Yu Yueka returned to Linley and asked. The elemental dharma scroll is in no hurry. Not to mention the fact that there are high-level foreign beasts guarding the place. Not many people can seek it out just based on the geographical location it's in. Right now, time is running out. There are more and more teams searching for the ice fire chilin. We have to hurry. But, where are we going to find it in such a large dark forest? Linley thought for a moment and said, The ice and fire chilin mother beast, with its peak super rank strength, must be in the deepest part of the dark forest. Once a team fights with it, the scene will definitely be a landslide. So are we still afraid that we won't be able to find it? Wow. I didn't expect you to have some brains. Linley didn't bother to retort, continuing to march deeper into the forest. Roughly an hour or so had passed. The stomach was hungry. Motherfucker. Not even having breakfast was like rushing. Little brother. Big brother is hungry. Yu Yueka looked at Linley, then at his own stomach, and said in an aggravated manner, I'm hungry too. So what? I go to find food? Otherwise Lu? You are the little brother or I am the little brother? Looking for food this kind of basic work. Shouldn't it be you to do? Hey, you're a man. Shouldn't a man hunt and a woman cook? What? Who the hell is living with you? Little brother loves big brother. Big brother loves little brother. Linley has always adhered to this order principle. So, Yu Yueka was then sent to hunt around the neighborhood. Just kidding. Eat my food. Drink my food. And try to whore me out for nothing. What's the use of being good looking? A microslope airfield. Not a bit of weight there. Ten minutes later. Yu Yu can't move. Twenty minutes later. Yu Yuka didn't move. Thirty minutes later. Yu Yueka still hasn't moved. Linley couldn't sit still. This girl wouldn't have fallen into a pit, right? Or maybe she was told to go hunting and got eaten by the prey? Looking in the direction where Yu Yueka was hunting, she didn't notice anything unusual. There shouldn't be any powerful foreign beasts in this vicinity. Otherwise, there was no reason why one would not be able to perceive it. Little brother, little brother. Linley lowered his voice as much as he could, shouting as he searched. After groping back and forth like this for seven or eight minutes, finally unearthed the anomaly. What a big pit. It was about two meters in diameter and deep. The upper layer of rock is broken. Tree branches and leaves are still hanging around the pit. At a glance, it looked like someone had passed by and accidentally stepped on the laminated rock and fell into the deep pit. What the hell? Yu Yueka really fell into the pit? It's so deep. Won't she die from the fall, right? After thinking about it, I decided to go down to investigate. She's the granddaughter of Elder Yu and recognizes herself as her big brother. So it's not easy to explain what happened. Linley took a deep breath and pulled out the Shang Xia sword. He jumped directly into the pit. 
A strong sense of weightlessness hit his entire body, and Lin Li inserted the Shang Xie sword into the surrounding soil layer as a way to slow down his descent. After roughly 30 seconds, he finally reached the bottom. Good lord, a hundred meters deep. If it wasn't for his spatial teleportation skill, he wouldn't have been able to return to the ground. Entering the bottom of the pit, his sight became wide open. Looking around, Lin Li froze. This place, isn't it a northeastern farmhouse? Familiar bungalow architectural style, familiar red bricks and tiles, motherfucker. The most outrageous thing was that there was also a gust of cooking smoke floating above the house. The rich aroma of vegetables filled the entire area. Make an effort to smell it. Hmm. Potato, eggplant and bean curd stew. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
It seemed that it wasn't a so-called hermit Highlander. You're overthinking it. It was Miss You who told me about this farmhouse. I haven't gone out for 23 years. Ha! Huh? Linley was completely confused. You you Eka told the other party? Kiljun had stayed in this place for 23 years. How old was he? Alas, this bee can read minds? Wait wait wait. I'm a little messed up. Let's take it one at a time. You you Eka. What? You you Eka was pulling rice into her mouth. And was very confused as she twisted her head to look over. Why are you saying everything out loud? You are selling your teammates. No. It's selling your big brother. Can you afford me? Bullshit. How did I wrong you? I obviously didn't say anything. He guessed it himself. Guessed it? At this time, Kiljun also spoke up. Indeed I guessed it out. Miss you didn't say anything. Now Linley was even more confused. Guessed it out? This was clearly mind reading. Right? No. 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 I can't call this mind reading. But. Mind invasion technique. Linley didn't understand. Yu Yu Eka didn't get it either with her rice bowl. TSK. It's manipulating the power of darkness to invade your minds and extract the memories I want to know. Of course. Only memories within seven days. That's right. I'm an alien. Darkness alien. Don't worry. I'm not interested in you too. The so-called money means nothing to me. If you keep cursing me, I'm going to beat you up. Linley hurriedly withdrew his mind. This little guy was really something. The title of worldly superior was true to his name. All right. Drink. Eat your food. Clean up and I'll go with you. Ah, uh, go with me? Where to? Of course I'm going out. I've been in this hellhole for more than 20 years. I have to go out and find a daughter-in-law and settle down for the rest of my life. Right? Linley's heart has never stopped since he entered the house. How poor are you? What kind of girl would be willing to give up her life for a daughter-in-law? Which girl is so kind-hearted that she is willing to sacrifice herself for others? Ah, uh, that, Elder Slayer ah, uh, you are also a darkness system alien. So can you teach me the so-called mind invasion technique just now? You can. But with your current strength you simply can't learn it. Utilizing the power of darkness to invade the other party's mind. The prerequisite is that it is two major classes above the other party's strength. Linley realized that something was wrong. According to what the other party said. Then Kiljun's current realm. Minimum super rank or above. 23 years old super rank? I awaken my psychic abilities at the age of 3. And in 20 years. Arriving at today's height is hard to understand? Right? Who said that one couldn't awaken psychic abilities at the age of 3? It was only a matter of probability. Nearly 99% of people awakened their powers after the age of 16. However, there was still a small portion of people who were lucky enough to be favored by the heavens. Who would awaken their powers before the age of 16? Only, this 3 years old awakened. It is 2 and B a bit. Linley chucked a piece of potato and stuffed it into his mouth to suppress his shock. Suddenly, an idea drilled into his mind. And his eyes instantly lit up. Senior, the outside world is not that good. It's not hard to find a daughter-in-law, but it's hard to make money. Without money, there is no daughter-in-law, much less a home. How about, you come to me, act as a fighter, and I'll pay you a salary. One month, five million blue coins, guarantee your wife and child a hot bed. Hearing Lin Lee's words, Kiljun was obviously stunned, because he perceived that the other party wasn't lying. In that case, this was indeed a very good choice. Twenty million dollars. Cough cough cough. Damn it. This bastard had learned the skill of bargaining as well. Linley took a deep breath. Twenty million dollars is twenty million dollars. As long as he caught the ice and fire Chilin, three billion blue coins would be in his hands. This amount of money Linley could still take out. All right. In that case, one hundred million. Ha! Huh? You're getting three billion. I'll take one hundred million. It's not too much, right? Well, it's not too much. Yu Yu Eka on the side came with a wave of divine assistance, almost not choking Linley to death. Shut your mouth and eat your rice. Oh, Yu Yu Eka shrunk her neck and continued to dry her rice. Senior, this, 20 million dollars have been negotiated. It's not appropriate to raise the price temporarily, right? Kiljun did not think so. Drinking a cup of goat fence to himself, I think it is quite appropriate. You do not also hold the idea of selling teammates and monopolizing the rewards? By the way, that little girl named Ching Linger has a problem. What do you mean? Feelings, one of the three is a mole. Through your memory, I saw how each of the three behaved. Those two boys have some small minds, but they are not hostile to you. It's this little girl. TSK, not simple yo. Lin Li now had one thought. Big brother NB ah, with his memory, he was able to help Lin Li find the so-called mole. If he could keep Kill June by his side in the future, he'd take off. If you find me a daughter-in-law, I'll work for you. Ah. Uh, it's not a big problem. Can we discuss something first? I can't. I don't take on disciples. Before my master passed away, 
he had specifically instructed me that I would only serve as an assistant to a legendary talent. All right, if I can let Senior assist me, Linley is satisfied. All right, hurry up and eat. We'll discuss after dinner. In this way, Linley and Kiljun drank two pounds of white wine. Yu Yueka the girl was really not picky, and ate four whole big bowls of rice. The amount of vegetables in one pot ended up with no hair left over. According to the agreement, Kiljun began to pack his luggage, and this so-called luggage is, pots and pans, quilts and bedding, salted vegetables and onions, an old hen's rooster. Elder Kill, are we planning to move? Kiljun stood in the vegetable garden plucking onions, explaining in a serious tone, this is all my heart and soul, and after we go out, we'll never be able to eat such delicious vegetables again. Linley was speechless. Aren't all vegetables the same flavor? What kind of vegetables don't come in any kind of society nowadays? What thick and long onions can't be bought? Seeing the mountain of parcels, Linley had a big headache. The last thing he could do was to give a spatial ring to Kiljun. This is still the one that was snatched from Zhu Wuning's hands last time. Let's hope that everything goes well in the follow-up, and that with the help of this senior kill, he succeeds in capturing the ice and fire unicorn. Ready? Ready. Let's begin. Linley nodded then released his darkness abnormal energy. The black mist gradually wrapped around the three of them, and their sight returned in a little bit. Kiljun faced the farmhouse compound and waved his hand with seeming reluctance. Goodbye, my former home. Rumble, the deepest part of the dark forest, the center of the border with the extreme north beast region. A small mushroom cloud rose into the air. A distance of a thousand meters in a circle was flattened. Dozens of exalts ran outward like mad. Among them, there was also the familiar little three. Damn it which bastard angered the ice and fire Chilin mother beast. There's no fun for everyone now. Roar. A thunderous roar resounded through half of the dark forest. The originally sunny weather was now covered in black clouds. Purple lightning thunder snakes kept shuttling through the thick clouds, as if they would descend into the world at any moment. It was like an apocalyptic scene. Whether it was a foreign beast or a foreigner, they would all run away madly. Ching Linger followed closely behind fluttering Gongzi, her gaze extremely complicated. The target was lost and the ice and fire Chilin had gotten angry. How can we go back now? Strange. It's been so long. Why haven't we seen the Grim Reaper and the gold medal little chef? Could they be in some kind of trouble? This won't work. With just the three of us, the plan can't be implemented smoothly. We must form a new alliance. Why don't we? Wait a little longer. Changlinger looked left and right, never finding Linley's figure. This inevitably made her a little overwhelmed. It could only open its mouth to stall for time. Roar. With another roar. The ice fire Chilin's mountain-like body appeared in the crowd's field of vision. At this moment, the hearts of all the people and beasts present were spitting out the same sentence. Damn, this bee can fly? Fey beasts weren't like humans, who could control the ability to fly after arriving at a certain realm. Rather, when you were born, your species determined whether or not you could fly. This point was not detached from nature. But this ice and fire Chilin doesn't have wings either? This is a three-system supernatural beast, and now it can also fly. So how the hell can we play? Which three? Ice system, inflammation system, and thunder system. The existence of this kind of beast is extremely special. And the number is pitifully small. Can be said to be one in a hundred million probability of appearance. Especially like the ice and fire Chilin such a powerful beast. With the current knowledge of mankind, absolutely no more than five. However, on the human side, there had never been a strong multi-system alien ability. It was probably because the physique was too fragile to withstand the mixed impact of too many alien energy attributes. Not good. That beast is going to breathe fire again. Everyone combine your defenses. Seeing that the situation was not good, the Jung Hu magician directly gave up the idea of escaping. The three of them formed a circle and combined their efforts to release the strongest defense skills. The fluttering gentleman was the first to pull out a colorful crystal ball and threw it straight into the air. The crystal ball floated in the air and exploded releasing a powerful mixed elemental supernatural energy that firmly wrapped the three of them. Golden Light Wall, Green Blockade, Ice Crystal Fortress. It was also the instant the three had cast their skills and stabilized. The roaring flames eroded the earth, and several people were like a flatboat in the ocean. Staggering and fragile, Elder Slayer, can these three guys hold out? A thousand meters away on a hillside, three melon eaters were watching with great interest. Linley pointed at the three people staggering under the tree and asked curiously to the side. Kiljun shook his head, but then nodded. It's possible, but it will be injured. That crystal ball will last at most 30 seconds. Looking at this little guy, it will spray for at least 35 seconds or so. Little guy? Who's the little guy? Linley thought he had misheard and didn't care. But right now these three were injured for sure. This ice and fire Chilin has already been enraged. 
It's much more difficult to capture the little Chilin. Ha, huh? how come I don't see the little Chilin? Yu Yu Eka stretched his head and looked for half a day without seeing any trace of the little Chilin. He couldn't help but be curious. Kiljun pointed at the ice and fire Chilin in the void and said, On her back. On her back? Then what the hell are we catching? Lin Li decisively chose to give up, not to mention putting his hand on the other party's back. Now this situation, can't even get close. Maybe at some point it will give you a big spray of fire. Money is important, but life is the most important thing. Hey, forget it, this mission reward is not destined to belong to me. Lin Li, or go back and change the mission. Lin Li turned around and sighed slightly, stretching out his hand. He wanted to tug the two away. The left hand grabbed, the right hand. Hey, where is everyone? Kiljun's figure disappeared at some point. It confused Lin Li. Duh, 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 big, big what big? Why are you still stuttering? Seeing you you Eka in this state. Lin Li was both speechless and wanted to laugh. Eating brain damage tablets. Right? Idiot. Look at the sky. Yu Yu Eka directly broke over Lin Li's head and fixed his sight in the air. I, I, I. Crap. Stuttering squad added a new member. Right at this moment. Above the void. Kiljun's figure appeared on the back of the ice and fire griffin. Easily grabbing the small griffin's tail. He then patted the large griffin's head. Once again. He disappeared into thin air. Lin Li faintly felt a spatial fluctuation beside him. Turning his head to look. There was another crouch. The little Chilin had been captured and returned? It took at most five seconds to come back and forth. And even molested the female Chilin a bit. That's a bit uncharacteristically strong, isn't it? Don't stare. Grab that little guy before he reacts. Big brother, you're still afraid of the female Chilin with this strength? It's not that I'm afraid, but it's unnecessary. Robbing someone else's child. It's already our fault. So it's a bit too much to clean it up again. Lin Li grew his mouth and froze for two or three seconds before asking. Big brother, what exactly is your strength? Don't know. Don't know? Just don't know. I've been cultivating for 20 years. I'm not very clear about the positioning of the foreign energy in my body. When I adapt for a period of time, I should be able to recognize it. Roar. At this moment, the female Chilin's great spew of fire finally ended. The woods and vegetation within a thousand meters all turned into smoke and dissipated. The earth was bare and black. It was unclear how many people had died. Probably not a hundred, but eighty. In the end, the miserable three little ones didn't hold out and were attacked by the flames. The good thing is that they only received a momentary impact, and their injuries were not too serious. At this moment, is helping each other to get up, walking apprehensively towards the distance to disappear. The female Chilin came to her senses and looked at her back. She looked at her back, and then at the location of Lin Li's trio. She froze for two seconds. Then, an unprecedented roar erupted. Without saying a word, Kiljun directly raised his hand and gave the other party a punch. A punch in space. The entire space trembled violently, and the palpitating dark energy could not be captured with the naked eye, because it was simply too fast. Boom! A muffled sound came from the female Chilin's body directly flew backwards. A faint wailing sound was emitted. Didn't you say you wouldn't do anything? Nonsense. She's trying to kill you all. If I don't do anything, who's going to find me a daughter-in-law? Lin Li, Yu Yu Eka simultaneously threw up their thumbs and shouted. Bullshit. All right, we should go. It seems like, there's a big guy approaching. A big guy? It can't be a saint-ranked foreign beast, can it? Gotta grab and run then. Knocking out the little Chilin that was flailing and howling. Casting black mist one after another. With Lin Li's current strength, he could teleport up to 200 meters each time. After five casts, he was back in the dark forest area. There were a lot of trees in this place, so it was good for hiding one's identity. The super great ice and fire Chilin hadn't gotten over it yet, so he had to take this opportunity to escape. Most of the beasts and aberrants that had just fled in all directions were swallowed up by the flames and turned into fertilizer to protect the flowers. Only a small number of strong strength can escape. This group of people had all seen the terrifying strength of Kiljun. Even if the ice and fire Chilin cubs were in the hands of Lin Li's team, no one dared to come forward to fight for them. Who dared to put their own little lives on the line? Reaper, little chef, fluttering prince. That familiar voice came from the distance, and Lin Li's trio didn't lower their speed, merely glancing at it. What a tragedy. A big, white, clean young man was currently being burned into an old country bumpkin. His body was scorched black, clothes were tattered and torn, and the wounds had not yet been treated. The three of them all look like this, especially green spirit, red piece, white piece, green piece, purple piece, this reveals a piece, that reveals a piece, prohibited from driving, did not reveal any key parts, asterisk carrot carrot asterisk, hey, there is material, 
It's just a pity that this little beauty had clothes inside her spatial ring, and was quickly covered up. Hey, what are you looking at? Your eyes are all straight. Yu Yueka sensed something wrong with Linli and followed her gaze. Bah, stinking rascal. Why are you everywhere? I'm a hooligan and I'm happy to be. People have material. Do you, M.S. Airfield? You. You 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 you. You what you? Focus on driving. I'll look at it again. Linley turned her head again and realized that Kiljun was also looking. And looking even more seriously than Linley. If he wasn't wearing a mask, that colorful look would have scared people. Two perverts. Yu Yu Eka muttered a small mouth and rushed to the front to lead the way. Your Reaper Excellency. Congratulations on capturing the Icefire Chilin. Dare I ask if this senior is. As the two teams got closer and closer, the fluttering duke held a reverent gaze and asked cautiously. Kil Jun ignored him, his gaze still locked on Chinglinger. Linley sensed that something was wrong. Kil Jun was not shibboleth, but rather, sizing up, scrutinizing. Girl, the foreign energy in your body, doesn't belong to you, does it? With one word, the whole place was confused. Chinglinger was even stunned as her breathing stuttered. Her wide-eyed beauty full of unbelief. Doesn't belong to yourself? Linley seemed to associate it with something. Then combining it with reality. Analyzing it. And judging it. Determined. This Qing Linger was 80% an undercover agent sent by the demonized legion. But how did the other party know his whereabouts? Elder's words. Late generation can't understand. How could Qing Linger dare to admit it? She could only lie with a hard head. The remaining two did not unearth the end. Feeling that the senior's speech was cloudy. It should be complimenting Cheng Linger, right? It's just, I don't want to care about your affairs. But this kid, you can't take him away. Kiljun withdrew his sight and spoke indifferently. Cheng Linger's gaze grew more and more tense as she skimmed over Linley. A tinge of disappointment catching in her eyes. This mission was too difficult, and she chose to give up. Three of you. This time, you guys didn't put in a single ounce of effort to snatch the ice fire Chilin. And you all relied on this big brother of mine to make an appearance. Of course. My big brother's appearance fee is also very expensive. Two ghost grasses is the base price. For the sake of our cooperation, I'll give you 5 million blue coins and 3 middle ranked beast crystals, just as a way to make friends and keep the friendship. To be honest, Linley was already quite enough. If it wasn't for the fact that these three people's identities weren't simple, and they wanted to leave a good karma to facilitate their actions when they bumped into each other in the future, there was no way that a dime would be left for each other. But what Linley hadn't expected was that the fluttering duke and the Jianghu magician had refused. Your excellency is right. We didn't contribute to this operation. And this mission reward has nothing to do with us. It's already an honor to be able to get to know senior. How dare we ask for extravagant money. That's right. Since mission 999 has already belonged to us. There's no need for us to get entangled. Wouldn't it be better to work together again when we have the chance in the future? Yo. These two people were quite sensible. Or rather. They were quite qualified and educated. Knowing that green mountains don't change, green water flows forever. Linley was afraid of meeting douchebags who felt that others should be his, owed him, and that they should share a portion of their rewards with him. If that's the case, none of these three people can escape. All of them would have to be turned into living fertilizer. Since that's the case, three of you, see you again if you have the chance. We have other things to do. So we won't return to Tsong City for the time being. Miss Linger, see you again sometime. Linley waved his hand at Ching Linger, he knew in his heart that the other party wasn't here to kill him, but to bring him to the demonized legion. It was the same virtue as Huali back then. It was unclear exactly what means the other party had at their disposal. But, if it wasn't for the presence of Kiljun today, a great battle would have been inevitable. The two teams honored each other goodbye, and then they went their separate ways. There are still a lot of bold alien hidden around. A group of outlaws just... All of them were unwilling to have the ghost grass and 3 billion blue coins and 50 crystals snatched away. Since this was the case, Linley didn't say anything. Immediately handed Kiljun a blue card. There was 100 million inside, which Yi Cheng had handed over to himself. When one was paid, naturally speaking, one had to work. Kiljun was very painful and snapped his fingers, and the surrounding area was instantly quiet. Linley more and more cannot see through the strength of the realm of killing Jun. Hidden around are basically some high level alien. Occasionally mixed with some middle ranking gangsters, but a ringing finger can solve dozens of people. This strength positioning, at least Yi Chang's level, that is, the peak level of the super order. After eliminating the hidden danger, several people accelerated their march. From this position, the presence of the ice and fire Chilin mother beast could still be sensed. A roar from the big guy shook the ground of the dark forest. The clouds in the sky had yet to dissipate, proving that the mother beast's rage had yet to subside. 
Linley turned east and west based on the direction of the secret treasure's location as described by the masked man. It wasn't until six hours later that, completely shook off the ice and fire Chilin Mother Beast. At the same time, he arrived at Deceitful Realm Mountain. Deceitful Realm Mountain, along with Fuzhou Mountain, Hengtu Mountain, Hitai Mountain, Jia Pang Mountain, and Pingwang Mountain. It is known as the Six Holy Mountains of the Far North Beast Region. Why are they called Sacred Mountains? Because it is rumored that each mountain is occupied by a sacred beast. The strength is monstrous. Only the whereabouts are uncertain. Seldom frequented. The remaining five mountains are located deep in the beast domain. Only this deceitful realm mountain is located at the border of the dark forest. Stepping into this mountain meant stepping into the beast domain. The number of foreign beasts encountered would increase exponentially. And the level of danger was far beyond what the dark forest could match. We've arrived. Roar. Wow. Lin Li and Yu Yueka backed up nearly a hundred meters with an extremely tacit understanding. This job was still something Kiljun was good at. Inside the cave, a pair of scarlet bloodthirsty eyes blinked like neon lights. They are like red candles in the cold wind and moon. Flickering. Killing Jun stood at the entrance of the dark as in cave and snapped his fingers. Tada. Done. The two of them, Lin Li, walked back again in silence. It's so cool. When will we be able to do this? The moment he snapped his fingers, Lin Li seemed to have detected a fluctuation of spatial elements. Maybe his realm is too low to keep up with the big brother hand speed it. After clearing the obstacles, the three of them walked into the cave. The rich smell of blood hit their noses, choking the few people who frowned. How many people or beasts had to have been killed for this to accumulate blood chi? Just look at the ground. Various kinds of white bones, strewn and scattered, and many undecayed corpses with masked heads, most likely the accomplices of that poor be-masked man, unable to recognize their own strength positioning, rushing up to give away their heads. This place, can there really be secret treasures? Why do I feel like it's a nest of foreign beasts? Yu Yueka looked east and west and saw nothing but bare rock walls and white bones. The space inside the cave wasn't too big, and it was only about 400 meters to the end. Lin Li circled around the rock wall, saying anything to find out the secret treasure. It wasn't that he was persistent, but there were definitely treasures buried in this place. Otherwise that group of mission enforcers would have had enough to come to this place to explore? 30 minutes later, Lin Li compromised. Motherfucker, there was nothing in this shitty place. Those idiots must have been fooled. Kiljun sat on a raised rock, looking at the two people working blindly for half a day, and finally couldn't sit still. You too. Can't you raise your heads and look around? Raise your head? Lin Li hurriedly tilted his neck to look upwards. Crap, there really was one. He saw a golden yellow ancient iron box hanging at the top of the cave in the center of the cave. A few strands of vines were entwined around it, holding it in place. A treasure chest? Is this really a secret treasure of the wilderness? Yu Yueka stared blankly at the top. There were still things like treasure chests in this era? Wasn't it said that it was scattered? How did it even become a monopoly reward? Ah, uh, let's get it down first. Lin Li slashed his finger, the dark black blade directly shattering the vines, and the heavy iron chest bammed onto the ground. The ear-piercing sound of metal friction echoed throughout the cave. Kiljun also came to interest, followed by two people went up to check. Lin Li squatted down and briefly fiddled with the big treasure box. There was no lock and no mechanism. With a click, the lid was lifted. Taking a look inside. This is. Mars Turtle Man? There was only one thing inside the treasure chest. Two palm-sized stone tablets. And the words inscribed on them. Lindley couldn't understand them at all. There was a circle drawn on the left and a hook drawn on the right. There was also a smiley face in the center. Is this a new version of hieroglyphics? Do you. Can read it? The remaining two shook their heads. Indicating that they had touched a knowledge blind spot. Lindley picked up the stone tablet and flipped it up and down. Nothing special. The most important thing should be the words inscribed on it. It seemed like he had to take the time to find a literature master. Let him help see if this Martian style can be translated. Snap. HM, what is it? Linley looked back. A small stone? Snap. Snap. Two small stones. Clatter. Crap. An earthquake? Run. In less than three seconds, the entire cave began to tremble violently. The rocks at the top falling off one after another, and cracks began to appear in the surrounding rock walls. This is too bloody isn't it? Playing with earthquakes for a good reason? Can't go out. Just as Lin Li and his duo rushed out a hundred meters, Kiljun's figure suddenly appeared directly in front of them, stopping them. Lin Li was a little confused, and also a little anxious. The cave was about to collapse. Why not go out? Elder Kill, it's about to collapse. If we don't go out we'll evolve into monkeys. What do you mean? Pressed at the bottom of the mountain for five hundred years, Kiljun shook his head and turned to look out of the cave. This is not an earthquake but a great riot of foreign beasts. A great riot? Lin Li, 
Yu Yu Eka vocalized at the same time. How did this for no reason? Ah, uh, it didn't seem like it was for no reason. It can't be because of this little Chilin, right? Linley lifted the little Chilin in his hand and shook it. It hasn't woken up yet. No, that female hasn't yet arrived at the ability to control an army of foreign beasts. It's most likely the work of that big guy that just appeared. The big guy? Saint ranked foreign beasts. Linley's eyes widened and he instantly went numplod. Saint ranked foreign beasts had gotten out. Going out would definitely be a death sentence. Ha! Huh? Linley realized that the earthquake had subsided. It should be the alien beast army pressing past. Oh no! There's going to be another big battle in Sung City. Isn't this a normal thing? In recent times, large and small battles in Sung City have occurred nearly every seven or eight days. Linley, turn your ring. This battle, it's extraordinary. This bee was peeping into his memories again. Hey, that's not right. Didn't he say he could only extract memories within seven days? Your ring is tied by a powerful chi. One can guess with one's toes that it's a teleportation magic weapon. A teleportation magic weapon? Then how come I can't teleport there? Because you don't have enough strength. When you arrive at your so-called high-level realm, you will naturally be able to use it. Wow. Hey, you still haven't said why you need to turn the ring? What does extraordinary mean? It means that this alien beast riot involves at least a million people. And I've already sensed 27 of the so-called super stage alone. What the hell? A million beasts? How many guards are there in Song City? Nearly 100. 000 would be good. I turn. I turn. I turn. I turn. Linley riveted his strength and quickly turned the ancient black ring. Truly, a powerful aura began to emerge. Yi Cheng's familiar entrance was reflected in the trio's eyes. What's wrong Linley? Called me too. Halfway through his words, Yi Cheng suddenly noticed that something was wrong. His face swished and changed, looking very seriously out of the cave. How come there are so many? What exactly has happened? If I'm not mistaken, you're the so-called half-step sage, right? Yi Cheng turned around violently and looked at Kiljun as if he was an enemy. Who is your excellency? How dare you see through my strength? A nameless person, calling myself Kiljun. Kiljun? It's Kiljun, the June of Thousand June. Lin Li hurriedly explained. However, Yi Cheng was still very wary. Your excellency's strength is extraordinary. I'm afraid that you have long entered the realm of the holy order. I don't know where you came from and where you're staying? Linley couldn't stand to watch. Were all conversations between high-ranking people so inked? Brother Chang, I assure you that Senior Kill is in no way malicious. He is now my full-time fighter. Right now it's better to solve the problem of the invasion of foreign beasts. Yi Chang's eyes narrowed slightly as he glanced at Linley and pondered for a split second. In that case, your excellency is interested in joining me? Ask him. He pays my salary. I listen to him. Kill Jun pointed at Linley with his chin particularly calm. That, it's no problem to go out. Can you send the two of us back to Tsong City first? One more person is more power. Good, let's go. Yi Cheng directly released the black mist and wrapped the few people present. When the next second came, Lin Li realized that he was above the clouds. Above, above, vomit. No way. You're going to vomit just after flying? Yu Yu Eka gripped Kiljun's arm tightly and looked at Lin Li with a teasing expression. You're the one who talks too much. Be careful I'll spit in your face. Vomit. Ha. Huh, that's disgusting. Linley patted his chest and smoothed out his breath. It was really too sudden to fly. And her head was too dizzy to adapt. It was much better now. Wire. Weller. The ear-piercing siren sounded halfway across the sky. Looking down towards the bottom. The densely packed army of foreign beasts was currently charging towards the location of Tsung City in a frenzy. At the back of the team, there were also several incomparably horrifying figures. Among them, the ice and fire Chilin mother beast was the most conspicuous. At this moment, its eyes were red, and its dark brown nostrils were constantly gasping for air, as if it was holding anger in its heart that desperately needed to be released. This is a big trouble. How did you even lure the ice and fire Chilin mother beast here? Then why did you capture its cub? For the sake of the quest, three billion blue coins, two ghost grasses, and fifty middle-ranked fey beast crystals. What reason do I have to refuse? Hey! This female beast is afraid that it's been controlled by other saint-ranked fey beasts, and in its berserk state, even I wouldn't dare to take it lightly. What then? Can Song City be defended? It has to be defended even if it can't be defended. Just now I have released my chi. The people from the Dark Kingdom will arrive soon. Then, shouldn't we also inform the evil spirit holy temple? No need. There are their people among the guards. When it's time to come, they will come. During the speaking period, a group of four people, Along with a beast finally arrived at Tsung City. Landing on top of that familiar steel barrier. 10,000 guards of the city. Stood in strict wait. Your Excellency. Capturing a thief is the first step. 
you and I will join forces. Taking down that big guy shouldn't be a problem. Give it a try. Kiljun took off his mask, guffawed, and disappeared with Yi Chang. What is this thing called? We just tossed it a month ago, and now it's here to guard the border. And it's still the same place. Lin Li held onto the city wall, observing and sighing at the same time. Yu Yueka scratched his head and asked curiously, Who did you come with last time? My, classmate, a girl named Lu Qingyue. Che, as good looking as me? Lin Li's mouth twitched, his eyes skimmed towards the bottom of the slant. Flirting, the face value is equally divided. It is this other place well. Oh, people are mountain peaks. You this is a plane. Endless. Ping. Yu Yu Eka was so angry that she went up and kicked. Lin Li casually grabbed it. I don't have time to mess with you when the enemy is at hand. If you want to mess with me, go home and mess with me. Who's going home with you, stinking hooligan? Yu Yu Eka twisted her head away, no longer paying attention, because the army of foreign beasts had already attacked the foot. The familiar yet shocking scene played out once again. Countless elemental skills covered the sky and smashed outside the city gates in a brainstorm. As the saying goes, when a soldier looks at the same person for three days, the last time he came here, Lindley was only at the fourth level of the beginner's class. In just a month's time, he had already stepped into the realm of the middle rank. This improvement could not be described as great. Darkness shockwave, do 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 do. Two laser rays frantically swept the battlefield. With Lindley's current stored value of alien energy, it wasn't a problem to last half an hour. Moreover, there was still that saint-ranked alien beast crystal, which was enough to recover while consuming. Great Dragon Scroll. Yu Yu Eka pulled out the turquoise fan again, aimed at the center of the battlefield directly below, and swung with all her strength. A green dragon scroll that was neither too big nor too small rushed into the battlefield. Wherever it passed, there was chaos. Fey beasts of a lower level would all be caught up in it, dancing around. Can this Linley tolerate it? If a big brother isn't as handsome as his little brother, how can he establish his authority in the future? Dark rhythm. Linley got serious. Scary when he got serious. Scary and powerful. The land in a hundred meter radius was eroded by darkness. A black mist erupted out. But any foreign beasts that were stained would be eroded. Black Shadow Legion. Give it to me. Linley went out on a limb, directly squandering his body's foreign energy. A full 300 or so demons were summoned. The average strength of all of them was above the fourth level of the middle order. Although they weren't even hairs on the ground for the million strong army of alien beasts. However, for the generals defending the city on their side, this was a great boost. Brothers, good job. Your summoning ability has really come in handy. Hey, why do I feel that this group of summons doesn't seem to be normal? I can feel it too. It's so rich in dark elements. Brother, what kind of genus ability do you have? Several of the surrounding exalts while releasing their skills to defend the enemy, did not forget to ask Linley about his attribute exotic abilities, because to them, the means that Linley had displayed were too bizarre. These 300 or so demons were simply unheard of and unseen. Linley quickly absorbed that saint-ranked fey crystallization, commanding the demons to fight while claiming that he was a darkness attribute ability. Now the people around him were even more confused. Since when could the darkness department summon monsters? A new breed? Roar. Oh no. That ice and fire Chilin female beast is attacking. Everyone join forces to fend it off. Never let it get close to the steel barrier. The target of the attack of the thousand or so Xenos instantly shifted. That huge body, the sky was filled with flames, the earth was frozen, and purple thunder rolled in the sky. Don't mention how oozing it was. If it was allowed to come into contact with the steel barrier, it was estimated that this line of defense would be easily broken. At that time, it would truly be a fiery hell on earth. Linley, quickly release the little Chilin. The mother beast is rushing over. Seeing that the ice and fire Chilin's huge body was rapidly approaching, Yu Yu Eka cried out urgently. Linley grabbed the still unconscious little Chilin and shook it. Still not awake, letting it go? What a pity. There was no reason to spit out the fat meat that was in your mouth. Closing his eyes, he once again felt the power of the dark origin. In just three minutes, relying on the saint stage alien beast crystals, he recovered most of his physical strength. Linley once again released all the foreign energy in his body and concentrated it at one point. This time, it was bound to summon a high-grade flying demon. Whistling. A strange low roar that didn't resemble a tiger or a dragon came out. Linley suddenly felt his entire body lose strength. It was a bit overloaded. Luckily, the crystals in his hand were quickly replenished, and he was barely able to support himself. Opening his eyes, a demon with a black and red body. Wings on its back. Two horns on its head and what appeared to be an external outline appeared. It was large, with a body length of more than 2 meters. Most importantly, it was the strength of a high rank 2. Success! Linley didn't hesitate and directly rode up, 
holding the little Chilin firmly tight. Let's go. Lure this big guy away. The demon under the seat seemed to have been born with a spirit, letting out a low roar in response. It then stirred its wings and leapt up. The ice and fire Chilin sensed the aura from the little Chilin and looked up furiously. He saw Lin Li riding a demon, holding the little Chilin in his arms, and rushing towards the rear of the beast army. His already crimson eyes became even deeper and darker. A roar that shook the heavens resounded through the battlefield, and the ice and fire Chilin similarly leapt up, chasing towards Lin Li's position. Seeing this scene, the defending army all sighed in relief. As long as they lured away the ice fire Chilin, the rest of the beasts would be easy to deal with. Rumble. Rumble. Roar. Quickly. Quickly. Speed up. Brother. Purple thunder spread across the sky. Every now and then one would strike down. The demon carried Lin Li, staggering and dodging back and forth. Seeing the ice and fire unicorn getting closer and closer, Lin Li had to pull out the Shang evil sword, swinging his chopping blows to the rear while urging the demon to speed up and escape. This peak super rank foreign beast really wasn't something to be reckoned with. If it wasn't for the fact that it was holding the little Chilin, and the other party was concerned about hurting the child, it would have already burned itself to cinders with a big spit of fire. However, since the other party had concerns, then this matter could be handled well. Stall. Until the reinforcements arrived, everything would be fine. Pang pang pang. Crap. Quickly turn the corner. Linley clutched the demon's neck in a death grip and made a sharp breaking turn. An overwhelming shock of energy swept through the sky. At one point, it even blasted away the heavy clouds. The long-lost sunlight once again fell on the earth. After a little bit of perception, most of the space filled with darkness system alien energy, which is also mixed with a small part of the heat wave of the inflammatory system. There was no need to guess. It was the two big brothers who were fighting with that saint rank alien beast. The impact could be felt from a distance of 10, 000 meters. It was unimaginable to imagine the scene in the center of the battle. Behind the ice and fire unicorn beast was also impacted by this energy. Although it did not cause damage, but also fear. Like Linley, it reversed its direction, not daring to approach. Motherfucker, why is the support so slow? If it doesn't come I'm going to be chopped to death. Linley kept an eye on Song City's movements, always expecting reinforcements to arrive. Five minutes later, the reinforcements didn't come. The ice and fire Chilin caught up, just a dozen meters apart. The other party's breathing could be perceived clearly. Roar. Oops I chow. This roar almost didn't shake Linley's bitter bile out. The demon instantly lost its balance, swaying left and right as it fell from a high altitude. This time Barbie Q had it. Yi Chang, Kil Jun was too busy strangling the Sacred Order alien beast to pay attention to himself. The vision in front of them blurred for a while. The sensation of falling hit his entire body, and Lin Li's eyes closed. It couldn't be helped. Just now, he had been releasing his alien energy, and the speed of replenishment couldn't keep up with the speed of consumption. At this moment, there was no more strength to summon other demons. A life of pendulum swinging? Let's just listen to God's destiny. Kid, after joining the Dark Kingdom, how come your heart isn't what it used to be? Linley snapped his eyes open, thinking that reinforcements had finally arrived, only to be a little confused after seeing the figure that had saved him from death. Dean Wang? You, how did you come? Which Dean Wang could there be? Wang Gang, he had met him once on the day of his awakening. This old bald man had a good personality and his quality was okay. Otherwise, Linley wouldn't have been relieved to hand Xiaoya over to him for cultivation. Why can't I come? The invasion of foreign beasts. Everyone has the responsibility to fight it. So, the other five courtyards are also. You're overthinking it. It's only the old man me. Cam. That still talks so much nonsense. Wang Gang clasped Lin Li's shoulder with one hand. And with the other hand, he gathered his supernatural energy and aimed a punch at the incoming ice and fire unicorn. The effect was definitely not as strong as killing June. But it did force the beast back. For the sake of a young beast, you don't even want to live. Thanks to your sister still worrying and remembering the whole day. In the end, you don't value your life so much. Who can you stand up to? Xiaoya, did Xiaoya ask you to save me? Wang Gang nodded indifferently with a cold face. I promised your sister that if she is willing to worship me, never betray holy radiance, and never sink into darkness, I will save your three lives. Now, it's the first one. Hearing Wang Gang's words, Lin Li's heart was not in the right place. Xiaoya had promised so much, all for herself. At the same time, it also signified giving up the right to choose. The right to choose freedom. Dean Wang. I'll repay you for saving my life, but please don't make things difficult for my sister. On the day when I set my feet on the six courts in the future, I will definitely let Shang Hui live. The corner of Wang Gang's mouth twitched as he glanced at Lin Li. Kid, how dare you be so wild in front of me. Letting Shang Hui live? It should be sacred radiance letting you live, right? 
Linley snorted and laughed, pointing due north, perceive carefully, that, you can beat it or not, Wang Gang froze, then turned his head to look due north, there was a terrifying impact, a fierce bombardment, and a mournful howl, his brows tightened more and more, this is, Wang Gang's eyes grew whiter and whiter, his shock unmistakable, a human saint rank powerhouse, how is this possible, after half a day, Linley wasn't blowing in B, but climbing a big brother, even that Kiji Chang is a half step into sainthood, Kud, the peak era belonging to the six great academies is about to come to an end? Humph, the six great academies? One is more hypocritical and dirty than the other. When a great enemy is at hand, they don't think of fighting hard against the foreign beasts. They just think of infighting, without dealing with those few scourges. The hearts of the divine continent, and even the entire human race, will not be united. Wang Gang fell silent. Clearly, what Lin Li had said was right. All along, he was also well aware of this truth. Nay, the general trend was such that it was impossible to change it with just his own strength. Perhaps the rise of Linli meant the coming of the Dark Age. With Wang Gang around, the Ice Fire Chilin's crisis was temporarily lifted. After all, this was also a big brother. Super Rank 10, the number one person in divine state on the surface. Secretly, there was no telling where it ranked. Anyway, at the moment, it seemed that Yi Chang, Kil Jun were all stronger than him. Back on top of the city wall, the little Chilin woke up leisurely. Seeing that he was tied up and leaning against the city wall, he whimpered. Linley didn't have the time to pacify it. Glancing at it twice, he suddenly changed his mind. Why give the little Chilin to someone else? Wouldn't it be better to keep it for yourself? Look at that ice and fire unicorn female beast. How dominant. How majestic. This little Chilin will one day be able to reach this realm as well. Then, we'll ride it around the world. The level of status will go up and up. Mission? So what if it's a mission? People of my generation never make choices. Give the unicorn to the task publisher. Take the reward. And then snatch it back. Who knows who we're dealing with anyway? Don't say we don't have morals. These days, profit is the most important thing. Beautiful women are the second most important thing. Linley kid, not seen for a long time. The breath is getting deeper and deeper Ah, Realm unexpectedly even I cannot perceive. A little interesting. Song Hongyun's figure appeared on top of the city wall followed closely by a large group of reinforcements with the ability to fly. Linley was finally able to catch his breath. To receive praise from Vice Hall Master Tsung, Junior is honored. Ha ha ha. Linley, I don't think the Dark Kingdom is necessarily the most suitable place for you. My evil spirit sanctuary isn't bad either. Wealth, power, resources, what the Dark Kingdom can give. I, the evil spirit sanctuary, offered double. Consider it? Linley silently rolled his eyes. No wonder Yi Chang was more antipathetic to him, catching an opportunity and starting to pry people out. No morals at all. Pale old boy, don't give your face, blatantly prying people. Do you really think my dark kingdom doesn't exist? Several familiar figures swept sharply from the sky and landed on top of the city wall in the blink of an eye. Grandpa, what are you doing here? Yu Yu Eka didn't show much joy in seeing Yu Wu. Instead, she was still a bit disgusted. Stinky girl, why do you think I came? You can't even grasp this opportunity and you need grandpa to personally help you. Ah, Linley didn't understand the meaning of what these two grandparents were saying, and focused on Wole instead. Student Lin, I heard that you've been promoted to the middle rank? Congratulations ah. Hey, it's a small promotion. It's not worth mentioning. Why don't we chat later? The fight over there is heating up. It's not good to just watch, right? Linley pointed to the direction where Wang Gang was and the direction where Kiljun and Yi Chang were, and said, Hey, it's a pity. Song Hongyun saw the Dark Kingdom's elders, the Inquisitors arriving, turned his head resentfully, and shouted, Seven Kill Formation, Rise, the familiar formation was activated once again, and various kinds of elemental supernormal abilities blasted at the alien beast army as if they were free of money, sharing a lot of pressure for the city's defending supernormal abilities. Humph, how can the Seven Kill Formation be compared to our Candle Dragon Formation? All of you, Formation Up, the Seven Elders, carrying four Inquisitors, more than a dozen executives, and thousands of middle and high-ranking powerhouses formed the Candle Dragon Grand Formation. The effect was definitely not as strong as the Dark Kingdom's defense array, but it was still enough to deal with the situation at hand. A hundred-meter-long black candle dragon appeared under the clouds. With a low roar, it charged straight towards the beast army. Linley was truly experiencing what it meant to slaughter. Wherever it passed, not an inch of grass was left to grow. The dark elements were as vast as the sea, advancing like a giant wave. In just over 10 seconds, 10,000 beasts were devoured, in a radius of a thousand meters. It was empty, and there was no trace of any foreign beasts. 
Linley was really curious. With this means, why didn't you use it last time? Gotta, it seems like I don't need to make a move. Linley sat on his butt on the ground and held the little Chilin in his arms, pinching his nose and ears. Seeing this, Yu Yu Eka also came forward to play with it. This little guy was chubby, about a meter in size, with a crimson body, four limbs, and an icy blue tail. There were also purple patterns wrapped around its body, and its style was quite unique. It could be called, the fashion pioneer of the foreign beast world. Roar, roar, the little Chilin twisted its body, looking very resistant. It also kept baring its teeth at Linley and growling low. It was clearly holding a grudge. There was no way, if he didn't knock it out, it would be too troublesome to hold it on the way to escape. There's plenty of time, so let's slowly train it in the future. The feelings of this thing have to be cultivated a little bit. Ten minutes later, an ear-piercing wail came from the distance. Immediately afterward, there was a sight like a nuclear bomb explosion that mapped the sky. Boundless darkness engulfed the sky, the earth, flowers, plants, trees, and foreign beasts and creatures. Everyone present had their hearts trembling. This power, it's fucking outrageous. Lindley got up and looked into the distance. An attack of this level should have been executed by Kiljun. So, this was the true strength of a saint-ranked powerhouse. When they raised their hands, they could affect the heavens and earth, silencing everything. How strong would that legendary god king realm have to be? A sneeze that annihilates a city? Look, the beast army is retreating. Yu Yu Eka pushed Linley, who was in a daze, looking very excited. Just retreat. The big boss has been solved. What's the reason not to retreat? Unseen corkscrew. Yu Yu Eka puffed white eyes Linley. Lazy retort. This battle. The curtain had officially fallen at this point. Although the scale of the beast's attack was larger than before, there were too many strong people who came to support them this time. Linley knew of more than 20 super ranks alone. Most of them were strong supporters from the Dark Kingdom, followed by the Evil Spirit Sanctuary's seven killing formations. Therefore, the losses on the human side this time were not great. The battle didn't last too long from start to finish. Two masses of black mist appeared in front of Linley. It was Yi Chang, and Kil Jun had returned. Kil Jun looks like he still has the same elegance. Only this Yi Chang. Brother Chang, are you injured? Just saw Yi Chang's mouth corner still left a trace of bloodstains. The black trench coat at the shoulder was badly torn. The wounds inside were vaguely visible. But fortunately, the bleeding had already been stopped, and it didn't look like a big problem. I'm fine. It's normal to suffer some injuries when you're fighting against a sacred rank alien beast. Saying this, Yi Chung twisted his head to look at Kil Jun, bowed slightly and saluted. Thanks to your excellency's help this time, the Dark Kingdom will definitely offer a generous gift. This brother is polite. I'm just a laborer. I work when the boss pays me. Thank him if you want to. Kiljun nudged his chin and pointed at Linley. Ah, uh, Linley, are you planning to return to the Dark Kingdom, or are you going to? Halfway through his words, another voice descended from the sky. It was Wang Gang who had returned from repelling the Icefire Chilin. What, ready to crusade against my six academies? I don't know what kind of wind blew Dean one here. This northern border. It seems that it only belongs to the Dark Kingdom and the Evil Spirit Sanctuary, right? What, the six colleges have changed their faces and made a fresh start? Yi Cheng's words were quite detrimental, implicitly sarcastically criticizing the six great colleges for not speaking of the same righteousness of the human race in the past, and never taking the initiative to support the northern battlefield. On the contrary, the Dark Kingdom, looking at the concept of the human race's big picture, had repeatedly sent troops to support the east and the south. The result was a hot face on a cold ass. Therefore, the relationship between the two sides had intensified in recent years, minding their own business and no longer meddling in other regions. Yi Chang, sneering is not like your character. I know that Sun Wukong and Huang Fei Hong have been acting a bit over the top in recent times, but, that doesn't mean that I, Shang Hui, am the same. Lin Li, three lives, this time, let's count it according to the promise you made. While speaking, Wang Gang's attention had been focused on Kil Jun, a saint-ranked powerhouse, who wouldn't be afraid of anyone else. With that strike just now, annihilating the entire Holy Radiance Academy would only take an instant. He Wang Gang is not a fool. He can distinguish the situation and recognize the reality. When it is time to bow your head, you have to bow your head. When it was time to give in, one had to give in. Dean Wang, please rest assured that I, Lin Li, am a spit and a nail, and I will never go back on the promises I made. Besides, my sister is still in sacred radiance. I'll do it as a matter of reason. Wang Gang nodded then turned around and leapt high into the sky, leaving the steel barrier. Right at this moment, Sun Hongyun also put away the seven killings grand formation and led many strong people to board back to the city wall. Only, this face did not look good. 
the gaze was cloudy and uncertain, and the color of scorn was clear at a glance. Two steps forward, slightly to kill Jun bowed his head and said, the strength of the Lord is extraordinary. Even arrived in the legendary realm of the holy stage, belongs to my human race a great fortune. Today, I feel honored to be able to witness your hand. I sung Hong Yun not in vain. In a few days, I, the evil spirit temple, will be prepared to pay you a visit. Song Hong Yun is a moral vanguard. The first time you see a strong person, you will go forward to flatter. I don't know how the style of this evil spirit sanctuary is really. Kiljun was expressionless and glanced at Linley. The latter revealed a bad smile and nodded slightly, signaling his agreement. This gentleman is polite. Since it's the evil spirit holy temple's good intentions, then I'm not in a position to refuse. Song Hong Yun's face showed joy, secretly saying that there was a chance, hastily bowing once more. He pretended to be flattered and said, Thank you for your honor. I'll go back and prepare. And three days later, I'll definitely pay a visit in person. Linley stifled his laughter. His heart was blossoming with joy. It's an asshole to not take advantage of a bargain. Gifts should be received. Things cannot do not do. These days, who didn't plan this way? To send a gift in the name of the entire evil spirit sanctuary, how big of a gift would that be? Just thinking about it was exciting. After Tsung Hong Yun and the others left, the only people left in notice steel barriers other than the guarding generals were those from the Dark Kingdom's forces. The seven elders, inquisitors, and executives saluted Kiljun in turn. Holy Order Darkness Powerhouse. Absolutely the veritable number one person in the Divine Continent. It was even more in B than Yi Chang. Brother Chang, I still have some unfinished business, so I can't return to the Dark Kingdom for now. Roughly a month from now, Elder Slayer will travel with me to the six great academies. If I don't beat the shit out of old man's son and Huang Fei baking, I, Linley, don't even deserve to be a person. The people present all smiled with satisfaction when they heard these words. A legend of the dark realm. As it should be. Good. I won't interfere in your affairs. Be careful on the road. Your whereabouts have been exposed. And it's expected that someone from the six academies will be looking for you soon. He he he. If he dares to come, I'll dare to kill. Linley's gaze grew more and more vicious. A cruel smile hanging on his lips. I hope that those idiots are smarter and don't rush to their deaths in too much of a hurry. By the way brother Chang, so Kong Zhang is your man? Kong Zhang, isn't he the commander-in-chief of this Tsunqing garrison? When did he become my man? So, Kong Zhang's information wasn't given to him by you? Then why did he help me? Lin Li was genuinely curious. Since he wasn't someone from the Dark Kingdom, who could he be? Through his last contact, Lin Li knew that this person was the best with money. There was no reason to let his 300 million heads go without taking them. It was even more unlikely that he would be grateful to himself for getting one billion last time. A warrior who had been killing for a long time had long since worn out his emotions. In addition to profit in their eyes, the only thing left was the duty of defending the country. I can't sense Kong Zhang's aura for the time being. Be careful. Helping you doesn't mean it's for your own good. It could be that he's trying to catch you, waiting for the right opportunity to put in a long line to catch a big fish. Lin Li can be refined it. This reasoning will not not understand. It seems to act in the future. More and more need to be on guard. After waiting for more than an hour, the battlefield was cleaned up. This time, Lin Li was not polite, and directly received 10, 000 beast crystals. If Lin Li hadn't been there, he wouldn't have been there. If Lin Li hadn't been there, Kil Jun wouldn't have been there either. Even more so, Yi Chang wouldn't have noticed it in the first place and rushed to support him. In other words, Lin Li played a key role in this battle. Let's not forget that it was still him who lured away the ice and fire Chilin. Otherwise, it was unknown if the steel barrier could hold. 10,000 fey crystals. No more. No less. 200 were distributed to the corkscrew. And another 2,000 were distributed to Kiljun. After all, he is a big man. Although the top of the name of working, but also cannot be treated poorly. This daughter-in-law matter is not easy to solve for a while. All things must speak of a gradual progress. I'm not sure if I'll be able to introduce a girl to you. With his face value, there are plenty of them but the relationship has to be cultivated slowly. Besides, with the status of this big man, can ordinary women look up to him? The most important thing is that you have to have a good understanding of what you are doing and how you are doing it. This trip is full of harvest. The sky is getting dark. Lin Li intends to go to Pingcheng tomorrow. Today, we will stay for one more night and take a rest. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a good meal, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to get a good meal. After half a day of searching, I finally found an authentic northeastern iron pot stew. There is no need to wear a mask. Anyway, his whereabouts have been exposed. His team and Sunqing so glowing hot, but all a little investigative ability of the forces can know the existence of killing Jun. If you have the guts to come, 
I will have the guts to make you chrysanthemums bloom everywhere. Sun Wukong, Huang Fei baked all the same. Boss, stew a goose, be quick, okay, three of you, inside please, boss warm hospitality, will introduce the three people into the largest a private room, just sat down, the phone rang, sunset west mountain black sky, the city gates are closed and bolted, grounded, sounds good, caller ID, Lu Qingyue, Yu Yu Eka in the position beside her stole a glance and giggled and laughed out loud, yo, your lover is calling, why, too embarrassed to answer? You can't even plug your mouth with melon seeds. Waiter, bring her a plate of papaya to make up for it. Ask, what is time love? Only, calling people to live and die with each other. To be honest, Linley this heart is still a little apprehensive. Do not pick up to say cannot go. Pick up too much. What is this called? Hello? What's the matter light language? After saying this sentence Linley regretted. Make it sound like people can't find themselves if they are fine. Mouth cheap. Linley, your matter has been clarified for you by Dean Sun. The surveillance video is indeed fake. Wang Qi's death has nothing to do with you. You betrayed the sacred royalty because you were forced to, not because you colluded with the dark kingdom behind the scenes. Now, the other five houses, except for Huali, are all speaking in your favor and choosing to believe you, and your bounty order has been officially revoked, with Dean's son deciding to personally apologize to you. There are also the other four courtyards that have chosen to comfort you with some compensation. Lu Qingyue spoke a great deal. But Linley's mood did not shift in the slightest, even more so, it was even more bland and cold, this situation had long been expected, the surveillance video was a fake, oh, really not coincidentally, that surveillance video was really not fake, this reason is really far-fetched, it is not just afraid to kill June this big Buddha, what, the more you are afraid, the more I will bring this Buddha to collect the debt, 30 years east of the river, 30 years west of the river, now, it's the turn of these old guys to stoop low and taste the unpleasantness. Whispering. So, do you intend to persuade me to go back? Or do you intend to persuade me to put down my hatred and spare the six great academies? Lu Qingyue was silent because she didn't know what to do either. What happened to Linley made her feel doubly heartbroken and helpless. What right did a bystander have to persuade the victim to put down the butcher's knife? Linley, I don't want to persuade you. Because I know that what happened to you is all thanks to them. Since you left. And Fatty left too. I've seen so many realities that I've never been exposed to before, and cognized the most cruel human nature, but I hope that you can be more careful. Some people, some things, are predestined, you can symbolize it as an experience, as an ordeal, as a challenge on your way to success. The big picture is at hand, the six academies have their necessity to exist, I hope, you can think it over before making a decision. Lindley took a deep breath and leaned back, looking up at the crystal lamp, the colorful look was pretty, unfortunately, he was only made of glass, no higher value existed, thank you, whisper, I have long considered this matter clearly, and I will not let the six great houses disappear before the world situation is stabilized, but, there are some people, some things that must be disposed of, first choice, is Huang Fei baking and Sun Wukong, Lin Li, for the sake of Vice Dean Luo, it's because of the face of Grand Master Luo that I only targeted Sun Wukong alone, if not, the noble sacred royalty, I would have slaughtered at least half of them, the more Lin Li spoke, the more agitated he became. The dark power mixed with endless killing intent, hatred, and resentment came out through his body. The temperature of the entire room instantly dropped. Yu Yu, who was sitting on the side, unconsciously shivered, sensing that something was wrong. Even Kil Jun frowned slightly, then waved his hand. The darkness within the room gradually dissipated. Lin Li returned to his senses, realizing that his mind had been affected again, slightly apologizing, he said towards the other end of the phone, whispering, you don't have to persuade me anymore, this is already the biggest concession I've made, I know, Lin Li, take care of yourself, with that, the phone was hung up, no way big brother, your signs of demonization are getting worse, Yu Yu Eka changed her usual immodest look and was worried, it's fine, I'm still in control, is there any method to stabilize it, Kil Jun, who hadn't made a sound, spoke up, he could also see that Lin Li's current state was terrible, and he needed to think of a way to solve it as soon as possible. In a month's time, after dealing with the affairs of the six academies, I'd like to trouble Senior Kill to go with me to the Underworld Abyss in the extreme northeast region to look for the Meditation Stone. No problem. Underworld Abyss? How do you know that there are Meditation Stones there? And rumor has it that there's a Saint-ranked foreign beast hidden there as well. So it's dangerous. It's not like I'm asking you to go with me. Isn't there Senior Slayer here? White-Eyed Wolf. I'm worried about you alas. In case you die there, won't my grandfather's plan be? Not on what? 
you Yuaka shut up in a hurry, shaking her head how she refused to continue. This grandparents and grandchildren, there really is something fishy going on. Did not wait for Linley to continue to ask questions, the dishes came up, stewed goose in an iron pot, the aroma, causing the surrounding three people's stomachs to grumble, grumble, grumble endlessly. Kiljun smelled the familiar aroma of northeastern dishes, instantly came to the spirit. On two bottles of Mao Tai, a cup of papaya juice, three people began to struggle. Two hours later, burp, Linley took a toothpick and picked his teeth, patting his stomach, so full. Kiljun also ate with a red face and drank with unusual excitement. Hey, after living in that sunless farmhouse for more than 20 years, I've never eaten such flavorful dishes. It's a pity, it's a pity, Elder Kill. From now on, we don't leave meat at all times, and we don't have a lot of wine at all times, as a way to make up for your lost youth. Kiljun froze, always felt that this word were not twisted. You still don't call me Kill Senior. It does sound a little strange, just like you to Yi Chang that way. Call me Jun Brother on good. Come on, I've been waiting for you to say this for a long time. It also sounds weird for me to call it. In fact, Linley felt that he was at too much of a disadvantage when he was always called by his seniors. The difference between the two is only five years old, making it seem as if they are a generation apart. After paying the bill, the three of them returned to the BNB. &B. Well, there was another room left. Linley really curious. Notice BNB. Dozens of rooms. Where the hell are so many people? But the night is already late too lazy to find another accommodation. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. I was going to kill June sleep on the bed, you Yueka sleep on the sofa, Linley in the observation deck to meditate. The result is, the three of them did not sleep. The first time I saw this, I was in the middle of the night, and I was in the middle of the night. The first thing I did was to get a good look at the other side of the room and see if I could find a way to get a good look at the other side of the room. At the same time as practicing, he restored the body's functions. As for you Yueka, this girl, she was struck down. Today's battle was her first. Facing the infestation of millions of foreign beasts, she finally realized how small she was. The strength of a middle-ranked level 1, in this battlefield, could be described as a low-grade fighting force, the role played was minimal. Therefore, she then began to strive for strength and was bound to break through to middle order level 2 within 5 days. June, I need you tonight. No problem. What do you want to do? Let's take off our clothes first. It'll be a bit hot in a while. On the viewing platform, the two of them sat cross-legged opposite each other. Right in the center, there was the holy great alien beast crystal. Linley's move was not to share its internal elemental essence. Rather, he was asking Kiljun to help himself and catalyze the absorption. With this big brother present, Linley wouldn't be affected by the foreign beast's mental body, thus getting rid of his scruples and devote himself fully to cultivation. Tonight, he was bound to advance to the second level of the middle rank. Only, at the moment, the posture of these two people, the image is more. Well, anyway, Yu Yu was not interested in practicing, and with a rotten girl's smile on her face, she pressed against the glass and peeped. That look, not to mention how excited. At this moment, Linley, naked, muscles, lines vaguely visible, a perfect body. This alone was relatively normal. After all, it was a boy. It wouldn't be indecent. It was also mainly because absorbing an excessive amount of elemental essence would cause the body to heat up making it difficult to wear clothes. The problem lies in the fact that Kiljun is also in this look. Well it seems to be normal too right? The same can be explained with the above reasoning right? But this Kiljun's one hand, placed on Lin Li's chest position, and every now and then also moved just. Ahem, I won't go into the details. Anyway, the picture style is a bit weird. Yu Yu Eka watched especially seriously, and at the same time did not forget to take pictures to keep as a souvenir. These days, there isn't much true love left. However, for all of this, Linley had no idea. At this moment, he was gathering all of his spiritual energy and controlling his body to absorb the elemental essence. The ninth elemental star had already begun to flicker. It was just one foot short of the threshold. Late at night, two o'clock sharp. Boom! A muffled sound woke Yu Yueka up from her cultivation. Yeah, finished so soon? Seeing the Linley duo on the viewing platform get up, she hurriedly came up as well. Congratulations to the two of you for tying the knot and I wish for an early birth. Lin Li, Kiljun, Yu Yu Eka was the only one who couldn't stop giggling. After getting dressed, Lin Li always felt that something was wrong. A grab the pink bear's cell phone. There was no password. Unlocking it was. Yu Yu Eka. In the middle of the night, an angry roar resounded through the sky. Your Excellency Death. Congratulations on completing mission 999. The Shadow Guild has contacted the mission publisher and is expected to arrive within 30 minutes. 
Please take a short rest in the VLP reception room, the receptionist position. The masked young lady handed Linley a gold card signifying VLP status. At the same time, she instructed a male attendant to take a few people up the stairs to the second floor reception room. This time, the reception room is much more expansive than the room where the fluttering gentleman was last time. Last time, it was a green card VLP, but this time it was a gold card VLP. Just by looking at the color, you can tell that it's not a grade at all. The Shadow Guild's VIP hierarchy is named after the level of the supernatural ability. Green card means primary VLP. Yellow card means intermediate VLP. Gold card indicates advanced VLP. Red card indicated super VLP. Black card means holy VLP. The way to get it is also simple. It is distributed according to the number of tasks you have completed and the difficulty of the task. For example, the 999th mission that Linley completed this time, the difficulty is equivalent to 100 ordinary missions. So, you'll get the premium VIP directly. If one more mission of the same difficulty was completed, one would receive a super VLP. Brother June, I'll leave it to you in a moment. Don't worry, within a hundred miles, I can catch up at any time. Kill June sipped his tea, rather calmly. It was as if this kind of thing was nothing to him. In this way, the three of them sipped tea for more than half an hour. The door of the room was knocked. After pushing it open, the attendant guided two richly dressed, high-flying golden masked men into the room. Both parties have arrived. May I ask? Will the transaction begin? The two golden masked men sat on the sofa directly across from Linley and the others, their gazes burning into the little Chilin. If they weren't in the way of the staff being present, they were probably ready to get their hands on it. Begin! Begin! Linley shouted at the same time as one of the older masked men. The attendant nodded respectfully, then carried the little Chilin onto the table for a good inspection. Snap this, pull that. Three minutes later, the inspection was complete. Party B's mission completion. 100%, ice and fire Chilin cub, no problem, the two masked men were even more excited, moving their asses back and forth, as if they couldn't wait, immediately, the attendant took out a black card, another space ring, and a small crystal box, into the spiritual power to probe, the space ring is no problem, the number of crystals inside is accurate, the black card was inserted into the detector and the amount was displayed, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 blue coins, Finally, the crystal box was opened. A rich dark aura filled the entire room, and wrapped around it, there was a tantalizing aroma. It was as if it was the scent of grass, and it was as if it was the scent of flowers. Anyway, after smelling it, it felt like the body was floating. It was like inhaling that. Party A's task reward is no problem. Both sides have finished testing. Start trading. The whole thing is quite solemn. Worthy of being a big guild. Can't afford any mistakes. The attendant first put the little Chilin into a special steel cage, and then handed it to the masked man. Afterwards, the crystal box, space ring, and black card were then handed into Linley's hands in turn. At this point, the deal between the two parties was officially concluded. It also meant that mission 999 was completely over. Everyone got up at the same time, and Linley shook hands with the older masked man to show that the cooperation was pleasant. Your strength is extraordinary. If there is an opportunity in the future, We'll work together again. Sir is too kind. We'll meet again if we have the chance. See you again. With that, the two masked men left the reception room under the guidance of the valet. Linley gave Kiljun a wink, and the latter instantly disappeared in place. There wasn't a single fluctuation, and his breath was completely absent. One hour later, inside the suite of a 10-star upscale luxury hotel, Kiljun's ghost-like figure reappeared. The little Chilin in his hand was particularly well-behaved. It was probably shocked by the powerful strength of Kill June. Did June kill those two? Killed one. The other one was saved. Putting down the little Chilin, Kill June sat down on the sofa and drank a cup of pre poured tea. Linley gently smiled and said, I think it's not that he escaped, it's that June didn't want to kill him, right? Originally, I didn't want to kill any of them, but that young man was too uneducated to fight with me, so I was too lazy to get entangled with him, so I settled him. As for the remaining one, he was rescued by two so-called super-ranked powerhouses, and it seems that his family background is quite extraordinary. Vaguely, I seem to hear someone call it, Wu Family Master, Wu Family Master, Wu Family, Wu Xiao. It can't be such a coincidence, right? But, this one with both strength and background, other than the Wu Family that Wu Huo was in, which other Wu Family was there? What should we do for the next month? Yu Yueka sat boredly on a rocking chair in front of the floor-to-ceiling window, holding the little Chilin in her arms and muttering, Linley and Kiljun, on the other hand, were sitting on the sofa in the living room, watching TV while, learning to smoke, yes, 
Limley learned to smoke. It's the fault of Kiljun. When watching TV, he saw people with a cigarette in their mouths, especially curious. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm going to be able to do it, he said. Then, Limley asked the room service boy to buy 10 good cigarettes. At first, he took two puffs, choked, and then took two more. The first two puffs were choking, and then two more. The first two puffs were not good enough for him to smoke. Seeing him like this, Linley cannot help but be curious. 18 years old, adult, smoking is not a bad boy anymore. The result is to follow the trend. Three hours, the two of them killed a whole box of cigarettes. That's why Yuyuko held little Chilin in her arms and went to the floor-to-ceiling window to look at the scenery. Half-rolled yellow leaves lightly into the throat, enjoying starry eyes with the night rain on the fence. You talk about the impermanent things in life, but even the clear wind dies sorrow. Good poem, good poem. Kiljun was amazed by Lin Li's poem. Having survived for more than 20 years, his greatest hobby, or the only remaining hobby, was reading books and studying literature. At this moment, the poem composed by Lin Li was quite touching to Kiljun, as if a touch of sadness came out. What is it? I don't know. Anyway, it's quite sad. Che, sticking an onion in a pig's nose, pretending, slap, chick, you're more literate than me. Why don't you recite a poem like the two of us? Are you stupid from smoking? Or is your brainstem empty? Why are you pretending to be a gentleman? I'd say you you doesn't know how to be funny. He ruined the atmosphere at the crucial moment. What else can an airfield who doesn't know the accent do? Enjoy two days. Go look for ancient fossils. Where to look? First go to the auction house and try your luck. If it's not possible, then go to the major guilds and release a mission. Anyway, in a month's time, the ancient fossil must arrive. Otherwise, my essence pills will be gone. Wow. I'm hungry. Me too. Linley looked at Yu Yueka, then at Kiljun, and with his hands spread out, he said, then let's eat. After lunch, the three decided to relax. Ever since they stepped into the alien world, they hadn't properly strolled around the ordinary people's world. What with the shopping malls, parks, bars, ballrooms, Linley hadn't touched it for a long time, and it seemed like a large portion of the joy of life had been worn away. So, it was decided by vote. The first stop, Pingcheng Huanrong Big Shopping Mall. After casually hitting a drop, a group of three people began a joyful journey. Half an hour later, Linley, give money, pay for what? Nonsense, you can't spend money in a shopping mall, right? When the big brother should not control the expenses of the little brother? Linley snorted. Ha, you're miss you, the granddaughter of the disciplinary elder of the Dark Kingdom, and you're telling me you don't have any money? Of course I have money, but, but I left in a hurry a few days ago and I forgot to bring my card. Looking at you Yueka's aggrieved little expression, Linley finally understood why this girl had to live with herself in the first place. I'm not going to be able to get a good look at you, but I'm going to be able to get a good look at you. Hey, really can't help you. Saying this, Linley pulled out two black cards. One was given to you Yueka and one to kill June. I, Linley, am never stingy with my own people, so spend as much as you want. Yay, my Winnie the Pooh. Here I come. Is this considered childish? June, let's go to a clothing store. It just so happens that I don't have a few clothes to change into. I'll do whatever you want. With that, the two of them took the elevator to the second floor. The first floor was the cosmetics and women's clothing area, so Yu Yueka could just go crazy on her own. The second floor was the world exclusively for men. Yo, where did the handsome little brother come from? Are you interested in coming over for a drink? Just after arriving at the second floor area, the two were molested. These days, all the rich women love to squat on handsome little brothers in the boys area so much? This way, Linley really had a hard time. Looking along with the source of the voice, he saw three mature ladies with different flavors and tastes, sitting on the resting sofa in front of a store and waving. That feeling, just like the neon neighborhood. Children are not suitable. Just know it. Sisters can be really beautiful. But unfortunately, we don't have the stature. Just two ordinary poor boys. Poor boys who can't even afford to buy clothes. Still the same sentence. It is an asshole to not take advantage of a bargain. These three rich women, their face value is good, their body is good, and their configuration is even better. If you have the opportunity to take advantage of it, if you don't have the opportunity to take advantage of it, anyway, it's not a loss on the left and right. Just think of it as having fun. Linley's small mind was instantly detected by Kiljun, a single guy who has been single for more than 20 years. How can he let go of this opportunity? Following Linley's words, he said, Yes. We two are just poor brothers from the countryside. We don't see any knowledge, nor do we have any ability. How dare we sit together with our sisters? Linley called out to the sultry great god. I didn't see it. 
Killing June still has this ability? The three rich women were amused by Lin Li and the two of them, and the two bombs in front of them were shaking vigorously. The two bombs in front of them were shaking vigorously. Kill Jun was looking at them so seriously that his mouth was about to water. Two younger brothers, don't be so demeaning. If you don't mind, my sister will take you to buy clothes, just as a meeting gift for knowing the two younger brothers. Yes, 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 to be able to stay with two little handsome boys, we also enjoy it. Let's go. Let's go to the store and help our brothers pick out a few suitable clothes. Obviously, the three rich women's affections were thoroughly aroused. Getting up, they took Lin Li and Kiljun's arms and headed inside a well-known brand name clothing store called Audi DC. The service staff at the entrance immediately changed their eyes when they saw the three rich ladies. They rushed forward to greet them. Fruits, pastries, and drinks were fully prepared. Lin Li thought to herself that the choice to go to the mall today was too wise. The elbows moved. So soft. The rich woman on the side knew that Lin Li was taking advantage of herself. But she still wore a smile and pretended that nothing had happened. Really sexually blessed ah. These three little rich women looked like they were only 27 or 88. But I didn't expect them to be so flirtatious. Brother, tell your sister which clothes you fancy. You don't have to save money for your sister. Hey, hey, how can that be a good thing? This one, this one, and this one. I want to try them all. Lin Li was nonchalant enough to aim directly at the most expensive ones, pointing them out in a flurry. This could make the service lady very happy. She hurriedly picked out the right sizes and gave them to Lin Li to try on one by one. After tossing and turning for 30 minutes, these two have spent a total of 88 W blue coins. For the sake of Sister Chin, Sister Hua and Sister Mu who are all regular customers, I'll give you a discount. ADW, please swipe your card. ADW, may I ask if it's by credit card, or cash? The three rich women looked at each other. ADW, a bit expensive. But after seeing the handsome faces and energetic looks of Lin Li and Kiljun, they gritted their teeth and paid in equal shares. Today, these two, can be used for a long time. Expensive is as expensive as it gets. Two younger brothers, the matter of clothes is settled. Why don't you, go home with your sisters? My sister's cat can do backflips. My teddy can juggle too. Do you want to see it? Secretly, my sister has all kinds of colors at home. Take your pick. These three little rich girls, at first glance, are sea king professionals. Made up reasons, one more than one moving. Three sisters, brother me. There is still a small dream that has not been realized. If it is realized, I will go home with you. Look at the cat. Look at the teddy. A ruffled smile on Lin Li's face instantly disturbed the hearts of the three little rich ladies. Brother feel free to say, what little dreams you have. Sister will help you realize them. Actually, it's just a very, very small dream. My younger brother's hands have been rather itchy lately, without killing a few people. I always feel that it's hard to feel somewhere. With these words, the three rich women's smiles instantly froze on their faces. The air became colder and colder, and a touch of heavy killing intent spread out in all directions. Interesting. Interesting ah, to have seen it. You too. Surprisingly not ordinary people, hiding deep enough ah. So, are you guys sure you want to do it in this place? The three little rich girls were revealed in their original form, and their strength of the seventh level of the middle rank was unmistakable. Lindley laughed evilly. How can I be ruthless when it comes to making a move with the three sisters? Besides, the word hands-on refers to two parties with a certain level of strength engaging in battle. The gap between you and I still doesn't seem to be too obvious. Ha! Huh? After saying that, Linley twisted his head and smiled at Kiljun. Ta! A crisp ringing finger shook the hearts and souls of the three. The entire commercial building was suddenly silent. Immediately afterward, boundless darkness engulfed everything and faint spatial fluctuations struck. The scene before them completely transformed. The great darkness was monstrous. A void. There was no light, yet several people could see each other clearly. Linley felt a sense of novelty. Was this the so-called elemental domain? An exclusive skill that only a super-ranked powerhouse was worthy of awakening. The three little rich girls didn't react for a moment, frozen in place, not knowing what to do. Say, how many people were killed? Linley leisurely walked forward, circling around the little rich women to ask, Super, super-ranked powerhouse, you're actually a super-ranked powerhouse? I still ask the two adults to be magnanimous and spare our three sisters a little life. We had no intention of harming anyone. It was the demonized legion that did it, turning us into inhuman monsters. Upon hearing that there was a connection with the demonized legion, Linley immediately became interested. Three sisters, don't be so nervous. I'm not a decent person, and I'm not interested in what you guys are doing. I just want to know, what's going on with your so-called man-less, ghost-less? The thing, is this. The rich woman named Sister Chin recounted what happened to her three sisters from beginning to end. 
The cause was simple. All three of them were all altered beings, the kind with poor awakening talents. Two were D rank and one was C rank. During the time when they first awakened their psychic abilities, they were bullied a lot. The academy did not want them, and the guild did not accept them. Life was confusing and desperate. After experiencing some hardships, they hated this world more and more, began to obtain power by any means necessary. Thus, they approached the demonized legion, became the first batch of alien potion testers, that is, some days ago, killed by Lin Li Wang Bosai, the same phase of the guinea pigs. But, the difference was that Wang Boki was an ordinary person, while these three were alterans. After injecting the potion, the effects were there. The strength of the three skyrocketed until they broke through to the seventh level of the middle order. No one dared to bully them anymore. They thought that their lives were starting to get better and their future was getting brighter. However, unexpectedly, the side effects of the potion began to appear. The trio state was half magical. What does it mean to be semi-magical? It means that they are in control of their minds, but have lost control of their bodies. It is as if the foreign energy in the body has given birth to an independent consciousness, grabbing the body with the host, thus doing something that is not the will of the main body. Later, the three figured out a solution. It is quite difficult to say. It is to forcibly secrete hormones to increase the degree of mental concentration, thus suppressing the foreign energy in the body and maintaining control of the body. That's why these three little rich girls squat in the men's clothing area all day long, waiting for their prey to come to their door. It's not quite accurate to say it's prey, or it can be called hormone catalysts. Anyway, there are quite a few people who have been drained alive, and these three rich women are still quite picky. The ones who wanted to be handsome, the ones who wanted to have a good body, and the ones who wanted to have great physical strength. Then, Lin Li and Kiljun managed to make the cut. I don't know if it was lucky or unlucky. Anyway, it's a pity. The lovemaking was gone. Hey, poor, poor nah. Lin Li carelessly walked back to Kiljun. The corner of her mouth slightly curled up. A few sisters, in your next life, cast a good fetus. An indifferent voice echoed beside the ears of the three. In the next second, the entire world fell silent. The dark realm gradually disappeared and the sight in front of Linley's eyes was once again restored. It was still the second floor of the bustling shopping mall. Only, those three sinister figures had completely disappeared. It wasn't that Linley's sense of justice was overwhelming, nor was it that Linley resented the other party for doing evil. It was only that these three people had hit on their own ideas. This reason would be enough to sentence them to death. It would be painful to live in the world anyway, so it would be better to help free them. If there really was a next life, perhaps, they would even be grateful to themselves. Where to next? Clothes are done. Let's go look at luxury goods. Men, you have to be able to dress up. Thus, the two of them arrived at a famous watch store, not bothering to kill the price. 300W for a watch. Linley asked for two. He has money, and he's capricious. Although there is no use in the battle, will only add to the burden. But these days do not still have to comfortably enjoy life at close to life. The pursuit of practical. Maybe one day will not be able to enjoy it? Demonized army. Quite interesting. Forcibly absorbing external power and injecting it into the experimenter's body. The method is indeed effective. Only, the side effectiveness is too strong. That girl from last time. It should be the same. Inside the cafe, Kiljun seemed to tap the desktop rhythmically. Speaking with Lin Li. At first, I hadn't cared about the actions of the demonized legion. And as Brother Chang said, if the alien potion is successfully developed, it will be a great help to the human race. However, it seems that whether or not this potion can be successfully developed is another matter. Based on the side effects alone, it would be enough to bring a devastating disaster to the human race. Missy is here. Get out of the way. Yu Yueka's petulant voice came from outside the store, and the originally quiet and peaceful cafe instantly boiled over. Those who didn't know thought it was a cosplay reality show, clothed in a red princess dress, with curly hair and a double ponytail on top of her head, and carrying a small bear in her hand, looked at Lin Li froze. Don't say. This airfield is quite a bit of work. How are you two shopping? This young lady has successfully completed the mission. This card. No more money. What? Linley put down his coffee cup with an unbelievable face. 20 million blue coins. Three hours. Gone? You're not a big lady. You're a real lady. 20 million dollars. How did you do it? Come on. Prices are super expensive nowadays. If you casually hit someone, you'll have to compensate 2 million or so. Put. Kill June actually laughed? What was he laughing at? Extracting some memory? Nope. Bringing you out to the mall. What kind of people are you okay with hitting? Who did you hit? How many? Won't you run after hitting? Do you still need to lose money these days? Linley called this a gas. Do villains still need to pay for hitting people? 
He had just killed three people, and not a single one of them had any trouble. This you you could really be a money loser. A few idiots molested me, so I beat them up. Then they called out, and I continued to beat them. They called again, and I hit again. Later, the people from the Alien Energy Administration came, so I, I lost my money. The Alien Energy Administration? Lindley frowned slightly. All those things just now weren't called a thing. Only this Alien Energy Administration wasn't too good to deal with. As everyone knew, there were six major academies, 24 major guilds, three major dark organizations, and hundreds of small and medium-sized group teams in the alien energy world. With such a large number of alien powers, how could there be no divine state's senior management to intervene? Thus, the so-called Altered Energy Administration was established. The role is the same as the duties of the JC in civilian society. It's just that the target subjects are different. If it were two days ago, when he heard that the people of the Alien Energy Administration were in the neighborhood, Lin Li would have run. It wasn't fear, but trouble. He was, after all, a wanted man, and if he let the Alien Energy Management Bureau get on his tail, he wouldn't have a good time in the future. What's the saying? Even if I can't kill you, I'm still sick of you, sending people to follow you, harass you and ambush you every day. Sooner or later, they will drive you crazy. Coming over, kill Jun, who was savoring his coffee suddenly came with such a sentence. It caused Linley to fail to react for a moment. Coming over? Who is it? Tap, tap, tap. Crisp footsteps came from the door position. Five handsome men and women wearing blue uniforms with golden eagle badges on their chests and black pistols hanging from their waists were walking in the direction of Linley's trio. Strange, hadn't their wanted notice been revoked? What did this group of people want? Hello, Mr. Lin, I'm the deputy director of the Alien Energy Administration. Ping Chang Branch, Yuan Yuan Yuan, a young woman in the lead had a smile on her lips, leading the way, she came in front of Lin Li and extended her right hand as a sign of politeness, Captain Yuan is young and capable, I'm just an ordinary student, I don't dare to climb up, can I help you, Lin Li was steady as a batch, didn't reach out, instead picked up a coffee cup and took two sips and said leisurely, it's not that we are pretending to be cool, but if the weasel pays a visit to the chicken, it's not going to be a good thing. The other side of the background of their own forces is very clear. The dark kingdom in the eyes of this group of people. That is the existence of sin. Bloodthirsty. Violent. Not to arrest you is good. Still have time to chat with you? Funny. He he. Yuan 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 laughed. Putting his outstretched hand down and said. There's no need to be so cautious. Mr. Lin. I'm just here to talk about cooperation. Lin Li shook his coffee cup and looked meaningfully out the window. Since ancient times. Good and evil have not been on opposite sides. If Captain Yuan said he came to arrest me, perhaps I would believe it. But this so-called cooperation. Ha! Huh? Are you kidding? After saying that, Lin Li turned his head and looked at Yuan 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 with a scrutinizing gaze. It was indeed very round. Student Lin, the fact that you were able to deal with those three shows that you're not small in skill. Or rather, it's this one next to you. The ability is not small. Yuan 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 shifted his gaze looking at Kiljun with some scorn and continued, but these three people are the bait put out by our Alien Energy Management Bureau, and before the fish could take the bait, the bait was eaten by you, you say, what to do about this, oh, does Captain Yuan mean that I, Lin Li, am meddling, Yuan 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 smiled without saying anything, obviously acquiescing, I'm sorry, I didn't dispose of these three in the will to rid the people of evil, simply because they hit on me, people, it was indeed me who killed them, Sins, I accept it openly. It's just that. It is up to you to judge me. Ta. A crisp ringing finger came, and the surroundings were suddenly silent. Immediately afterward, there was that familiar dark field manifesting. Everyone was transferred to another space. Yuan 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 panicked. With the four administrators behind him, Yuan 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 panicked and wandered around like a fly without a head. This was a good chat. Why did they suddenly start fighting? Lin students, you don't get excited. Listen to me to finish my words. I'm not here to hold you accountable, but I hope to cooperate with you. As long as you help us catch Knight Tian Hua and collect enough evidence of his crimes, blue coins, crystals, all sorts of heavenly treasures, we can satisfy you. Ta. There was another crisp ringing finger. The dark field gradually dissipated. The field of vision returned once again. Yuan 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 Yuan, along with the other four administrators, looked around in shock and saw that everything was as normal before heaving a sigh of relief. Wouldn't it have been better to say that earlier? When doing business, one must first mention the reward. Two palm-sized ancient fossilized stones, plus two billion blue coins, and fifty middle-ranked alien beast crystals. Linley crossed his legs and, 
A hand snatched the little bear in Yu Yueka's hand and ravaged it vigorously. Yeah, you gave me back Winnie the Pooh. I paid for this bear. Why can't I play with it? Just play. Why are you pulling out his hair? I'm happy to. The two of them started to fight over a bear, not caring about Yuan Yuan Yuan's expression. It's really bitter. Two billion blue coins, fifty middle-ranked beast crystals. These two prices were high enough. And two palm-sized ancient fossils? Why don't you go rob them? Mr. Lin, this, doing business is all about equal exchange and being fair and square. Two billion blue coins, fifty middle-order alien beast crystals is no problem. This ancient fossilized stone, would be too, much. Yuan 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 didn't dare to speak deeply. After all, there was a big brother present, and his little life was the most important. Hey, Captain Yuan, this price is already very flat billion. Who is Knight Tianhua? Demonized Legion's fourth demon monarch. If you guys are sure to catch him, why come to me? Yuan 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 was dumbfounded by his dislike. This little thought was all taken by the other party. So, Student Lin is sure of taking down Knight Tianhua? Well, Lin Li thought for a moment and pursed her lips. Maybe, provided that it can be met. Doing business can be risky. Student Lin. The price. Small business. Thank you for the counteroffer. Captain Yuan can replace it with an equivalent item. However, the final value cannot change. Equivalent replacement. Yuan 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 whispered with the other four administrators for a while, and then negotiated the final price. Student Lin. How about this? One ancient fossil. Two billion blue coins. And 30 middle-ranked alien beast crystals. Plus the alien energy administration. The identity of the special group leader. Special group leader? What's that? What's the use? Special group leader. With the power of execution. Emergency domination. Local department mobilization. Bounty order issuance. And temporary appropriation of public resources. The most important point is that you symbolize the public identity of the divine continent. Any organization or force that causes insults, rumors, slanders, or other negative impacts on you will be subject to the control of the Alien Power Administration. Even the six academies. No. Okay. Lindley was silent for a while. This condition was indeed very good. The previous ones were all floating clouds. The last sentence was the point. With the identity of the head of the special group. From now on, even the six great academies would have to be respectful and courteous to themselves. Otherwise, one could utilize the public rights and interests of the divine continent to sanction them. No matter how thick your little thumb is, you can't top it. Cucumbers are the YYDS. All right, I'll take this job. Linley, but, there's another question I'd like to ask Captain Yuan. Please speak, Mr. Lin. Looking for me to cooperate, it shouldn't just be because I killed those three half-demonized aliens, right? Even if this one beside me is not bad in strength, it's never easy to capture Knight Tianhua. I'm sure that Captain Yuan knows something about it, and that's why he's looking for me to cooperate with him, right? Pa 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 pa. Yuan 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 immediately applauded, heartily praising Lin Li's analyzing and judging ability. Student Lin is right. I have indeed investigated some inside information. First of all, in Tianwu City, you came into contact with Wang Boki. In other words, you came into contact with the first batch of potion testers, so you should more or less know some inside information. Secondly, your talent, darkness legend. There is no reason for the demonized army not to pay attention to you. Just like that. The demonized army has sent people to contact you many times and try to bring you back. As for why the wisps failed and the end result of this, I'm not sure. But, if you are willing to take the initiative to approach the demonized legion, finding Knight Tianhua would be a breeze. That's why you're the best person for us to work with at the Alien Energy Administration. Woman, I'll give you a nod. The analysis is quite thorough. It's just that, having contacted herself multiple times, wasn't it that time with Qing Linger? Which other time? In that case, Let's pay the deposit first. Linley stretched out a hand at Yuan Yuan Yuan, as if asking for a debt. A deposit? Student Lin doesn't trust us to work for the Alien Energy Administration? Of course I don't believe it. Am I familiar with you? If it wasn't for this one beside me, could you all be so polite in conversing with me? Would the six academies be able to obediently revoke the bounty order? Would you give up the chance to capture me? That's right. Yu Yu Eka, who hadn't made a sound for a long time, also chimed in griping as if he was a 50-50 millionaire. Yuan 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 took a deep breath, took off the space ring on his hand and placed it on the table. One billion blue coins in cash, and twenty middle-ranked alien beast crystals are all inside. Lin Li hammed and hawed, casually taking the spatial ring and putting it on his own hand. It wasn't too big or too small, and it was just right. Captain Yuan, then I wish us a happy cooperation. It seems like we haven't set a time limit yet, right? Within a month, 
I guarantee that Knight Tianhua's head will appear in front of you, preferably alive. I'll do my best. It was late at night. A group of three people returned to the hotel's luxury suite with large bags. The little unicorn had a drooping head, lying in the ceiling barrier and, it seems to be really hungry. The three of them have been wandering around all day and have completely left this little guy behind. Yu Yueka hurriedly took out some ham sausages from the bag and fed them to the little Chilin. This is like a dog. Why is it getting more and more like a dog? What are you going to do? Kill Jun. Lin Li and the two of them were sitting on the sofa, their mouth smoldering with smoke. There's no rush. A single night Tianhua is good to catch. But then, we can't let the demonized legion think that it was us. Otherwise there won't be less trouble in the future. Borrowing a knife to kill someone? Had had. The one who knows me is Jun. I'm not good at things like scheming. I'm only good at solving problems by force. Remember to give out bonuses. Don't worry. I'll give you 20%. Hey, what about mine? Yu Yu Eka, who was sitting on the balcony sofa, asked as she hugged the little Chilin. Yu, Linley stubbed out his cigarette and looked at the little Chilin. For the sake of you helping me take care of the little Chilin. 50 million dollars. Che, cheapskate. Obviously, Yu Yu wasn't too satisfied with this result. But after thinking about it, after all, he can't contribute much. It's already good enough to whore out some for nothing. What kind of bicycle do you want? Time flickered. Came to two days later. The door of the room was knocked. Sung Hong Yoon brought two young men and made a visit to the door. Vice Hall Mastered Song is quite punctual. Several people sat on the sofa, and Yu Yueka was responsible for serving tea and water. Who made her the junior brother? He he. How could I dare not be punctual when I'm honored to pay a visit to Lord Kill? These two are our evil spirit holy temple's preparatory heavenly sons. Fong Gong, He Yun, today, come with my old husband to meet the world. After saying that, the two young men rose, bending down and bowing to Kil Jun. They also bowed their heads slightly to Linley. Quite polite, not arrogant, not impatient, and with a calm heart. Unlike Hua Li's group of fools, who were bullish as soon as they came up, thinking that because they had a bit of strength, the sky was the limit. He he, these two heavenly sons have extraordinary strength, and their nature is even better. But, Song Deputy Hall Master brought the two of them here. I'm afraid the drunkenness is not wine, right? Old Fox, quasi not holding back any good farts. Student Lin's talent is truly admirable, not bad. The old man brought the two of them here not just to pay homage to Lord Kill. I also hope to give them a chance for a trial. A chance for a trial? What do you mean by that? Song Hongyun smiled meaningfully, then pulled out a ring from his pocket and placed it on the sandalwood coffee table and pushed it. This is a token of our evil spirit sanctuary's appreciation. Or, teaching fee. Linley didn't move in a hurry, but wanted to listen to the other party continue. Song Hong Yun, this old shuttered lamp. Door to door gift giving even came with conditions. The cheek was simply thicker than a city wall. I hope that Lord Kill will give Junior a chance to let the two of them follow you. And Mr. Lin to go out and see the world and make a break for it. Of course, the two of you can also view them as retainers. And despite handing over all the dirty and tiring work to them, they will surely have no complaints. After saying that, Fong Gong and Hyun obediently got up and made another salute. We are willing to go through fire and water for Lord Slayer. Good fart. Linley wanted to applaud these three shameless things. We're willing to go through fire and water for Lord Kill. That's a nice thing to say. In fact, they are the eyes of the evil spirit temple. In the meantime, they are trying to close the relationship with Jian Jun, so that they can discuss the matter with him in the future. As for killing Jun at this moment, his face was not fluctuating, and he didn't even bother to take a look. The right to speak on such occasions does not belong to him. Strictly speaking, he is only a laborer. Lin Li is the boss. Moreover, what is in his heart? Kil Jun is also clear. Vice Hall mastered song, quite deep in heart ah. Oh, a heart for the holy temple. I hope that Lin students will be successful. Lin Li lit a cigarette and incidentally gave Kil Jun one as well. The mood was instantly soothed. I can understand Vice Temple Master Tsong's good intentions, and the idea is quite good. It's just a pity that Brother Jun and I have recently encountered some troubles, so we really can't spare the energy to take care of the two saints' sons. Oh, which ungrateful thing dares to find trouble for Lord Kill and Lin students? This is not only disrespectful to the two of you, but also a provocation to my evil spirit holy temple. Look at how Tsong Hong Yun spoke with such a righteousness and indignation that his appearance was particularly realistic. However, this was also the effect that Lin Li was looking forward to. In terms of acting skills, we haven't convinced anyone yet. Hey, the old artist shook his head and smiled bitterly, his gaze becoming deeper and deeper, helpless, as if it really is the heart is haggard. Hopeless look said, recently, offended the demonization army fourth demon king, Night Sky Hua, 
This guy's strength is average, but his methods are insidious, and he has repeatedly created trouble for Jun and I. He has seriously touched our bottom line. It's a pity that our investigative abilities are limited, and we have been unable to find any trace of Night Tianhua, thus being unable to do anything about it and becoming more and more passive. Song Hongyun's brows visibly furrowed upon hearing Night Tianhua's name, but then loosened in a split second. His eyes flicked to the two beside him, as if he was making some kind of decision, and he kept fiddling with the ring in his hand. It wasn't until Lin Li finished speaking that he made a choice. Night Tianhua, this person is indeed very uncomplicated, but, in comparison, killing the great man is the most noble existence. This matter is wrapped up in Might Song Hongyun. Even if I can't take the other party, the whereabouts and trajectory, I can still investigate and report back to you too. Lin Li instantly revealed a difficult look. This matter is afraid that it is not good. If the dispute between the demonized army and the evil spirit temple is provoked because of me, wouldn't I be a sinner for the ages? Not proper. Not proper ah. Ha ha ha. Plasmate Lin is being overly concerned. When have I, the evil spirit sanctuary, ever feared him, the demonized legion? Furthermore, I won't blatantly declare war with him. I'll only investigate his whereabouts behind his back and then, dispatch a high-ranking person to take action. Kill Jun extinguished his cigarette, exchanged a glance with Lin Li, and twisted his head. Since Vice Hall Mastered Song is kind enough to do so, then I, Kill Jun, will also make a statement. As long as your excellency can capture Knight Tianhua or provide the exact location of his whereabouts, these two, I'll take them. Feng Gong and He Yun's faces were delighted, and they were immediately about to get up and bow again. Lin Li hurriedly waved his hand. The two of you, don't be in a hurry. If things are done properly, I'll accept you. If it's not done properly, Brother Jun and I will still have to contribute on our own, so we can't spare the heart to take care of the two of you. Good. With these words from Mr. Lin, I, the evil spirit sanctuary, will definitely settle the matter of Night Tianhua. I also hope that Lord Kill accepts this meeting gift as a witness. Within half a month, Feng Gong and He Yun if there is no happy news, we will not have the face to bond with Lord Slayer. After saying this, the three of them once again stood up and saluted. After saying farewell, they left the suite in a flurry. They left the suite in a flurry. Lin Li took the ring on the table and sensed it through his spiritual power. A black card, a hundred crystals, and some valuable treasures. The grandeur of the evil spirit sanctuary was taken out. It was that this minds I was too much and didn't know how to progress step by step. Pack up. Let's go too. What for? Yu Yu Eka showed her head from the checkroom, changing clothes while asking suspiciously. Of course I'm going to work. Hey, you're, uh, that, that what? Lin Li also did not know what he saw. His eyes dodged and flickered, and his expression seemed to be excited, and seemed to be a little embarrassed. How to good and also stuttered. What do you want to say? You, you that what exposed? My what? Yu Yu Eka then reacted and looked down. Ah, stinking rascal. What does this have to do with me? You're the one who ran out and still didn't pay attention to your image. Airplane girl? Lindley lit a cigarette for himself, forcibly suppressing his inner restlessness. Ha, huh? how come Kil Jun didn't move? Turning his head towards his side. Good guy. He is busy wiping his nosebleed. Four hours later. Shadow Guild. Quest Hall. Lindley had finally picked his target for this mission. 873. Assassinate the Vice President of the Sacred Royal Academy. Zhang Yulu and bring back his head. Mission reward, 2 billion blue coins. Thousand year red snow Ganoderma asterisk 1. Thousand year ice lotus asterisk 1. This mission, was practically tailor made for Linli. Zhang Yulu, super rank 5 powerhouse. Wooden psychic ability developed nearly to the extreme. The life bracelet used in the sacred royal academy trials was made by him. So how strong is his control over life defense? The last surveillance incident old man's son had said that Zhang Yulu had tangibly sensed his own breath through the bracelet. There was something wrong with that the moment he heard it. During the trial, Lin Li had never taken off the bracelet from start to finish. Even if that imposter also had a bracelet, he couldn't detect the abnormality of two cents existing at the same time? This person was 80% malicious, either maliciously planting evidence, or, oh, things will become more interesting. A group of three people walked to the front desk. Lin Li pulled out his gold card and said, I'm going to take assassination mission number 873. Okay? Please ask this adult to keep a nickname for easy recording. Kill. Matt. Cough cough cough. Lindley choked on his own spittle. What the hell kind of name calling is this? One person crying? True love invincible? Is the fading intangible cultural heritage about to be revived? That. Why don't we change the name? Something normal. This guy has been watching too much TV. Can't the average person afford to be called a killer horse? Even the average person can't. 
then let's call it Haiti Sky. Uh, okay, that sounds more normal. The middle-aged youths are happy. Okay, Shinigami, gold medal little chef, and underworld, you've successfully accepted quest number 873. This is your mission token. Please don't lose it. Linley and the others received the crimson token and turned around to leave. However, they were unexpectedly called back by the front desk attendant lady. Several people. Please stay. Is there anything else? Three of you. This is the first time you've been in contact with a single assassination type mission. So there's something I need to remind you of beforehand. This mission only allows for success, not failure. If it fails, it will be handled according to the rules of the Shadow Guild. And all of you will be killed. So, it's not too late for you to regret it. Ha! I naturally know the rules of the Shadow Guild. If you do not have full certainty, how would you dare to take it easily? Thanks for the reminder. We'll be back soon. After saying that, Linley left the Shadow Guild with Kiljun and Yu Yueka. Are you kidding? One sneeze from a saint-ranked powerhouse in the Shadow Castle would have to be blasted into slag. At that time, there was no telling who would regret it. After Linley's deliberation, he decided not to bring Yu Yueka to this operation. First of all, this girl's strength wasn't good, and it would be dangerous to meet high-level battles. Secondly, the little Chilin needs someone to take care of it. Linley couldn't possibly bring a beast with him to Shangjing. Could he? Lastly, it's a big target with a lot of people. For an assassination mission, it's all about speed, accurate, precise and ruthless. Even if you have a big brother like Kiljun, you should avoid head-on encounters as much as possible. The sacred royalty at least has more than 10 super-ranked powerhouses in its ranks. If they didn't have some real skills, how could they talk about the third largest super god academy in the divine state? Linley wouldn't rashly strike before he had full certainty. The division of labor was clear, and the two of them began to move. Bought two tickets to Shangjing, leaving Yu Yueka 100 million blue coins. He also specifically instructed him to spend it sparingly, and to go out and wave less when he had nothing to do. Otherwise, when Lin Li returns, he won't give her any dividends. This girl promised quite painfully. It is hard to say whether she can do it or not. Boarding the train. Lin Li and Kiljun chartered an entire carriage. Although the treatment is not as good as the last Super Invincible Luxury Supreme VLP, but it is also barely justified. There are two young and beautiful service lady to serve tea and water. Press waist and back. The two young pretty service ladies served tea and water, pressed the waist and pressed the back, and from time to time also took a couple of words. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this, but I'm going to be able to do it, and I'm going to be able to do it. But we Lin Li has seen the world. How can two be enough? I'm not going to be able to get a good look at you. Why are you two gentlemen wearing masks? The young lady lying behind Lin Li was very curious. Seeing that these two had never taken off their masks from start to finish, she couldn't help but ask, because the two of us are killers, of course we can't show our true colors. Lin Li answered half-jokingly, behind the two young ladies were amused giggle straight music. Really? Where did you hide your gun? My gun? Of course, hidden in a very secret place. Do you really want to see? Mister, you're so bad. This gun. We'd better wait until we get off the train to see it. The young lady in charge of massaging Lin Li kept throwing winks. The intent was quite obvious. What a hell. Last time it was the station. This time it's the train. The level of penetration was getting stronger and stronger. Someone's coming. Kill Jun, who was immersed in sexual bliss, suddenly opened his mouth, causing the few people present to freeze. Knock knock knock. The wooden door of the train was knocked on. And someone was really here. How strong is the other party? Is there any hostility? Strength is very good. Hostility. Not really. I only felt Zen intent. Zen intent? What is this? While speaking, a service young lady had already gotten out of bed and walked to the door to gently push it open. Amit Babuda. The poor monk came from the east to the west, passing through the precious land, and would like to ask for a bowl of fasting rice. If there is any disturbance, please understand. Monk, this scene in front of the door could give the service lady a whole lot of trouble. C is a not very old, clean cut, bald, dressed in plain monk's robe. At this moment, the monk with his hands folded and hanging Buddha beads, is bowing slightly to the door to salute. This year's monks will even make fortunes? Shouldn't it be a Ferrari in his left hand and a long-legged beauty in his right? Sir, this, let him come in. Since it was a high-ranking person, he definitely had to meet him, no matter if it's a bond or some other purpose. With Kiljun around, Lin Li has his own backbone. The service lady made way for the receiving monk to come inside the private room. At this moment, Lin Li and Kiljun were naked and tilted their heads, looking at the visitor with interest. I don't know how the master is addressed. Poor monk Dharma name Wang Wang. Meet you two monks. I don't know if it was impolite or what, but monk Wang Wang kept his gaze turned downward. 
refusing to meet Linley and the two of them eye to eye. Looking at this appearance, it was really a bit of a monk. Master Wang Wang came here today only to fulfill a destiny? For one thing, to persuade the master to put down the butcher's knife for another. Oh, Lin Li's interest increased greatly, directly sat up and asked, I wonder where this butcher knife, where does it come from? When Guang was silent, only closing his eyes and turning his Buddha beads, you two go out first, today's project ends here. Lin Li waved his hand, and the two service ladies were very sensible and exited the carriage. Now, it's okay to say it, right? Amit Ba Buddha, Lin Shur Master, I'm sure you've guessed the intention of the poor monk's statement. Indeed, but, who am I to listen to you? Wing Guang smiled blandly, as if the spring breeze had brushed through the February sky, and the sunrise had dispersed the bracts of the land in a cordial, harmonious manner. As the saying goes, one thought becomes a Buddha, one thought becomes a devil. Lin Shur Shur has hatred in his heart, and love in his hatred. As long as one is willing to wear out the hate in his heart and magnify the love and the hate, I believe that there is nothing that cannot be let go. Ha! Lin Li sneered. This monk's words were so hypocritical. Master, instead of coming to shed your roots to enlighten me, why don't you go and reason with those old guys and see, will they let go of the conclusion in their hearts, accept the existence of the darkness department openly? Poor monk is exactly what I intend to do. It's just that, compared to that, the heart demon of the Lin cultivator is the most important thing. Heart demon? This fellow actually knew that he was showing signs of demonization as well. As the saying goes, to unring the bell, one must tie it. Since master already knows that I have a heart demon, why don't you take out those old guys together as me so that, the butcher's knife in my hand will only fall off consciously. Amit Ba Buddha, monks don't dare to kill in vain. When Guang folded his hands and chanted something under his breath, it was probably Buddhist scriptures. Ha, then I would like to ask master a question. I don't know if I can answer it. There's no harm in Lin Shur master saying so. Good. I would like to ask master, what is righteousness? What is evil? What is good? What is evil? When Guang said after a little silence, walking on the right path based on the right method is the right path. Practices that do not belong to the right path are all called evil. The mind is positive. Centrifugal is evil. Centrifugal legislation. The law is a foreign path. According to the law to break all the heart, the heart of the heart has no gain. The law is not born. All the law is called the Buddha's teachings. As for this division of good and evil, belonging to the Dharma ten good is good karma, ten bad is sin karma. Lin Li nodded slightly. This one Guang was worthy of being a master. What was said was right on the head, and the articles were reasonable. Only, on the subject of bullshitting, Lin Li had never really convinced anyone. Little man, talk to me about reasoning? I speak until you doubt life. The master's description is very organized, but it deviates from reality and makes no sense. Oh, when Guang raised his head to meet Lin Li's eyes and asked with a slight novelty, then according to what Master Lin said, what is positive, what is evil, what is good, what is evil, according to me, there is no good or evil in this world, it's just the human heart, the Buddha is not me, so why should he ferry me, heaven has not helped me, so why ask me, what is good and evil, what is good and evil, those who say they are righteous have done nothing wrong in their lives, those who say they are evil, have they never done anything wrong in their lives? The Jung Hu is scary, more scary than the Jang Hu, is the human heart, evil people are scary, more scary than evil people, is the right way, if you can't clear the world true and false, then kill a heaven and earth, restore the beginning of man, return me flawless, it's just that those who are obedient to you are righteous and those who are against you are evil, the good and evil in the world have the same root, when Guang froze, killing Jun also froze, even Lin Li himself was stunned by his own words, is this my caliber, damn. It can't be that I'm possessed by this world's truth, right? A brief silence fell within Noda's private room. When Wang's brows were furrowed, his gaze was deep, and the Buddha beads in his hand unconsciously began to coil. Kiljun looked at Lin Li with some surprise. That expression seemed to be saying, Kid, quite a bit of skill. Master Wang Wang, do not advise others to be good without their difficulties. If you haven't converted to Buddhism, if these things are what you've experienced, if it were me to advise you from a different perspective, what would you choose? Linley put on his clothes and went straight to the window, viewing the scenery along the way. A short life of dozens of years, a hurried life like smoke and clouds, a few half a world to ask geometry? Just a little bit of time. If you still live in the suffocation, then, this life, what is the significance? What is the meaning? When Guang murmured to himself, his expression became more and more complicated. Linley struck the iron while it was hot, saying anything to fool this monk. Master, you only know the Buddhist scriptures. You only know the great way of the book. Have you ever experienced life a few times? Life? I. 
haven't always lived? Wen Guang was slightly puzzled, and the spirit of thirsting for truth made it more and more insane. Life, you have to take it apart and talk about it. Separately, it is life and living. You only know the latter, but you've never dabbled in the former. Do you know how many people have given up their dignity and everything for the word life? Do you know how many people have fallen into the abyss? Never to be reincarnated. For the sake of the word life? Do you know how many people have suffered endlessly for the sake of life? Becoming inhuman and haunted? You simply don't know. Because, your Buddha, does not allow you to know. These words were like thunder, shattering the last line of defense deep within Wing Wang's heart. At this moment, what Buddhist scriptures, what great truths, were all shadows, all of them were the most false, coldest declarations of humanity. I, turns out, was it all wrong? When Guang's expression became more and more trance-like, and he couldn't control the force in his hands, directly pinching off the Buddha bead silk thread, clatter, a crunching sound echoed in the private room, and Wen Guang stared at the ground, frozen, be careful, his psychic ability is getting more and more unstable. Kiljun similarly got dressed and walked over to Linli to keep a constant watch on Wen Wang. What's this person's strength? Super rank 7. Linli straightened up and called out good guy. From the looks of it, this monk was 26 or 27 years old. It seemed to be another extreme demon. Had ha. Had ha ha. Suddenly, an eerie and low smile entered the ears. Unexplainable horror turned into a strong wind, blowing the curtains whistling. Crap, this dude is not possessed. Is he? From the looks of it, it's about right. However, he's not a supernormal ability being possessed. But, mind nature has entered the devil. Just now, he himself had said that one thought becomes a devil and one thought becomes a Buddha. In such a great amount of effort, one has become a devil? It seems that this little monk's heart nature isn't very good either. When Guan laughed for more than half a minute and switched to silent mode, a grim smile hung on his face as he stared at Linli not knowing what he was thinking. Little monk, are you okay? Before my master passed away, he said that my mind is not strong and I'm susceptible to external forces. Today, it seems that the old man was right. I'm really on a different path. When Guan got up and put away his supernatural powers, Lin Li, you are indeed very uncomplicated. Today, I wanted to persuade you to put down the butcher's knife, but unexpectedly, it was me who picked up the butcher's knife anew. Again, Lin Li captured the point. In that case, he used to. That's right, nine years ago, I had slaughtered over 3,000 people with the power of one person. Later, I was dispatched by the old monk of the Golden Cicada Temple, my master, Wu Shun. Until today, the darkness within me has finally been released. You, very much to my liking. Hmm, why did the picture style suddenly become weird? This little monk isn't a gay, is he? Ahem. In that case, congratulations to Master Wang Wang for regaining his heart. What are your plans next? Not much of a plan, to follow you and be the old me. The smile on Wang Guang's face grew weirder and, so a hint of obscenity. Lin Li did not know whether it was good to be happy or, unhappy good. Forget it, let's make shallow use of it first. After fixing Zhang Yulu, then make plans. Good, since Master Wang Wang has this intention, then kill with the two of us. Satisfying one's deepest thirst is the foundational concept of advanced living. Kill Jun also chimed in. Let that group of self-righteous, moralistic fellows experience what they define as evil and what they define as evil. After saying that, smiles appeared on the faces of the three members of the group. The Sin Group, officially established. Two days later, Lin Li's group finally arrived in Shangjing City. Familiar station. Familiar style. Familiar first time. The first time you step into the alien world. Don't always think the wrong way. Okay? Lin Li didn't have too many thoughts about the addition of Wang Wang as a new member. Karma. Wonderful. Just think of it as a big help from the airborne good. Anyway, they were all utilizing each other. And when their value was exhausted, they would go their separate ways. It was now midday. Not very suitable for action. The three of them casually found a hotel. Dumped more than 100. 000 blue coins, and easily checked in without a real name. Come on, we're killers now, we have to be professional. It wouldn't be good to leave too many traces. Does Cultivator Lin have a plan? Wen Guang had changed his style since he went black. The monk's robe had changed from plain white to karmic black. Well, still a monk anyway. According to his own words was that the path of cultivation, regardless of the process, the purpose was still the same. As the saying goes, a demon monk is also a monk. Wine and meat go through the intestines, but Buddha stays in his heart, is probably the truth. My plan is to go in hard. Lin Li lit a cigarette as usual, incidentally giving Kil Jun. Guang Hua also lit one. Ever seen a monk who smokes and drinks? No need to doubt it. It's right next to me. Tough break in? I'm afraid it's only not that simple. Right? 
Of course it's not that simple. If Master Wang Guang hadn't joined us, Jun and I would not have acted like this. However, this time is different from the past. My plan is, Brother Jun will attract the firepower. And Master Wang Guang, you and I will sneak into the faculty and staff accommodation area together and attack and kill Zhang Yulu. With that, the three of them discussed the specific course of action. Lin Li promised that if the mission was successful, Wang Guang, kill Jun, and each of them would share 20% of the mission reward. That is, 400 million blue coins, plus some converted foreign beast crystals. The two of them said that they had no problem with it, and Wang Guan was even more excited about killing, as if, it was just about to be too much to wait. Dark Moon and Windy Night of Killing. When the Sin Squad acted, rumble, a monstrous roar came, startling all the teachers and students of Sacred Imperial Academy. Sun Wukong led more than a thousand leaders, and the teachers rushed up to the sky, surrounding the masked man incarnated by Kiljun. Who is your excellency? Why did you attack my Sacred Imperial Academy at night? Sun Wukong's current appearance was much more vicissitudes than it was more than half a month ago. The creases on his face were becoming more and more pronounced. It was unknown how many things he had worried about. The good thing is that the aura of the body has not been reduced in the slightest, and it is still so. Pretending B, having nothing to do. I want to find someone to fight. Little old man, your strength is still far from enough. You guys, go on together. Rampant to the extreme. The bald male leader was the first to be unconvinced, directly converging his alien energy and rushing towards Kiljun. Sun Wukong realized that something was wrong. With his own strength he couldn't even perceive the other party's realm. Then there were only three possibilities. Either, the other party was a muggle, or a so-called ordinary person. But in this case right now, it was clearly impossible. Either that, or the other party was utilizing a special elemental artifact, or a special concealment method, thus dispersing their own realm's aura, making it impossible for other adepts to perceive them. Seeing that this masked man was so calm, it was obvious that he was not afraid of anyone present. If this is the case, then there is only one last possibility left. Not good. Sun Wukong reacted fiercely and tried to stop it, but unfortunately it was already too late. The bald man rushed to Kiljun's proximity and swung out a fist. Boom. The friction sound that cut through the air and thus caused was particularly ear-piercing. Unfortunately, there was no movement in the next second. Everyone present sucked in a breath of cool air. What exactly did they see? I'll tell you in a moment. The scene shifted to Lin Li and Wang Wang, the entire school's leaders, and teachers had been lured away. Zhang Yulu was special because he specialized in the art of life and wasn't good at fighting. Therefore, he basically wouldn't show his face on such occasions. He would only hide at home and sleep. In this way, it gave Lin Li the opportunity to assassinate. Sneaking quietly into the holy royalty, Lin Li would not emit any aura due to the factor of the dark origin. One Guan, on the other hand, was in too high a realm, so basically no one could perceive it except for powerhouses of the same super rank. Soon, the two of them passed through the school dormitory area and arrived at the faculty and staff accommodation villa complex. In the past, Lin Li would absolutely think that this place was extravagant and spectacular. But now, cut, garbage. Locking onto his target, Lin Li directly released the black mist and teleported inside the villa. Wen Guang, on the other hand, was receiving in the courtyard, waiting for the prey to come out of the cage to give it a fatal blow. It's late at night. The lights in the living room are still on. A figure is sitting on the sofa, sipping tea. From time to time, he also looked out the window, making it look like a melancholy boy. Lin Li, since you're here, why do you need to hide? Zhang Yulu's indifferent sentence scared Lin Li. How did he discover himself? No. How did he know his identity? Oh no. Lin Li reacted and turned around to gather his alien energy in preparation for escape. A green energy cage appeared out of nowhere, easily binding him within. No matter how much he exerted the black mist, it just couldn't have the slightest effect. Damn it. Lin Li knew that he had been tricked. There was no such thing as a blackened demon monk. It was clearly an accomplice arranged by Zhang Yulu. Vice Dean Zhang is so tactful. Surprisingly placing a spy beside me so easily. Admirable. Admirable. Lin Li's face was grim as he gritted his teeth. Zhang Yulu slowly got up, his heroic face slightly cold. Student Lin. If not for that, how could I catch you? Master Wang Wang. Hard work. After saying that, space rippled. When Guang's figure appeared out of thin air and smiled with Zhang Yulu. Happy cooperation. Vice President Zhang. Ha ha ha. Happy cooperation. I'll call you as soon as possible for the remaining remuneration. Zhang Yulu slowly stepped in front of Lin Li and patted the green energy cage. Student Lin, after only half a month's gap, you've already grown to such an extent. If we don't get rid of you as soon as possible, I'm afraid the alien energy world will change its sky. Vice Dean Zhang, 
I advise you to think clearly. If you kill me, all of you from Sacred Imperial will not be able to escape death. Ha ha ha. If they die, they die. What does it have to do with me? Even if the one outside is suspicious of me. After taking your head, someone will guarantee my life. Someone will protect his life? Which power dares to say such big words? The demonized army or Huali? It's unlikely, isn't it? Zhang Yulu, today, I'm counting on my bad luck to fall into your hands. I'll do as I please if I want to kill you. But, I have a question for you. You want to ask me, which force is trying to take your life, right? Unfortunately, I, Zhang Yulu, am not a talkative person. So after going down there, you'll be clear about it. As soon as the words fell, Zhang Yulu pulled out the short sword on his waist and stabbed straight at Lin Li's chest. 